Hello, and welcome to Legal Bites. If you're new here, my name is Alita. I'm a lawyer licensed in California and DC, and on this channel, we explain the law one bite at a time. We don't give legal advice, but we do talk about how the law works and try to look into our crystal ball to see how things might turn out. If you're enjoying this on YouTube, we'd love it if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with friends, all the great YouTube-y stuff. And if you want to listen while out and about, we're now offering our live streams in podcast form where you can leave a rating and review. Links are in the description below, as well as to our clips channel, where you can find some of the best clips taken from our live streams. Otherwise, if you want to catch me elsewhere, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so on Locals, Patreon, or by becoming a YouTube member, or by buying some really awesome Legal Bites merch. Again, all links are in the description below. And with that said, let's get into it. Hello, hello, and good morning. And we've got another ad, ad in right here. Good morning, good, Legal Mindset. Good, good morning. Good evening. Hogue Law, oh. how are you guys doing today? I'm doing great, but I'm in the East Coast. I'm a normal normal time of day for me. We've got people <laughs> all across the world here today. Hey, Legal Mindset, I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you, Hogue. Yeah, I was traveling. I just I got back from the U.S. Um, I will um, be traveling back to the U.S. again next week and then back to the U.S. again the next month. Uh, so uh, I've done a lot of traveling uh, yeah, for no reason at all. Just weird, None. weird events. No reason just at all. You're just, you're just, you're just hopping around. Um, you're just, you're just back, yeah. back in America. <laughs> uh, so I said, look, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to screw my sleep schedule. I might as well screw it with some of my best friends and watch an amazing testimony today. So if you're, if you're not screwing well. your sleep schedule with your best friends, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? There's so many ways to take just even those lines, but we're going to save it for the rest <laughs> of the, the rest of the week. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Who? So, Hey, Hey, biters in the chat. How's it going? Welcome to bite club. Um, hope, I hope everybody has had a nice long rest from, uh, from, from this trial so far. Um, I know I, I still had a very, very busy week. <laughs> were, we, were we supposed to rest Alita? Uh, I, I, I think, I think we were supposed to, that was, that was the plan, right? I failed. <laughs> least, well, you know what though? Like I, I didn't, so I, I, I got full nights of, of rest so that yes. it actually was restful in that regard. But I also, um, I also was, oh, and I see Nurse Liz in the chat. I've got to, I think I forgot to send her uh, a link. I need to send her a link, but I'll do that in just a second, Liz. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got, I, I did get some rest. I got more sleep than I normally get during a trial week. And I managed to get other stuff done in life that I've just been pushing off because I just don't have any time for anything. <laughs> I, I don't, so. you, you have nothing to play. You're just, you're just carefree. Your life is just so easy other than this, right? You just I stream just, and there's you There's nothing chill, that I'm planning. <laughs> no, nothing at all. No, nothing in the world. No big events. No, nothing. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Catherine S wants to know if the guys made it in. They did. They did in fact make it in. Um, so at least they made it into the line at the very least. So they made, no, no, no. They got wristbands. So, so the, the stream showed them getting wristbands. They cut it off. They literally had to cut it off because they were threatened if they kept streaming, maybe they would lose their wristbands. But oh they, they cut it off and they had no issues, so they're all in. And he, and um, Runkle confirmed that he got a wristband. So amazing, amazing. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that they had they had some some numbers. Like, I, I heard that there was the some line. Drama had still okay, okay. Do you guys a... not know about justice for the line? Did you guys not hear about that? I, I, I so... a white paper for like self organization of what these what these folks did outside the courthouse last but, night. But <laughs> here's the thing, guys. Here's okay, the thing. let's get the... let's let's. I've got my mega pint of coffee. Let's get okay. the tea. <laughs> the, so, so there was an there was no official line. Right. There was no official line. Right. Um, now the deputies did not show up until one a.m. because they did not expect people to be lining up so early. But people were lined up at seven p.m. of the day before, wow. and somebody took it upon themselves. And I think this is very wise. Somebody amongst the people who were just out there took mm -hmm. it upon themselves to grab a marker. Right. And literally write on people's hands. So they would write a number, right? You know, on the hands and say, okay, you're number one, you're number two, you're number three. Uh, Runkle was number 80. I believe uh, Lawn Lumber was 82. Um, and I think um, DY guy, I forget what number he was, but they all were in the higher level, in the, in the, mm -hmm. the back 50, right? Mm -hmm. So the line was nice and organized, right? Well, the mm -hmm. deputies show up and they move 
the line. And they don't just do it once. They don't just do it twice. They do it like four times. So there's multiple people cutting in the line. But the most dramatic were two individuals. Two individuals. I saw this all on Twitter. I saw the photos. Who (laughs) cut out, who cut out a very nice young lady who was number 100 and butted her out of line. So literally they were memed into oblivion. And only Mm -hmm. then, only then did they end up giving the position back only after they were memed into oblivion. Sometimes people just need to be shamed into (laughs) into doing the right thing. Here's the kicker. What team, if it was Team Johnny and Team Amber, what team do you think these two ladies were on? Were confirmed to be on? Oh, no. Team Amber. They were Team were Amber. They, really? they were Amber stands. They were Amber stands. Confirmed. Really? Are, are we sh- are we sure about that? And it's not confirmed. just people are, are, are like painting her as that? Nope. It, it, they were, one is a pro Amber uh, TikToker. Um, you know, that's, I mean, there's, there's videos out there. I mean, that's what, that the videos I've seen, they seem, okay, sorry, let me put this way. Clear and convincing evidence. Right, maybe not beyond a reasonable doubt. I mean, you guys can get oh that goodness. one, right? Preponderance of the evidence mm. seems to present that. Oh mm. my gosh! You like that? You like that? Civil standard. We're in a civil. We're in a civil. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's possible you find a, a hole in the market on on TikTok and you start pivoting your channel to fill that hole in the market. I just don't know. I don't know, Andrew. Uh, yeah. Well, my TikTok is probably the largest of anybody's on LawTube. Like, I think I still have the. I just don't use it. I, I never use it. It's horrible. TikTok's a horrible platform. I'm just saying there's probably space in the market for pro Amber TikToks would be my guess. I'm not filling that hole. I'm sorry, Rich. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think you and, and quite a few other people um, as well. And I did see, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull up the, the super chat. Cause I saw that, that Rob uh, super chatted us that, uh, that they Rob is are super chatting us from the courthouse. Yes. From the courthouse. <laughs> they, they are, they're on their way in and he said to give them a wave. So I, I I want him to give us a wave when he's in there. Preferably hold up a sign saying "Watch this on Legal Bites." Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, I'll 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 take what I can get. <laughs> Should have got him a T-shirt. Should have got him I a know, T-shirt. I know. It's it's the problem is um, that it takes a while to uh, to get. Oh, here's the super chat. Here it is. Stepping into the courtroom now. Give us a wave. Oh my gosh. We will wave. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for them to to make it in there because that is just uh it's it's great. I mean, they've it's been great. watching this with us for four weeks. They know they have to sit on the, the amber side of the courtroom to, to be on the camera. Yes. So. Yes. They know. They know. They know where to sit. Um <laughs> and, sit by uh, the court TV reporter. They cover that a lot. Oh, uh, I know. Uh, or, or like, just wear a bright green dress. <laughs> if Rob's wearing That's a bright green dress, he wins today. Okay, I'll so just, I'll, just, I'll just hold. I'll just hold up this one. You know. Just, yeah, just, what? Just... Lawn lumber. Oh no. It's good merch. Oh my god. Very gosh. good. I said. Oh I believe god. I introduced him on my channel as Breaking Beds and Breaking Hearts. Uh, I, I like so. it. I like it. I like it, Rich. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Speaking of of heartbreakers, hey Kurt, how's it going? Hey Kurt. Kurt. Good How's morning. it going? I do love the uh, banner behind you, Andrew. That's pretty badass. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm doing a little upgrade too. This is a gift. This is from Ziggy Shrugs. Um, Eric Hunley is one of Eric Hunley's people. Got this for me. Uh, she sent this to my place in Florida. Um, so that was really nice. Actually, my manager's place, but or my YouTube manager's place. But uh, but yeah, get some more merch. You got like, back here, you know, hashtag legal mindset. Justice for the line, hashtag me poo. Um, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. uh, good things. You can follow me on legal mindset. If you guys want me to show memes on my shows, send them to legal mindset. So Excellent. just to remind you guys, there you go. Excellent. There you go. All right. Um, if your bingo card had Andrew of lingual mindset with the first grift of the day, please check off that box right now. <laughs> I'm a dark um, horse. I'm a dark horse. Hey, no, you know, I give him, I give him an opening. He takes it right away. Like he should. Excellent you, absolutely. you were the long shot candidate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but so, no yeah, one expects the Spanish inquisition. Today. <laughs> uh, are we here to talk about like uh, goings on in Congress? Or are we here to talk yeah. about the <laughs> Supreme Court opinions that are going to be released we in are, uh, about are, an hour are, and 30 minutes? Or we are what, here. what are we talking about? We are here to talk about, of course, Depp v. Heard. Of course, of course. Oh, okay. Um, oh. So, uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't really heard that much about it. What's going on there? Uh, you know, I don't know, actually. Uh, yeah. Don't really know much about this case. Yeah. <laughs> um, and therefore, uh, I have no other choice but to support Amber Heard. <laughs> and therefore, that's the only way to support it, right? You, you don't know anything, and therefore you're a highly qualified streamer. Well, <laughs> this is very true. Well, well yeah. done. there's some truth to that. We know that they took 10 days off in order to really <clears throat> increase the hype machine on this. 
Um, yeah. You've been following the, the coverage of the last 10 days. It has just snowballed. the machine, no. Yeah. Well, here's yeah. the funny thing, too. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen it, but the narrative has 100% flipped over the last week, like talking about what happened over the last week. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I've just seen it pivot on its head. And Twitter, in the algorithm being a little bit less sus, has <laughs> definitely helped with that. I have not seen an Amber Heard, pro Amber Heard trending in the last week, which is, you know, very interesting. Very interesting that that's now gone. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if it's gone. There are certainly corners of the, the world that still hold fast to that. Uh, but I think that that's in question, certainly. And definitely I'm, more than before this trial started. Have you yeah. seen a trend, though, Rick, over the last week? Like trend. I'm talking like the top, like on Twitter, where it's come up in the top four or seven. Have you seen that? Uh, no, I don't. But I'm not following my trending chart very often. I have to be honest there. I have seen justice for Amber um, as a hashtag. I have seen that in my timeline a little bit. I have gotten... Uh, a number of, uh, let's call it very animated DMs uh, about uh, my coverage of things and the leader's coverage of things and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, no, I havenven't seen it trending, but I, I have not been monitoring that. I, I doubt yeah. it would be trending, certainly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, did see some some an interesting Rolling Stone article that was yep. very anti Amber Heard and the ACLU. Yep. That was interesting, saying that they they reviewed her yes. tax records from the last several, however many years, and said, we don't see any record of her claiming a $350,000 uh, tax uh, credit for making any kind of a charitable donation. So hmm. where did that $350,000 come generous. from? She's just a standard yeah. deduction lady. Yeah. Um, and she doesn't need the tax credit for those money. Yeah, there you go. The cash. I mean, we don't Based know. On, you, don't, you don't have to claim it. You don't it have to that. claim it. That's you true. Don't have to. True. 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 You're just an idiot if you don't. <laughs> Some people love paying the uh, government. Legal bites is not tax advice. Uh, not chat, tax just advice. Just not tax advice. No, she, she is one. She is one of the uh, honest liberals because she wants to raise people's taxes, and she actually follows her own advice. So she doesn't claim the deduction because she's showing solidarity for the cause she believes in. What a respectable woman, man. <sighs> solidarity morning, for the cause <laughs> like just like the cause for me too and, and all that other stuff it's... hey you think she's single uh, <laughs> wait who amber heard I don't i'm, think a, you I'm want on the that. prowl andrew oh no 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 Kurt, no, 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 no no there's no. so many reasons no there's so, so many reasons no <laughs> um anyhow uh janet dick thanks for this for this little reminder it says eight thousand viewers but only 1,000 likes we're actually up to fourteen thousand viewers now let's see if we can people if we can are ready that. for today we're at fourteen thousand like, on the free show oh yes. my goodness yeah we're, 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 please do we still got like more than 15 minutes. if we're gonna grift andrew we're gonna grift for alita here do on it this channel, do it who's doing this for All us way. for now week five of this trial and put out a thousand yeah. videos in the break week if you're interested she did two asked and answer videos just so that you can have your questions answered without paying any money in the super chat. She did that so that you could do that. <laughs> Thank you. Like Thank and subscribe so to this channel. <laughs> We're going to have a fun day. Certainly, this is going to be a very, very interesting week. Um, yes. And uh, yeah, it's only getting bigger from here. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's see. Let's see how many how many folks we can get in here into this chat, because there's a lot of interest in this trial, a lot of folks that are streaming it. Um, and the more the more you, you do hit that like button, the more we can we can the the algorithm can really push that out and let's see how many folks we can get in here that would be really really cool if we can if we can break some records right yeah tell youtube you like it break some or records break some bads man let's go what's our, goal? Yes. Do it. what's our goal we need a goal to rally around i think i think the highest uh last was last thursday i think it was like around like thirty eight thousand or like 39 like we've gotten around there so let's okay, so 40 we definitely, we definitely touched let's, 40 we've let's, go 40. let's go to 50 guys let's call 50. 50. Yeah. 50. Yeah, okay. 50. 50. 50. Right. let's call 50 okay 50 50 let's let's see if we can do it um but yeah hitting 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 the like button really does help with that and also like engaging in the chat um but on that note too let me let me get some of these super chats because there were some that got that came in before we were able to capture them on Streamyard. so i want to make sure i hit those first um let's see cindy tart Send a super chat. Thank you so much. Mo B says, good afternoon. Any word if Rob or Uncle got in? They got in. They, they got did in. get in. We're so excited for them. I can't wait to hear from them. Stacy Goncalo says, uh, thank you so much for covering this. My first time to catch the live stream. Predictions are still cross will happen most likely tomorrow. I think so. Earliest is uh, earliest is is sometime halfway through. 2016 has a lot going on in it. They got a long day. Could be yes. today though. Could be today. It's possible. I mean, we yeah. can take at the it over. Pace they were at the pace they were going at the end of uh, the trial before the break. It is not today, but we'll see. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then Chibimotes uh, sent a super <laughs> chat. Thank you. <laughs> is that is that advice to Kurt? Yeah. I think so. Yes. I think so. Let me let me pull that one up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> she will give a crap for you. She will Excellent. give a yes. <laughs> That's all any of us really want. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you want that crap. <laughs> Um, unless you're into that in which case no shame Kurt. oh my well, god sure 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 quite the opening this morning folks we're back <laughs> I know. we are we are we are very excited we're very excited i missed you guys today. i missed you guys of course yes i know i missed everyone right like i i've been i've been getting dms from people too saying like hey like i've, I've really missed you guys and uh and you know like I, i've been in withdrawals we have too. trust me we absolutely have been um, Suk Madik says, my theory is that Amber will really dial the hyperbole back today after having researched public perception on her D15, our day 15 direct may work, may not. I don't know, because you still need to show some consistency here, right? It's the Amber show, you know, and Amber is going to tell the Amber, the Amber way. And I think that every time that she heard Johnny Depp say something, she just had to make it more extreme. I don't think she can dial back at this point. Yeah, I yeah, think she's she gonna try. Too. I mean, I, I think she knows that she's gonna. She's just she had she ten days to try. reflect, meditate, get a little I don't, spiritual I don't guidance. Think, I agree with you, Andrew. I think it's it's just the way she tells stories. But I think she's. I think she knows she has to try to uh, sound more realistic. Right. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, Don Leinhart says new credit card month and fresh debt herd coverage. It's gonna be a good and expensive few weeks. Bring on the coverage. Thanks for all you do. Oh, Don, thank you, so much. thank you for the support. I know Alita thanks you. Don't go bankrupt for yeah, super please, chat please, and, and please, law tube. Don't run but up I mean, your credit cards for this. If you're gonna simp though, I mean legal bites is a good option. I mean, this is a <laughs> solid option, guys. This is better than only this fans is, this is quality simping content. All right. This is very quality simping. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, the Duchess of Dutchness says, Runkle name change Legolas. He is an elf. He is. He Legolas. Is. Legolas. He, he, he received or the wristband. Or Logolas also is, is an option. Oh, my gosh. I love them both. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we need a uh, poll in the chat. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Which one like should a it be? We'll let him know later what we're, changing, what, is, what we're changing his channel name to. He owns exactly. it, though. He owns it. He likes it. He does. He does. He really does. Um, Britt Cormier says, morning, all. Welcome to the trial that ate law tube. <laughs> the number of channels live covering this trial today is amazing. There are oh, many yeah. did options. We, did we have more live streams today? Okay. I think so. I think uh, so. I did a pre-pre-show. So, because, I mean, I'm in a different time zone, so it's, it's easier for me to do a pre-pre-show, and I'll be doing that. Through yeah. this week, I know a lot of people are doing lot later ones, and there's a lot of lives here. And, and frankly, it's great that you can hear so many people's different opinion on this because everybody has a slightly different take. A lot of us are agreeing, but there's a lot of different takes on this, which is great. Yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. Um, Tarsirian says, "Can you go? Can you forego cross as a tactic?" Yes, you can. If if cross examination, like if if on direct, there really wasn't anything that is important for your case to go over. That is a that is a massive power play to say we pass on cross. That basically signals to the jury we don't give two craps about this this witness right here. They weren't important. Disregard everything that they just said. <laughs> That's like the island manager, right? I thought they should have passed on cross their herds team because there was nothing there. And also when you've got resource management like we've been talking about in this case, it might be that you think a direct later on, especially from Depp's team, is going to be more useful than Cross. They're not skipping Amber Heard Cross, by the way, folks. No. Uh, but, no. but they might skip somebody else's. Yes. Yes, exactly. So that's not one that I would that I would skip. But some of these these other other people like Ben King, maybe I, I would have also maybe maybe skipped the cross on for him if I were it's the Amber island Heard manager me. that jumps out at me because um she it was especially was so aggressive <laughs> it was it looked horrible and you didn't get anything at all of yeah interest. yeah yeah exactly um green thumb says am I a really bad person for being wicked excited about this day seeing Amber Heard on the stand and watching her squirm just makes me happy no I don't think so I think I think I think we're all excited to see what's going to happen with this direct and then with the cross examination. Yeah, we, we're we, yes, we're, we're intellectually interested, right? And if it happens to have some some kind of interesting things that happen, that's just all the better for it. If you want to feel better about yourself, otherwise everybody's excited about this. Where are we a going? And why are we in a basket? Yeah, a little a little shot in Freud never hurt anybody. Yeah, uh, uh, shot I mean, in Freud is what I live on. In case anyone could tell, <laughs> this is a big surprise. Things you already knew about Kurt, folks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Mildly Soper says, bought muffins and grabbed a mega pint of sweet tea. That sounds Woot. perfect. 
That sounds perfect. Um, random soup, random Souk says question. Spidey caught AH contradicting herself in a testimony. Can she be charged with perjury? Also, I sent you a DM about shrooms and psychosis on Twitter. Well, uh, in a different context, that's quite the second sentence. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Um, so I've, I've got to, I've got to double check in there. I've, I've been trying to go through my DMs on all the different platforms during, during the, the this week long break. Um, but I haven't RPA. been able to Is see this everybody. Where you get to say you can't imagine answer. you have a lot. So I mean, uh, <laughs> what have you been doing? I, I know, like no one's a been lot. interested in trying to reach out to me. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yes, yeah, as far as perjury is concerned, check out the asked and answered videos. Um, but I, I haven't seen Spidey's video yet. I know I, I need to. I, I told him that I was going to check it out, and I haven't checked it out yet. I'm sorry, Spidey. <sighs> but I know, perjury. I know it was a, it was a banger of a video. Um, from he was really excited about how it turned out. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely going to have to check that out, but can inconsistencies are going to come up on cross. So we'll see, we'll see which ones they decide to pick out. Uh, grow max is legal mindset. You changed so fast. Hoodie. Awesome. Oh, I was wearing the hoodie for my pre-stream. I was wearing the hoodie to go in on those Karens for long lumber. And I, um, that were blocking, you know, Ian Runkle, Lawn Lumber, and DY guy. Then I quickly changed into a suit in like three minutes. Oh so, my god! Uh, nice. I, I I choose to believe that you like had the suit underneath, and you yeah. just like threw off the the sweatshirt, and we're like, now I'm ready, like Superman style. <laughs> I wish, Andrew but the lights in the phone booth and tears off his hoodie. Yeah, do <clears throat> <laughs> like the, spinning the around. The hoodie is back. the hoodie is in my fridge, guys. It's in my fridge. <laughs> A refrigerated hoodie. Awesome. Yep. Uh, Meryl Vandenherk says, so happy trial is back. Any chance you're interested in a lay guest with trauma psychology behavior knowledge? I'd love to join the conversation. Possibly. I've got a lot of folks that are, that are asking to, to join in on the panels. Um, and I need to, I need to be very mindful about, about the number of people that, that I bring in because a lot of times when we get like, you know, nine or 10 people on here, everybody wants to talk and people are like, like, I don't know who to focus on. Um, so, um, so I, DM me, DM me or email me. Um, and then I'll, I'll see, I'll see what, what we can do. Um, Sabine R says, I have rewatched the whole trial during the last week just to catch up. I have no wow. life right now. I told my mom I'm at court. I can't communicate. Uh, is- you are in meetings. Always yes. works. You're in meetings. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, and this is essentially what I've told everybody is like Monday through Thursday, not a chance in hell. Can I talk to you on the phone? Um, you know, un- unless you are a, a very limited number of people, um, but otherwise, you know, maybe Friday, but probably Saturday, Sunday is most likely. And this includes my mom. Sorry, mom. Hi. I love you. Wow. <laughs> That's hardcore. <laughs> um, Just Melanie focus. fan. I mean, but she, she did see the first week, um, of, of trial. So she, you know, she, she, she understands, she understands, um, what's going on there. And we do have a visual now on, um, on, oh, whoop, there we go adding that so we do have a visual on the court Ooh, and oh man look at that it's a desk it is a desk it is a, a desk of so, has arrived. yes Excellent. muffin has arrived moving the muffin down and there we can see everybody perfect the magic of the muffin um also running water thanks so much for the very generous super chat Ooh. mega pints and popcorn ready bring on the cross i know we'll see we'll see if we can if we can get the cross here right <clears throat> um, I mean, well, we will, but just what time? <laughs> <laughs> Melanie fan XOXO says, That's good nice. morning, everyone. We back at it again with day 16. Back at it. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. Um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth DiBiagio says, I have no idea how I found your channel, but I'm glad I did. I've been on a maternity leave and watching live streams to catch up. Keep up the great work. Awesome. Congratulations awesome. on on maternity leave. Um, I hope everything goes well with that. My sister-in-law is due probably <gasps> just about any day now. And so I'm 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 expecting to hear about another another niece to add to the niece slash nephew team. I basically have enough to run a run a full baseball team at this point. Um so very excited to hear about that. But anyhow, um any day now, any day now. Um but uh, Elizabeth, congratulations to you as well. Uh, Law and Lumber stepping in the courtroom now. Give us a wave. We saw that earlier. We're gonna have the chance. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I hope. I hope we can see them. I feel uh, like. I feel like distinct. we'll be able to pick out. We'll be able to pick out Runkle at least. Runkle for <laughs> sure. <laughs> You'll Runkle see him, for sure. Right. I think so. I think so. Yeah. And he's got to be sitting uh, next to Rob, unless they had a falling out in the line. I mean, I no, they were very. Intimate. They look so buddy buddy. They I mean, were very I think intimate. they're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> There's Amber Heard. Okay. It's an interesting blazer. What is look. this? Is she? Is this a Mao look? She literally looks like Chairman Mao. Yeah, like, yeah. I was, I was thinking like Doctor Evil or something. Yes, like, yeah. Doctor. Oh my God, it's Doctor Evil no, today. You, you literally that—that is called a Mandarin collared outfit. Like that. 
Wow. And it's buttoned weird. Oh, she, no. She, why is oh, and she's going for $100 million. Oh. <laughs> why, is, why is she only have – what the hell? Okay. Oh, no. Guys, okay, real talk, real talk. Let's, let's go in back the chat. to talking about fashion people, in court again. People, 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 people in the chat, people in the chat, folks that are making memes, please, someone make, make a, Dr. a Dr. Evil, Evil meme of her with this look and, like, $100 million – Please and upload it to the Reddit, uh, the, the Legal Bites Reddit page. Please, 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 uh, do me a solid. <laughs> because... My goodness. Oh man, why? Why? All right, can, can we see anybody back there? Okay, this I... is also where I where I hawk my my video on courtroom fashion, guys. I uploaded yeah. that over the weekend. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, maybe I'll have to do an update after this trial ends because there's still there's still. Uh, you know, a lot going on there. Anyhow, you think uh, um, you think Rob went up to the team and be like, just so you know, I'm licensed in Virginia. In case you need a need a need a pinch hitter, I'm a uh, I, if Camille saw any of these streams, she's already got a TRO on Rob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I researched so every billionaire real estate developer in Florida to try to get some facts, and I still haven't pulled any data. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Mia Miller says, I miss you guys. Alita, drop your hair routine. I will actually tell you, I, I am I am very fortunate that I don't do much to my hair. I have a, a great hairstylist that I trust um, that, I've, that has been doing my hair since high school. Other than that, I'm not trusted to do anything else because I have killed my hair before when I've been left to my own devices. So I basically <laughs> wash I, I wash it, I shampoo it, I condition it, and then I let it air dry usually. Um, so that's that's basically it. I'll like add some stuff to it, but that's about it. Um, uh, Raul says, "You realize how big your channel is getting." <laughs> I it is it has been it has been it has been a wonderful ride. Thank you so Speaking much. Speaking of which, before we get started on trial day, Alita is at one hundred and eighty-five thousand subscribers now. Two hundred K. Let's trial, do it. We thought we could get her to 100,000 subscribers. Obviously, she's blown right past that with content you can't find Damn. anywhere else. But if we can get her to 200,000 subscribers, I think that's some kind of Oh, there of they are. By the way, do you see them? I see them in the corner. I see Runkle and I see Rob right next to him and I see DUI guy. I do so see like, Runkle. Tiny, right by that second portrait from the left? Tiny just Runkle. Just below it. Yes, I see Runk. Root. There you go. I see them. Woo! Hey, Rob. Hey, hey Ian. Hey, DUI, yes, thankfully his DUI silver guy's first name. I can't remember. Do you guys remember DUI guy's first name? I, I've met him once, and I'm so sorry that I that I forgot. No, I don't. I don't. Is it Greg? Him. Yeah, he was on one stream for like ten minutes. I don't. I, know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I am so sorry. He's not really part of the YouTube may you uh, the law team may you. He needs to integrate. Well, he's yeah. We've got to we've got to we've got to pull him in more. We'll, we'll, we'll pull him in. We'll pull him in. Our tableau. Our <laughs> tableau. <laughs> oh, Larry. He's, 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 Larry. he's a law two pro. Larry. Larry. Law two pro. We'll see if we want. Okay. Thank you, chat. Chat yeah, is paying more attention than we are. Been. I'm so sorry, Larry. <laughs> if you're watching, if you watch Larry, this at a later okay. time, I'm so sorry, Larry. <laughs> now I've got it. I will never forget it again. <laughs> okay, Heather Long, thank you so much for this very generous super chat. Uh, she says, thank you, Legal Bites and guests. Thanks to Hogue Law for his headlines and hangouts and so much more. Salute to Lawn Lumber and Runkle of the Bailey. You guys are fantastic. My only, uh, I think, question is, what are you looking forward to most in this week in testimony? Cross. I am looking forward to seeing mm -hmm. how much Amber Heard is going to be able to keep up the consistency of her portrayal of herself um, or how much that's going to slip and when, if uh, if, if that's going to slip. It's hard, um, to, and to, it's hard to not use the word story, isn't it? <sighs> like every time I, I talk about it, I, I want to say, you know, how, how she keeps up the details of her stories. I'll yeah. use like, the word well, That sounds I'll, like I'm I'll already assuming, but I guess I am a little bit. It is. It is very true, uh, for sure. So, and then, and then also, just to, I, I'm very curious to see the strategy that Camille Vasquez is going to use in her cross examination, mm -hmm. because that is going to be crazy. Um, Matt Hagen says, "How did SNL oh take this trial and make it n a not funny skit out of it?" Oh, that's another thing that I that's that I terrible. need to. I need I need to check it out at some point because I know folks have, have talked about it. People said it wasn't funny. Others it's have said funny. it was funny. They, they, no. they can't be funny. They're not allowed to be. Funny. No, no, it's not. It's not funny. It it it, it tries a little bit, uh, but that's really and SNL's it, goal at this point in its life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the answer to your question is the third funny. word of your question. That's what I say. Yeah. <laughs> Popcorn Planet did a really good recap of it and like okay. how it was terrible. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's not good. So I've got to I've got to watch it at some point. I'm sure. I mean, it's got to be what like a five minute clip or something. I've got to find some. It's like six, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe maybe it'll be a waste of six minutes of my life. But mm -hmm. I've enough people are talking about it that I feel like I should probably check it out. 
uh, Maybe Karen, if we had a certain um, subscriber girl, we could all re- you guys could reenact it as like yes. law tube, but like make it funny, we'll make it actually exactly. funny, yeah, exactly. improve yeah. it. That'd be funny. Yeah, I got some, yeah. I got some comedy chops. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Kurt as Amber Heard. Good morning. Yeah. Bang on time as always. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, and also, guys, keep your keep your volume on so that I can adjust everybody's mics. Yes, yep. the fun part you of stream yards. Yeah. Mike. I'm gonna go do the preschool hey. run, but I'll be back later. Okay. A little sidebar okay. to start. Everybody feeling good after that? Si- sidebar to start the day. Oh. Your preliminary yeah. matters. Yes. Handing out massive redacted documents. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about the. Uh, fact that my, I know that my mic is super hot right now, so I'm trying to trying to be quiet. <laughs> You're allowed to be the loudest, Elite. It's your channel. Yes. <laughs> well, should, we should only be half as loud as you. <laughs> okay. All right. That should be good. And then I'm sorry, guys. Everybody's going to have to turn up their volume. <clears throat> oh. Okay. To hear all of us now. But I think yeah. everybody else is adjusted. So. Yeah. So you lowered us all to hit the court volume right exactly exactly right. so that so that we'll be able to hear that in a balanced kind of way um karen decides to cross amber today go vasquez taking applications for vasquez cheerleader crew yeah um so i think i think it's more likely to start tomorrow morning but we'll see what happens with this direct right it's it's all based on how long how long miss elaine bredehoff decides to take with the direct examination when the Vasquez um, also, crew is still going to get to see the lightning objections, presumably. So, yes. I mean, oh, yeah. she's still on objection duty. Yeah. Yeah. Objection. I don't know what's going on with this feed now. But... Uh, this is their network broadcast center. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Interesting. No. I don't know why for me it's coming in like through one ear. It might be hard. I mean, Johnny Depp is already in the courtroom. Maybe they're just, like, re-showing it while they're... Oh, this is Amber Heard's side. (laughs) Why are they showing this? Unless, oh, there's Amber Heard. We saw Sky before the break. um, People are booing her. Do you hear that? They're booing her! Wow. And then showing the the comparison. There you go. (laughs) Yeah, there's a great, there's a great chance the jury missed this for 10 days, right? Yeah. There's a big difference, guys. (laughs) You had reggae as your court walk-up music. Congrats. Fill in your bingo card. I love that. Tell the difference between the two clips. Can anyone spot the difference? I no, actually, it's it's a very very subtle difference. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's that's pretty funny. Uh, Karen decides it's cross amber. Oh, okay, already got that one. Um, K Bragg says, just saw Legal Mindset for the first time. His stream titles are legendary. He ended me <laughs> with his Amber Heard's dangerous P. Yeah, check out that video. It's a great one. It's a great one. That's a great stream. <laughs> Um, you know, it's a danger of a lot of people who are like Amber Heard because Amber Heard is not the only person who is like Amber Heard. <coughs> that is also true. Um, uh, Melissa Rosario says Rob was called by Bose versus the world, YouTube the wood poppy. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's interesting. I like it actually. That could be an interesting channel name as he continues searching for the one they'll stick. <laughs> oh, he can't change I, it now, he already locked I think, that I in. Think I changed mine. Yeah, I think he's locked- I think he's locked in with with Law and Lumber at this point. Yeah, he's, he's done. He, the only thing he could do is he could add Law, Lumber, and Lines because he did line management today, and he's yeah. very good at line management. Andrew, I, I think it. adding lines to the title of your YouTube channel might be taking the wrong direction. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. Law. Hey, he's not the Miami attorney. I think I'd be in more trouble for that one. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, Night of Anna, Night of Me <laughs> says I love your commentary. Thank you, and I also appreciate your uh, uh, your uh, your 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 reference here to Monty Python. I appreciate that. Anyhow, if I can if I can actually get it out, <laughs> Corbin Garrett says, did Vasquez review Amber's testimony line by line? Probably. Yes. That's that's what's going to happen. We're gonna watch here. This again. Uh, do we, do we know what guy is doing? We do yeah, not. I'm not so sure. Let me let me just double check here that we've got. Okay. Make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. Chat uh, is saying we have started. She's taking the stand. Sky is letting us down. Come on, Sky News. What's going on here? Oh, Lord. Come on, Lord. Still under oath, okay? Okay, there we Thank go. Thank you. Right. Next question. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> okay. Amber, when did the first act of physical violence by Mr. Depp occur? Objection, asked and answered. No, overruled. Okay. Sandy, it would have been early 2012. I'll address it in a bit. And how did you determine this? How did you determine it? I reviewed my therapy. Objection, notes. hearsay. Oh, yes. I, 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 she hasn't even answered it, Your Honor. All right, I'll allow the answer. By reviewing my therapist notes. Objection, objection right. hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. There you well, go. That's very it's helpful, not offered judge. to prove the truth of the matter asserted. It's, I know. It's explaining it's very much what, off what she looked at. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I'll sustain um, the objection. I said, sustain. I said what I said. When did you earlier did believe the first act of physical <laughs> violence occurred? Well, I had always believed um, up until recently that it was, it had started later, um, that the violence started around early 2013. Um, early 2012. Now, you testified earlier that the first act of physical violence by Mr. Depp related to the Winona Wino tattoo. Do you recall that testimony? I do. Okay. Is that, does that change your testimony realizing that this is earlier? Was this, in fact, still the, the first act? Objection. Really? Like the foundation. Uh, sustain. She's changing your testimony. What was the, what was the how first act? How to change Objection. Her asked and answered. Sustain. Sustain. Did someone uh, did someone talk to her during the break? Mm -hmm. How do you remember Maybe. the first act of violence? Uh, well, you never forget it. That's how I remember it. Yes, you it did. You just said you forgot your it. Life forever. You never you just forget said the first you time someone it. hits you like that. Only I just had the date wrong. Ago. And. How did how is it that you think you got the date wrong? <clears throat> Objection calls for speculation. Overruled. Um, I'm embarrassed to say I think I would have liked to have believed that the period of time in which I had to fall in love with Johnny, in which we fell in love and he was sober and he wasn't violent to me, lasted for a lot longer than it did. I think I would have liked to have believed that. I I wasn't hit so early in the relationship and still stayed. He was also sober for a period in 2012, which was a peaceful time for us, in which we fell in love. So I she, I kind she of got her dates wrong last week. myself, I guess, last uh, week. That's to forget what correcting. that the beginning of that period, 2012, before he got sober, was was really violent and chaotic as well. I, I I'm embarrassed to say that. Now, you mm. testified that the police were called multiple times. Other than the May 21, 2016, what other occasions were there where the police were called? They were called in December of 2011. They were called in 2012. Uh, they were called uh, in 2013 in March by the landlord. Um, they, I had sought advice from Laurel Anderson as to whether I should call the police. Objection, the hearsay. Sustain. Okay. When you filed the domestic violence temporary restraining order, how many acts of abuse did you allege at that time? Uh, I gave 
the last couple, I believe, uh, last two uh, incidents, maybe three. And why didn't you tell of all the acts of abuse at that time? I was following advice from my counsel. Okay. How many instances of abuse were included in the UK trial? Uh, there what? were 14 acts of physical abuse and violence and three acts of sexual abuse. Violence. And why were those 17 included in the UK trial? Uh, well, I was not a party, um, a direct party. I was a witness, so it was whatever their counsel, uh, the Sun Council chose. Okay. When is the first time you were called upon to provide a detailed accounting of as many times as you could recall of physical and sexual abuse by Mr. Depp? Objection hearsay. Mm. I don't, that's not hearsay, Your Honor. Mm. I'm asking her when she was called upon to do well, so. Well, the objection is hearsay. Right, but it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted, and it's just asking for date. All right, overruled. Thank you. Uh, a few months ago, February in 2022, this year, um, was the first time I was asked to, to do so, other than in cold in the deposition. Okay. And when you were asked to provide those, what did you do to be able to prepare that accounting, that full accounting? Well, I had the benefit of my therapist. Objection, now. hearsay. So, uh, uh, Your Honor, she's not saying what the therapist okay. said. I'm just asking. I'll overrule the objection. Thank you. Go, go ahead. I looked at my therapist notes. I had the benefit of those notes, which we had received in February, uh, as well as I reviewed calendars, photos, text messages, my journals, my diaries, um, of which there were many. I put all of those together. It took a lot of time. Um, to be able to, you know, adequately refresh my recollection and fill in the details uh, over the course of the five years we were together. That's decidedly and not contemporary. What did you do when you put that all together? I, um, I kind of filled in uh, and, and collected all of these various pieces of information um, and gave a fuller account as best I could uh, for each uh, incidents of violence that I had record of. Um, I think it was called an interrogatory. In this case? In this case. All right. Excuse did me. you sign that under oath? I did. Okay. And it was provided to counsel for Mr. Depp? It was. Okay. Uh, and was it a pretty lengthy document? It was far too long. And Sorry, how is it that you didn't just down. remember all of those events like this? <laughs> That's... That's not how your memory or my memory works. You know, we were together for five years, almost four and a half. And uh, it was a very violent, chaotic, at times very loving, emotional uh, uh, relationship. So as, as anyone can imagine, there was a lot going on. And uh, unfortunately, the violence became almost normal, especially towards the end. It was just, it, it, it's, it's hard to even, it's hard to say that now, but the violence was almost normal. And, you know, your brain does with trauma what it does, puts it away best you can. So I was, I was, um, frankly, I was shocked to see um, a lot of the information presented to me um, through my therapist notes because she was taking them. Objection, in your honor, hearsay. All right, I'll just say her objection. Okay, we'll, we'll move past the ther what the therapist said. She's her. already trying okay. to explain her memory. Now, there's one more. You also provided a declaration the last time in this case stand. early on. Do you recall that, trying to move the case to California? Yes, there was a declaration in 2019. All right, and did you describe some of the events Nick, of violence in tweets. that declaration? Objection leading. Uh, what, if anything, was said about violent acts in that declaration? Three. I was taking the advice of my counsel. We had to, it was to get it moved, I believe. Okay. And, and was there, uh, did you include all of them? No. Objection leading. Uh, Thank and, you. No, I did not include all of the incidents of violence. That was not the point of making this declaration. I, we were making this declaration in effort to move it to California because as hard as it is to go through this sort of trial um, as it is, it's even harder to do so in a place that neither Johnny 
nor I are connected to. Okay. Now, you testified earlier uh, about Why? guitars, and you said you've never played a guitar. Uh, have you ever played a guitar player in a movie? You could say I posed with a guitar. Uh, okay. I, uh, it turns out I am an unteachable. <laughs> okay. I have no doubt. Um, I'm, I'm going to take you to the tape recordings. Why did you and Mr. Depp start Bullshit. taping each other? Well, at first it was not at first. It was meant to be a um, a way to get to the heart of our some of our communication issues, uh, in order to do to, to discover in a therapeutic fashion, kind of what was some of our issues in our communication. Okay. Now we heard an audio tape earlier during this trial in which you said the word couch repeatedly. Can you please explain to the jury what that meant? Yes. Um, Laura, we'll see. Couch was a word that we had been uh, given that we decided upon rather. Um, Objection hearsay. Just tell me what, tell us what Mr. Depp said about this. Uh, that it, it was a safe word. It was meant to be a safe word, like a what? word, uh, like truce, uh, where you put down the proverbial guns and you say truce we're not fighting anymore couch was supposed to be that sounds like that complete bullshit to me you uh, use so that we use as a truce i don't want to fight not like anymore. pineapple you win let's, <laughs> let's stop this that was the Is mention of couch which you heard earlier in a recording i don't want to fight any like like muskrat now, and what if any fuckers? discussions like, did you have with mr depp about uh, threatening to divorce each other or threatening to leave Objection calls for hearsay to I'm the extent it for, calls for misheard statements. I'm asking for discussions with Mr. Depp. Still her, just tell us what Mr. Depp said. Don't tell us what you said. Oh, okay. All right, Elaine. All Can right. you repeat the question? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So what did Mr. Depp say in your discussions about the use of the term threatening to divorce or threatening to leave each other? Objection leading. Yep. Overruled. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, Johnny would always say... Uh, the only way out of this was death. But in fights, in, in particularly heated ones, uh, we had found, you know, we were using divorce in the fight, um, in some of our heated fights. Uh, we tried not to, um, but that kind of deteriorated after the December incident that I got beat up pretty badly in. And after that point, it was used a lot more often. Okay, that sounds like bullshit. No. March twenty sixth, two thousand fifteen. This is after the, well, the uh, first Australia trip you know, and after the staircase incident. I'm going to ask Michelle, can you bring up Dep Exhibit three seventy one A? This is a tape recording, and it's going to be at one minute one colon zero one to two colon two nine. You say that times again yes it's uh one colon zero one to two colon two nine and if we could i, I don't know whether you had turned up that volume i know it's what? hard to hear these is this an evidence already um th this I, i'm moving it into evidence your honor but these are the tape recordings between the two which i think we had agreed is there any objection to 371a your honor if you just give me a moment to okay, confirm sure. there's no other voices It's not in evidence, Your Honor. Okay. So, could you please confirm that there are no other voices? This, I will confirm that. Okay. This, right. and it's Depp's exhibit. Right, it's Mr. So Depp's exhibit. Plaintiff's three seventy one A. Then, any objection? No objection. Okay. Three seventy one A in evidence. If there's other voices in this, oh my God. Yeah, that we would get a sidebar. To, Sammy, if I could just uh -huh. if you listen, we may need to turn that Some volume down because so your control is a little bit better than what knows we have. On this tape recording period. So one would hope. Yeah. I am. Um, I see somebody who's changing all of this into a version of a person that I recognize for a brief moment. And then he slips away. And he disappears. And then I get a different version of him. I get the insecure, scared version of him that lashes out in a different medium every time. So if it's Adderall Junkie Johnny, then he's abusive and he's a bully and he's a tyrant. 
he's mean, he's reactionary, and he's incendiary, and anything I do and say is cause for violence or anger. If I speak to him honestly, bluntly from the heart, I'm yelling at him. If I argue back with him, then I'm abusive. If I don't say anything, then I am uh, dismissive or absent or it's wrong or somewhere else. If I engage with him, I'm part of the problem. No matter what I do in thought, because if I look at him the wrong way, he's a problem. If I say the wrong thing, God knows what it is, I'm the problem. I'm the problem. That's the guy who's on a bunch of fucking speed. What did you mean when you were saying that to Mr. Depp? Uh, that... That's an entire thing no matter to my perception was that it's, no, it's no matter what I did, door for hearsay no for matter testimony. what I did to de-escalate, walk away from him, to confront him, to try to, nothing I did made a difference. Nothing I did changed his rage at me. Nothing I did changed the violence towards me. Nothing I did calmed him down. And I was constantly doing a juggling act of what kind of version of Johnny I was dealing with. There were different versions of him and they were drastically different from one another. And even more so than them being different from one another, they didn't even sometimes remember what the other version did or said. They acted almost like independent versions of this person, depending on what combination of drugs and alcohol he was on. That's what I was trying to express to him. It's just the futility of me responding and successfully and the futility of trying to constantly negotiate with him uh, and, and the substances he was on at the time. Kristen, I'm going to take you to normal. April 15, 2015, yep. the premiere of When I Live My Life Over Again. Uh, what, if anything, did you do for that premiere? I believe that premiere was in New York City. It was a small independent film I, I shot. I went back to New York to uh, attend to the premiere. Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 421, please? Running Water, thank you so much for your very generous super chat. Does this thank accurately you. depict the scene portrayed in this picture? Yes. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 421. Any objection? No objection. All right, 421 in evidence. May we publish, publish to, the jury? to the jury? Thank you. Amber, could you please describe for the jury what this picture is? Uh, that is a picture of me a, a few months, I believe. This is April of 2015, so it's a few months after the March incident that happened in Australia, uh, early, yeah, early March, in which uh, Johnny held me down on the countertops and my arms were cut on the glass. Um, and, and in that we, attack. And if we could draw attention to your arm there, uh, are those scars? The, what what uh, are those? Please describe for the jury what those are. Those are scars that I obtained while Johnny was um, your arm. strangling me and Let's assaulting me on now. the countertop in Australia. Okay. Those are scars. Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 423, please? Yeah, Ben King attested to those. Yeah. And does this accurately portray the scene shown? Uh, yes, that's uh, so Hold on a second. I'm going yes. to move the admission of defendants 423, please. Patty Joe, no you objection. Can see 423 in evidence. You can find them on the Fairfax Thank County you. website. Oh. There's a link in the description to um, to that. You can find all, all right. of the and filings. Please describe for, to the jury what this, this case, shows. including the attorneys involved. Uh, it is a picture of me on a red carpet. Um, you can see my scars. Um, even though I have makeup on them, they're a bit harder to cover. We've seen it. Because they're well as... rather fresh. So the makeup doesn't cover scars? No. That's the direction you're After going? this, in April of 2015, you returned to Australia with Mr. Depp. Did Those you not? Don't like last names either. Objection leading. Overruled on that one. Thank you. Uh, yes, we did. Okay. And, and tell the jury about that trip. Well, after... After... Johnny was able to get 
clean off of the coke and the other drugs enough to get the hand surgery he needed, there commenced a period of time of sobriety for Johnny. He, uh, his doctor had fired him and then came on when Johnny agreed to get clean. Objection, so hearsay, non-responsive. Uh, don't, don't say what, I mean, we've already had, Your Honor, we've already had the testimony from Dr. Kipper, but don't say what Dr. Kipper did, just, just tell the other part, just don't say what somebody else said. Okay. So there was this period of sobriety after that um, and Johnny was very committed to being clean and sober. And I thought we had finally done it. We finally did it. We were through it and it, we were never going back, meaning it was he was gonna be clean and sober for good this time. And we had a wonderful period of, you know, we fell back in love or deeper in love than we were before. It seemed if things were so good. We were talking about a future again. We were talking about having kids. I, I mean, when Johnny wasn't using, it was so peaceful. We uh, had such a, not, we had a good time together. We went back to Australia like that in that state and had a few months. We even had my parents come and visit us in Australia. And we were talking about babies and about buying a, a farm and, you know, buy, looking for homes in California. And we were in a really beautiful, peaceful period. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Now, how did you, did you stay at the same place that you did the earlier time in Australia? We went back to a very remodeled version of that home. I mean, remodeled, very cleaned up version of that home. Uh, same walls, same structure, but looked a bit different, as you can imagine. How, how did you feel going back to that home, given what had happened in March, early March? You know, the... The home, the home isn't the problem. You know, you're, if you're living in domestic violence, you don't just not go home. You know, you don't just not go into the kitchen just because you were slapped in that kitchen. People living in domestic violence live in their homes. It, it's, that's almost, you know, the home isn't the problem. That's the normal part of your home. And for me, you know, Johnny was my home. Where we were a couple was my home. Um, and that home was often really violent, but it wasn't the, the structure itself. It was Johnny. And when we went back to Australia, that home, Johnny, was in a, a completely different, you know, he had done a complete 180, clean, sober, present, calm. We were peaceful. I mean, and any of the, the gripes and the problems that he seemed to have about me, um, went away when he was sober. And Jeez, so we had a really, we, we managed to go back to that same house, but in a very different way. It felt very different. June 16, 2015, the Magic Mike tour. Where did you go for that tour? While I was in Australia, I got the call for that press tour and went to Europe for the press tour for that movie. And, um, you know, I was nervous because problems arise when I'm having to work, when I leave. Objection, non-responsive. Well, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Hey, Michelle, Michelle, can you thank you so much. Very, very generous of you. I'm going to ask you first, does this accurately portray the scene depicted? Yes. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 447. No objection. 447 in evidence. You can publish. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Michelle, if you could zoom in just a little bit closer. Amber, could you tell the jury about this picture? Uh, yes, that's me on the red carpet um, promoting the Magic Mike movie I was in. Um, you can see the scars on my body, on my arms. Okay. You can't see everything, of course, but. Okay. And D Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 449? It's interesting that they've got the arms is the main thing here, since they don't look like random glass and, cuts and to me. Does this right? Not at all. To pick the they look like portrayed? they all just line up. Uh, yes, it does. Like self harm. The admission of defense. People were saying self harm. Yeah. No objection. Right. Four four nine in evidence. Published. And Amber, could you please describe to the jury what this portrays? Uh, this is uh, 
you can see the scars on my arm from that attack. Uh, also around this time, um, it, Johnny was calling me on the on the phone before and after, you know, while I was doing these press events. And sometimes I would be on the phone with him, um, kind of managing accusations about why I didn't pick up sooner, didn't text back sooner. And um, sometimes I actually on this tour many times uh, had to delay getting out of the car or- Objection uh, non-responsive. I was gonna say, this is all non-responsive. I'll, I'll ask there, how did Mr. Depp react <laughs> to your going on this press tour? Uh, he, he was very upset with me. I just remember crying on the phone with him a lot and having to hang up to do, go, do press events. All right, thank you. Now, I'm gonna take you to the Southeast Asia train trip. That was your honeymoon trip, correct? Yes, it was. Okay, and that was July 25, 2015? Yes, now, it was. Okay. <clears throat> Michelle, I'm going to ask you to bring up Plaintiff's Exhibit 162. It's already into evidence. Now, Mr. McGivern testified that he took this picture in July of 2013. Would you agree? Objection with that? misstates prior testimony. I, that's exactly what he testified to. Uh, it was it wasn't. It I, wasn't. I have the transcript. I, let's talk about I it then, I guess. Sidebar, so it's Mr. McConnell. <laughs> is, that, is that correct? Uh, I believe, I, we didn't get I believe on Malcolm the Conley took this on on the Eastern, I mean, on the Orient Express. Oh, I just, Conley, Conley not Conley just got out of I believe it was Malcolm on that trip with us, yes. Okay, and was it in 2013 or was it 2015? It was in 2015. Okay. July. Um, and... Please describe, if you can, what transpired during this trip. Well, the uh, the train trip itself uh, was was peaceful um, up until Johnny wanted to start drinking brown alcohol. He had already started drinking champagne when I returned from the press tour. That's what he was he was drinking wine and champagne. Um, and um, when I, when he wrapped on Pirates 5, the plan was for us to do this honeymoon. I, you know, was walking a bit on eggshells because I know a pattern, but I was not wanting to accept that it was, that we had gone back um, to a pattern at all. And so we were on this train uh, and on the last night we were on the train, um, after this was taken, this photo, um, Johnny and I got in an argument about him wanting to be allowed, meaning wanting him, him wanting me to agree to him drinking, um, liquor, uh, and being okay with it. And, uh, an argument followed that in the, um, in our, in our sleeping car. Uh, Johnny, uh, slapped me across the face and held me up by the, kind of got a hold of my neck and pushed me up against the wall of the um, cart. Uh, it was a small and narrow sleeper cart and there were two beds, one on each side. He had me up against the wall um, while he was standing on the floor in between the beds. And I was on the bed kind of half kneeling, half standing, trying to get his arms off my neck. And he was squeezing my neck against the railway car for what felt like a very long time and every time he kind of would pull me away from the side of the car he'd slam this me up against new, my, right? I mean, slam me up against the wall and i remember looking down at him and That's trying cool. to get his arms off of my neck uh and i remember thinking that he could he could not even mean to kill me you know i remember being scared that he wouldn't even mean to do it and kind of looking down at him because I was uh, slightly above him uh, as he was standing on, on the ground and um, kind of clawing at him, trying to get him to, you know, his arms away from my neck. Um, I remember I had, um, uh, at one point, he ripped the top of my shirt. I don't really remember what it was, but I remember I had a breast expo exposed. At some point I um, pull at his lapel of his shirt and he rips the shirt off 
of him and wraps it around my neck. And um, that's how I woke up the next morning. Actually, I woke up with it still around my neck and with um, a giant knot in the back of my head. Did you keep a diary what? at that time? And you didn't mention yes, this I last did. time. Michelle, you can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 461? So, so she was choked unconscious. Because of this, and this is brought up because of this photo. Did this photo circulate online? Objection is that what happened this last week? I don't know about this photo, but... Uh, it, it, it is a diary, Your Honor, and I will just ask her some they questions tried to about get it in, rather but because than of trying the dates, to admit it into evidence they weren't at this point. All right. Uh, um, I'll wait for the question. Go ahead. What, if uh, anything, do you recall about recording what transpired on that train? Objection hearsay. I'm just asking her whether she did. I'm not asking what she recorded. All right, I'll go ahead. Overall. I wrote about what happened that night, uh, the next morning. No, wait. Thank you. Now, was did Mr. Depp suffer any injuries on that trip? Not that I saw. I have a lot of pictures from that trip, and he's uninjured. Well, good. Let's Thank see the you. pictures. You can take that down, Michelle. Thank you. Hey, Taylor, now, that's part of the reason. I'm going to keep you in July of 2015, and Michelle, I'm going to ask you to bring up Depp Exhibit 390A. It's a recording, and I'm going to be asking about from 3 colon 30 to 4 colon 12. I'm going to move the admission, Your Honor. It's another recording between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd. Okay. There's nobody else in it's there. Plaintiffs, what number was it? it it's plaintiffs. It's uh, 390A. Okay. Any objection to 390A? Um, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Okay. Hi. Not allowed. Not supposed to talk to her. May we approach? But it okay. does seem that way, for sure. Uh, it, Gromax says, wait, of... wait, is this cross? They found flaws and cover it? No, yeah, I, I did see some <laughs> folks in the, in the chat asking if this was a redirect because it's like, it feels like a redirect. It is, uh, it's got that feel. But no, this is, we're still very much in direct examination here. The, this is this is 10 days of them looking at media and looking at and trying to cover their ass. Do any objection then? little issues. No objection. Right. Did you play guitar? Did you do this? Mm -hmm. but is that the right year? Yeah, yeah. Memories, why are your memories Sorry, messed up? Earlier, whatever. It's fine. Here. It's secretive. Oh, it's deceitful. You already fucking. You got. You had trouble with me before when you said to me that you didn't feel like you were told when I was recording you. So please stop. You, uh, you didn't. Please tell stop. Me. You did not. Um, please stop. Fucking acknowledge what I'm saying before you keep making demands. You are not a school okay. teacher. Shut okay. the fuck up. Don't listen to up. me, and then you can fucking respond. Understand? You ain't nobody's fucking mom. You ain't no school teacher. Don't fucking pretend to be authoritative with me. Okay, fine. You don't exist. Leave it on. What, what were you discussing in that call? Um, we were discussing uh, whether or not it was all right uh, to record each other without the other's permission. And... Uh, Johnny said it didn't matter anymore. The requirement of, of, of that permission That's a good from me. I was trying to say, hey, we agreed. Okay. Let's go to August I don't 2015. Her, her Please describe what that was. your relationship with Mr. Depp in that I don't think it mattered frame. what it was. They just wanted to get Johnny yelling at us. You said August? Yeah. August 2015. Uh, August 2015 was a very difficult time following the brief honeymoon we had. Uh, uh, it, Johnny's use continued, well, started again is a better way to describe it. And lo and behold, so did our disagreements, uh, coincidentally, not, co not coincidentally. Um, I got an offer to do a job, which was already a problem or problematic. Um, I was considering working on a, a TV series that had James Franco in it. I was asked if I would meet with the, the, the people who are making the show. Objection, hearsay. It's not offered for Benjamin, I'll check it. Matter, so Over, thank you. And um, so I was considering taking that job 
and it, it, there was a possibility it would require brief nudity, um, which I knew I would have to negotiate down, but uh, obviously that was a problem for Johnny, didn't want so me to painful. do that, didn't want me to work. And, um, and, and frankly, I needed to. And uh, there was another film I had coming out that I had previously shot, it's called London Fields. It was a source of a lot of fighting between us because of the sexuality in the role uh, it was a constant negotiation between myself and the filmmakers. They made a film and Johnny heard, told me that he had heard about it, was unhappy with some of what he had heard. He was unhappy with me having done a sex scene in it that he claimed I didn't tell him about. I did not actually film the scene he was speaking of. Um, he demanded that we watch the, a, a screener of it, which is a, a like a, a version of the film before it's released. We got one sent to where we were at the time, Johnny Chateau in France. It's in a remote part of France. And once again, we're in this remote place and we're screening this film that I appeared in. And there was a scene, a sex scene in that movie uh, that started um, before um, Johnny freaked out uh, because it, it looked like me. It, it, they had used a body double uh, un unbeknownst to me, without my permission, they used a body double to do a sex scene. So I have an incredibly jealous man who already uh, is upset with me for breaking the rule that I had a sex scene. On top of that, I'm telling him it wasn't me. I didn't shoot that scene. And you can imagine um, how upset he was. He was um, irate and was calling me a liar, a whore, among other things. And we had this that combined with the fact that I had even entertained doing this job that involved James Franco was a, a, a pressure cooker. Um, I called it a week of hell uh, later. I, Objection hearsay. Overruled. I, um, Johnny at one point um, slapped me in the face in our bedroom in the chateau that we were staying in. Um, at another moment, he uh, punched me across the jaw uh, at one point, um, he kind of either pushed or, or, or threw. It's hard to describe to you which of those two it is because I, I, I can't tell you. I just know I went flying into this old church furniture. Uh, I later thought I had a concussion. Uh, it was the first time I thought I, I, I had sustained a concussion. Um, and that's, I wrote about it later. Now, did... Did there come a time in this time frame that you found a folder on Mr. Depp's computer? Yes. What was it labeled? It uh, was on Johnny's um, opening page, his desktop. It said, no fun for JD, in all caps. A and what was in that folder? Uh, it, was a pic it was a collection of pictures of me from various red carpets, starting on the press tours that I had been on. Um, where it zoomed in pictures of what he thought was, you know, like inappropriate clothing, side boob, cleavage, anytime I moved. Objection calls for speculation. Yeah, All right. Thank you I'll so much. I'll sustain as to okay. what she believes it was. Okay. What pictures were in that folder that we have seen today? The ones I saw of the uh, kind of rose gold, gold dress and the red dress were both in that file. <clears throat> Now, what, if anything, did Mr. Depp Are they gonna produce this? say to you or ask you this? about how you got those cuts on your arms? Nothing. What, if anything, has Mr. Depp ever said to you or asked you about any injuries that you've sustained over those years? Johnny's obviously never asked me how I got any of those scars. Because he has nothing to do with them. D did you ever witness Mr. Depp self-injuring himself uh often he did that often please tell the jury about that what did he do? i first started um uh i first started i can't tell you what i told my therapist but um i almost called 911 in new york in 2014 august of 2014 i believe um, because I thought he had done himself an injury. He often in fights would 
cut his arms um, or hold a knife to his chest or um, draw blood superficially, superficially at first, but uh, later, like in 2016, especially as our relationship was ending. Um, oh, he also put cigarette, cigarettes out on himself. Um, he I mean, flicked them at me um, and once or twice tried to put one out on me, but mostly he would do it while screaming at me. Uh, he once did it right in front of me, screaming um, at, at my face as he as he put the cigarette out on his cheek. So we should have pictures of that. Yep. Now, I'm going to September 15, 2015, and, and Michelle, if we can is bring this up a photo that accurately Deb represents that. Exhibit that plaintiff's exhibit yes, 345A. This is another audio recording, and it's 5 colon 5 This is just you testifying to yourself again? To 7 colon 5 5. I mean, you green them cross like the next after this done. direct any of you doc that's when they'll document have a chance so closely. How do we not have a cigarette? Picture? No, objection. That happened. in evidence. Thank you. You can play Michelle, please. Well, he's going to pour you one. I'm not alcoholic. You should. I don't have any control over how much you drink. But you don't have any control over whether I tell you the truth or not. Have you changed lately? Yeah, you've changed. All right. Well, your truth is really interesting too. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm so the I first person that's one, noticed. Please, so I can go downstairs. Okay. Yes. You're a skate route. I see. You want to skate? Do you got oh, minutes? of course. Fifteen minutes, just like last time. Fifteen. Just like last time. When you, I had to pull you out of the bathroom. Well. When you passed out naked in the bathroom in there. Did you pull me out? I tried to. Really? Yeah. Oh, did you get inside? I didn't get inside. Well, how did you try to pull By me? pounding on the door and waking up every 15 minutes and then falling asleep next to the door oh. so I could hear you snoring. In case if you vomited, I could call EMS if you ever stopped snoring. Could you if I, could, I, I thought you would choke on your own vomit, which is very likely with you. Really? Yes. Very well, I vomit a lot? Yes. Do I? Yes, you do vomit a lot. In your sleep? You do not. Really? You, oh, it's news to you? Then this is affecting you a lot more than I thought it was. <laughs> I'll be here so good. I hope. I hope so. What? You don't vomit a lot? Are you going to tell me that? Mm -hmm. yeah, I tell you don't vomit. Please explain to the jury what the issue was in this particular tape recording. Well, <clears throat> Johnny at the time was um, wanting to go and uh, drink uh, downstairs at a bar. And um, we were talking about 15 minutes because the last several times he had done that, it had been days. He'd disappear on a bender, get really sick. And you know the drill by now, having heard enough of, from me. Um, so another issue that we were having at the time or that he was having at the time that affected me is that he would pass out and vomit and vomited very, very regularly at this stage. He was obviously drinking again. I'd given up fighting with him on that at that stage. And what I had a habit of doing is uh, turning him over onto his side so he doesn't choke on his own vomit. Um, it's very common for people who do that to asphyxiate, at least that's what I understood. So the advice I got was to turn him to his side, put a pillow underneath his back and turn his, his head so that he didn't asphyxiate. And uh, one time I was doing that and he swung at me and um, I told medical and the advice, after I got their advice, I realized I can't say what the advice was, but after I got that advice, I stopped doing that. I tried to, as much as I could leave him uh, and just be ready, ready to call 911 or help if I heard him choking. <clears throat> Uh, and sometimes that happened behind bathroom doors. Andrew, we'll well, and that's going to take me to September 27, 2015. Again, Depp, that's Plaintiff's Exhibit 
A, and the recording is 3107 to 3230. I'm going to move the admission, Your Honor. Any objection to that? No objection. All right. 36, 356A in evidence. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. Michelle. Thank you. Why? And that you punched me in the You're fucking right. thing and you, you in the face out. and you said, no, oh, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you lie. You. And then I, I didn't punch you, and by the I, way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, no, you've been a lot of times. Bringing now. this one in on their own. No. Okay. Yeah. No, when you fucking have a closed fist. Drawing sting. What? I suppose. Sorry, I hit you like this. Sting's already but been stung, though. I did stung, not though. punch you. Yeah, that's what I did not Johnny. fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. you I don't know what the full oh, motion no, of my actual hand oh, was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your I, toes? I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, that's the difference you between me zone. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical fights? You are such a baby! Because you, the fuck off, because you start baby. physical fights? That is... I wow. not helping her. We did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, well, she's gonna we did. she's gonna she's testify right to being reactionary, right? Thing. Something yeah. that lines you know, up with you. Probably. Probably. I'm sure she's gonna explain it away, but still, Every damn, damn. Time, what, 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 no, I don't know that I would have introduced this myself. <laughs> We're weeks away from still being admirable, right? Just by running away. Sorry, Amber. Amber, please explain to the jury what's transpiring in that audio recording. What that's about. Well, there's there's two different there's two different situations that we're referencing in this fight. Two different altercations between Johnny and I involving the door. The first of which, which we first start talking about, where I'm talking about hitting him. I am talking about uh, the what that conversation is about is about the disparity, uh, uh, this, the disparity between Johnny and I in our physical fights. The disparity of how he would proactively punch me and I would have to resort to reactively hitting him. Right. I am Told talking you. about Bingo. the difference yep. between a punch, yep. which Johnny did often, and me having to hit him in my defense. That's not what that conversation said. Andy. I know no, the difference between those two and I'm highlighting the difference between those two, even if he wasn't twice my size, they're very different. And that's what I'm pointing out to him. Mm, no, okay. The situation that that involved, the context of that is it happened in our bedroom in, the in, in Penthouse 3. You've heard us talk about that place. And I was trying to shut a door, our bedroom door, actually. I was trying to barricade myself behind this door and Johnny was trying to get through the door. He what was using his body and his limbs to try to bust through the door Talk as I was trying away. to keep it closed yeah. because I knew it was going to be running back to me. You're such away. a baby. Yeah. And I was hitting his arms, uh, his, men should, his arms, men his should body. Be accepting as he was trying violence to violence against them. You're such a baby for To prevent me from closing the door. You have an explanation for that uh, one, Amber? And that is a, a separate incident that we later talk about in the second half of that recording where we're talking about my toes. That involved a different incident which was a bathroom door. And it was one of those ones that he was passing out in. And I could hear him passing out or what it sounded like to me behind a closed door is passing out. I heard a thud, I heard a lot of commotion. I heard a glass break. And I hear what sounds like his body uh, falling against the bathroom door. I open it to check on him as I was accustomed to doing at that time. Johnny, violently reacted to me opening the door, pushed it against me. It ran up over my toes and he angrily came around the side of the door, swinging at me. I in naturally pushed the, the door. Part of the conversation where you say, why do you run away all the time? The I'm sorry, this is complete. And bullshit. also to the awareness, the knowledge 100%. that he was coming for me. Johnny later um, denied, well, later he blamed me in his inability to understand what happened in that he was not in his right mind and he misunderstood that interaction and tried to blame me for starting a, a, a physical fight between us. And he even later went so far as to say, I wasn't even going to hit you. And um, that was the, that was the second door. I only can, I, I only could respond by trying to take accountability for my actions in it, 
what he understood my actions were and my no interpretation of what I'm trying to say to him is, to? look, I can only do my best to respond. I was in pain. I was scared. And I can't promise you that when I'm scared and in pain, it, I won't react thinking I know very well what our situation is and what's going to happen to me should I not react. Uh, thank you. So, okay. Let's, and how about play the another baby, clip you from that same that, that might have been the discussion. That might have been the moment and you lost all credibility exhibit, completely five, with me. I don't, that was I'm using that in my clothes. I'll tell you what, from Giant Dubs team. From 1 that colon 29 colon 27. She says she ran away, but then she came back and called him a baby. Colon 07. Exactly. And I'd like to move the admission. What a terrible, terrible okay, answer. A no terrible question, answer. Honor. All right. 356B in evidence. Thank you. Well, I don't even bring that up, Elaine, if you don't have a better answer ready to <laughs> I can't promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I fucking sometimes get so mad. I lose it. I can fucking promise you I'm going to do everything to change. I promise you I'm not going to go around divorce. I will not say divorce unless I leave. Unless it's it. And then I hope you leave me. I'm not going to. If you need to, I will leave you. It's fair. I can't do it, you know? And I think, honestly, if we hold each other accountable to that, it's fair. Please explain to the jury what was going on in that part of the discussion. Nasty. Thank you so much for your generous that, super chat. That's the same conversation um, where I am, as I was accustomed to doing, I'm taking as much responsibility uh, as I had to in those interactions. I have to, much responsibility you know, as I had to in my about, relationship right? with Johnny and as you have to, when somebody will not and cannot take any accountability for anything they do in a fight as Johnny couldn't and wouldn't. Um, I took on as much as I could for myself. Describing herself. Um, you know, I had the whole relationship been blamed for everything, for his drinking, for him hitting me, for everything in between. Blamed for walking away, blamed for staying. And I blame myself as well. Um, blame myself for my part in it. Wait, blame myself for staying. Blame okay. myself for putting up with it. And frankly, at a certain point, it's easier to take the blame feels easier it's you it didn't almost feels better to take the blame for something than to accept the senseless nature of the violence you i mean that's true end. but that's not what's going on here you know there's <laughs> almost, almost more reassuring to, much much to take accountability like for gaslit. it yep than to well, accept how it feels yeah the senseless nature i keep trying of the to give the benefit you can't of the change no matter what you do no matter what i did no matter what i did still hit me Kevin, I think I think recently it's going to start on Tuesday. October 5, 2015. I can't promise I'm not going to hit exhibit, you. Sometimes I get so 393A. angry. It's another recording. What? 2 colon 40 to 3 colon 43. Move the admission. Yep. Their strategy is to no bring objection. in all these all right. terrible audio. Well, I mean, you got to try to explain it away. I appreciate the strategy. I appreciate what they're trying to do. It's just like, no, this, this is, is the Death Star exploding. They don't scene. know. None of your friends, <laughs> what they a saw a tiny fraction. That was the tip of an they're iceberg. The tip of an iceberg. That was my reaction to yet again this happening. That is the tip of the iceberg. And if you want to use that as some sort of like mental excuse or validation of of whatever, of telling your friends or whatever they think or whatever they think about me or whatever, fine. But they only saw a tip of an iceberg. None of your friends Let me ask and you a none of this team have actually been there for one of our fights. They've never oh, actually that's seen. Right. That's really? Right. Have they been in the hallway? Yeah. They've have they seen? <laughs> Baby, that is absolutely not true. They have not heard everything. Nathan because could fucking you, quote us. Great, he can pull a part of it, but he has not been there. No one has actually been there for a, a, a fight in its entirety. No, how could they? No, exactly. So stop using that as some sort of excuse like this. They, they know they work for you or they're your friends. That Please explain oh, to me what you were discussing in that conversation. Um, Johnny would often use the fact that his you know, paid employees, his loyal staff would back him up in fights and that they would, he would constantly threaten to call them in to validate him. They threatened to call them to come into the room to have them back up 
him and say that it was, you know, that my yelling or that I'm, I'm at fault, that I'm in the wrong, that it's all me. And he would do that in, in almost all of our fights, especially at 2000, by 2015, that he would call his friends and he'd call his staff in to, to back him up. Um, so oh, that I knew that. and would accept that I'm at fault and that I'm at, I'm wrong. And that was, you know, what I had to agree to over and over again, just even hope that we could have a conversation at some point in a more therapeutic sense so we could move the conversation along. Um, that, that was his MO, if you will, and he'd call people that work for him to back him up. That was brought in entirely. I'm going to take you to Thanksgiving 2015. Could you was, please just tell the jury, it. and we'll go through this one relatively briefly, but tell the jury about Thanksgiving and that any altercations you had with Mr. Depp on that occasion. That's it's very leading. But sure. uh, Thanksgiving 2015, we had friends uh, over. Uh, Johnny had Marilyn Manson over, and I had Ooh, a few of my friends bingo. over. There. Take a shot. Bingo. He's on my bingo card. And, um, Not your bingo card. Maybe, um, some, maybe my father. I'm not entirely sure how long he was there. Sam, we'll talk about. We had this. dinner together. We'll talk about um, Johnny uh, was disappearing with Manson, um, doing coke. This objection was, calls for speculation. All right, I'll just sustain you, that objection. How, how do you know he was disappearing with Mr. Manson with coke? Um, <laughs> it, what? What? The, what? That's what how I knew their relationship at the time. Objection calls for speculation. Oh, I'll sustain you. Thank you. Nice so he, he got up for a longer period of time, um, <laughs> not the normal every five minutes to go to the bathroom <sighs> time, but like he just appeared for a long period, longer period of time. And at this stage, I was really um, dependent on recognizing the patterns of what he was. I was reliant on trying to figure out what he was on, what combination he was on. So I knew how to deal with him. It was incumbent you know, on me um, because it affected my safety, dealing with somebody who was really high, dealing with Johnny high on Coke and, and speed, meaning Adderall or some version of that is different from the opiate Johnny, which is different from the booze Johnny or a different combination. And there was talk of quaaludes at the time and Johnny was trying to get it from- Objection, Your Honor, not responsive. Quaaludes now. I'll sustain the objection. I want to use quaaludes in quite a long time. So I was- it's like Wolf of Wall so Street. I, I wanted yeah. to know what I was dealing with. It was from important the to my safety Your Honor. to know with who Objection, I, non-responsive. I think- I, That's why I followed him. To, okay. to, to, to All the, right, Your so, Honor. So what did you I'll do next? next? I'll sustain the objection. Next question. What did you do next? I went upstairs right. to the apartment, the main apartment, not the apartment that we were celebrating Thanksgiving in, uh, to try to figure out what was going on. And we had an argument that took place downstairs and I said something to provoke Johnny. I went up the stairs ahead of him um, to get back to the party. Uh, he grabbed me at the top of the stairs, kind of through the stairs actually by my shirt. Um, kind of flung me a little bit, but I, I just remember I went into the bedroom, kind of retreated into the bedroom. Uh, I had, had a glass of wine in my hand at the time, which spilled everywhere and shattered. And I kind of retreated into the bedroom. Um, Johnny came in after me and there was this um, heavy, like vintage style glass can, uh, de decanter. Uh, he picked up the decanter and hurled it at my head, my face. It missed, uh, thankfully, um, but smashed into a piece of art behind me in the bedroom wall uh, above the bed. I um, I got uh, past him. I think there might have been a, a bit of shoving. I can't really recall and the sequence of when that happened. But I went. I wanted to go back downstairs, and uh, I past my closet, I had to change my shirt. And um, I went back downstairs to the party to finish the evening out. And I put on a, you know, a, a, a face and we finished the evening with the guests and then more fighting uh, happened after afterwards. So we talked about December 15, 2015, last Thursday, uh, and also the Bahamas over the holidays. Um, but I, I did miss one picture. And Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 518? Amber, does that accurately depict the scene portrayed? 
Yes, it does. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 518. No objection. All right, 518, Defendant's in evidence. You can push. And this is from December 15, I believe. Could you just please tell the jury what this depicts? Yes, so it's um, a picture of my Bruce Temple um, and Johnny Eddy's hand on, my, uh, on part of my face with my what face down. What Bruce Temple? Um, I don't and, see no um, bruises. I was punching my head. Us. Yeah, I'm repeatedly punching my head. That's from repeated That's punching my head. That's in my temple. Thank you. Okay. Now, we That's went through the Bahamas before, and you returned She's from never the Bahamas been punched sometime before in late stuff. December, early January. Yeah, and it's like right? maybe there's something light there yes. if you tell me okay. a story about something light. I'm going light. to take repeated you to January, the February of 2016. No. I don't think so. Can you no. please describe to the jury what was going on with you and Johnny in this January time frame after this December 15 and the Bahamas incidents? It, after the Bahamas, um, Johnny's sobriety uh, fell apart. There was just none of it. It was, um, uh, so he stopped communicating with the medical team that he had hired. Objection He's, calls for speculation. Kai, okay, they can um, do it for Amber too. Uh, I was there. Um, they fired him. Objection. Calls for opinion. hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, without telling what the medical people did, go ahead and tell what was going on with you and Johnny. Um, yeah, his, uh, his his mental health, for lack of what it looked like, his mental health is just falling apart. Is what it looked like. Objection. Calls for speculation. I'll, I'll, sus I'll, I'll sustain the objection. What did you observe that led you to believe? That his mental health was falling apart. That was objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. You can say what she observed. I'll sustain the objection as to leaving. Nice. Next question. What, if anything, did you oh observe God. about Mr. Depp's uh, state? Yes, that's it. Stop. He was hallucinating. Nailed it, Elaine. Auditory. Objection calls for speculation. Back to speculation. I, uh, How do you know he was hallucinating? Yes. That goes to yes. his How mental state. Yeah. Please your tell the jury exactly what he was doing that led you to believe he was hallucinating. Objection, no, leading. No, no, no. Leading. What, if anything, was God. Mr. Depp doing oh that would have led you to believe he was hallucinating? Same S objection. Sustained. Objection, speculation, sustained. leading. Sustain, sustain, sustain. Please describe what Mr. Depp was saying in January Better. 2016. Don't be. I, uh, he was talking to people who weren't there. Those were completely legitimate. Meaning people who were not in the room. He was communicating with people and sounds and voices that weren't there. I know because I was sometimes in the room and sometimes on the phone with him. And he would tell me I had a conversation with him that I did not have. He would say I said something that I didn't have. He would comment on somebody being in the room behind me that wasn't there. What did that take? It was terrifying. That was it was mess. terrifying because you know once he, he smashed a board right next to my face. And it was unclear to me whether he was even mad at me had. or he was convinced that the guy he said he saw me with was in the room. I didn't know if he was in, if Johnny felt the man was in the room with us or not at that point. But I remember he, he put his fist through a white, a whiteboard in the kitchen. He hallucinated right in front of me. And objection calls for speculation. Don't use the word hallucinate. Just describe so what led you to the Your Honor, objection. I'll sustain, I'll sustain the objection. Yeah. She can yeah. testify you to what she observed. can't know if he was hallucinating. It goes Thank to you, his Your Honor. Please tell state. what you Your Honor, may we approach? Okay. Yes. 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 Damn. yes. Please. Yes. yes. You yes. can't yes. know yes. that. Later. Thank you. Damn. I feel like, Your Honor, she needs to move on from this entire line of questioning because she clearly is is wanting to say hallucinating. She clearly is is speculating entirely here, and this is very damaging. And so Elaine is directly to move on from the line of questioning. Her counsel is literally not understanding what sustained means yeah. at this point. Yeah. Apparently not. It's and, not. And, it's not hard. Yeah, and Kai. He might Kai, be talking really to people that's not there. Maybe it's because he's hallucinating. Maybe because he likes. Maybe he's acting out a part. Maybe he's doing yeah. a, a some perspective dialogue. He's and Kai, a this is not good strategy. I don't know. How do you know question. what's going through his not mind? Not good strategy. Um, I observed behavior from him that was erratic, rational, and didn't seem connected to the reality that we we're in. Uh, now, I'm going to take okay. you up yeah. to the beginning of okay. February of 2016, February 8, February 9. Please tell the jury what transpired. Well, I've arrived in 2016. Yeah. Yay. Congrats, everybody. Uh, Can we made around it? this time, uh, Johnny was, again, um, behaving in a way that was very scary. It was terrifying. Um, and Can't sometimes he didn't that. know. Uh, Objection calls for speculation. I think she can describe what she's, what are you, are you describing what you're observing? Yes. 
Please, okay. and please continue. Uh, that's not um, to unilaterally do that? In these kind of <laughs> discussions I would have around this time, early uh, February of 2016, uh, sometimes in the argument, he would accuse me of something. Uh, some person in the room with me that had just walked out or I was hiding, for instance. And sometimes he would hold on to that even when he seemed to have calmed down or come off of whatever bender he was on. And it was almost as if I had to confront what he, what delusion he had or what belief he had or what accusation he made of me um, in a new fight altogether. You know, sometimes he didn't make it clear to me whether he was mad at me or he knew he was mad at me. It was terrifying. Uh, because I bore the brunt of it. And at around the 8th or ninth, I got, we were in his suites or compound, the West Hollywood collection of homes that he has. And uh, I got some cryptic texts from him in the early morning hours that scared me. I won't say what I said, but I, I came over to his main house. I believe I'd been across the street and I slept on the couch. We had some interaction in the morning, which made me fearful. He didn't know whether or not, I was fearful he was going to believe that he was angry at me, even though we weren't fighting. I wasn't fighting with him. I, I had done nothing wrong, but I was really worried that the momentum he was on was going to click into a direction of deciding that he was mad at me and I deserved it. And I was terrified that that was going to happen. So I was, I had an interaction with him and got really worried about that on the morning of the 10th. All right, Michelle, I'm going to ask you to bring up defendants exhibit 638. It's already admitted in evidence, Your Honor. And this is from February 10, 2016. And I'm going to ask you to play it, Michelle. <laughs> Sorry. That was a super chat laugh, not a question okay, laugh. Oh man, she's totally in fear that she's about to get hit. Let me tell you, I could just yeah, see the cowering and the fear it's yeah. about to come to her. Uh -huh. Oh, yep. She definitely looks like a woman who's been abused many, many times. Let me tell you. She's moving out of the way. Of the <laughs> Nothing happened to you this morning. Yeah, you're right. I just woke up and you were so sweet and nice. We were not even fighting this morning. All I did was say sorry. Did something happen to you this morning? I don't think so. Oh my God. No, that's the thing. You want to see Paige? I'll give you something. That's Paige. We're back to the mega parts. Oh, yep. This is actually the origin of the mega parts. Have you drunk this whole thing this morning? Oh, you got this going. Oh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Really? So he sees the camera now. That's he sees the camera recording. As I would be. The rest of it. Of course, they, they, they cut it off. Smashing shit. I think we just switched to Amber camera. Okay. <laughs> there, oh, there we go. Show us that laugh, Amber. Show us the smirk. There it is. Yep. Tell us about your smart camera. Why did you videotape this? Pinch and Amber. zoom, baby. Let's go. Because I knew he wouldn't remember. Objection. My answer is speculation. It is speculation. Rather than what you knew, you can say what you thought. Just tell us why you. I was afraid. Yeah. No, you were scary. Weren't. It's scary. Scared. No, scared you weren't. Remember, objection calls for speculation. Yeah, no, I, I, I sustain the objection. 
All right. So I'm going to now take you up to April 21, 2016, your 30th birthday party. Um, that video is still a good piece of uh, evidence for them, but it's not as good as it used to be. With respect to mm -hmm. in particular, Mr. Depp. Um, he, <clears throat> uh, at that time we had a, like a fitting that day or the day before and he missed it and he was kind of disappearing at that time, um, like at night, um, vaguely saying like meetings, he had meetings, but then he'd be gone for sometimes like two days and um, just not coming home and that sort of thing, coming home after a bender. Calls for speculation worse. as to bender. I don't think that calls for speculation. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. He's gone for two days. Go ahead. And I um, had my my birthday was coming up, and it was, I, or on my birthday, I said, well, you, you know, you gotta uh, make it to my my birthday party. We had a dinner planned at, at our penthouse. I said it would be important to me if you if you made it. Objection. Hearsay. Not offered to prove the truth of Overruled. the matter. Overruled. Sort of Thank you. And. Uh, he uh, told me at some point that day that he had scheduled a business meeting or a, a money meeting, I think he said, maybe uh, seven, uh, which is around the time my birthday was planned for. It might have been planned for 8 p.m. Um, he, Of course, once my party was starting, he wasn't there. Um, text me at some point to let me know that he was going to make it, but that he was running late. Um, and that continued throughout my party. We finished dinner and um, we were cleaning up and kind of everyone was still leaving because we were waiting for, to give him an opportunity to show up before it was, before everyone left. Um, and he, um, he let, me, he let me know he was there. Um, you know, I, I, I tried to, without saying what I said, I tried to give him the impression that I wasn't going to get on him about drinking or anything. I just wanted him to be there. And uh, we had uh, a toast. We uh, did a, a celebratory toast. Um, and the guests left. And uh, later that evening, um, we were in bed and um I was I had a book and Johnny um effectively said what's 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 your fucking problem now and uh at the time we were getting advice from therapists without saying what they said um it was important for me not to make him feel attacked uh so I chose my words carefully I won't say what I said but I rem I remember being very careful about how I worded what I was feeling um, about my birthday and ha him having missed it. Uh, an argument um, followed that. Uh, I um, got up out of bed. Um, Johnny's side of the bed was closer to the door than mine. I, I remember him blocking the door, blocking me to get out, kind of shoving me down and we had a, you know, a verbal argument. And then that became a shoving match. I tried to shove him back. Um, I kind of felt myself retreat into the into the bedroom. At some point, he um, picked up a, a like a large, I guess it's a Magnum size, not a normal size, a large size a bottle of champagne, and hurled it at me. Um, this time, it went through a painting, and I, I loved this painting. I remember it just went like right through the canvas. Left a giant hole in it. And you took a good choice of picture. And um, I'm thinking we shouldn't have art in our bedroom anymore. Ha 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 ha. Random details. Uh, the the fight, the argument, the fight continued into the salon area, which is and that's gotta have our a picture. bedroom at the top of the stairs. Johnny picked up my phone. I don't know why. Uh, I don't remember what he was saying when he did it, but he picked up my phone and threw it out of the open window of the salon area uh, out onto the street, out onto the downtown street that um, this window overlooked. Uh, in that moment, I, I, I went, oh no, you don't. I saw his on the countertop and picked it up and threw his immediately, like two seconds later. 
Um, I didn't so want both to be your stranded, phones are on the street now. Uh, this time alone, meaning I didn't want to be the only one stranded without a phone, which had happened to me already several times before this um, from Johnny. So I picked up his and phone. And when I threw out well. the phone, he started beating um, me again. And oh, wait, no. I said that I wanted to go stay somewhere else for the evening. I left that room, went into the office. Um, we were still screaming names at each other and screaming at each other. And uh, I walk around the side of his desk and um, the next thing I know, he has me by the hair and he pulls me down kind of, I hit the side of the desk. I remember things flying off of the side of the desk that, that I hit with, with my body. Um, I remember trying to fight him off of me. Um, at some point, uh, we're back in my, my main bedroom and uh, it's my I believe I was getting my toothbrush out of that bathroom. And uh, when I came out, we had another shoving match, but this one, he kind of like, I remember he chest bumped me in this like bro -y way, chest bumped me and fell to the floor. And when I got back up, he kind of held me down by the shoulders down on the side of the bed, kind of held me, um, wrestled me down on the bed. I remember I got up once or twice before I ended up on the bed and he grabbed me, um, did this thing that he did sometimes when he taught me, grabbed me by the, um, the pubic bone, pubic area. And just as best I can what? describe it is he kind of just pushed me down, held me down by it and kind of pulled me into it and um, was, okay. Ask, he was asking me, kind of taunting me, asking me if I if I thought I was so fucking tough. You're such a fucking tough guy, huh? Are you so tough now? Look who's so tough. You want to be a man? Tough like a man now? That ha happened for a, a bit of time. I, I'm not quite sure. How, um, I think at some point he left. I remember at some point shortly... After that, I, I remember he was still in the apartment when this happened, but I remember kind of collapsing on the floor and being exhausted. It's just, I, I remember feeling exhausted and crying and kind of throwing in the towel, if you, if you will. I, I remember saying to him, just, can we not fight like this? Like, can we start over? Is there anything that we can do? Like, this is really messed up, but can we just not do this, please? Can we stop doing this? Just don't leave. It's my birthday. Let's just, let's, let's just call it couch. Let's call it truce and not have it end like this. I don't want to have it end like this. I was just so tired and hurt. And I remember crying and feeling ridiculous that after this, I would be crying and saying these things. I'm, I'm embarrassed Trump. saying it now. Um, it's Trump. He responded. Uh, there's going to be enough time, Marie. There's, cruelly, there's be enough he time. told me it's what I fucking deserve, and that I'd wake up every, I'd wake up alone, um, and that no one would ever love me because all of this pointing to my face or body, all of this was going to go away. No one would ever love me, or my tits sag. No one would ever love me, and I better get used to waking up alone. Um, and he said, this is all my fault and what I do, what I asked for. And he left, I heard him come back in, uh, the downstairs, you know, you can hear the door slam. I remember hearing it open and thinking, oh God, is this going to happen again? What's going on now? Um, and, and, and then shortly after I kind of peeked around to the top of the stairs where you can kind of peer into the lower level. And I, uh, I just see him briefly, momentarily, and he just screams at me, happy fucking birthday, mm. and stormed out. Uh, at some point, I walked down the stairs and uh, saw that he had also uh, left me a note to that effect. How did he leave a note for you? I, I don't I, It was written on a piece of paper, as best I can recall, but I'm not sure. What notes usually are, yes. I... <laughs> So then the next day, what did you do? Um, I texted, actually, I took, well, I can't say what I texted. Um, I woke up this, uh, that morning, the morning of my 30th birthday, 
and um, I woke up to my best friend crawling in bed with me um, and putting her arms around me. What? And uh, I remember wondering how she got, how she walked in um, because there was a lead glass on the floor, just lots of glass. And um, she put her arms around me and showed me a birthday video that all of my friends, my childhood friends, all of my loved ones made. Of course, stupidly, the first thing I asked her is why Johnny wasn't in the video because it had been recorded before. It had been recorded sometime before it was clear. Uh, and she said um, that she'd been asking for a few months and Johnny- was Objection, saying, Your Honor, hearsay. Uh, uh, to prove the truth. All that. right, I'll overrule, go ahead. Um, and so I, um, I, I, I I pa we eventually we got out of my bed and um, grabbed a few things and uh, the got, the ba got the dogs um, left for for um, our plans, which our plans had been to go to Coachella, which is a music festival that happens in California. Um, and that had been the plan for a while that that's how we would go and celebrate my birthday. And I'm, I remember, you know, um, as I, I'm accustomed to doing just trying to move through it, move on, and remember in vain trying to put on a brave face and have a good time, even though it was impossible. Let, let me stop you for a few things. What, if any, plans were there for Mr. Depp to join you at Coachella? Uh, he was um, supposed to drive down, have dinner, um, stay in, in the room, maybe do some writing or something like that in the room. At Coachella? At Coachella, where we were. Coachella um, happens in a different part of California than we lived in. We lived in Los Angeles, and this happens about two hours, two to three hours away. Um, so I finally got my car back, and um, and I drove with my um, best friends in, in, that, in the car. And I'm going to stop you again because I just have a couple more questions before we go into that part. Uh, you said you brought the dogs. Who were the dogs? It's coming. Johnny's dog. Uh, you know, they got to set this at, up at the time. Boo. And then probably uh, my break. dog Pistol. We shared them. Um, they're teacup Yorkies, and I believe uh, Raquel, my best friend's dog, which is a mutt. Okay. What if any issues did Boo have with? Oh my uh, God! Back it's coming. Oh no! You know. Objection. Leading and relevance. <laughs> and relevant. And also it's definitely relevant. And Definitely Objection relevant. overruled. I want to hear she about this. She had eaten uh, Johnny's weed when she was a puppy and had uh, bowel control issues for her entire life, among some other issues. She was, you know, we re regularly had to take her to the vet to try to figure out, well, what was wrong with Did this you not dog? The poop? Um, never met Did a you dog. Not bother to clean up the It was poop? quite like this. Um, so she had some control issues, hence uh, why we would. She liked to burrow in the bed. She liked to be in the, you know, by the foot of the bed underneath the covers. And it was um, customary that they slept in bed with us, but Boo, Even with having the issues she issues, had, we have to customary. leave her in bed. She wouldn't be encouraged to, to, to go to the bathroom, um, which would happen almost immediately once you put her down on the floor. And sometimes it happened in bed too, but- No way. Um, so it's happened before. But yeah. <laughs> so what, if anything, did you notice uh, about any bathroom issues in your bed before you left for Coachella? Well, Raquel and I were both in, in that bed um, with the dogs, and I didn't notice anything, but we left them in the bed while we packed a bag to go to Coachella, you know, so that they didn't, so that Boo particularly didn't lose control of her about, or, you know, didn't go to the bathroom on the floor. So we leave them in bed until you're ready to take them outside to the patio, which is their designated bathroom break area and what if any plans were there how often did you have housekeeping at that time at your house um the housekeepers were there every morning or they came every day as far as i know okay now we'll, we'll get you to coachella but why did you tell starling jenkins that you had been involved in a prank gone wrong. Objection, hearsay, no, wait, no. leading. You got to finish the poop why, story. Honor, I didn't say what she said. Did I'll you in fact take him out to the balcony to poop? Did you poop there? Did you not notice the poop? Did okay. you commit any kind of prank? Absolutely leading. Not. leading, 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 Absolutely leading, not. leading. And 
And why would that not be something you would do? First of all, I don't think that's funny. I don't know what grown woman does. Yeah, I, Amber, I, I had the same question. Was Amber. not also in a pranking mood. I, what kind of grown woman does that? Falling apart. And then blames it on the dog. Um, at a crossroads in my life, that was really. I'm sorry, but we need serious, a photo and of I had it. just been attacked on my 30th Let's birthday. See the evidence bag. By just, uh, my sorry. violent husband, sucks, with whom like, I was desperately in love, uh, I knew I needed to leave. It was uh, not really a jovial time, and I don't think that's, that's why I continued period. packing for that's Coachella. Yes. And what, if any, uh, understanding did you have of Mr. Depp coming back to your bedroom I'm that night or the I'm next I'm still night? left with the, you didn't notice. Objection calls for speculation. I, I'm asking what her understanding was. No, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Did you, had you had any conversations with Mr. Depp about him coming back to the house the next day? No, Johnny didn't come back to that house. That was my, that was my, you know, he owned it, but that was my house when, when we were having any sort of problem. In fact, that was my house just 90% of the time because he just Weird. didn't come back. Weird to say that was my That house. was not a place that Johnny was going to be in, that Johnny was in, and he had stormed out on my birthday. And as per what we did, it was, he would go and stay at his West Hollywood home and I would stay at the downtown places. He wasn't going to come back to the objection calls for speculation. Yep. I, I think she explained her answer on no. that one. Which I'll she sustain just the last part. Okay. okay. Yep. Thank you. All right. So let's take you to Coachella. Um, who drove? I drove. Okay. And who was in your vehicle? My sister, my friend, Savannah, I believe, my best friend, Raquel, just my, my girlfriends. I, I typically surround myself with my girlfriends. It's my sport. Was there any occasion in which you were riding in the vehicle that Starling Jenkins was driving? He picked us up from Coachella in the evening when we, as a group, all were ready to leave. Um, that was the... Um, the day that we went, which was a, um, which was the day that I took MDMA and mushrooms at the same time, realized very shortly after what a horrible idea that was considering the state that my life was in. I highly don't recommend that combination at the time. So I didn't feel like being in a crowd. I didn't feel like being at Coachella. I had intended to try to have a good time despite what was going on in my personal life. And I realized that that was just not going to happen. And so I wanted to go home. I wanted meaning to be in a bed. I wanted to be, you know, I just wanted to be held by my best friend and watch a movie. And that's what we did. I didn't feel well and wanted to leave. And when you said you rode back with Starling Jenkins, was it just you or did you have other people in the vehicle with you? And when we left Coachella, it was my entire group. I wasn't ever alone with Starling. I certainly wasn't anywhere near him. I didn't have a conversation with him. I sat in the very back seat with my best friend next to me, and it was a whole group of us. Thank you. Um, you're on this. I, I don't okay. know. Which, this might be a good breaking. Point. All right, that's fine. Okay, ladies, let's go ahead and take our I morning need one. Uh, recess. You, do not Elaine. discuss the case with God. anybody, and don't do the outside research. We'll take 15 minutes, okay? I think I forgot what this was like, Alita. <laughs> <laughs> you know the thing is like usually you get like one or two nuggets for us to like mull over there is nuggets. so much that's a good, good word to use for this right now nuggets that's more than a nugget <sighs> i i i so sincerely want to give her the benefit of the doubt i think i'm i think that reserve is just about exhausted right, we'll, we'll just come back just about. 10, 50. Okay. All right, 10, 50. i want to give her the benefit of the doubt i think i'm i think that reserve is just about exhausted hey mike i just somebody got to have, hear myself a second time yeah somebody's got some audio on of the of the court <laughs> there we go there we go <laughs> oops oh, good morning man. Good morning, I'll Mike. call Boo and Pistol to the stand. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, geez, Louise. Let's enter into the evidence bag. You know. Yeah. So, um, we've got a lot of questions about. Um, yeah, that's not getting coaching, better. Coaching the witness over the break. <laughs> oh, they talked. They talked. Think? Yeah. Kurt, you're muted. It's like, how does she know how to rehabilitate her case? How does she know how to answer these questions? 
There's no know. way that she didn't talk to her lawyers between the break. Oh, yeah. If I'm the, judge, if I'm the judge right about now, I'm calling them up to the bench and be Here's like, a question, yeah, though. so did you talk or what? Do, do you think that Amber was the one that wanted to address some of these things, even though her counsel may have advised against it? I think it's possible because some of them are so random. Did you ever play yeah. guitar? It's like you saw that spinning around on social media. It doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then, yeah, and it's, a, it's an ongoing thing where it doesn't seem like her attorneys have her under control. Yep. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, in principle, I understand what they're trying to do. Uh, in principle, what they're trying to do is what sometimes lawyers call drawing the sting, which is where you want to mention bad stuff first before the other side does. And we saw this being done effectively with Johnny Depp because his own yep. lawyers, to quite good effect, Brought, went through his drug issues and and yep. medicine issues and all that stuff right so that when amber heard gets around to it like there's nothing new to be said right yeah, so this weird. is hypothetically what they're trying to do is like let's mention the bad stuff and let's put it in our frame first so that we can control the frame it's just that your frame sucks your frame. So, yeah, you, get, uh, and it, you get amber and to talk about late. it you're too late, too late. You're going back to revisit things before yeah, yeah. And so the jury is probably like, why are you talking about this? I don't understand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, also, Mineski, thank you so much for another generous super chat. It says legal yes, mindset. Yes, Bring yes. Out your I will definitely pint. chug for now. you with my one liter Korean beer. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Best two, 2001 can buy. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, wait, wait, yeah. did, did our, uh, did our lot tube maniacs get in there? They did. Yep. They did. They did. We, oh, saw them. we saw them on the screen. All three of them. Uh, They're hardcore. I was, I was cracking up from the Twitter last night with all that. I'm like, what are you guys doing? This was like, what? Nine o'clock last night that. or something. Mm -hmm. And, and they were, and here's the thing, Mike, they were like in the eighties at, yeah. at 9 PM. The first oh. people there were at 7 PM. No, 7 AM. My hat's off. 7 AM. Was it AM? Yeah. Of the previous day, yeah. Okay, yeah. That yeah makes they've it even they've been crazy. there overnight. I mean, I hope I hope that like some like that they were able to like take naps or something while in line or something like like they, like take breaks from one another. You know, I don't know. It's well, I saw Rob saying that he was bringing in a suit like the one that he brought, you know, back, and he was just keeping a place in line. I'm thinking you're going to suit up for this after not sleeping all night. Oh, he could not. No, 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 no. Hold on, change. hold on. He could not walk in there. If you saw the shorts he was wearing. They were like tortiously orange. He could not walk in there with that. <laughs> tortiously. Tortiously <laughs> orange. Oh, man. Oh, what do you man, do? Oh, Just man. bring a garment bag and lay it on the floor so you can change the, the bathroom of the courthouse? Yeah. I guess. I guess. That, that's well, your only option. You never changed in a bathroom, Kurt? Uh, I, I have before, but it's been a long time. Well, I will say a couple of things. Um, one... Uh, you know, we talked about stings and whatnot, and they bring in the hitting tape. Um, and, and we could talk about the details of the stories. God, we, we should talk about the birthday story at some point. Uh, but they bring in that tape that is her saying, I hit you. You're a baby. Why do you run away? All this stuff. And um, I'm right. I'm right at the edge of my limit here because they bring it in to have Amber Heard explain it to say, hey, this is why it doesn't it isn't actually as bad as that sounds on the audio. Her explanation is so divorced from reality. It yes. causes me to re-examine everything else that she has said both today and in prior days because it is completely in opposite to the audio we just heard. Um, so she focuses on little things like the toes um, and, and that, that kind of thing and ignores the rest and then tries to talk to you about an audio tape that you didn't just hear. And yes. I say, my God, if this, if this is the rest of what is happening here, then I, what am I what am I supposed to do? Because that yeah. seems to be so obviously to be, even if I'm giving her the full benefit of the doubt, and it's like, it's a lie in her own head, it's still like not what we just heard. Yeah. Um, and, and so then you hit me with the birthday story. And yeah, I saw the chat being like, I, I literally couldn't move my mouth. I, I'm, I, <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't fathom the direction that that took when remember, Johnny Depp testified to an entirely different night, like entirely different. Um, and so it's it's once again back to, you know, which which do you think sounds more likely at that point in time? And you're coming right off of an instance where I can have the evidence and your testimony and say, I don't care why you're lying. I mean, maybe maybe it's just mental. Maybe it's something that could get help. I, I, I don't want to just throw you under a bus, but I don't know why that's happening that way. But that is clearly not what that just said. And so here we are, 
Now, uh, the, uh, the second thing I wanted to mention before I hand it back to the panel is that we've got 40,000 viewers here 40, watching Alita and Amazing. Love Bites. We're just under 10,000 likes. We might be there already because that takes a refresh. But if you guys could like and subscribe to this channel, uh, I guarantee you if we proceed through this day, you'll get more of uh, uh, Hogue screenshots of ridiculous faces <laughs> yeah. uh, that you can, you know, do whatever you're going to do with. We've um, already, we've already had that. some golden ones. I literally, Hogue, I, I tweeted out yeah. one no. of the moment when you're talking about the grabbing them by the, by the what? Yeah, yeah, it, it's, yep, you, yep, it's your, yeah. You're I mean, it's, I, it's I was all of us literally too, stunned. It takes a lot to get me that to that place. Yeah. And it, was <laughs> it does. Like, oh, oh, oh. Because every time she tells one of those stories, the, the, like the scene cuts and it's like, and then we were talking about coffee and, and it's like, wait, what? No, what? Um, yeah. And, and, and that was, that goes to the Coachella story. And, and then we could talk about dogs and things. But, but before we do, like and subscribe. Alita's almost oh, at 200,000 subscribers. It's fantastic. Oh. Like and subscribe to Legal Mindset. Don't like and subscribe to Mike. He just parachuted in just now. Like and subscribe <laughs> to Uncivil Law and Kirk. And definitely like and subscribe to The Magic Muffin. That channel yes. is going to go hot like Rob and Lumber. Another channel Alita can grow with no uh, content. But seriously, no. let's talk with Mike. <laughs> I can subscribe oh, to him. Oh well. man. Oh man. Oh man. Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you. And and T Ann Pinkerton, thank you so much for for this very generous super chat right here. Um, so and and also guys, you know, this this commentary would not be the same without all of my friends here joining us. And, uh, and, and, you know, adding all of their commentary, adding the spice, right? So, uh, be sure to, uh, nothing be sure nice. to, to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes, sometimes a few things that are nice. Not about Amber. So, so everyone, everyone that has been joining today is, has been added in the description below. Um, so be sure to, to go into the description, check out everybody, subscribe to their channels because like that, that's the way that, that, you know, it kind of helps to incentivize them to come back. If they, if they go back and they notice like, Oh, Hey, I've got a bunch more subscribers. Uh, so if you want to see these kinds of panels, like legitimately it does, it does help. But, uh, but of course they are, they are coming here because they're having fun. And this is, um, you know, this is, it's, it's fun to, to come in and, and give their, give their commentary and give their thoughts and whatnot, but we all are, are certainly benefiting from all of that as well. So be sure to go and go in and check them out, subscribe to their channels, like their videos, you know, really kind of help, help grow this whole, um, this whole environment that we have here. Um, so this has been, this has been just like a wonderful whole experience over the last month plus. And I, I'm so grateful to all of these guys for, for coming in and, and, volunteering their time, you know, taken away from, from, from doing their own stuff and their own channels. Um, so this has really been wonderful. Um, so yeah, so thank you. Thank you. And, and yeah, and if you guys want to like, like the video as well, that also really helps if we, the more, the more likes we get, the more engagement we get on these streams through likes, through chats, all, all that stuff. Definitely. It really, it really does help because YouTube pushes the algorithm out so that um, yeah, so that more, more people get this live stream put in front of them and then they come and check it out and they're like, oh, wait, this is way better than law and crime because I actually get real commentary on this and I can I understand the process. I don't um, know. They don't even pop like a in my head. Obviously you better go, than go law there. And crime. But by the way, by the way, we'll say this guys, make sure you, even if you think you're subscribed, make sure you actually are. Cause I actually have been people telling me that they get unsubscribed. Yes. They're not having notifications. Lot. So like go yes. back in and check because YouTube literally when they see subs going up to, they'll sometimes say, oh, some of these are bots. So they're Russians, you know, Yeah. go in there, make sure it's dinged, make sure you're sub seriously, um, because, you know, you never know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. and I'm seeing in the chat that Rick Hogue is only 1,000 away from 85,000 subscribers. That, oh, come that's, on. That's about yes. right. We can't Let's have get that. him there. Yes. Let's get him See, there. I had a mission. Come on. I had a mission. Yeah. I set Holmes, goals, right? So Holmes you left says, me off at I will be disappointed in you if you don't. But I missed. Let's get let's get Richard to a hundred thousand by the end of this stream. Well, not to yes. the end of the trial. Let's do it. Let's the do it. There are fifteen thousand people that are going to subscribe to me. Kirk. Yes, there is. I believe in you, Richard. There absolutely uh, are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll Hold take on. Forty k. I appreciate all the push for my channel. I really do. We have incontinent dogs to talk about. One hundred k, boss. Okay. <laughs> Let me get this super chat first, real quick. Brick Cormier, thank you so much for this very generous super chat. He says, "Here, here is the craziest thing. I know Amber is not being honest. I know she's embellishing. I know she is a drama queen. However, I think she has a good chance to pass a polygraph because I really think she believes her own BS. And this is why polygraphs are not admitted into evidence. They're not oh, scientific exactly. enough. Yep. Um, and so, so they cannot be trusted. There are ways to avoid." avoid um you know a, a, a different result on a polygraph um Holmes, do you agree 
Yes. Yes. He agrees. He agrees. Good. He says they're not scientific enough. They're junk science and they, should, they are not to be trusted. Literally right? a, a Soviet uh, <laughs> agent explained how you can clench your butt to like throw it off. It's, it's really, I am really sure. Awesome. But let's Don't talk that on your channel. Something to look forward to on Andy's yes. channel. Yes. It's my prime <laughs> content. By the way, you know, you see the toilet emoji here. You know, I mean, guys, I've been streaming from my bathroom since, uh, since right now. So I'm really <laughs> I'm actually, by the way, the person, who started, joke. the person who started the toilet memes is Alita. So I'm blaming her. It's me. <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's actually not even me. It's Mr. Bites. He was the but one that, a, he like texted me during the stream and was like, can you ask Legal Mindset why he's streaming from his bathroom? I need to know. <laughs> it did look like that. I, I didn't it even really know did. we could put stuff there. Like just one oh, yeah. day, like, I got a little microphone, but I didn't do it. Yeah, she said oh, it, actually. Someone else she did. actually was the one who, who, who I didn't know that was possible. You can change yeah, the no, I didn't do it either. I, I assumed someone I assumed it was you, Alita. Uh I may I may have for the rest of you guys. I mean, Uncivil Law has has periodically changed his isn't his in and out. Um and same with, with Nate the lawyer. But uh every once in a while I'll like add an emoji to people's <laughs> names if there isn't one there. <laughs> no, I've officially adopted the cowboy emoji, so I think I might add other yeah. emojis, but I think the cowboy emoji. I think emoji that is your stay. your official your yeah, official emoji I'm, I'm, at this I'm, point. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that one. <laughs> now I, yeah. but I I'm not a pet owner, so I need other folks to uh, opine. You on are the you have you have a Komodo dragon named Loki. I have a bearded dragon named Loki, but that is oh, my sorry, daughter. not Komodo dragon. <laughs> I don't. That's a very different animal. <laughs> That's a huge animal. That's a massive animal that will like literally eat a small child. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Ignore uh, me. No, uh, but but so did any talk to me about that testimony because I thought it sounded ridiculous, but I want to hear from one? you folks. Uh, Wait, which all one of it. Sorry. All of it sounded ridiculous. I, I, at this point, it's like I don't, I don't like gratuitous photos of like grossness, but at this point, like because they have such wildly different accounts of like what happened with the doo-doo on the bed mm -hmm. um that like we need we we kind of need to see the doo-doo butter just so that so that people can see for themselves oh, that there's no way that this comes from a yorkie i think camille's gonna get that job right to introduce a photo of <laughs> a legit s show in court yes yep. yes Yes, and it's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> you know what's yeah, really. me? Again, I keep saying this. I've been doing this a long time. I've I've put a lot of witnesses on the stand through the years. Almost everybody lies in sort of the human sense that they exaggerate or they see yeah. things from their perspective. That's expected and not even strange. Good people who are not even uh, who are not even trying are are you know helping themselves this is like this is this gets back to what you were saying, Rick. It's this is just divorced from reality. Yes. It's very rare for me to, to to see a witness just just go off the you know Even reservation that. entirely, yeah. and you're like, "Are you really saying that?" I mean, that's happened a handful of times in my real cases. Almost everyone exaggerates. That's yeah. expected. That's yeah. what the court process is set up for. This is just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Uh, uh, can we talk about the eight or ten tries in a row to ask the question? <laughs> Oh, Which yeah. is objection after objection. It's not that hard. She is rocking well, the objections. And I love I love the fact that there was also like, what was it? It was a it was a hearsay objection or a speculation objection where like she she won on the objection and then um and then and then she like kind of asked in like a slightly different way and she's like, same objection. And then she won on that one too, and she's like, same objection. It it was just like again and again, just like wearing her down. Owned hashtag <laughs> well, real crew. I love that it. I love your whiteboard. In that sequence, yeah, don't punch it in half, Andrew. Or we'll hear about it in court. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. just gonna say, don't don't punch it. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, the fun part about that sequence was Elaine finally gets one right, like she doesn't lead, and it's proper. And then Amber's response immediately goes into what the psychologist told her, and it swings yeah. back around for another four. That was um, yeah, that was great. He was hallucinating. Is, Speculation. Elaine was was losing it to start today. Like uh -huh. Camille objects in the first three minutes. And Elaine gets huffy and upset immediately. Um, so she didn't start in like a, a place of Zen. Um, and so by the time that rolls around, we're not, we're, this is the first break. This isn't lunch, folks. She's not a I, Zen and, kind of girl, I don't think. She's That's not funny. a Zen girl. We all, at we all, all have all different personality all. types. I, it's, not Zen. Uh, yeah. I don't think she and Camille are going to go out for drinks after. Long this. Lumber has 39.1 thousand subscribers. Holy shit. Yeah, he just yeah, blew but, past me real quick. Actually, wow. I thought I thought he's a, he's, I thought, uh, he's, he's threatening he's threatening us all, man. Yeah, he must no, be he's, stopped. He's he's Unsubscribe doing great. Unsubscribe from Law and Lumber today. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are supporting one another here. 
A rising uh, tide get, get excited, also. actually, because Ian and Law and Lumber should be talking about their experience in the courtroom after our stream today. Yes. That's going to be really, yes. really maybe, cool. Maybe during lunch. I would love them to... Uh, yeah. I would love them to join in I'm at sure some point during lunch too. I, I hope so. That would be too. that would be amazing. I really would love to hear from them on like um on what they're what they're noticing from the jury for sure. Um, um so yeah, let me you, Oh, ahead, I'm sorry. Do you want to hit super chats? I was going to ask what you think of Amber's tone now because it's it's wildly different than what we left her with. It is very different. She has clearly been listening to someone about uh, her tone that she needs to be a bit more straightforward she, and less she was, emotional. She was more likable today than on than on Thursday last. I'll give her some credit, I guess. But, but, yeah, and, and outside but of the word. some people might get whiplash on that. Yes. She wasn't that much yeah. more likable, but there was improvement. We'll, we'll give we'll give we'll give notes. There was improvement. She's still there, all there over was the improvement. Place. But the thing is that that people that the jury might look at that and say, you know, like hang on you were like super emotional talking about all of these subjects the other day and now you can just talk about it straight like what what is happening here what's the, going the on birthday the story. consistency is is not great in and of itself yeah 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 the birthday um, story and the australia story with similar events at least claimed have wildly different emotional reactions with her on the stand yeah um she's almost neutral to that birthday story part of part of the shock there was like it was like a joe friday resuscitation of like horrible things yeah. And and Australia was, you know, she's sobbing uncontrollably um, while she tries to get through the testimony. So it, it's it's very interesting. It clearly seems like she's changed her tone. And I was just curious what you all yeah. thought about that. Yeah. I, to me, it doesn't require her to have consulted with counsel there. I think she did, obviously, but um, she could have just been reading her press clippings. Yep. We did. We did get some questions in some super chats about like. All right. You oh, ready geez. for the jury? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, about, Sorry. about how. My fault. About what, okay. it, what it would be. No, that's okay. About like what it would be like to, to prove it. Like how could they prove it? And that is. The evidence. That is a, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have. That's yeah. another whole question, right? Like yeah. they can ask about it, but that's about it. So asking to approach is basically this. That that last super chat that I that I pulled up there. This is what it is when they approach the judge. Um. This or, is, Elaine or is trying to squeeze in all sorts of stuff, Judge. She yeah, can't. You yeah. have to stop her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, judge. to have a private conversation that no one else can hear except for the people that are that are in that in that huddle over there. Sometimes, also, you can ask to approach the witness, you know, to hand them something. So you can do that too. Um, so, but that's it's approaching basically the judge or the witness is is what it is to to walk up to them. Corbin Garrett wants to know: Did Vasquez review Amber's testimony line by line? Probably. Yes. Probably. Yes. That's my guess is that's what should happen. Typically that happens so that she knows it forwards and backwards. It's safe Sienna Hartle. Sienna Hartle says, if if you start recording and tell the other person at some point that it is that enough for two party consent or only the party after you said so, or does it have to be before you start recording? Thanks. Love the stream. Ideally, you want to ask them the moment you start recording so that it's on the recording and then you get their consent on the recording too. So it's all in one piece. Well, Ideally, you don't have you to ask to them. Before. You just have to tell them because if they keep talking, it's implicitly consent. And this is That's like true. when, this is why when you call most customer service numbers, usually yes. at the beginning, they say this call may be recorded for, for quality yes. assurance, yes. which incidentally means we can, re we're recording it for any other purpose that pleases our fancy, but yes. yeah, you, just, and, you and need you, to give them notification. You could you could run into an issue if you do it like halfway through and then they're like, wait, what? And then they like have a huge yeah, problem that's, with that's, it. That's, that's the problem. That's why it's you the could first run into a seconds, problem with that. It's disclosed the first ten seconds on the phone. Yeah, yeah. So ideally, I I would say no no legal advice here. Of course, hashtag no legal advice. But that that's usually when you want to do it. It's like very beginning before you do anything. That was quite the head roll from Elaine coming off that sidebar. Mmm. Nice. Uh, Time says, I saw you on YouTube yesterday, a channel titled Johnny Depp that was, uh, or I saw on YouTube yesterday, that was streaming him speaking of drinking while doing things like shooting guns, Amber Plant. I think this is one it's of those scam. Uh, crypto scam it's things. Scam. Ignore those, report yep. those. Report either, those, either, please, the either, YouTube for all the good it will do us. Because it's, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I keep, I keep doing it whenever I see them, but uh, we'll see. Rachel Cornelier says, perjury, is there really no consequence and why is that? It bums me out to know that even after taking an oath, people can continue to lie without consequence. Do you see this happen often? Well, it's not exactly without without consequence, right? Because they can get impeached on their statements when they've made prior inconsistent statements. So they can get that, that gets shown to the jury. That's that's ultimately like that is the biggest punishment for someone like Amber because she's trying to prove her case here. And and the consequence right. is losing on this case that she really, really, really cares about. So I know a lot of people are, are very concerned about perjury, but like at the end of the day, what the two parties are most concerned with is winning or losing this case. And we are talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. So 
it's, no. it's rare. I mean, usually courts just say, fine, you took a hit on credibility and that's enough. They're almost yeah. like, like I went back to earlier, almost everybody arguably perjures themselves during a trial and it's, yeah. and it just sort of, you get the results. So, you know, that's rarely pursued. Yeah. Yeah. Hiya says, uh, miss you guys. Honest question. Amber, Amber Heard's team have approximately 24 hours to present their case. Can they do so with two weeks left? And question to Nurse Liz. Oh, I'm sorry, she's not here. Can you be penetrative of vodka bottle and not require medical attention? I think she has previously said that you usually almost definitely do. Um, I don't know if she would say 100% every single time, but um, but that typically that is, that is the case. Uh, 24 hours, I think that actually have even less than that. But there's also remember cross examination by these of these witnesses counts against Johnny's team, so keep that in mind too. Don Hinton question: Judge got her commission in the core in 1988, a year after I got out, but didn't go to law school until after she got out. Do you, do you know what she did in the core? I don't know. I don't know what she did there, but I mean she must have been a total BA badass because she is awesome. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm a fan Corps of hers. And, the, the judge was in the Marine Corps and not. And yes. not a lawyer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she, she some She's kind of, I, I don't know if she was enlisted or, or an officer, but um, this is what I've heard is that, that she was in the Marine Corps. So awesome. Uh, Kristen Shockley says, question, if Amber is lying about abuse, why do you think she is putting so much effort into her stories? Seems like a lot of work. Part of psycho, uh, psychology diagnosis. I don't know about, I don't know about psychology, but even just a normal human being without any diagnoses um, could, could put a lot of effort into lying on the stand. Um, so it, it does seem like a lot of work. It seems like, especially like the emotional work of like keeping these things together. Hogue, any thoughts on EA not making FIFA post 2023? FIFA was trying to double their license price. EA made the right call. It's not going to hurt sales. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a, that's a big divorce right there because they have been working together for such a long time. He's got that response hit, on speed, right? Hit, hit me with more video game super cool. chats, folks. I can do those. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Adrian Paul says, will it be possible for Dr. Curry to cross-examine Dr. Hughes? No. Cross-examination will be done by an attorney. <laughs> uh, how many boys, times can you recall a witness? Can Depp's team just keep one. recalling Amber to piss her off? No, you can't. You cannot abuse a witness by continuing to recall them. It has to be limited in scope to respond to something that has come out after this person has already testified and after they've had a chance to cross-examine this, this on this testimony. What you have with Mr. Depp during the period from April 21 to May 21, 2016? All right. Here I had no physical contact with him. Okay. I'm going to take you to May... 2nd, 2016, the Met Gala. Um, can you please just briefly describe May 2nd. The she means Elon a month Gala before the May 21st where it stop. is and what's involved. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's arguably the biggest um, fashion kind of celebrity event, red carpet event of the year. It happens every year in New York City. And were you invited? I was invited. Um, typically, designers uh, will invite people in the public eye to be their, um, you know, guest and they will typically dress them and it's a way for designers or fashion to kind of intersect with the, a celebrity world and, and it's a big event held at the museum every year. And what, if anything, did you and Mr. Depp do to prepare for that Met Gala? Well, Johnny and I were, uh, we were dressed by Ralph Lauren, guests of Ra Ralph Lauren, uh, and Johnny missed the fitting uh, in, because it was happening around the date of my birthday party in Los Angeles. But we were planning on going um, together uh, as Ralph Lauren's uh, guests. And did you show up? I did. Um, I didn't have a phone at the time because uh, I couldn't get it reinstated after jo Johnny threw it out of the window because no one on his team would would respond to me. Um, so I had no way to kind of reinstall it. I had, um, it's no point in getting a burner phone if you don't know anyone's phone number. So I- um, Didn't she text just uh, after her I, I wasn't sure really what was going on or when he would show up or if he would show up. No one would talk to me on his team. Um, no one would tell me, I didn't know. Yeah. So I ended up going um, by myself. Um, frankly, I wasn't sure if he'd show up and you know, on the carpet or if you'd show up at the hotel shortly before, um, I, I had no way of knowing. And then did you attend the Met Gala? I did. I, um, I got out of the car and walked the red carpet by myself 
escorted by somebody from Ralph Lauren's team. Um, and uh, I sat next to an empty play setting for Johnny um, that they, they cleared as soon as we realized that he wasn't, that he effectively stood me up on the carpet. Who, who did you meet at the Met Gala? I uh, was standing in line um, right in front of um, a gentleman. Uh, it was Elon. Uh, I didn't recognize him um, until we, we started talking. And uh, he had reminded me that we had met once before. He was with his mother. And did you strike up a friendship with Mr. Musk after that? We did. We, um, as I mentioned, we spoke on the, on the red carpet, kind of on the waiting, in the waiting line of the carpet. Um, he seemed like a, a, a real gentleman. He was really nice. And he sat next to me. Well, not next to me. He sat kind of in a nearby table. And we got to speaking that night and then eventually became friends. Right. I, I'm going uh -huh. to, Michelle, can you pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 46? You didn't recognize the, one of the more recognizable people on the Evans, planet Earth. Aaron Filotti's notes. And I'm going to ask you to go to page 30. <laughs> And I'm, I'm going to direct your attention to the entry for 5-11-2016, where it says, uh, if I can see, here we go. Let me, let me see if I can do some May 11th, what do we got? Highlighting here. Elena, I'll, we'll discuss this later. I'll... Okay. It says, client laughed and also reported using illicit drugs, mushrooms, and MDMA on 5 oh, 9 here's a, 2016 here's a sting at attempt. home with a high-profile male acquaintance. Court re client reported that her husband was not aware of male visitor mm -hmm. nor her illicit drug use. Wow. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Who, who was the high-profile male acquaintance that would, visited your home on 5 9 2016 uh, I don't recall even being in LA at that time. <laughs> uh, I believe I was in London at the time. Um, did you have a male high profile client at, at your home in or around 5 9 2016? Uh, not around that date. It seems like it's a wrong date. Okay. And did you use illicit drugs, mushrooms, and MDMA with any high profile client? Uh, no, I did that at the Coachella Music Festival. And that was the end of that. I learned the hard way that that was a terrible bullshit. Idea. All right. Oh well, my goodness. We Just are outright denial of the, this um, nurse's notes. Uh, these same notes. I'm going to say, I'm going to refer to the Coachella, which up, is up above. And it says it states she ingested mushrooms and MDMA simultaneously while also consuming alcohol and states she vomited and was high for at least 24 hours straight. Were That's a regular Coachella. Four hours straight? No, I was not. I uh, I felt awful, um, but I was at home feeling awful. Um, at home, meaning at the hotel, uh, with my best okay. friend in bed. Jenna McHugh okay. asked and answered. Well, while I'm see the video. On these notes. Let's go. I know. Um, while Aaron Filotti was t was so they just uh, highlighted an instance recall, that the nurse says is what Amber told her, and then Amber says that's hyperbole and exaggeration. Uh, you sent her pictures, correct? Yes, okay. I did. Then let's go to 526, 2016. And it says, client reports having the hardest week of my life. Client states she cannot deal with the negative media publicity she has received. Um, and then if we can jump that up, Michelle, to the next page, surrounding the divorce she requested from her husband, JD. Do you see that? I do. Okay. When did you go in for the DVTRO? May 27th. So that was this. the day after Aaron Filotti's note saying you just had the toughest week of your life? That's correct. Okay. While we are still on this one, let's go up to the first page for the client history. This is wild that she's going after the nurse notes. When did you provide a client history to Aaron Filotti? Never. When did you first get assigned Aaron Filotti? Uh, I believe September of 2014. Okay. 
Now it says here that client um, reports a history of substance abuse, including an addiction to cocaine and liquor. When did you have a substance, a history of substance abuse, including addiction to cocaine and liquor? I did not. There's a lot of mistakes in here. Okay. Did you ever use cocaine? I have. I used cocaine a few times when I was 18, 19 years old. <laughs> um, okay. But Bullshit. stopped using The nurse using, is a um, liar, is the official defense. Cocaine when yep. I got into a relationship nurse, right? with my ex-partner. She was very against that, and I'm glad for it. Wild. Then it also says here that uh, I'm going to keep move up a little. Here we go. Client admits to history of anxiety, eating disorder, attention deficit disorder, bipolar disorder. Well, we know that codependence issues and yep. occasional insomnia. When have you had an eating disorder? I've never had an eating disorder. Bullshit. When have you <laughs> been diagnosed with bipolar disorder? I've Note what she's not asking, by the way, disorder. which is when did you tell the when nurse these things? When have you been thing? diagnosed with codependency? Why she was diagnosed to these things? I have at this never trial. been Wait, diagnosed with codependency okay. issues, this is, although this is her arguably nurse. at the time, this is her from nurse. Where I, well, at, from where I stand now, I can her see the relationship I was in with, with John okay. was certainly Remember, Everyone in this case is a liar but Amber. I didn't know about that. This is how this can be summed up. Those are your choices. But I don't. I don't. Her report uh, from JD, Debbie RN, Dr. Kipper, client AH has reportedly been experiencing increased anxiety and agitation. Oh my God, Grandma that's another and good has had several outbursts outfit. of anger and rage. Were you present for this being reported to Ms. Filati? No, this is the detox. Okay. This is Johnny's. And it also says your mood has been labile. What if any outbursts of anger and rage and labile mood did you exhibit? I actually don't recognize detox? that word. None that she would have seen. None. I, I was there for Johnny's detox. This is what Johnny was going through. This is not me. Okay. And at the time of the detox, was Erin Filati your nurse yet? No, I didn't know her and she wasn't there. Okay. Hey, Nurse Thank Liz, we much. need you for this. You can take this I know, I'm trying now. to get work done. And this lady... No, I'm going to take no. you to... Sorry, I'm trying to this. She's attacking nurses here, Nurse Liz. And I'd like you to describe for the jury what took place... I had place it on in the background, and I was like, oh, connection no, 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 no. with Mr. Depp. Johnny and I had not seen each other for the better part of a month, or about a month. I was traveling. I had just shot a campaign in Italy. I spoke to him uh, around that time oh, when I was later. in Italy. Uh, you do that. I had gotten a phone. Uh, my parents got a hold of me. After I spoke to my parents, I communicated with Johnny. He, on that phone call, um, you know, I didn't know what was going on with him for those weeks. With his sobriety, I didn't know where his state was. I didn't know what state he was in. And when I spoke to him, he um, was saying what I can only just, he was going on about, um, about scientists and DNA and uh, feces that he had had um, some, some, you know, scientific analysis done and DNA analysis done. And that, you know, uh, and as soon as I heard about this Feces. He thought um, that was a prank, and he was going on about all the the, the scientists that he had conferred with, about the DNA results. With I was just thought he was out of his mind, and thought clearly the drinking and the drugs are not getting better. Clearly the delusions aren't better. So Jackson calls for speculation. It's not about the truth of the matter. We're talking about what her uh, sustained objection. It's core to the He's damn case, it. Elaine. So I, um, uh, I hung up from that phone call, uh, assuming that, and <clears throat> then spoke to him once. Once my my parents got a hold of me to tell me about Betty Sue. We made a plan, Johnny and I, uh, for him to come over. Uh, he said he really needed his wife. Um, 
he, he had lost his mother and he missed his wife. He really needed his wife. He said it over and over again. I felt torn. I felt conflicted. I didn't think. Obviously, the situation hadn't gotten better with Johnny mentally, and I was afraid that all the work and progress and distance I had finally got on it, on the relationship for the first time, I had a month of distance on it, you know? Um, I, I didn't want that to be undone, but I also wanted to be, you know, I was affected by the fact that his mother had passed. So uh, he said he wanted to come over and talk about that, and he said he needed his wife, and we made a plan. Um, I. Uh, we made a plan for, for him to come over during the day, thinking that that might mitigate the amount that he would be drinking. Night is a little bit more dangerous. And uh, in the early evening hours, I get a text from him that he's uh, almost there or that he's there. I think it was around 7.15 or so. And he came over and um, we sat on the couch and at first kind of, it was relatively peaceful. I mean, I could tell he was inebriated but makes sense in my head it made sense it wasn't he wasn't like incoherent it was peaceful and then he starts talking about the feces again and this prank that he said one of my friends had left for him in my bed that he wasn't going to be at and I tried to point out how that didn't make any sense he was not even going to be there I wasn't there and my friends wouldn't do that. That's not something a bunch of 30 year old women think is funny. What do you see talking about? And he just kept going on and on about it. So I, uh, I text my friend that it's- Objection hearsay. Um, don't, don't tell us, don't tell the jury what you texted your friend, but go to the next thing. What did you do next? I uh, called my friend thinking that it would um, quell this, what I could only see as a delusion thought it was just a delusion he was having and I thought oh I'll, I'll I'll hopefully you know quell this by calling my friend to to, to if he hears my friend say that didn't happen maybe, actually not uh, hear say uh, he's, she's, she, it's sure. not out for the truth of the thing okay. please continue so I thought if I could get my friend on the phone to to prove that this didn't happen we could move on and talk about the issues this that we should be talking about. You know, we had, our marriage was over and falling apart in front of our eyes. We hadn't seen each other for a month and his mom had just passed. I couldn't believe he wanted to talk about feces. So I call this friend thinking that we'll- Sorry, but criticizing what he wants take to take care of it. Right the after friend his doesn't answer. Is a bad I move. call another friend who is someone else he claimed. I don't know how both people I'm not did sure this, any of these conversations happened. This Elizabeth. person was responsible. So I called that true. person. And that person is on speakerphone. And tell I tell us say, who that person is. Io. Io tell right. Io tell it right. Okay. Uh, and then you put him on speakerphone with Johnny. Right in front of Johnny. Okay. And what happened next? I don't think this I, is going to be convincing to the jury. That's I allowed for an opportunity for Io to say why this is impossible Objection here it's saying. not offered to prove the truth of the matter is asserted your honor it's explaining the context that leads to the next acts your honor it is being offered we're to not prove here that, we're uh, not uh, here uh, about uh, whether uh, i owe uh, I'll, you have I'll to sustain the, the objection next question you have to let like Camille finish her objection right. elaine um that's rude all right so rude. i always talking you can't tell us what he said Okay. Objection, Your Honor. Correct. May we approach? Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Not having it. Thank you. Entirely oh. appropriate from the judge. Uh. Thank you. Uh. Like oh. It gets it worse. Good. Yeah. Entirely appropriate from Camille. I was I was doing an over under on how long till we pissed Elaine off, and we've definitely gone there, which is great. Yep. Uh, was was it set at one minute into testimony? <laughs> yeah, so minutes. within ten minutes. I was talking. We can't say what he said. Look at Ben. What Chu. is the next thing that happens <laughs> on your end with Mr. Depp? Um, it just made Johnny matter. He got more upset, grabbed the phone and started screaming at IO. Uh, Alter ego, they can. Just they started can screaming at the want. top of his lungs. He said, you dyke bitch, you don't know what you're talking. You know, just screaming expletives, insulting names. Um, and 
telling Io that he can have me and, you know, fuck off and just screaming at him. Um, I, you know, that's best I can describe it without getting into the details. He tosses the, the phone, you know, down on the couch and heads upstairs. I, I'm, I pick up the phone and, and try to, you know, apologize for the fact that my husband at the time just screamed at my friend on a cold call. Um, I didn't want Io to think that's why I had called Io you know, to just be screamed at and blamed for something that sounded crazy, for lack of a better explanation. It sounded crazy. Io um, said something to me on speakerphone. Um, and um, reminded me I wasn't safe. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Your Honor, it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter. It's to show what Ooh, caused like Mr. Yelling. Depp to be set Almost. off and come back. I, I mean, it's not offered to prove the truth of what he's saying. It's not hearsay. In I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Thank you. Please tell us what Io said and what then happened with Mr. Depp. Io said, Amber, get out of the house. Get out of the house now. You're not safe. Get out of that house. I had been there after the cleanup or for the cleanup after the December 15th, 2015 incident. And objection, Your Honor, no responses. I, right. think, I think he, she can provide the That's, context. I'll sustain the objection. Next okay. question. So please, please continue. Johnny hears this when he's on the stairs. He made it up one flight of stairs, heard this, turned around, came bolting down the stairs, grabbed the phone from my hand, and really, really started screaming this time, led into IO, uh, called IO every imaginable, every imaginable horrible name that you can say to a LGBT oh person God, for one and, and any person, any human being ever. I mean, just screamed at IO, um, some really nasty stuff. And he, when he was done, he says, you know, you want to, you want to have you want to have my woman now. You want to have my bitch. You can have, you, you take her, you can have her. And he, with that, picks up, just pulls his arm back with the phone. Not likely getting rid throws of it really. at my face. Not likely. Hit me right in my, it felt like my, my eye. I put my head in my hands and immediately start crying. Um, I said, you hit me with the phone. Johnny, you hit me. And I'm sitting on the couch. I didn't even have time to react. You know, I, I didn't even have time to put my hands up. I was still sitting cross-legged in my socks on the couch. And I haven't seen him for a month. And last, you know, several times now that I've seen him, he's hit me. And I didn't even have time to react to this. He comes over to me um, as I'm crying and he does that taunting thing to me. He says, oh yeah, I hit you, huh? I hit you, yeah? And he just feels like wax me on top of my head and just this heavy ringed hand landed on top of my, my skull, grabs me by the hair, yanks me up off the couch. I'm struggling to stand up. And um, I don't know if he was intending to um, hit me in the face or if he was just trying to grab my face, but he was making this um, gesture around my face to try to hold, to expose my face to him. And he was like, yeah, let me see how bad I hurt you. Let me see it. Let me see how bad I hurt you this time. What if I pull your hair back? What if I pull your hair back? And he yanks my hair back. I'm trying to prevent him from landing the blows to my face. I'm trying to prevent my face from being exposed. And I just remember this mocking taunt he was doing with me as he is yanking me around the room. Uh, and then I hear my friend come into the room. Um, I hear her. Johnny hears her too. He lets go of me and turns and- Just tell the jury who your friend is. Raquel, my- best friend at the time who lived in the neighboring apartment. Uh, she 
came in and uh, Johnny m moved towards, towards her and she ran towards me. Um, Johnny looked at her, looked at me. I retreated to the only place I had to go, which is the corner of the room the, where the couch was. I retreated kind of to the couch and Raquel uh, and Johnny both ran up to me. Uh, John, uh, Raquel got in front of Johnny. She kind of managed to get right in front of him in between he and I. And I'll never forget it. Just very slowly, calm, like very, very, in just a very slow, but very concentrated, very controlled, slow way. Just put both of her arms, her hands up like this. And like I've seen people do with horses. That's what it reminded me of. She just went, no, oh my God. no, it's Johnny, wild no. Horse. And she just got in front of us, in between us, put her, both of You're her palms like out. Horse. Johnny kind of squared off to her, ran into her arms, and she just repeated herself very slowly, very calmly, very directly. He hit both of her arms off of his chest like that and barreled towards me. I instinctively curl up on the couch and I just feel her arms come around me next to me. She was sitting on my left next to me on the couch. I just feel her arms around me. And I'm just looking down at the carpet, feeling her arms. And that's when Johnny, who I can see partially and hear is right in front of me. And he's screaming at me to get the fuck up. Amber, get the fuck up. Amber, get the fuck up. Amber, get the fuck up. And every single time he said it, he's screaming it louder and louder and louder. I think he screamed it probably about 10 times so loudly. The next thing I hear is boss, boss. And I realize that his two security guards had come into the, to the apartment after Raquel. I see them and, or hear them and uh, Johnny turns to them. And I, I see Jerry say, boss, boss. And I get up off the couch and I say to Jerry. Objection, Your Honor, here, say. Not often to prove the truth of the matter asserted at all. I'll sustain the objection. All right. That's one. So don't tell us what you said to Jerry, just what happened next. Uh, then they tell him something. Um, and uh, he uh, picks up the, the bottle that I guess he privilege. walked in with. Uh, it was a this is Magnum. Mr. Depp or Jerry? I'm sorry, Johnny. Okay. We can try. And uh, starts smashing things off the nightstand, the, the, the coffee table, starts screaming. Uh, and they kind of, I feel them kind of corral him. I'm not making direct eye contact, but I can kind of just sense and feel and sound and hear things smashing as he exits the, the apartment, kind of knocking things off the countertops and uh, breaking things on the way. I, I um, realize he, you know, he's punching something. I, I assume it was the picture because it, it, it broke right after he walked past it. And he leaves that apartment. I hear him in the hallway, still screaming. I hear more doors opening, more racket. Eventually, Josh Raquel's uh, a husband comes into the room Husband. and I thought he was a boyfriend uh, slash fiance uh, brings me to safety, they brings Raquel and I to safety in, um, in and their apartment. Married. And, and the that's where I stayed for I the next few hours. So who called the police? <clears throat> I, I believe it was I Objection calls for speculation. Your Honor, this is not, you, we have to have the context here. She literally just said, I believe. Because then yep. the police come. So she just said, I believe. She doesn't know. That makes it speculative. The truth of the matter She didn't say hearsay. She said speculation. Speculative. Speculative. Yeah. 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 The objection is not hearsay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Sorry, you pulled the wrong <laughs> defense card, Elaine. Oh, Camille, Camille, Camille right. got my notes. Sustained. Did you have a convert? Did you, were you present when there was a discussion about calling 911? Objection calls for hearsay. I'm asking if she was present. Sustain the objection. Next question. We know what you're trying to do, Elaine. Mm -hmm. Did you call 911? No. Okay. Did Rocky call 911? Objection calls for speculation. Yeah, she just do said, I believe she Rocky doesn't know. I do know whether she did. And did she? She did not. Okay. How? Um, okay. All right. So 
What happens when so she said Io didn't call the cops? No, she said Rocky didn't. Oh. She's attested to the fact that no one in the room called the cops. Give or take. At some point shortly after uh, Johnny and his security guards left. And what did you do as a result of knowing that the police were coming? I, I felt panicked. I, I, I didn't know what to do um, because I didn't know what they were going to do when they saw the state of the place. He'd also smash up the other apartment where I kept all my things. So I didn't know what they were going to do. And I panicked. I called. Um, I, I mean, called this has to be the, cops the only are lawyer I have, which is my segment, um, right? entertainment lawyer. He does like my movie contracts and stuff. And I asked him for advice. And then what, without telling what he said, what happened next? I called a domestic relations attorney after that conversation. And had you known this domestic relations attorney before then? No, I did not. Did you get that name from your entertainment attorney? Yes, I did. Okay. And when you called the domestic relations attorney without saying what she said, what did you do as a result? Okay. Thanks, Mammy. Thanks for that clarification. I told the police officers who arrived that I would not Objection, your honor. Hearsay. I cannot offer to prove the truth of the matter asserted. I'll overrule the objection. Thank you. I'm the, sorry. Could the you apartment that? that was in a complete state of disarray. I repeated to the officers. I refused that to one. cooperate at this time at the advice of my attorney. Okay. Did you. Why would your attorney give that your advice? Publicist that night? No. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to ask you to take a look. <laughs> you just said you were hitting the eye with a phone. The, the police pictures. didn't notice this? I was but really concerned about them seeing the state there, of my apartment, which they didn't see. Just ask you a couple of my attorney questions told me not to tell them about being What beaten. were you doing when the police officers uh -huh. Sure. My domestic violence attorney told me when... that. Well, at that time, when I, after I learned that they were coming, uh, my best friend, took pictures of me. Uh, we took pictures of the house and my face. Okay. I'm going to, and did your best friend take any pictures while the officers were there? We took pictures before and while they were there and after. Okay. We took pictures throughout. Okay. And we're going so to see the pictures. I'm going to take you yeah, now. We got so it. Can you bring up got to show the defendant's pictures now. exhibit 706? Even Elaine knows that. Please show us the pictures of the apartment in complete disarray. Yes, thank you. Uh, that would help. Does this accurately depict the scene portrayed? Yes, it does. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of Defendant 706. No objection. Right. 706 in evidence and published. Okay. I should be asking a different Let's question. Let's see some extrinsic stuff. describe here. to the jury what this is? It's depicted. not a picture of the apartment. No, I thought it would be. This is um, my face after Johnny threw a phone at it. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm going to now right, little Michelle, bit of ask you to pull up defendants 708. But the cops are lying because they we didn't were see taking We took pictures, man, of the apartment of disarray. Here's the picture. It's a bruise on my face. And does it, this it, accurately uh, depict the scene no portrayed data. in this picture? Yes, it does. All right. And I also see that there is uh, a, a little what we call metadata item on there. How how do you get that on a picture? How does that happen? Can you just describe briefly? Objection. It's on the picture. It's not it's metadata. Speculation. Lack of foundation. Yeah. It, 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 literally, if it's on the picture, it's not metadata. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, depends on how you phrase it, but yeah. I maybe, guess. Either way. Uh, yeah. Uh, that didn't make any sense on any level. Nope. I'm, it didn't make even sense. I was so concerned about the, the complete disarray of my apartment. The, the ones that officers testified, that you had three officers testify they didn't see any disarray. And then you called a lawyer, the only lawyer you knew, who referred you a domestic violence lawyer. And as a result of that conversation, you declined to cooperate with the police. What domestic violence lawyer is giving this advice? Hey, I was just abused. The apartment is in disarray. The police are on my way. What should I do? Don't talk to them. 
Well, all right. What? Devil's advocate, Kurt. So, so she doesn't call the cops. Io calls the cops. She didn't want the cops there. And she says, all right, I need to talk to a lawyer. And she said, tells the lawyer, I don't want anything bad to happen to JD. Right? Like, let, let's say that that's what she says. Then the attorney says, okay, well, then don't say a damn thing to the cops. Right? Um, Snow plays to answer the question. How's she allowed to say this? She's allowed to, she's allowed to yeah. state inconsistent facts. <laughs> that don't that don't get corroborated by or that that get the opposite of corroborated Com by completely the completely unsupported side. testimony is a kind of evidence that you know if Can this you is and as always unimpeachable particular item on here can't call that with attorney pictures um, it's a it's a feature that was on um iPhotos you know where the where your pictures are stored on your phone typically you just push info and, and was that pushed in this, these instances? I pushed info, time? and that's what came up. Okay. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of defendants 708. The objection 708. Your Honor, I would just ask the picture be redacted um, on hearsay grounds. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Your Honor, I, I, for I, the I, metadata. Okay. If you want alleged to metadata. Again. Okay. Yep. Approaching again. Oh, no, my I'm gosh. Neil is on it. This is, this is me and Camille, it. by the way. And I'm asking for her. I'm asking if she's single. <laughs> How many lawyers on the panel are going to ask about Camille's relationship status? That's How my solid question. Is it? That's, yeah, that's we need an over under there. I'll ask. I, don't, I mean, Camille, I'll beat Andrew to it, man. Come on for an interview. I promise I won't have this panel of degenerates on here I'm with me. Pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, Alita, are you keeping track of the folks that aren't allowed on the the Camille interview? <laughs> I know, I know whom to exclude until after she has to leave. <laughs> Rude. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I thought I thought you were supposed to be uh, law tube cupid over there, legal bites. I I okay. am, but I also want to make sure that panel guests are comfortable too. That's yeah, <laughs> you can't have panel guests. How could they be any more comfortable than being with me? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a hashtag simp stream. It'll be great. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Camille, you're just the greatest. All right, I'm going to move How'd the admission so of uh, 708 with the redaction, Your Honor. Okay, and the objection. <laughs> um, there still needs to be another redaction at the top, Your Honor. Okay. <sighs> get it. So Camille won her request for redacting the date information from the photo. Thank you. For those still interested in what's happening in the courtroom and not just various <laughs> Camille fandoms. <laughs> All about shipping. Okay, seven That's eight, the best yeah. <laughs> We're shipping. Thank you, Your Honor, and people. I would also nice. like the record to reflect that are we um, we're, we're publishing this to the jury. Oh my yes, God! No it's a little bit of redness. Yeah. Wow. There you go. That's that a very so different. I would like redness. the record to reflect. Yeah. That this then was a the redness that was shown yeah. to Officer Signs and Officer had Objection, Your Honor. That that is inappropriate. Because we hadn't identified him. Now the jury should be entitled to know which photo. Your Honor, we asked. Okay, we can approach. This is inappropriate. She's just But getting that in front of the jury, getting that in front of the jury, saying this is inappropriate, Your Honor. We need to approach. Well, Lee, like she keeps talking over everything. Yeah, and it's she's, uh, yeah. interesting. She's being very it, rude. It makes it, it's making it look like like Elaine is being sneaky. She's not following the rules. She's, you know. She's very combative and, today. Yes. And she's and she's really trying to, yeah, she's combative with the judge, which is not a good look. We got some so questions about that earlier. for the record, this particular photo was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon as Exhibit 24 in both of the depositions that were shown earlier where the pictures were not uh, allowed to be shown yet because they hadn't been admitted. Amber, will you please describe for the jury what, what is depicted in this photo? Okay. Yes, that's a picture of my face um, taken um, with that evening, Asia. Um, shortly before 9.30 um, after Johnny hit me. This is where the officers say they, they thought it looked like crying. Mm -hmm. And we can take this one down. Let's go to Defendant's Asia. Exhibit 709. It doesn't scream domestic abuse to me. Or blush. Yeah, I mean, that could be a smack, maybe. And I could see that, but like, yeah. Ruling, I'm going to ask it's not consistent with the other photos that, that she's showing. Please. Well, I mean, I, I, again, I think open mind, these, these are photos are, are effective, but we've got a lot of other things to evaluate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. If I saw that, I would never move the admission oh, yeah, of 709. Yeah. Any objection? Not with redactions. Right. Thank you. Seven or nine with redactions. Okay, 
can be published to the jury, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay, now that's Your Honor, for the record, this is the photo that was shown to Officer Signs and to Officer Haddon as Exhibit 25 for both of their depositions. This is where they say it's they didn't think it looked like fire. Could you please describe And the line travels down her eyelid. You wouldn't get hit on her eyelid. That is my face after. Like, is this um, just after like the my computer screen incident. lighting is off? Because like, it looks like blush. That night. No, no, see, Nurse Liz, she's saying a phone hits right, her across uh, the entire eye cavity there. 710, please. And that's not, yeah. Huh. Okay. That would not affect your eyelid. It looks like hives almost. Could like, be or a rash, reaction. Or like rosacea. Yeah, I and agree. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission to Exhibit 710. The redactions have been already placed right. on it. Any objection? No objection. Right. Thank you. 710 with the redactions. It looks like she fell asleep on her arm like this. Your Honor. And for the record, this a photo was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon. It was Exhibit 26. She just looks blotchy. Look at the, the redness on the other cheek. Yeah. Yeah. And please describe for the jury what's depicted here, Amber. Uh, that is my face in uh, yet a different light um, that same evening after Johnny hit me with the phone. Moving forward, yes. Yeah, it's the Let's fact that the other cheek looks that way too. That yeah, the, that's trouble. That redness is symmetric. That, that's not good for her. Yeah. I want to know what the jury's faces look like. Yeah. Well, some of them are mask covered, so... And I'm going to so, move the admission I mean, of uh, potato pirate. Maybe that's a good point. Redaction, maybe she put ice on it. No objection. To make it redaction. super pink. Could be. And for the record, Your Honor, like uh, for the jury's purposes, yeah. this was shown to Officer Signs and Officer look like Haddon ice. as Exhibit 27 to both of their depositions. And could you describe what's de depicted here, Amber? Yes, that is another angle, another lighting of my face uh, after the phone. And that when, evening. And when you say angular lighting, what, what did Rocky do in, in taking these pictures? Objection uh, calls for speculation. I said, what she do? So overrule. Thank you. Uh, Raquel um, took pictures of my face in various um, places around the penthouse. The penthouse the, the apartments have really different lighting, you know, uh, really dark in some places. Um, anyway, so we just took pictures in different lighting so that... Um, we had an accurate portrayal and depiction of what had happened. And why did you take the pictures? Uh, Raquel did it to protect me because the cops were coming, and um, we knew we or that we, we knew that the police. I, th I think at this point that we they were already here. They were with us, but we weren't. Maybe this was right before. I'm not quite sure without seeing the timestamp, but. We weren't sure what was going to happen, what the police were going to say, what they were going to do. Um, we didn't know what Johnny was going to do, what he was going to say, so she wanted to protect me. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and bring up 712. Or swelling or something else. I'll move the admission of 712, Your Honor. All right. Any objection? No, thank you, Your Honor. Right, 712 with redactions. You can publish. Thank you, Your Honor. And please describe what's depicted here. Uh, that is a, another picture of my face okay. uh, taken around the blush. same time. Okay. And then let's go to 713. But it's like, see how it's up on her eyelid? It wouldn't hit your eyelid because a phone is flat. Yeah. What Unless if it's, it's a like flip the phone? Corner, the corner hit your eyelid, maybe? I guess. And it flips open. But then it would be so, her eye would be red. Would be admission yeah, of 713, like, Your Honor? All right. Any objection? No objection. All right, 713 with redactions. Can you publish? And for the record, this one was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon as well as Exhibit 29 to both of their depositions. And just describe briefly to the jury what this is. This is uh, another picture of my face taken at the exact same time and in the same location as the other one, just with one of the lights turned on or an additional light turned on in the previous one. Okay. Okay, now I don't see anything. Exactly. 
I don't think that proved the point she thought it did. That well, it might prove the there. point that the cops wouldn't see anything if they were just looking at her in normal lighting. Oh, okay. You got to use a special light. I'm not. I'm. I'm. Your I'm in full devil's advocate mode no, here. Fraction. No, no, I get it. Redactions. Yeah, denial. Yeah, I get it. And it's helpful. Please tell the jury what this depicts. This is um, another angle of my face or another picture of my face taken at a different time. I don't Finches know if this is. Um, Thank you so much. Very later generous. before, because I can't see the time on it. Okay. Yeah, Take because that we don't trust that. Fifteen. I mean, it looks the same as she sits on the stand. Yeah. Yep. Yep. She's wearing that blush today. Uh huh. I'm going to move the admission of 715, Your Honor. Uh, no objection. All right, 715 with redactions and evidence. For publish. Thank you. And uh, for the record, this one was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon as Exhibit 17 for both. Um, please describe for the jury what's this, what's depicted here. Uh, that is a picture of my face. Um, some point later on in the night, it looks like that was taken in Rocky's apartment or in the apartment that she was staying in. Okay. And let's go to 716. Well, I guess I definitely want to hear from Rocky. Hey, shout out to your dad, Les Jackson, for recommending. Well, yeah. Shout out to your dad. No objection, Your Honor. All right. 716 evidence as redacted. And then we're and the swelling happens super jury, fast. What this picture depicts. Uh, yes, it's the business card that one of the police officers left for me uh, in case I changed my mind and wanted to comment. And uh, with the pictures that we have just seen before this, were they taken before the pictures of the uh, police card, the card that was left after, or do you know? Objection uh, compound. It's not. And calls for speculation. Your Honor, compound oh, is oh, over, over. Thank you. Uh, they, we took pictures before, during, and after. And the question I had for you is well, the pictures you've seen so an far, were those taken before? At the time of this, uh, before this card was presented to you and you took the picture, after or do you know? Uh, some of them were, but without seeing all the timestamps, I can't tell exactly. Okay, that's we'll fair. Thank you. Here. Okay, and trust. then I'm going to ask you to take yep. this one down and go to 717. And I'm going to ask you, uh, I'm going to move the admission of 717, Your Honor. Any objection? No objection. All right, 717 is redacted in evidence. Published. Thank you. And please just briefly describe to the jury what this is. Uh, the two officers that um, first responded left me that card. This is the front of the business card they left. Um, can you tell the jury, just explain what the interaction was that you had with the police officers, um, just describing what you observed uh, as they came through. Good, joke of, good luck avoiding hearsay uh, here. I did not want to speak to them. I asked that Raquel's partner or husband ask them to go away without speaking to me. And, and just so the jury understands, who was Judge, who, who was Raquel's fiance at that time? Um, his name is Josh Drew, and he and Raquel lived in the apartment at Johnny's invitation across the hall from us. Two first names, um, it's a red flag. Raquel had keys. We kind of shared keys. It was, they were our neighbors, but had keys to our house. Okay. So why didn't you want to cooperate with the police? Wendy, they did. They did get the card from their testimony. Card. Yeah. Because I, I, I wanted to protect Johnny. I didn't want him to be arrested. Iris, this is true too. I didn't want him to be in trouble. I didn't want the world to know. I didn't want this to come out. I didn't want him to be in trouble. I didn't want this to be 
I wanted to protect Johnny. Let's uh, go to uh, Defendant's Exhibit 1374. That's 1374. One moment, Your Honor. All right. Yeah, I'm waiting for this photo, too. All right. Move the admission of 1374A, Your Honor. Is that what this one is? Any objection? No objection. 1374 in evidence. 1374A in evidence. I'm sorry. Good. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, and Amber, what is this? Uh, it's another picture of my face uh, after Johnny threw the phone at it. Okay. And then let's go to 1493T. <coughs> and move the admission of 1493T. No objection. All right, 1493T in evidence. And what does this depict? Um, this is a picture of um, my eye, my face after that incident. Perhaps by the lighting, it looks like it might have been taken the next day, but I can't be tell. I mean, I can't tell for sure. Okay. Liz, does and that look like, is that something that can happen? Like a bruise moves like that? So it would move down, like just because of gravity, but it okay. would look bluer like it wouldn't still it doesn't stay red like the next yeah. day you would expect it to turn mm. I'm, I'm getting serious um, 1493s uh, no objection all right 1493s in evidence I'm, I'm i'm i feel like this is like robin and men and what does this depict I feel like the king I, I, his mole I, this is another face. picture of yeah. my I'm eye getting here uh sorry my face now were there also pictures taken of the property that you described, Mr. Depp, uh, destroying or damaging? Yes, there were. Okay. Good. Michelle, All right. Can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 700? These should be apartment shots, right? Based on your yeah, honor's yeah, rulings, so. we will uh, take off the metadata. Move the admission of defendants exhibit 700. No objection with redaction. 700 with redactions. You can publish. Can you please describe to the jury what's depicted in this photo? Yes, um, my friend had, was preparing for a bead show and had displays to show these bead necklaces she made. And uh, she needed some counter space in order to kind of set up the displays that she was going to use the next day. So she asked me earlier in the day if she could use the free counter space in that penthouse, penthouse five, to kind of set up those, those display racks. They were set up um, in that room um, when Johnny went in there to destroy things as he does. Uh, and this depicts some of that damage? Yeah, he, security let him in, even though I had asked Objection, Your Honor, not to. speculation. Uh, I, I don't think that was speculation. And lack of foundation. I don't think that was speculation. Oh, you want to also say it's a foundation if you want to. Okay. Um, so what, what does, what's depicted, in, what's the damage that was done? Well, because Johnny would always smash up my things and destroy my property when he was mad at me. Um, I had asked that they not let him in to, so that he could do that. I mean, the only purpose to let for him to be let into penthouse five in that state, he doesn't have property in there. The only way for the only reason for him to go in there would be to destroy it. And they, of course, let him into penthouse five Objection, Your so Honor. that he could go yes, lack of foundation. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Just tell the jury what he did here that's depicted in this. This is just a, a one corner of the room that shows the destruction. He just went in there with this bottle swinging and destroyed, <laughs> smashed a bunch of things. Objection, Your Honor. This is speculation. All she right. hasn't established that she was there. 
Uh, I'll sustain a currently foundation. Okay. Uh, did anybody else, to your knowledge, go in there? If she thinks this? one thing of beads falling over dist is destruction, she's not going to have a good foundation. time when her daughter gets older. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Well, let's do this. Never mind. We'll, we'll let somebody else tell who did it. Okay. Sure. Um, just all I'm asking here is what. What is the damage? What has been done that's depicted here? This is just one of Raquel's bead racks that he. Um, nope, nope, don't add that. Abstraction, no. Your Honor, speculation. Okay. Yep, I'll don't add that. Yep. Just, right. just what are we looking at? You lost on saying that he did it. Yep, as soon as he. Move the admission of 701. Uh, with redaction, no objection. All right, 701 with redactions and evidence. Thank you. She seems like she has something in please her describe eye. what's depicted Oh, here. no. Like as if they put something um, in there. Yeah, it is our bedroom and penthouse three, the main penthouse. Um, looks like he was just um, throwing things. Objection, Your Honor. Call for speculation. The objection. Objection. So, just describe what you see here as opposed to what you say he did. He I see a bunch of art. They all piled um, on the bed. Tossed on the bed. without shattering okay. any Where was that art before Mr. Depp was at your house on May 21, 2016? Um, hanging on the wall where it belongs. Okay. Again, spoken like someone whose toddler has never thrown their pictures. He just hurled so photos so and they wind up that looking like that, things? huh? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a very delicate toss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Having it looks like somebody's moving, honestly. By my own toddlers, that's not what it looks like when your children, when someone rips something off the wall and throws it. Yeah. Huh. Oh, Your Honor, and I forgot on the last two for defendants exhibit seven hundred that was stuff, shown to Officer Signs and Haddon. It was exhibit thirty nine to both of theirs, and exhibit seven oh one was shown to Haddon only, and that was exhibit thirty in his deposition. I move the admission of 702, please. All right. Any objection? No objection. All right, 702 with redactions. Thank you, Your yeah. Honor. And let the record reflect this was also shown to Officer Haddon as deposition exhibit number 40. And can you please describe for the jury what's depicted here? Yeah, what are we looking at here? Uh, yes, it, uh, it's broken glass from one of the bro broken um, pictures that were hanging on the wall. <laughs> Where Looks like it's this, been like physically? tossed out like this rose is in petals by a wedding. on the stairwell. Okay. Let's, Michelle, can you bring up defendants? Oh, wait, uh, if, if the uh, glass broke there, it was then moved for your other photo? And then I, the what, rest what are of we, the glass? I don't understand. I can't believe the officers didn't miss that detail. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly they are blind. Move the admission of defendant 703. No objection. All right, 703 with redaction. Oh my God, I think she might have actually Thank you, Your Honor. Up. And the record, let the record reflect that this was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Haddon as Exhibit 41 scruff. for both of their depositions. And Amber, please describe for the jury. It's glass, right? It's more glass. We'll answer this later. Uh, it's another yeah. photograph of this stairwell uh, in the same apartment, Penthouse 5, and which and, is the apartment where I kept my things. Okay. And is that glass on the stairway? Yes, um, from leaving. one of the broken uh, picture frames on the wall. We had a lot of picture. I had a lot of picture frames on the on the um, walls, and um, uh, many, if not all, most of them, were smashed. So in that scenario, where's the Wait, smashed picture frame? Take this I, I, one yeah, down and go. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, where's where's the frame? You had frames. How do they get into the stairwell? Well, if it's hanging right there, then there's a smashed picture right off camera, right? But you wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, uh, because didn't she say it should have been on the wall, but it's not? So, the so then where is it? Did. So then where is no it? Objection. All right. Come on, so for a minimum, it means she moved things before she took the photos, Thank right? Thank you, and let the record reflect that this was shown to both Officer Signs and okay, Haddon. Okay, what do we got here? To both Two shards of glass. A lot of, and lot of that. The jury what? What's depicted here? Uh, just another piece of glass. It looks like the base of a wine glass. Um, that she is in never seen house smashed three, glass apartment. before? Like in a natural when setting when like wine glass, I, something falls? This particular This is not glass. how it turns out. There were glasses um, in the she kitchen. She loses all of this case. And, it's going to be out of in Always. And when Johnny was walking out, hoax I saw him myself um, swinging This, this the is what I was afraid of the bottle, officers seeing. Uh, and I could hear glass breaking. I was afraid breaking, of them seeing the two shivers uh, of glass. And things falling. Okay. 
Thank you. Michelle, can you bring up seven? Huh. Five, okay. The apartment was trashed. Trashed. <laughs> I have to be honest, you, you, all those photos look placed. Yeah. They do. Alexander yes. Hansen, does everybody know? They that sure do. That would be very prejudicial. Yep. Excuse me, no objection. But yeah, everything looks placed. I'd like to five in evidence. We'll Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. She, she thinks like she's doing like the gun shown to Officer Padden, Exhibit 36 of his deposition. Amber, can you please after she hired her dog to poop on the bed? That she has a dog over on the kitchen countertop. Oh no, how will we ever recover? pieces of broken glass on the countertop as well. Pieces of broken glass? How do you see that? Where? Let's go to 707. At least that photo is closer to looking like what I would need here. Yeah. With with one of the jars just tipped over a little bit. Just something, Kurt. Just something. I'm going to lose my devil's advocacy license at this rate. 707. I objection? believe in you, Richard. You can make it work. No objection, Your Honor. All right, 707. I was expecting a lot more from these photos. Let the record show, show that uh, uh -huh. both Officer Signs and Officer Haddon were shown this oh, picture. Oh, look, the puddles of wine that the body camera of and body cam footage did not pick up. What's depicted here? <laughs> this is the hallway leading um, out, leading up to the apartments. Uh, so this is the hallway that connects all of the apartments. It's kind of an indoor outdoor um, sort of hallway, meaning it's covered, but it's it's exposed on the far ends of both um, to the elements. So this is not carpet. It's like a, a it's like a plasticky. Uh, I don't know how to describe the material. It's like a plasticky kind of um, um, netting, not netting. It's difficult to describe, but it's she a, always adds details that perfect. don't matter at all. Yep. All right, and what's irrelevant. depicted there? Superfluous, completely. Uh, one on the floor and a little on the wall. I'll answer this later. Okay. Let's go to 718, please. That wine stain. I know. I, I wonder if Rob is like sitting there, just like steaming, well, like of like steam coming out of his head and his ears <laughs> right now. He's not. He's just trying yeah, to not get too excited about Camille's objections. Officer Signs and Officer Cadden yeah. in Deposition Exhibit Thirty One for both of them. Ever please describe for the jury what's depicted here? It's um, another another photograph on the floor, not the wall. Uh, this one appears to be remarkably unbroken. Remarkably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is remarkable. It is remarkable. Uh huh. It also appears to be staged. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's not nice at all. Just saying. That's that's an offense to everyone With in Hollywood. The admission of stage. Defendant 719. You're going to get named in the counter suit, Mike. I have no objection. <laughs> 719 with redactions. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. And they let the record reflect that this was shown to Officer Signs and Haddon in their All depositions. Right, what do we got here? 35 to both. What? And, Is that and bananas? Just describe for the jury what's depicted here. Like, Objection, uh, Your Honor. This whole thing is bananas. In the corner sense? of the kitchen in Penthouse 3. Looks like um, one, of the, one of the things that was knocked off of the kitchen island when Johnny left. Okay. What are those? Like well, let's go to radishes? Defendant 720, please. I got to know. Julianne, no, not really. Nothing nothing really believable today. Uh, I'd have to think on that, definitely. Move the admission of Defendant 720. No objection. Right, 720 with redactions. And evidence. let the record reflect, Your Honor, this was shown to Officer Signs point. and Haddon. Justin, Deposition they did. We can't wait to hear from them. Both. Okay. What is uh, this? Amber, could you please describe to the jury what's depicted here? Let's see here. That's um, my office. It's a corner of my office. Uh, and that is um, a box of like sentimental things, things from my childhood or things that are important to me. Keepsake box that um, has been dumped uh, out, it looks like. Go to def let's go to defendant seven. Let's try. Thank you so much for the very generous super chat. We'll we'll answer this on one of the one of the one of the breaks. That that photo looked like it could have been something. It also could have been a messy office. It's hard to say. Yeah, well, maybe she's just a mess. Seven twenty one. 
No objection, Your Honor. 721 with redactions. I mean, I, I think I could. Thank you, Your Honor. Depending on the day of the week, I could, I could make some pretty gnarly accusations based on random photos of my, of my space. I would be terrified to see what she would think of my house on a daily yeah. basis. Again, my office. Different, same thing, different angle. Okay. Let's go to 722. That at least does look like some like a like a box was thrown from there to there. But I don't know. The spilled restoration hardware fruit was pretty compelling. <laughs> this looks like a mess that someone made if they knew they also had to clean it up. Let the record reflect this was shown to Officer Signs and Officer Hadden. This opened a little bit. Julianne, that was a good one. Describe to the jury what's going on. That's a picture of my friends and I um, when we were at that London house. That is a fancy um, frame. That Johnny punched. Oh my God. Okay, that is broken. That's definitely broken. Okay. All right, let's go to 723, please. By someone. Who yep. did it? She says it's Johnny. Classic case of who done it. That painting glass is definitely broken, which would also give you glass shards in case you needed those for any other purpose. The admission yeah, I would expect to see that on the floor. Below it. Like immediately below it. Objection. All right, Not scattered around. <laughs> Let the record flag this was shown off. Yes, yes, sorry, one of the um, <laughs> a bottle of wine. Yeah, this looks like an Instagram feed. This is a good super tag. Those bananas saw earlier were more bruised than Amber Heard. Can you tell where that is? Oh, no, Alita. That's what it looks like. It looks like it would be Penthouse 5. That's true. Oh, no. Spots a lie. Fair point, Law Sire. That's fair point. You're getting hit by a lag, so you might want to tell folks to refresh. Move the addition of defendant 724. Okay. No objection. All right, 724 redaction. Yeah, refresh, guys. Record reflect this was shown to Officer Signs and Haddon as their deposition exhibits 33. Ooh, what is this? Amber, please tell the jury what it's depicted here. This is um, more wine that Johnny was spilling as he was using the um, using the bottle he was holding as a you know a bat of sorts. <clears throat> Tell if it's my screen, so right, or it's five, but I don't. I can't see much yeah, in that photo. Yeah, so I was gonna using a wine bottle as a bat. Yeah. Well, that's she framed someone for something in your photography. It's not great. That is evocative. Move the admission of defendant 725. No objection. All right, 725 for redaction. So let the record reflect this was shown to Officer Signs and Haddon in, as deposition exhibit 37 to their depositions. I think the and jury is taking jury notice. What's depicted here? In response to the uh, More spilled wine on the floor. This looks like uh, Penthouse 5. Okay, that okay. I can see something. And the last but not least, Michelle, please, defendants 726. I think there were puddles in the really dark one. Maybe, but it was just very difficult to see because of the lighting. Uh, move the admission. Um, no objection. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I believe the jury needs a tissue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Buck. We hope jury we needs a tissue. tissue. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Thank not you. from you, no. Amber. All right, That's no inappropriate. Six with redactions. Thank you. I want to. I want to hear about this from from Robin Ian. I'm right, so glad they're the in there. I want to know what's going on there. Was shown to is it just allergies? Maybe. I mean, we're in we're in just photos of an apartment. I don't. Yeah, I don't right. see this being very particularly emotional. emotional. Yeah. Uh, more spilled wine on the floor. Penthouse three appears. Okay. Thank you. Now. When the police officers were there, did either of them take you aside by yourself and talk with you? Yes. Which one or both? Uh, the male officer I did not have much interaction with. The female officer asked to, said she needed to speak to me by, by myself, pulled me aside. Uh, we went into penthouse three, the main penthouse, uh, to speak there because I had been in penthouse one, Raquel and Josh's um, apartment. 
up until that moment. Okay. And then what, if anything, did she ask you? Uh, she asked me if I would make a statement, if I would cooperate. She kind of indicated to me, I don't remember if it was a, what word she said, but she kind of gestured to my face and objection, your honor, hearsay. Right. I, I think I'll she can, if she gestured, gesturing to her face is not hearsay. I'll, I'll, sustain, not a statement. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Definitely, it's Elaine. What are you doing? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, Kelsey, I think what tomorrow. happened next? Tomorrow. I, uh, How, how, let's do this. How long were you with the officer when she took you aside? I think uh, Elaine a few used to minutes. go back and watch Legal um, Bites videos that, that break down okay. basic trial And process. as a result of that, did, did you cooperate? <laughs> no, I did not. But uh, it was my understanding that I couldn't stop them from walking through the apartment, which is what they indicated to me. Okay. And were you with them when they walked through the apartment? Uh, no, Josh, well, in, I was with them at the beginning of Penthouse 3. Josh, uh, Raquel's partner, um, took over from there and showed them around the house up through Penthouse 3, which connects on the top floor to the neighboring apartment, Penthouse 4, and then on to Penthouse 5. They all connect on the top level. So Josh walked the officers through the, through the house. Okay. And... What, if anything, did you say about the identity of Mr. Depp? Nothing. Were you asked? Yes. But you refused to tell them? Objection uh, leading. Sustained. Okay. Uh, why did you refuse to tell the police officers Mr. Depp's identity? Dana, they went into both. Because I did not want them to arrest Johnny. I did not want this to happen. I did not want any of this to happen. I didn't want to get him in trouble. So I said, well, I can't. I, I just refused to cooperate. Okay. Now, after how long, approximately how long were the police officers there? I don't recall exactly. Maybe, uh, I'd say less than half an hour. I, I really don't know exactly, but they weren't there very long at all. Okay. Now, after the police officers left, what did you do? Um, we cleaned up a bit uh, because there was broken glass and we had dogs. So we tried to clean up the, the mess and especially the glass. And um, Josh, Rocky, Liz, and I, we kind of just cleaned up and eventually um, sat on the couch and they just tried to comfort me. Matt L., thank you so much for the very generous What, if any, chat. knowledge did you have that there was going to be a second set of officers coming later that night? I didn't know about that. That surprised me. When did you learn that a second set of officers were coming to the, the penthouse that night? I think I learned about it when they were there, when they arrived. Uh, and we've seen the the body worn video um, on that. Is there anything that you recall outside of what was reflected on Officer Gaitland's uh, uh, body worn video? Couldn't see much of of what was on that video. I just uh, I remember being surprised that they were there, not really knowing why they were there. I assumed it was because. I was encouraged to make a statement by the first set of officers. Objection, so Your Honor, just, hearsay. All right, just I'll just keep going objection. forward. Okay. And I was sitting on the couch. It was uh, some time, hours, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe between an hour, two hours, maybe more. I, I don't really recall. But we had cleaned up and we were resting, and they were comforting me when they came. And um, they didn't seem to. They didn't do it. The first set of officers. Did. They um, just kind of came into the apartment, confirmed that it, we that that I was okay or that we were okay. They didn't really seem to be that concerned, um, and they didn't demand to do a walkthrough like the first set of officers had, um, and they left. Okay. 
And what, if any, cooperation did you give them? Well, I didn't need to. I didn't really cooperate with them. I didn't talk to them. I didn't. I don't. I didn't even get up off the couch. I was speaking to them from a, a, a quite a bit of a distance, like between you and I, and maybe more. And I didn't really say anything. I just kind of acknowledged that they entered and that I that that was it. Did you provide them with Mr. Depp's name? No way. Did they ask? No. Okay. I feel like that All helps right. Johnny. I'm going to take you to the probably tomorrow. next probably tomorrow day, to answer this. Uh, May 22. Um, and I'm going to, Michelle, can you bring up defendant? So that's what we got from the big 21st, huh? Uh -huh. All uh, the cops are liars. What if any efforts well, did The, the second pair aren't liars. They just didn't do their jobs. to you the day right. after this Mandy, happened. There is body cam footage of the second well, he, walkthrough. He made several efforts. Immediately, he kind of reached out and lashed out. Um, again, kind of going on what seems to be slightly delusional thinking that just because he saw all my friend's beads out on the countertop that it had become a workshop or a studio for her. So he seemed angry about, you know, this perception that this bead display that my friend had set up was evidence of her running some sort of workshop. And he also accused us of having, or me, of having invited someone else to live there who, who wasn't living there, um, who, who was just in the apartment when Johnny stormed in. So he All just right. kind of lashed out and then the tone changed in the days that followed. And let, let me stop you there. So I'm going to ask you to take a look at, at defendant's exhibit 772. Uh, and is this a text message from Mr. Depp to you? Yes, it is. And it's on 5.22 at 12.23 a.m. So it's early morning okay. hours after 5.21. Would that be fair? Yes. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of defendant 772. No objection. All right, 772 in evidence with the identifiers redacted and published. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. And uh, I know you started to talk about this, Amber, um, but it says... I'm an idiot. PH5 is Rocky's studio. You are shameless. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Was that what you were talking about with him thinking that you're? Yes. Okay. Um, and then uh, obviously we can read that he says, I tried to make it work. You just turned more and more into a spoiled brat. All you wanted was to make me fucking miserable. Well, I'm finally there. I'll never be able to understand how I fell in love with you. You're not her. I loved you more than anything. I did everything that I could, but you never fucking loved me. I was merely convenient for you. I hope our divorce goes as quickly as possible and that it is as painless as possible. So sorry you were as unhappy with me as you were. Obviously the purity of whatever was has been gone for a long time. I will miss the moments of beauty and truth. Goodbye, Amber. What the fuck was I thinking? I wish you all merit, all you merit, the former him. Um, what, if any, discussions did you have with Mr. Depp about divorce that night? Uh, we did not uh, have a discussion about that uh, that evening. We didn't have time. He was um, obsessed with dog poop. Okay. That's what he wanted to talk about. Okay. Really what? All right, let's take this down and let's go to Defendant's Exhibit 773. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. I thought that text paints Johnny in a fairly positive light. It does. And in fact, he's it's like he's saying, I hope, I wish now, you all the this best. Is I hope this is a text exchange between you is in her and head. Mr. Depp. Uh, it starts with Mr. Depp Stop on 521 in a brain <laughs> at 6.58 p.m. Just saying here, does that refresh your recollection of when he arrived at your penthouse on May 21? Uh, yes. Okay. And then the next series are on 522. They start at 513. And you're discussing talking. You said, sorry, I'm just leaving Amanda's birthday now. Do you see that? Yes, I do. All right. And then he responds to that, correct? 
Yes. All right, Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of defendant 773. Your Honor, if we could just have a minute to review sure. this exhibit. Yes, ma'am. Is it just this page? Uh, no, there's three pages. Three pages. I'm just reading the shells. Can we get into this? <laughs> <laughs> There were two officers we heard from on the first week walkthrough, right? Three, actually. Three of the four. On the, uh, on the first walkthrough? Thank you. Okay. Oh, sorry. Two from the first walkthrough, and then we heard from one of them from the second walkthrough. Yeah, that's what I thought. If we could. Okay, we've got it published to the jury. Because so I'm like, okay, we heard from two officers, and both so of them are like, nope. it starts out with, with him. This but is don't the trust 521, them. They lied. 6.58 p.m. saying he's there. Just like right? everybody else, including the nurse. Yeah, but I think he came in. The nurse was a nice Later than that. Took him some time. Somehow so everyone has lied. And then if we move up, the next Everyone one but is Amber, including you. Past Amber has uh, also lied. At yes. 5.22, uh, at 5.13 p.m., correct? Yes. And then you say, thank you. And then can we still speak in a min? What do you recall of why you sent those texts? I believe we had spoken on the phone or they I can't uh, control this correct the screen uh, I, I don't know we what can give you control yes maybe we should do that and clear out my purples maybe we should do that I just don't know what was sent right before go, this go ahead Ugh. go ahead you're on a we can't scroll spidey. she's asking to scroll okay Michelle let's have you scroll how's it going spidey just just go ahead and scroll through just slowly so she can read the whole thing Hiya, thank you so much for this very generous super chat. That's awesome, thank you. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Um, cross might start today, it just might. Thank you again, very kind of you. Does that help refresh your recollection? Uh, yes, I believe that uh, that um, I believe he had apologized to me after the phone incident. I had commitments that I had to attend the following day uh, on the 22nd. So the beach show I referenced, I mentioned to you, I had to go to, I would also had to bring a cake to a friend's birthday party. So I had things I was, I unfortunately had to do that day. And I remember there was communication with Johnny, um, both by phone and by text, uh, where he was uh, telling me that he was clean, that he was sober, he um, was clear mind, it wasn't the monster, and that he was so sorry. Um, but I... That's what uh, the monster looks like. I mean, <laughs> I had already from those photographs. Committed to... Yeah filing for divorce and um, monster the monster isn't so bad eventually it's it's monster I have to um, monster let him know that it's not just it's not even, just saying even better, it's the end of the monster when everyone's like the that, friendly like, funny monsters done, you know both he and I did that uh, at times in some of our fights especially towards the end of our relationship and so um, I let him know that I, I was I was um, serious about filing this time, and that I had had enough after the after the phone. Cashing on your hearsay. Had enough. Okay. Overruled. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to draw your attention to the bottom of the page, defendants exhibit seven seven three, and this is at five twenty two. So this is six nineteen p.m. Do you see that five twenty two? 
and he says, just let me know when you have a minute and I'll give you a call. Nothing I have to say. You should elicit anything but a sense of ease. Do you see that? Yes. And then he says, all my love and profound apologies. What was he apologizing for? Objection calls for speculation. Fair. What was your understanding of what he was apologizing for? Speculation, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. I, okay. Yep. In his phone call with you, did he tell you what he was apologizing for? Yes. What did he say? He was sorry that he reacted the way he did. He said he didn't mean to hurt me. He didn't mean to hurt me. If he really hurt me that bad, he's sorry. But he just, he didn't mean to. Okay. Michelle, if we can go to the next page. Up to the green, please. And he says here, I'm sad, I'm scared, and I'm broken, my sweet slim. And then he says, I want you happy. I have zero harsh feelings. I am clear and I am me. What did you understand him to mean by I am clear and I am me? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. I do you do you I know what he meant. Okay. But Your Honor, did he use that phrase with you? I'll, I'll, hold, I'll sustain that objection. I'm trying next, to get to the yeah, next one here. Then you can ask your next question. Thank Go ahead. you. Do you did he Lull use get those wrecked. phrases with you during your <laughs> marriage? Yes, he did. What did Mr. Depp mean when he says, I am clear and I am me? Objection. Calls for speculation. I, I think I established the foundation. Go ahead. Thank you. That he had sobered up. That he had sobered up and he was not the monster again, that he was him. That he was a good guy, I love. Oh, here's the emotion. The one that I trusted. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask Spidey, love your reaction. Take that one down and bring in 771, which has already been admitted. Now, those text exchanges were in the six o'clock to almost seven o'clock range. And here it's 522, it's now eight o'clock, correct? Yes. Save this question. And he's telling you, sorry if a bit, please know that my hurt towards you is over. My apologies are eternal and belong to you. Solid. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Uh, and was it your understanding he was apologizing again? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Was there anything else he would have been apologizing for that he had done? Objection calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. A little laugh, get a little laugh out of us. It's like yes, Don. We 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 hope for a lunchtime so, or post update. Yes. Tell the jury how you felt in that week, May twenty two through May twenty seven, and Spike, what you, one's for you decided to do. Uh. At the time, it felt like the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I had worked so hard to try to make this relationship work. I went to therapy and went to Al-Anon. I got help. I read books. I did everything I could possibly do, and it didn't work. And um, I find I was I was conflicted. To answer your question, I was conflicted. I knew after he threw the phone at my face that after all that that month of not seeing each other that not getting better not getting clean and sober there wasn't even i didn't you know the 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 the, the all, it, it was falling apart i knew i had i knew i had to leave him i knew i i wouldn't i knew i wouldn't survive it if i didn't so i made the decision to to file for divorce. It was hard because, um, you know, I loved Johnny so much. I loved him so much. And, and why did you file for divorce? Because I knew if I didn't, that I, I knew if I didn't, I'd likely not literally survive. I'm bringing something so scared that it was going to end 
really badly for me. And I um, really didn't want to leave him. I loved him so much. I wouldn't have done anything, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't do that one thing. I couldn't stay. The, the promise and the hope that I had, I had become less and less regular and more and more rare. The monster had been this thing that was now the normal and not the exception. The violence was now normal and not the exception. And it was um, so it was so hard. It was so hard, but I knew I had to do it. And it would, I believe he would have taken it too far. And I wouldn't be here. Why did you ask for a domestic violence temporary restraining order? I wanted to change my locks. I wanted to change my locks. I wanted a good night's sleep. His security would always let him into the house no matter what I asked them. No matter when I, when I begged them to let me know when he was coming over, no matter how much I begged them not to let him in when he was mad or drunk or high. And I just, I couldn't sleep. I'd wake up in a panic. I was losing hair. I was losing weight. I got really sick. I had shingles. I couldn't sleep. And she just said that she was losing attacks. hair. And um, mm -hmm. we have another picture of her hair time. being pulled out. I'm falling apart. Supposedly, yeah. I was scared and very conflicted because the person I was scared of is also the person I was in love with. Really, really tricky. And I, I was thinking one step at a time, you know, I was thinking very myopically. I wanted just to get a good night rest, a good night sleep. I just wanted to change my locks. I thought I'd be healthier if I got some sleep and I could think about what to do or how to handle this. If I just could sleep and when I did, I realized that that wasn't enough, that he could get in any way, that the building wasn't going to stop him from getting a locksmith and coming in. I knew that he would do what he wanted. Objection, Your Honor, calls for speculation. As he's entitled Over to do. Thank you. All right, next. Okay. Sometimes if you're super stressed, so you can bring on shingles. Did Mr. Demp show up yeah, for like the hearing stressed. on the DVTRO? No, he didn't. Did you? Yes, I did. And why did you what show up? What do you up? mean, did he show up? Because I had to it's provide party, testimony right? for why I yeah, needed a restraining order. He wasn't what invited. What if any warning uh, were, did you give Mr. Depp about obtaining the DVTRO? Um, we gave him warning. Um, my counsel and his counsel were in communication and we let them know. We had to. It was mandatory. Okay. It's my understanding of it. I'm not a lawyer. Was there any confusion surrounding whether Mr. Depp was going to that file doesn't sound as plausible. well? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. I'm asking Lack of foundation. Right. I'll just say it's the foundation. Right. Did you have any confusion as to whether Mr. Depp was going to file as well? So I, um, I filed for divorce uh, on the 23rd, I believe. And I thought that uh, when I went in that Tuesday, we, or when we filed for it, remarkably, it managed to stay under the radar. You know, these filings are not private. You can't make them private in California. And remarkably, it had flown under the radar. Uh, it, 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 no one picked up on the fact that I had filed. And uh, as limited as it sounds now, I just wanted as much privacy as we could have, you know, one day at a time, I wanted as much privacy as we could possibly get. And m the filing had been missed by TMZ and, you know, these paparazzi outlets and stuff. But um, 
between uh, the communications between our council, I realized that Johnny was going to file in retaliation. Objection hearsay. Uh, I'll sustain the objection. Um, I'm trying to think how to ask this. So, um, don't. Without saying what the council said, what were you? What was your understanding, and what was your concern? Objection I hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. All right, well, let's move on. Let's, Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 800, please? Move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 800. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. All right, 800 in evidence. Publish. Amber, can you describe for the jury what this picture is? It's a picture of my face while I'm sitting at the courthouse. And were mm -hmm. you wearing any makeup? I was wearing nothing, not a stitch of makeup. Michelle, can you bring up 801, please? Stitch of makeup. Liz, could the bruises, quote unquote, actually be shingles? That's a super chat question. Will the admission of 801? No, um, no objection. 801 and evidence. Shingles is like a vesicle type of. And Amber, if you can tell the jury what this is. That's me while I was. Uh, Obtaining my uh, restraining order, it's me in the courthouse. Okay, and and what if anything did you do while you were at the courthouse? Did you testify? Oh, I I provided testimony, and sat there and cried. And did you obtain a domestic violence re restraining order? I did. Uh, the court granted me a restraining order at that time. When you left the courthouse, what did you experience? I walked into the courthouse. It was quiet first thing in the morning. Uh, no one knew about my divorce, so I thought it was going to stay that way. And I walked out uh, to a sea of paparazzi and cameras, photographers. You're a celebrity. It was, I, to that point, had, I mean, at that point in my life, had never seen so many photographers, and they just surrounded me as I walked out of that courthouse and screamed at me, screamed horrible things at me. I'm going to take you just for a moment to make up, and then we'll... That would put okay, after that. Okay, that yeah, that'll be right, a good you. breaking point after the makeup. We yes. said that Amica, Amica, Amica cream. Amica, Amica cream. cream. Is it time? That day. We've heard all kinds of things about makeup in this case. Could you please tell the jury what your uh, regular routine was with respect to makeup? Uh, yes, I get up and wash my face like most of us, um, and I put on right away uh, a moisturizer that has. Um, tinted foundation in it. And then I put another foundation on because it has sunblock in it. I have a skin condition that my skin reacts to the sun in a bad way. Oh, you mean like all that pink? So I have to, I have to wear sunscreen hmm. or sunblock every or day. Rosacea. Uh -oh. So I put on both or of those. The fact that's not through. good. That's uh, not good, Amber. And hey. I, uh, I do that before Amber, what's going I, on I here? leave my bathroom. What's going on with the super sensitive anymore. skin? That's obviously if I don't have a bruise. Now, when you had bruises or cuts of any nature, what would you do uh, about those? Would you try to cover them up? Would you try to just leave them showing? What would you do? Objection, Your Honor, leading. I, I, I was, oh, yeah, overruled. I'm thank you. Uh, well, I'm, uh, typic I, uh, I'm typically photographed in LA when I leave the house, a uh, paparazzi type of photograph. So uh, I always, I'm, you know, somewhat aware of that anyway, um, and no one, woman, no woman wants to walk around with a bruise on her face. Uh, so if I do have a bruise uh, on my face or someplace visible, you know, the main thing you have to ice right away to reduce swelling because no amount of makeup can can fix swelling, but that's very manageable if you ice it really soon. Um, arnica is also a, a great uh, remedy. Arnica cream. Uh, and then if you want to cover up a bruise, um, you obviously put foundation first, concealer, and then on top of that, um, 
I used a like a, a bruise kit, not a bruise kit. It's a theater makeup kit, a color correction kit. But I use I called it my bruise kit. And, and let me, I, I use this. I think in opening statements, defendants exhibit one. You could five. Uh, mic microphone, please. Oh. Just to, we can't hear you. Um, there you go. May, may I approach uh, the witness to? Well, that's what you could show counsel. Uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about as a color correction kit. This is not obviously the exact one I used to carry. Oh, it's oh, 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 a little bit more mm -hmm. cute. <laughs> and sometimes the kits are three colors. You can get them in three or four colors. Sometimes they have even more. But the idea is that you want to counteract whatever color you're working with on the bruise. So the first day of bruising, um, well, the immediate is red. The red is what shows up right away. So you want to go with the opposite on the color wheel by dabbing on a bit of the green or something to counteract the red. After a day or two, you get more purple in a bruise. Um, so you'd obviously have to go with more of the red tones, the, the orange tones here. Um, day two for me was always the trickiest because um, <sighs> day two just... I feel like, well, day one and day two are hardest for me because that's when you get the most blues and purples and you have to deal with the sensitivity. Bruises don't like to be touched. That's the whole point. Um, so that's the trickiest part. But um, after a few days, that becomes more of a, uh, uh, that blue becomes more of a, a, a brown, yellowish browns, like a, a, you know, five, seven days in becomes more of a yellow green. Uh, and then fades into a brown and then into your skin. And you, whatever color you're working with in the bruise, you want to go opposite color on the color wheel. Uh, so uh, the opposite, I mean, so in the first couple of days when you have more of the typical bruise color, the blues and, and the purples, you want to go more of the orange uh, on, the, on the color wheel as opposed to the greens that you start with. And then it moves, it progresses from there. I also noticed that um, bruising on your face uh, tends to heal bring a it, lot faster it. than, at least for me, it was faster healing than bruises on my body, or at least it seemed like that to me. And um, a nose is pretty much um, unrecognizable after a day or two, depending on how much you ice it. Uh, lips are the hardest to take back later, what? of course. Uh, no. But it's easy to hide with lipstick if you're a woman. Or, no, no, you know, no, no, you'll wear a no, lipstick. No. You know, we heard no. some testimony of people. Nurse, nurse Liz, you've been holding out on me. May 21st, 27th. Your nose can be healed completely uh, in a day. You didn't wear stitch yeah. makeup. Or was that true? Do you have enough ice? Who knew? Who knew? Oh. Uh, they just don't know what they're talking about. Uh, I was also, makeup are really. some of the fastest healing things you on the body. Wear um, I mean, it's just part of my that. bathroom routine in the morning. You know, wash my face. I put on moisturizer. My moisturizer has tinted foundation in it. And I'm certainly not going to walk around LA day. with bruises on my face. Especially when you don't have them. Take our lunch recess at this time. <laughs> Again, do not do any outside research. Do not discuss the case with anybody. And we'll see you in an hour. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Woo Court is still in session. So please be quiet in the gallery. Thank you. Yeah, especially you, Robin Ian. And Larry, <laughs> just hear an I eye of Jack from the galley. Bullshit. Bullshit. But you know, you have to wait till you're outside the courtroom. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Where, where are the day two photos of the, the color changing bruises? Under, uh, under oath and testifying, you cannot discuss this case in, to include with your attorneys, okay? In your testimony. All right. Let's come back then at 1 40. Okay. All right, thank you. No, no signs of broken nose in one or two days after if you ice it enough. Good. So they, Good. they can't ask her on cross to correct a bruise uh, because that's, that's just going to be very, very prejudicial. Um, so they, they can't do that. But, uh, oh, my goodness. I am uh, very excited to see this cross-examination and bring out that Milani palette. We officially have it in evidence. <laughs> what do you guys wow. think? Wow. Wow. So many. Where to begin? So many thoughts, right? Well, let's begin I've with never this seen, one. 
Oh, yeah, go for it. Um, Elora says, question, what do you guys think about the tweet from Andrew Burkhart showing that the same photo was admitted for two different DV incidents? <gasps> I missed that. I must have missed that. Um, uh, that's not good. I, I didn't know that, but. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun for cross-examination. I hope, I hope, I mean, I'm sure Johnny's team has, has noticed this and that they can say, okay, now you say that this is from, what, December 15th, and then you say this is from uh you know may 2016 just put it like okay i'm gonna put them right next to each other okay let's just take those off the screen you yeah, know, like just like yeah. ask one like random question uh -huh. about them to be like are these not the same photo and then like, i don't know and maybe not that because then she would be able to respond but like uh <laughs> so many issues okay uh nurse liz you were gonna say something oh no just that i've never seen someone successfully make cover like especially an eye bruise like that. Um, but if she did have rosacea, which those pictures honestly looked like, those are really common to correct the redness, like the, using the green on the redness mm -hmm. to cover up rosacea, but not not a bruise, my dear friend. No, and it wasn't swollen and your nose takes forever to heal. Um, just false. Just that false. when she, she, when she went through the color changing of bruises, which we're all familiar with and we understand, but she never has the second or third day changed colors of bruises. And that would be a lot more compelling because yes. that is from a bruise. Rosacea doesn't act like that. Pinching, mm -hmm. it doesn't act like that, but we don't have any of that, those photos conveniently. Yeah. Yeah. Just another one of those weird coincidences. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to share, I'm going to share the, the tweet from, Andrew Burkhart here. Let me just give me one second here. I'll, I'll just. We need our maniacs on. on the ground. I yes. know, I they know. We do. We break. really do. I okay. you they're right now. You know they've had no sleep. They're just going to be out of their minds. Okay, look at this. Oh, wow. The exact same photo. Johnny, what Johnny are you guys? Is very about consistent this? with the way he drops things <laughs> and hits people. It's like even. Even the the splatter of, of wine, like he does everything exactly the wow. same. For someone who the is takes... very dangerous and erratic, he's quite consistent. <laughs> he's very consistent as the piece. This sure, he's a real pro. <laughs> he, I mean, yeah, all the practice. Come on, that is bad. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's talk about this, right? Oh, am I goodness. muted? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can now, hear you. Yeah, you're fine now. Yeah. Now, there's like a thousand texts in the message saying I'm muted. Okay, hi. Uh, for I think a while. I think sometimes when people see us like like reacting silently, they think that we're muted. Um, yeah. If we're just like nodding our head or something, then they're like, "Wait, no, unmute yourself. I want to hear you," <laughs> which is understandable. <laughs> but you know. Uh, okay, so where do we begin on this one? We've got an hour to chat. <laughs> So she was mean to nurses. We don't like that. That was oh bold. yes, yes. I was like, Impeaching... we're an angry group of people. Yes. Uh... Impeach... <laughs> the nurses, the cops, the yeah. I mean, literally everybody. You know, you hell, even her, her friend. You know, because mm -hmm. clearly Johnny ran across the room as soon as her friend happened to come in. I mean, it's it's so many people who can't be there to corroborate her testimony. It's so weird. Uh... Yeah. And the fact that she was for, like, she used some of the nurse's testimony before to, like, support her. And now all of a sudden she's, like, against her. You see that all the time um, in healthcare and probably just in regular life. It, like, splitting is what they'll call it, where mm -hmm. someone usually with, like, um, any, like, a mental health thing that they're struggling with will be very, like, oh, look, at, like, you're the best. You're so smart, like, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden you do something, you draw a hard line and they start doing something that you don't like. And now you're a liar. You're the worst person they've ever met. Um, nothing you've ever done is reputable. Like you're mm -hmm. out to get them. And it sounds like she's just doing that with yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, and then there's, there's also the, the justification about why she didn't want to call the cops. And then like five days later, she wants to show the world the DVTRO, like, you know, like she like comes out to the world and like makes this big mm -hmm. public thing. Like, I mean, I guess someone can change their mind after several days, like thinking from like a, like a devil's advocate kind of perspective, like, okay, maybe you can change your mind on that. But it just, it just seems like if you've gotten to that point and you come out in such a public way, only several days later, like, how, like what, what happened in those days to make you change your mind then? Like that's what I want to know. Well, the, the, the whole I wanted to protect Johnny thing was 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 hard. That that was hard to endure. Yeah. 
yeah. protect, right? All the things you did were to protect I, Johnny, including uh, recording him without his consent, right? I mean, that was that was really. I have crazy. seen thousands of people cry. I have never seen someone cry like that. Mm -hmm. I will just say. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. She was still um, breathing through her nose. Like there was no. There was no. No. Yeah. I would say this. I would say that her acting sad was 1.73% better than the last time we saw her on the stand. Like she it was just point seventy three percent. She was better. Yeah. She was better. I feel like she a watched her better. video on frowning. For, for a few reasons. For a few reasons. First, there was less confirmation glances towards the uh, jury when she was crying. Like, are you buying this? Are you buying this glances? Um, her breathing was also a little shorter. In the earlier one, one of the biggest incongruencies la last week was when she was crying, she was still <clears> taking <throat> deep breaths. Like she'd be like, and then you hit me hard like there was a, but now today she had a bit of those little like shorter <laughs> bursts which which was which was better um her body language is also a little bit more like shut down today which is a little bit more consistent with what it should be it's still like her frown was still exaggerated not as exaggerated as that like real that sad clown frown you know the that she had last week not as bad but yeah or, it wasn't, or, or the muppet the muppet like I've yeah, seen, yeah, the I've muppet seen some thing. memes of like her as, as beaker <laughs> Yeah. Yes. And, and, yeah. And I, and, and I talked about this in a video um, as, so basically the reason that happened is she knows as an actress or as any of us know, when we're sad, we frown, but she doesn't get why we frown. So she was activating her chin and lips to make her look sad like this, but that's not why we frown. We frown because when we're sad, the muscles of the face relax and they pull the corners of the mouth down mm -hmm. as a, as a, um, as a result. So she, it, it wouldn't look that tense. So that tension was out of place. Today, it wasn't as bad. It looked a little bit better. So uh, I would say her acting has improved by a, by a very small amount. <laughs> her acting. Um, oh, also, man. something else. There's a great, there's a great freaking line I caught uh, right there before the break, just as I came in, maybe 20 minutes ago. This is huge. I'm probably going to end up talking about this in my video big time. She said this sentence exactly like this. Um, the person I was scared of was the person I'm in love with. Not mm. the person I was scared of was the person I was in love with. Not the person I'm scared of is the person I'm in love with. Like she said, because there's a lot of people who have said like, you know, she speaks in the present. Like, uh, you know, he's doing this, he's doing that. Some people do that. Some people, when they go back into a memory, will speak in the present as they try to recall, especially sensory things. I'm feeling this, I'm seeing that, I'm hearing this behind me. I turn around, I see that. So it's not a big deal when you do that, but it's a big deal when you shift, especially mid-sentence. So for her to say the person I was scared of, the logical conclusion to that would be was the person I was in love with back then. Mm -hmm. But for mm -hmm. her to switch mid-sentence, the person Ian's I here was, What's that? Yep. Oh yeah. I, sorry, oh. I was I was just about to. I was, I was trying to find finish. a transition. I'm sorry. You I know what I'll just add in. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna try to have a witty transition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Wrong. speaking of your great presence. <laughs> so um yeah, that's been real interesting, and a lot of the details that we've got about the jury are wrong. Um, All right, hit us. Tell us, tell us. Give us so, the juice. Um, without giving too many details to identify jurors, we've got sort of a profile that is heavily Asian, um, mostly male. It's the uh, six male to three women. Um, okay. I don't know if the masking mix means anything, although it does create some issues for some of the jurors in terms of uh, some of them are wearing COVID masks, and that can make it a little harder to pick out uh, pick out their expressions. Yeah. And there have been some expressions that uh, can be picked out. Um, so they started out and they were generally sort of all attentive and, uh, you know, being very very diligent in writing and that faded away fairly quickly for some of them more than others okay. um juror b started out being like super careful in writing and by the uh by the end of it when you saw that breakdown that just happened like just before yeah. the break there where she was he was not just not paying attention he literally had his head full on face down like leaning it up against the chair in front of him wow. so um, suffice to say, her testimony doesn't seem to be ringing very well with some of the jurors. Um, there's a guy, we've been just lettering them, so Juror F, who is an older man, uh, older white man, uh, who just does not seem to be buying 
anything that is being sold. Uh, he okay. is, um, he's basically tuned out. I don't think I've seen him write more than a couple times and basically just, um, I don't think he cares much for her. Um, wow. it's, there are some others who are more sort of poker faced, but there was one moment, you know, when they were, there's that sequence where they're trying to go through all of the bad audio and get her to provide explanations. Mm -hmm. Um, one guy who was being pretty, pretty diligent. We were kind of worried that it seemed like he was really into what, uh, what Amber was saying. Um, after one of her explanations when she's like, Oh, you know, that's to differentiate between how, you know, he hits me, you know, he punches me and then I hit him. Um, the worst he sort of, he made this sort of expression. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh was so I might have made that head. expression on the, on the tape. I, you'd have to go back. And yeah. Look. He just sort of went. And I was just like, okay, I know where he sits. Um, wow. I, I think he's doing pretty well. I, that doesn't mean that he's gonna necessarily win because there's still a really hard legal battle. Yep. But I mean, I you think got that some she, strong reactions though. I mean, people were trying to be pretty poker faced, but you're like, I'm sitting here. I'm super tired. Um, we're running on like no sleep because we literally got we were in the line at nine thirty, and that sucked. So. Uh, <laughs> For those that don't know, in different time zones, that's 15 hours ago. Yeah, we've been uh, so about the only way to stay awake. Is, about the only way to stay awake is to laser focus on the, uh, you know, on the witnesses, yeah. and uh, or on the jurors rather, and uh, they they leak information over time. So I I see a lot of sort of skepticism in there. Um, there's also some really interesting uh, back and forth undertone between Elaine and Amber. Um, I think Amber's getting a little pissed at Elaine and Elaine's getting a little pissed at Amber. It's been kind of funny to watch because mm. uh, every time there's these objections for like hearsay or whatever else, uh, Elaine was trying to get her back to it and Amber yeah. was leaning into the objection. Yes. <laughs> and you'd see that... Uh, Elaine would get frustrated and then Amber would get more combative. And I'm just, we've been sitting there kind of wondering, is this going to be a situation where, uh, uh, where they end up sort of having conflict or at least, you know, uh, conflictual tone at least, uh, between the two of them. Um, the yes. one guy, um, uh, we've seen people resting their head on their hand or board that, uh, just, um, moments of people making like stink face at you know at, when they're hearing evidence going like are you kidding me um, that last bit where they were going through all of the pictures and showing her you know her bruise people were tuned out they were just not paying attention so the part with uh, the makeup palette they weren't paying attention at all not with the makeup palette uh, before that when she was oh. showing you know this bruise and like this could have been a big moment for her because it's this moment when now they're saying, Hey, we've got some corroborating, uh, you know, some corroborating evidence to say that there was an injury. Um, but everyone was just tuned out. Everyone was just not paying attention, trying to, it looked like people were struggling to stay awake and just wanted. Um, wow. Yeah. Um, did, when, you see, no. did you happen to see what drove, what drove the tissue question from yes. Camille? Yes, I'm um, pretty chair sure right that here. was an allergy. Um, okay. So I thought. So uh, I couldn't get a, a full view, but it didn't look like that juror was tearing up at all. Um, I think that the juror wiped his nose. It would have been an odd time. It was like photos of apartment buildings, but yeah, yeah. very yeah, odd. It, it did not, you know, I couldn't see him just because there was a head in the way. Okay. okay. But it didn't look like he was upset and he moved his mask when he got the tissue. That I that bit I could see because he was so I'm like that sounds to me like somebody wiping you know wiping their nose not uh, not anything else so I don't think that was anybody tearing up I don't think there was a uh, a damp eye in that in that courtroom okay and then so, Camilla X three says what about the women jurors any reactions from them 
Um, there's one in the front row who is super stone faced and actually quite difficult to read. Um, I'm not sure where she sits, uh, but she is just, you know, not reacting. In the back towards the right, uh, somebody else who is has a pretty good poker face and is wearing a mask, which makes it even more challenging. And one just uh, sort of adjacent to her, uh, who was at one point, um, when they're sort of going through the emotional testimony, she's kind of bouncing in her seat and looking super bored. So I uh, that's the best read I can get on, on those uh, sort of three right now. But the one I think was really not buying it, uh, or at least she looked bored. So, yeah. and I mean, yeah. if you were gonna, if you're hardcore on Team Amber, that's the time when you want to look interested, right? When she's breaking down and so forth. Yeah. Um, I did not see sort of reactions beyond just poke your face to that. So, right. I don't think. Right. I don't think so. that she was making too much headway there. So, yeah. Um, I think so too. Um, and yeah, Math- there was a Mathias guy Santos, was... we, we answered this earlier, but thank you very much for the, for the generous super chat. Sorry. Go on, go on, Ian, go on. There was a guy who started grooming himself midway through. <laughs> like, How um, so? Yeah. It's, oh, just like going over and sort of, uh, doing his hair and that. And I'm like, okay. So, you know, this guy's clearly, uh, clearly on board. <laughs> so it's. <laughs> I feel like this one is uh, kind of interesting in terms of Very just how little well they're gripping these jurors. Um, that isn't to say that they won't find their stride later, but mm-hmm. uh, there were points of like some pretty clear disbelief. And uh, particularly through that sort of let's fix up all that bad audio sequence that they did, there were some real moments when there were jurors just going, Are, you know, I don't buy it. So that, uh, <laughs> I think that's a bad sign for, uh, for her because that's the time when she's got to fix those problems. And if she didn't fix those problems, then all she managed to accomplish was playing the bad audio again, you know? Right. And, right. Uh, and one thing I noticed with several jurors is that, uh, they'd hear the bad audio and they'd take notes and then they'd hear Amber's explanation for the bad audio, and they weren't taking notes anymore. Wow. Oh, no. That's the so opposite of what you want to happen. <laughs> that is exactly it, right? And especially because this is bad audio they've already heard, right? So they have less reason to take notes during the audio and more to, for her explanations. Yeah, I, uh, I would not be happy with that juror, or jury response if I was, you know, team heard at the moment. Oh so it's... Uh, um, yeah, we're going to have to figure out, uh, there's going to be a live stream later where we talk uh, a little bit more about all this and try to sort of match it to some of the moments that we, that we see there. Um, Rob thinks that there might've been a moment where he got recognized. So we're going to have to go over that of in some detail and, and see if he got recognized and see if he yeah. got made. Uh, um, yeah. but, um, yeah, um, I also don't really know how I'm going to work tomorrow because um, if the line was at 1030 was basically the cutoff today for when people got in. So um, I got to find a way to get home, stream, somehow sleep, and then be back out on the line for like earlier than we were today. Oh, no. It's, uh, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Ian, you're a mad person. We love you I, I that you're doing this, folks. <laughs> This is Ian Runkle, Runkle of the Bailey. He's going to be yes. streaming today. Go like, go subscribe. He's going to get even more insights for you later today. This is Do amazing it. stuff that yes. he and Rob are doing because I couldn't stand in this line. Uh, so yes. please do go check out that channel. He will be on. I think he'll, you're, you're going to pop back on with us for a couple of minutes at the end of the day, right, Ian? Uh, that's that's sure. the plan. We'll pop on, you know, and have a brief chat and then uh, go and do sort of a, a awesome. more in-depth breakdown. Awesome. Um, the other sort of uh, the other thing is that the line today was crazy. Uh, <laughs> I thought for a moment that it might turn into like a serious uh, riot. <laughs> bra- yeah, it. Um, everybody had been up and lining up since you know ten thirty was basically when the cutoff was, and then the sheriffs came out at about midnight and said, "Hey, everybody needs to get away from the courthouse and 
we're not keeping your spot in line. I mean, that's what so, they had been saying before. Like, they weren't going to start the line till 1 a.m., so, yeah. 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 But you had everybody who had already sort of figured out where they were and people who had been waiting there. And then you get people who rolled in, like, way later going, well, I'm going to be front to the line. And there was going to be some real tension on that. <laughs> and mm-hmm. uh, so, thankfully, it mostly got sorted out, although there were some... Uh, some moments with people who felt entitled to move to the front of the line, even though they got there later. And some people were very upset by that. And I thought some of that might turn into conflict, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see if that happens tomorrow. And it also makes it more difficult for me to plan to go there and like rest. Cause if I could just go there and have a nap at the site, that would be easier, but who knows if that's a thing. So I mean, I was, I was going to say like, you guys, you guys could like, if the three of you go together again, you could like take breaks where you sleep for a few hours and somebody else sleeps for a few hours. Then you know what I mean? Like, like do a night watch. Yeah. (laughs) And that might be what has to happen. Um, Yeah. So can bring you like a cop and then take it back so you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to close. I don't know if there's somebody who could like do um, a run like that because that would be ideal is somebody could just clean up afterwards and like so we could just leave the cot and not have to yeah. worry about it yeah um, i don't know if that's possible um oh, we'll make it possible we'll try to figure it all out and uh get it all sorted but uh yeah it's pretty crazy times i mean the only other real alternative is if somebody waits in the line but um it it's nuts and there were people uh there was a group who went around offering uh, 500 bucks a pop for two spaces in line that they wanted to give over and uh and that was before the uh the re the line reshuffle so that would have been real exciting if they had paid uh, 500 dollars each to get a space in line that then became no longer valid um, we might have seen some ex- some excitement um yeah. and i just want to note i'm not blaming the uh the court staff here they've got really important stuff they gotta take care of yeah. and um they were doing a real good job at keeping everything you know, sorted as best they could, given yeah. that this was a contentious and changing circumstance. So they did fantastic. I'm not uh, given, I'm not going to, you know, throw shade their way. It's just, it is what it is, right? And um, it's a very difficult thing to manage. Of, we don't want people lining up before 1 a.m. with the amount of demand there is. So yeah. Yeah. we'll have to see. Maybe they'll come up with a different system tomorrow and yeah. Uh, I see somebody was asking any reactions during her explanation of Mr. Grumpy. Yes. I'd have to go through my notes a little bit more there, but I think that people were just kind of like, uh, if I recall, like just from memory, people were just kind of like, okay, staring blankly. And I don't think anybody really was buying into that. Okay, you didn't have okay. anyone make the, oh, oh, that explains it face, right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Nobody went, uh, aha. <laughs> And also, uh, Marilyn K. earlier, thank you so much for your $50 super chat who said just saying thanks. I showed it earlier, but I, I didn't want to interrupt um, Ian in the middle of, of what he was telling us because this has been so important. Um, I'm, I'm so, so thankful that, that you are coming on um, with, the, you know, with everything that you've got going on. I know I'm, I'm sure you must be starving for lunch right now. I mean, we're able to like have snacks while we're sitting here, but obviously you can't do that in court. Um, yeah, do, do you guys have, uh, have like lunch arranged somehow? <laughs> we've got pizza coming, so that Good. should be uh, a thing. Good. And um, Good. yeah, so I think Rob and I will pop on uh, once, you know, once we're done and back at uh, Castle Rob. And okay. uh, so I think that's the plan. Uh, we're still kind of working all this out because it's been a chaotic day. But yeah. um Understand. Anyway, I should probably have got about 17 requests from people who want me to pop on and yes, do a brief commentary. Course. So and, uh, I will. Uh, can other people go, wait in line for you? Yeah, Thrashley says I'm in the DMV area and can help with sleep cycles. Because I bet we could find people to go and sit in your um, spots. Yes. I'm on, uh, I'm on Twitter as Ian Runkle. Um, look me up and shoot me a dm because if there's yes. people who can help that would be that fantastic would, that would be amazing so, if, if there's anybody out there that would like to that is in the dmv area that would like to volunteer as tribute to help get help these guys get some sleep we've got three guys that we need three bodies to stand in their place for them that would be I can, amazing 
I can tell you that today I'm sitting there during the thing, just trying not to fall asleep because ah. if I fall asleep, I'm pretty sure they're going to bounce me. So I'm just sitting there like, I mean, I, I did send away. you information on the line standing services. Did that not pan out? Yeah, but those are crazy expensive. Um, they can the be. line standing services are crazy expensive and have to be booked like a while before. So I'm not going to be able to get one for the rest of the time I'm here. I don't think. And, yeah. um, they're not super keen on Fairfax County in the first place. They uh, they much prefer to do DC. So. Yeah, yeah. Start editing on your Twitter and let people sign up there. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Well, like if maybe maybe if we could like find like a like maybe set up a Google Doc that people can fill in okay, information that's a good way to do it. or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. like if we could if we could like like crowd like crowdsource this to like get mm. people to sign up for times. <laughs> I will something. let you guys do a little bit of the. Uh, sort of the back end of figuring out a system um maybe, if you know, not maybe, we'll, uh, i'm sure there's we'll, there's a there's a there's a there's a google doc smart viewer that can get that started for us um and then maybe maybe send send the group a link or something like that um i'm sure someone someone is out there that has that has a moment that can do that um this would be fantastic okay but otherwise we'll well we've got we've got you know, folks that are super chatting here saying they're also in the dmv they can get you coffee and stuff too so uh, so folks reach out to him, to him, reach out to Rob, reach out to Larry, <laughs> DUI guy, um, and bring them food <laughs> and coffee. Um, but yeah. otherwise, um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. Cause I know you said, you got right. a go get pizza. Right. You're killing it, Ian. Yes. Yeah, well, thank you. And, uh, talk to you guys later. Yeah. See, see you. All right. Well, that was valuable. So, wow. I know that was, that was incredible. I am so, so happy that they got in there. Um, and that we've been able to uh, to get that from them. Um, so much great stuff. But Spidey, I'm so sorry. We, we totally interrupted what no, you were no, saying. No, not at all. I, I was pretty much done my point, which is like if, you know, if some people have a pattern of speaking in the present term when they think of things and some people have a tendency to speak in the past, um, I don't pay that much attention to that kind of thing. But when it shifts, I do, especially when it's mid-sentence. So to me, the person I was scared of is the person I'm in love with is weird. A lot of the... Um, you know, behavior analysts have been saying that she still has feelings for Johnny Depp. I think that's a very reasonable um, sort of guess because okay. even in the way that she talked, like in, in her testimony when she was talking about their beginning and she was still getting those butterflies when she was talking about their first kiss. You know, I, I, I don't talk about this too much, but I did therapy for years and I dealt with a lot of people who went through hardships. And now when they think back to their beginning, in most cases, there are exceptions to this, I will admit, but in most cases when victims think back to their beginning when they talk about how they met the person you still see signs of disgust and anger because they're now looking at that moment through the lens of what they know now when she was talking about their beginnings their first kiss on set she was smiley and butterflies and the lawyer asked did, did he slip you the tongue and she goes yes he did with a smile like you're thinking about this violent monster putting his tongue in your mouth wouldn't there be wouldn't you expect there to be just a little bit more cringiness so things like that the fact that she said the person i'm in love with as opposed to the person i was in love with mid-sentence mm -hmm. to me i think she says a lot of feelings there which is consistent with um the the borderline personality disorder you know it's consistent that she's so angry because she felt betrayed by someone that she still has certain feelings for it's an opinion it's not something i can you know prove uh, one more thing I'm going to throw, and a lot of people in the comments said this, a bruise kit in theater or for TV is a makeup kit that makes it look like you have a bruise, not cover up a bruise. People, yes, a lot of people are saying that. So I think she self-corrected there, right? Because she said... Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah. I so call she, it. Yeah, right, exactly, I call it. So that's self -correct. I call it my bruise kit. Yep. Self-editing. Yeah. So it, it was a slip that she knew she needed to cover because she... she oh, it, it, that was glaring and, and we'll, to me. And we'll see, because a lot of people in the chat also said this was one that she slipped up on the end. And, and as you know, she they check social media, so I guarantee you they may correct this. Is I've had multiple people say about the uh, color corrector and the foundation and the order that they're put on, and that order that she stated is incorrect. So we'll see yeah. if she comes back and, and fixes that, right? So well, I, 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 well, yeah, because when you when you as someone who has put on makeup quite a bit in my life, uh, <laughs> foundation is very liquid, right? Like it's it's gonna it's gonna wipe away anything that you put on underneath it, unless it's like concealer, I guess, underneath. You know, some folks, but the, 
why it's called foundation is because it's the foundation of your like makeup routine is the first thing that you put on usually. So like, so yeah, putting on like powder before that to like get the color exactly right. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make right. any sense. And uh, yeah. And I think that's a great point, Alita. And I think that's the reason she went into this huge lecture about makeup because she feels like if she gives this much detail, like, look how much I know about this. I know the process. I know that some palettes have three, some have four, some even have more, you know, and there's this and there's that and you do this and here's how you do it. And some people call it this, but she feels like if she gives this elaborate lecture, she's putting in the jury's head that she's the expert here about makeup. So anything that she's saying that might be wrong, anything that she may have said earlier that may have been incorrect, like, or if somebody else comes in and pokes holes at her story about makeup, like she's the one who knows the most about makeup. Yeah. Well, and Martin, then that slip up. I would offer okay. that even more uh, than that, because one of the things that she was presenting, if you took it in a vacuum, is that, of course, she's an expert at this because she gets hit so much. I actually thought it was pretty effective if we're not listening to anything else that happens today when she takes over and says, yes, I know all these various things because I'm doing this all the time. Um, that is I, I, I thought, that's a, great I thought that that's a solid beat, yeah. Uh, yeah. but she had a rough day on everything else. Yeah. So I'm also I, I, seeing in the chat, folks are correcting me, saying that color yeah. corrector would actually go on first. Okay, fine. All right, thank you, thank you guys, thank you for the Whatever. correction yeah. on the color. The point, the point oh. is that the way that, but the point is still stands. The way Amber Heard said it was the incorrect way. So go back and look at it. She said it the incorrect way. The chat is, yeah. is seems to be right on that. That's what yeah. I've heard. Um, I'm gonna have a makeup artist on my show a little later today. That's what she DM'd me right now. So that's another. Yeah. Uh, and also, thank you so much to Wendy Pinkerton for this very generous super chat. Those duplicate picks need to get to JD's attorneys. Is there a way to do that? Thank you all for the coverage and explanation. So helpful. I don't have a way of 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 uh, uh, reaching. And out I myself. remember during during the Rittenhouse case when when you know they they mentioned that they're like, look, we get so many emails and yeah. messages, we just can't. We, they, they can't. But that's entered I mean, evidence. They're checking that off yeah. anyway. I mean, that's that's yeah. So I mean, they do have both pictures. Dating. Yeah. Yeah. Whether or not they make the connection, but they've been looking at this evidence for months. So, yeah, yeah, they have been. They have. I'm been. sure they'll be fine. Oh man. Um. So, yeah. So, so many, so many good things here. Um. Let's get some. Let's get some super chat questions here from earlier. Chelsea Roberts says, "Question. Uh, this is a two-parter. Um. L and D nurse here. If the AU bottle incident was as she said, it would probably cause a lot of damage, especially if it was broken." Then the two out of two says she, uh, she had IVF after that. Could Depp get those records to see if the IVF doc noted any scarring? It would Depp be noted, especially if the cervix was damaged. I would think so. That, that's highly relevant. And the discovery process is incredibly broad, meaning that you are able to go in for just about anything that could lead to admissible evidence. Like it is, it is incredibly broad. A lot of, a lot of records that would otherwise be incredibly private, such as these kind of IVF records. Um, yeah. But, you know, granted there, there, there could be a non record of it, right. Hmm. If they didn't <laughs> notice something or, or whatever. And like the nature of how it happened, you would think there would be damage. I don't know if she would, but like we've seen, you know, she's claimed other things like her foot got sliced up and she never went but also i will say just as a devil's advocate i have seen um or at least been told of patients putting many things um there and being okay so i think it's i've uh, seen some Grey's anatomy episodes <laughs> yeah if it if the bottle was not broken i That's would hollywood not, but you know would not necessarily cause like such harm you know that you would have to seek medical you certainly could but that makes sense that makes sense Okay. Uh, Rick, do you have something to share with us? Oh, I just didn't know if people had seen that Amber Heard's team put out a statement today. Um, I there think I go. saw a chat on this. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, so just like we saw in the last week of trial, uh, Amber Heard's team is now much more active uh, and <laughs> anticipating cross-examination. Bless you. We should get you a tissue, just like no the drink. Sorry, <laughs> right. Camille will ask for a tissue for you. Uh, a <laughs> Uh, and they say a spokesperson for Heard said in a statement obtained by people, there's an old saying by trial lawyers, when the facts are on your side, argue the facts. When the facts are not on your side, pound away on the podium. Today, we expect Depp's attorneys will instead uh -huh. pound away on the victim. Oh, I feel like ooh, someone's been clever. listening to, to Viva Fry. <laughs> okay. This I, is I like mean, something that he says all the time. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, they skipped the law. I don't know why. For their right, yeah. it's, it's, it's facts, law, and then uh, the table. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. 
And then the second half of the statement, we fear it will be equal parts shameful and desperate, which of course is designed to put this in your head when you go and watch cross-examination. And the overwhelming evidence, the truth, is not on Depp's side. The one thing we suspect Depp's attorneys will avoid is the central issue of this trial. Does Amber or any woman have the First Amendment right of freedom of speech? Now, oh, they know damn well that's not a part of Johnny Depp's case. Come on. <laughs> does wow, any that, woman, what? I'm so levels. disgusted by the grandstanding. Like, does mm -hmm. any woman in the world have free speech anymore? Oh, How in God's green earth would that possibly come up on Depp's cross-examination of Amber Heard? I mean, like, you're setting the table, and it's a straw man through and through. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I thought people would be interested because it, this is a little bit. I love it. We're in full on celebrity trial of the century territory now with one side mm -hmm. or the other putting out statements, coloring how testimony is going to go in the case itself. Uh, I, I don't I don't love any of this personally. I'm, I'm just shocked that people still exist. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, <that's> true. <laughs> um, oh, I have God. a question. I have a question for you, everyone. Yeah. Is the is it the younger woman who's going to be uh, cross examining Amber? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, the one who's yeah. been doing the objections. Right, and she's also the one who, like, every now and then, will get up and go bring Johnny a bottle, and like, kind of they'll smile at each other and things like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the one, the one that that there's like rumors about maybe they're dating now because okay, they like so, get along so well. <laughs> so do you do you suppose that that's part of the plan? Like, because anyone who understands BPD would have, it, it would be a brilliant plan to say, be affectionate with him, give each other these little looks, you know, bring him a bottle of water, create this relationship, so that Amber will see that, and she'll get emotional about it, and then have that yeah. woman question her. Yeah. I no, I, I think I absolutely think that that is that is maybe one of the strategies. I mean, especially if they've so if they've been doing that this whole time, generally speaking, just sort of bringing up the rapport, it looks consistent for the jury to be like, oh, they have rapport like they've been she's been his lawyer this whole time. But then if they if she kind of like just very slightly turns that up a little bit when Amber's on the stand because she's sitting right in front of him, like yeah. that is something that the jury could notice for sure but like that's why you only want to do it very subtly but just enough to like get yeah. under her skin and not to make yeah. a big show of it yeah. so I, it just pokes at her insecurities of like you know like something bpd people who suffer with bpd will have is like an obsessive obsession i don't know if there's no better word for it with what their ex is doing and who their ex is seeing and they'll go on the social media and be like who's that girl i don't know her so to have this woman question her i think is is really is really yeah I, I, when you first said that i thought you know the, amber heard never loved him she doesn't care she's not capable of that with him or any other person but the loss of control and and the attention of a former partner that is still irritating uh, I, I mean if we start with the presumption that she she cares and this is bothering her it doesn't well, well, but loss of okay. control would bother her. But, but hold on. We don't need a conspiracy theory to try to get to Amber to explain why Camille and Johnny are acting the way they are because Johnny is effectively on trial for being abusive and mean to women, right? Mm -hmm. So role number one is have a woman be near yeah. Johnny Depp and be yeah. comfortable in that role and have them show friendship, Brilliant. right? Yeah, like that, that was step number one. We saw it from opening yeah. statement day. Yeah. Yeah, he even sometimes when he comes into the courtroom, he even says hi to the... What do you call the typewriter? Court reporter. Court reporter. Oh, the mm -hmm. court reporter. Yeah, he says yeah. hi to her and he said, "How are you?" And like they have a little exchange. I think that that's 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 genius. I think that's yeah. Hogue again nailed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Um, yeah, because it 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 makes him look very friendly. It makes it look like he's got good relationships with women. Um, she's Plus, obviously not all, afraid all of him. There but I, I don't think it's really staged. I think that ne would naturally occur because I honestly think that's what Johnny's like. And I, I think honestly think that that's what would, would happen naturally. They probably encourage it too, but it's not hard. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's the idea, no, Mike, I... is for you to say that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, so it's, 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 it's for it to feel authentic. <laughs> yeah. 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 For, for it to feel authentic so that you're just sitting there and I'm like, this just feels yeah. like they're just good friends. Like, I agree, by the way. It does feel mm -hmm. that yeah. way. Yeah. 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 I, I, I do yeah. too. I do too. Yeah. Uh, Melu Blue says, question, is Amber's sister on the witness list? I've seen an account from her remembering the stare and seeming quite different. Yes, she's on the witness list. There's a big question about whether or not she can be called, though, because she didn't sit for her full deposition. 
Um, so, but she did testify in the UK. So that's the one justification that I could see judge Oscarade allowing her to testify here to say that there is a record upon which she can be impeached. So, mm, but I still don't know. I still, I'm, I'm not, I don't particularly like that. Uh, Magnus prime says anyone think we won't get cross until tomorrow. I think so. I think, I think well, we're, yeah. we're, we're getting close to the end of her thing, but she's not done yet. They put out that date a little bit. They weren't sure. They, they put out that statement because they weren't sure they had a full day, I would argue. Um, yeah. Because that's a cross that's a cross preamble. That's what that statement yeah. is out there for. Yes. Yes. So it's close. Uh, Leaf, Leaf Ninja wants to know, can you get a UK lawyer to join you for Amber Heard and JD UK trial? I would love that. If, if there is anyone that is a UK attorney that I can talk to about the UK process so that we can talk about the UK case probably after this trial, um, or at least after the closing argument, maybe, maybe when we're when we're waiting for a verdict or something, we can do some live streams talking about that. Um, that would be amazing if you guys, um, like if, if there's someone that, that could join us. So, um, you know, spread the word <laughs> and reach out to me, either DM or email or something. <laughs> and you'll, you'll take a barrister, you'll take a solicitor, you'll take either, right? Yes. Uh, any yes. of the words they choose to call their lawyers. Absolutely any of the words. Yes, yes. Any, anyone that, that has an understanding of UK law um, and who is open-minded about this case too? Who's who's not just gonna rattle off and say this case is not about evidence? Because I have seen some clips of of a barrister saying something along those lines, and I would like to see that video also, like within context. Of, it's a very short clip that was kind of spread around over the last few days. Yeah, that's so, out there but, too, Aluda. I think I can get that for you if you want. It's it's not yeah. better. Oh, okay. All right then. Then maybe <laughs> it's not. not fixed maybe not by that context. When, when when someone just said in the chat UK legal legal, I'm like, all right, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> Brendan UK Davis says, speaking please. of your nieces and nephews, when are you going to give them cousins? Uh, at some point soon, soonish, soonish. <laughs> I don't know, but my whole family. You don't have to answer that question. <laughs> 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 I know, I know, I don't, I don't have to. But no pressure, point, but you know, trust me, like, tomorrow. You it's, know a, it's, it's one of Alita's family members. What are you doing, Alita? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is this is actually my mother-in-law. <laughs> like she figured out how to super chat. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, but I mean, realistically, like folks are going to find out at some point, right? <laughs> um, Don Hinton says, "Question: Judge got her commission in the court in 1988, a year after I got out, but didn't go to. Oh, we we actually answered this question. Um, so yeah, do you know what she did in the court? I think someone else said later that she was a, a reservist." in uh re like as an officer reservist so um but maybe we'll we'll see that super chat again i don't know if, if there was a duplicate of that uh miss jessica robin says if jd can't bring in ah's exes why can ah have eb ellen barkin that is because i think that that is to rebut the the assertion that they have been putting forward in johnny's case saying he's never he's never hit a woman no one has ever uh, no one has ever come out and alleged domestic mm -hmm. violence against him. So it's mm -hmm. to rebut something like that. So arguably he has opened the door for, for that. Mm -hmm. um, but then of course the question is going to be whether or not what Ellen Barkin has to say actually is like abuse or anything like that. That's a fact question for the jury to determine. So, and they snuck formally into some of their statements. there, not all of them, but very often when they say that it's, has anyone formally accused you of anything? They did. They mm -hmm. did that a number of times. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, Phil Carr says, where do I listen to the podcast version? Going to work. Can't watch. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I don't have a podcast version of these trial streams because they are so long, but all of my other live streams, I, I, I put into a podcast version after everything comes down. Um, I, it, the reason is because I have to download the whole thing and then re-upload the whole thing. And that's just a lot of bandwidth and a lot of time and i don't even know if spotify will allow like a 10 12 14 hour podcast. live stream i think you'd have to, to cut them i think, I think so i think i would have to cut them yeah probably so uh maybe at some point i'll i mean i don't know if uh, by that point I, if anyone's going to be you know interested in in revisiting all of that in podcast form maybe but uh, i want to listen to it as i sleep in my dreams <laughs> I don't we'll know, do, I think we'll do the ASMR archive. version. Oh my. We'll talk over it. We'll do a commentary track. So this is when I lost all faith. Um, <laughs> That's right. Commentary track on the commentary. Yeah. You, oh man. Here you can Sandy. see the, the you can see me die inside here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my yeah, hope this... and humanity meter, and here it's completing. <laughs> this is where this Positive. is my first minor stroke <laughs> from from her lies. 
Sandy Kai says, hey, guys. So Deb's team is going to cross Amber from the things she said during the direct, which means she's going to have to relive the feelings of the trauma and abuse again. Do you think she'll be portraying the same feelings or a different one? I would have right. thought she'd be she'd be portraying the same feelings, but that's not what we saw today. Who what knows? do you guys think? I don't. It's such a terrific question. Bag. Yeah. Because yeah. you would want to you would want to see the same because if it's coming from an emotional place, you would assume that more or less she'd experience it the same way. Which already there's a giant inconsistency in the way she told these stories and the ones she told in the deposition. Same stories, different emotions. Yeah. And you know, as time goes by, emotions don't worsen. You, you learn to deal with them and and you become a little less so that's a wonderful question i can't well, wait to yeah, yeah you'd expect the emotion the testimony to be congruent with the emotions if somebody was telling the truth but i don't know what amber's going to do is, is yeah. the answer exactly. oh, yeah. Oh, yes yeah. no, no. yes for sure no. um <laughs> <laughs> Thrashley says, question, why does she sound like she met with her lawyers over the break? Didn't it come out over the break that she got her dates wrong? She sounds so different she today. Totally met with her lawyers yes. over the break. I, I, she did. I think we're approaching a 0% chance that they did not consult on a few important things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. I don't know if the judge uh, wants to inquire. I'd inquire. I, yeah, I don't. Can't help noticing that, uh, you know, your client is giving way different answers how'd she know to give these different answers counselor you talked to her over the weekend yeah 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 uh agreed well and it's and it's if you didn't talk about anything at the break right you had a plan it's all prepared going back to fix things which is the first half hour 45 minutes would would confuse amber right like you're you're in 2016 and it's like okay why are you asking me about my guitar but she's Right, ready, knowing exactly what she has to fix on this. She knows what she has to fix yeah. on this. She knows what she has to mm -hmm. fix on this. I'm mm -hmm. not saying she did it well, but it's like there's that wouldn't that wouldn't look that way if you had no idea those questions were coming, which Amber shouldn't mm -hmm. have if they didn't mm -hmm. tell. Them. Yeah. To be fair, it would have it wouldn't have taken two hours of. <laughs> Andrew. I just love this format right now. It looks so Richard good. Hoke for the win. <laughs> to be right. fair, uh, it wouldn't have taken two hours of counseling. All they would have had to do is send her one text that say that says, "You're a shit actress. Stop." <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they would have gotten the same reaction. <laughs> well, see, I don't think the tone change is that unusual, right? I think she can go see her social media and say, "Okay, he's back a little bit." That didn't change anything. It's that it's that flip around for the first half hour where it's completely out of nowhere. If yeah. you're the witness, couch, guitar, like all couch, of these random details. Couch, for God's sakes. Couch. <laughs> couch. Couch. Couch is couch. my safe word. It's like, it's That's their the worst it's their, safe word ever. It's their version of, of muskrat from Meet the Parents. You know, yeah, like when they, when they start to get into an argument and they, to like shut the other person up, they say muskrat, muskrat, muskrat. Remember that? Am I the yes. only one that remembers this? No, I do remember, but you use a crazy word yes. because you're not going to otherwise say it. I think right. I say couch every day. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Zaina Bertuz says, "What uh, was she allowed to discuss with her attorneys about her testimonies during the break? Also, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Yeah. No, she, she was not she was allowed, not allowed to. Not supposed to. <laughs> not supposed there's to. There's rules, and then there's rules. There are rules. Well, you describe and these more as guidelines in this context. Yes, that's right. Uh, like uh, like nice. Captain Barbosa. They're more like yeah. guidelines. <laughs> I like guidelines. Parlay. She didn't parlay. She did not parlay with her lawyers. Jam to the depths be the man that came up with the word parlay. Sorry. Okay, let's go. Let's, okay, I got that out of my system. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to so go back good. and use the time turner to hear that. Hey, listen, I, I actually no I legitimately pirates, love no doing impressions. Without no Johnny No Pirates is still trending on, uh, on Twitter. So. You need to do so much more of that throughout this. How, how is this coming out? You want to doing pirate quotes? <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, it, it takes some time to tease out of me, but I actually, you know what, what Mr. Bites, um, I think one of his favorite impressions that I do is, um, of, uh, what's her name? Um, Laura or, or Delvey, Anna Delvey. Yeah. Did you guys see the Netflix thing with about, um, about like the, the scam artist, Anna Delvey, that mm -hmm. she was like, like a, she pretended to be like a German heiress or something like that and like scammed a bunch of people in New York. But like the way that she talks is she's like, my name is Anna Delvey. Like, what are you wearing? <laughs> Looks so poor. Oh, oh anyway. my God. <laughs> That's it. You, I guess all, you, you all just the commentary right for the rest of the day you has to be that right New level. channel. New channel. Impression bites. <laughs> Impression bites. Yes. Amber, here's one. Um, here's one. From, to, to stay in theme with the Pirates of the Caribbean. Imagine Davy Jones just going, you are a liar, Amber Heard, and you will spend an eternity <laughs> on this shit. <laughs> 
ship, not ship, because that's. Oh, you know, I saw. I got it. I, I was with it's you. Still good, it. It's still good, though. It's still good, though. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Will one of you um, check in the our own chat and see if the link I made works for a sign up? Oh yeah, Let yes. And just see if it is that makes for sense. is that for a for a line for folks for sleep for, uh, for yes. our guys? <gasps> yes. Yeah, very worth oh, it. Oh, it wow. works. Oh, yeah, it does work. about Ian's health. Okay, <laughs> let me let me share let me share the, the night screen shift here. in me is like oh. Should God. I actually try to do it and see if it works? Well, just see if you can click through. Like, does it make sense before we release it to the public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did three oh, okay, okay. Slot. Before I, before I, I share, yes. before I share the screen. Exactly, yes, okay, yes. yes. Um, have, have. Okay, when do you guys, when do you guys check through that, and I'll, I'll go through some more. Um, impressions. I'll go through some more. Yeah. Well, some more impressions, some more super chats. Um, uh, maybe, maybe I'll do some impressions while I do super chats. Um, I also, even I also, better. I, lo I, I also love, you know, following along Kristen Wig, like her style of like like bridesmaids when she's like um oh just so I, I don't know i'll, I'll, I'll bust it out basic, basic, oh, basic bites is back I, we all love it we all love it but <laughs> um um yeah when she's like like oh welcome to the wine and magazine party oh um you know i don't know it's just it's fun, so it's fun. <laughs> my god how um, is this just coming out now <laughs> Uh, it's all just living very deep inside me. Um, anyhow, I guess now. I'm just most surprised that this is happening on the Monday stream and not the Thursday stream. So I know, and not go. at uh, like not at like I don't know. four when in the morning my time. To, when you have to listen to Amber Heard's delusional lies, you kind of get delusional yourself. You do. Right. You do. I, you do I will say bit. halfway through today, I'm like, oh my, my God, am I misremembering the stuff that I know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Um, Andrews Fouch Rasmussen says, Hey guys, checking in from Denmark. Is AH's lawyer allowed to instruct AH how to answer the question after the objections? Thank you for a great stream. Um, not really. No. I mean, I, so when, when she does tell her like, like, don't like, don't get into X, Y, Z, like that's proper because she's telling her like what she's not allowed to say, but like not telling her like what to say, you're not supposed to do that. And she definitely um don't use the word hallucinating got the biggest objection <laughs> yes no yes. no you can't say don't use certain words elaine yes uh so so that's that's going a little bit too far for sure um but yeah we've we've had some very interesting moments so far um electron star collapse says during jd's cross rb wanted jd to take ownership of the monster because he republished it in text to people other than ah potential and close that rotten born wanted. That's pretty, roughly what I think. Yeah. I so. don't. Yeah. No. I. I don't. I don't think that that's. I don't think that's. I don't think we're worried about a republishing of like his ownership of the term monster because that's not when we're talking about republishing in this case. We're talking about the statements that are alleged to be defamatory. Um. Mm -hmm. So. So here, when it comes to that, like that's less of a concern in terms of like the facts of this case. Um, so, I mean, I, I still think that they probably will, will try to use that in close anyway to say like, like he, he takes ownership of the monster. He understands what we mean by the monster and this is how he, he understands it too, or something like that. Something along those lines. Um, you but yeah. I start calling myself the monster. Could I get away with that? How about the Kraken? <laughs> I don't know if I'm you that, do that cool. The Kraken. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, we need to, definitely we need the Kraken. come up with names like that for each of us. One of us could be the Kraken, one of us could be the monster and so forth and so forth. <laughs> Someone needs to be the jar of dirt. Joe Mendoza, thank you so much for the, thank you so much for the very generous super chat. It says, why are there not a lot of motions to strike in this trial? It is assumed that sustained the question uh, at issue is stricken. Also, one thing JD is guilty of is not doing enough to help Amber Heard with her overacting. She has ten days to hydrate, yet not a shed of tear came out. Speaking of staying hydrated, hey, how's it going, Rob? I'm moving around so I don't fall asleep. Yeah, Excellent. that's that's what it All sounds right. like. It's a good strategy. We're, we're, we're Rob. We're getting together a sign up list for people to sign up to take to take your your guys' uh, place in line so that you can get some sleep overnight for that tonight. A real thing? Yeah, hundred percent. Like Liz is legitimately organizing this right now and 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 setting it up so that we can get. Liz people is concerned to, to sign for up. your health, Rob. Yes. I am. I mean, did you see that justice for the chat went viral? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Justice for the line went viral too. This I is, love it. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me just answer the super chat real quick. Um, so, so 
so yeah, I, I, I do wish that they would that they would request to strike these answers that are that are ultimately non-responsive and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I think that what they're most most concerned about is the the what what it is that the jury is hearing here. Like yeah. they won't jury get a test. Care. Yeah, they won't they won't get a transcript copy of this at the end of the day. Striking is more important for for like an appeal or something like that. But anyhow, but yes, thank you so much for your very generous super chat. Rob, tell us your impressions. Um, that two of the jurors are impossible to read. One of them is super easy to read. One of them has completely checked out um, basically towards the end of lunch period. Um, they have zero emotional response to any of the emotion, like that entire emotional breakdown. I, not one of them did like a, or a, or any gesture whatsoever. They were rock solid. If anything, they looked down. One of the jurors looked down and pretended to take notes. Like you would see his pen like wiggling around, but it was clear he wasn't writing anything. Um, they've one thing I noticed was for most of the testimony, they had their chair pointed towards Elaine and they were craning their neck towards Amber, which in direct examination, that is not what you want to see. You want you see you want to see that chair pointed directly at Amber, and if anything, looking at the attorney to get oh, clarification. Wow. Um the objections are really funny. Uh, the the gallery, I think, laughed at one point because it was like leading, objection leading, it was leading, objection leading, <laughs> leading, objection leading, still leading, and the gallery just starts chuckling. And Lane's getting uh, so frustrated. Is it is do, does it seem like the jury is maybe reacting to any of these objections at all or no? We're convinced that one of the jurors hates Elaine. And I thought at first that he was looking at Johnny Depp's table or looking at that Johnny Depp's table, looking at Vasquez and shooting daggers for making the objection. But yeah. the thing is, after Elaine rephrased and posed the question, posed the second follow-up question, he would stay locked on Elaine for like a good another second. So it was like, I don't see where you're going with this. Mm. It, it, it was really kind of odd to watch, but... Yeah, I don't, okay. I don't think the jury is, is picking up on Elaine or, or enjoying what she's doing. And they're not emoting with Amber. There really is no connection. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, so so uh, Ian was telling us that there's, that there's six men, three women. Um, and as we've heard before, a lot of Asian Americans on this, on this jury. Um, mm -hmm. What about, so he, he mentioned like one, one older white man. Um, other than He's, that, what's like the age range here? That so they're talking? super young. All the reports that we've gotten that they're young, um, knock 10 years off it. Like, I think that there's two, there's at least two jurors that are in their twenties. Okay. Um, then maybe two more that are in their late twenties, early thirties. One that's probably in their late thirties. Um, and there's the one that got one guy's in his sixties. One of the ladies is in their fifties and the other lady is in her maybe, maybe 40, forties. Okay. But they're, they're by and large very young. Okay, interesting. I wonder how that's going to play for, for like understanding of of a lot of this stuff in, in this case um, and culturally, you know, people's like buy-ins or not buy-ins to to different social movements that have been kind of involved here. What's funny is watching the jury like become more skeptical as they're watching yeah. the testimony. You can see some of them engaging, and then you can also kind of tell that you'll see like a furrowed brow or they'll look down and they'll look back up and they'll look down, look back up. Like, there's increasing skepticism as they keep hearing the testimony. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I can relate. <laughs> Those photos were so stupid. I mean, they, the jury didn't with the photos of the house, yep. every juror was checked out. Really? Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. Fascinating. 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 Um, we're yeah. gonna run back up. Okay. Hey. Right. Hey, Ian. Good to see hey. you again. So, you, okay. So, how much? How much more time do we have before lunch or before lunch ends? I guess. Uh, lunch ten minutes. Two minutes. minutes. minutes? Yeah. Oh, two, two minutes. minutes. Oh. Out. oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> okay. For sure. For sure. Um, so then, hopefully, we'll see you guys afterwards. If you guys have a, a little bit of time and energy, I know you guys want to be going onto your channels, putting out some con some content on there as I mean, well. At the very least, so there's the drive home. <laughs> we'll pop don't on crash your car rob yeah, yes please but down. yeah but uh but yeah we're gonna we're gonna try to get some information to you guys about getting somebody in the line for you guys tonight so that you guys can get some rest and that'd and, be freaking and awesome yeah be, be laser focused on um on this this jury as well um yeah. for sure so that we need yeah, three more. people ideally 
Um, yes. Because they're not going to let us do one person sitting for free. Yep. Right. right. It's not one to one. It's one body replacement for each. Yeah. Yep. I have three spots each. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Good okay. Good. Awesome. Good. Thank you, Liz. So, um, yes. Amazing. Thank you so much uh, for All coming right. in, and we'll see you guys later. Yep. Adios. Um, was was that some light bruising on uh, Rob's right cheek? Was he showing his solidarity for Amber? He definitely, he definitely correct. was justice showing justice for Amber. No justice for Rob. For sure. Forget that. <laughs> Giant he probably made that with a bruise kit. Definitely, definitely made it with a bruise kit for sure. <laughs> um, no, he's actually said before that he has he has a little bit of a scar there. Um, I don't know exactly what that's from, yeah, um, but he I, did. I, I know. I just. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying for anybody that doesn't know and is, is wondering about that. Um, so, okay, so we've got just a little bit left, but what, I've got the, the court feed up here, and, and so far, so far, nothing. Um, Did that link work so, for anybody? I can change um, it really quick, but I have to hop off the, here in a the second. One that, the one that you had put up previously worked functionally. Yeah, okay. I, can, I can see it here. I, I, yeah, I sure. clicked on it. it was fine. Do three-hour um, time slots work? Because I can change it if not. I mean, yeah, two hour two hour time slots I think are are great as well, right? Because that's that's what I see here, seven to nine. See, yeah. Seven um, p.m. to nine a.m. is when I had them start. Two hour time oh, slots I'm just are kidding. probably good. Oh, I see. I see. Two, what I think three, two, two hour time hour slots per, are probably the way to go. Yeah, right. three hour per person. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be okay. good. Um, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Awesome, Liz. Th these are great. This is really great. Um, should I, should I share the screen here and now, now share it? Go for it. So that people can see what it looks like. Okay. All right. Let's do it. That's my, that's my music for in between when people are expecting to see something. Um, <laughs> here we go. Okay. So we've got this here, Deputy Heard trial line holders. All righty. We will be sharing this, this link. For folks that are in the DMV area, please, guys, only only sign up if you actually are in the DMV area, and you can you actually can do this. Um, we don't want people to be relying on someone who no, is just trolling. Um, so that would be great. Um, and then for the sign up, does do they have to give their information for that? Like a way a way to contact people. I just put email, so I think I will probably get notified since I'm the organizer of it. Okay. Um, so if it emails me, I'll try to see if they're like legit humans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would be, that would be good if there's, if there's a way to do that. Um, and then, so yeah, yeah, we will, we will get this in, uh, three hour time slots, four per person. We've got three guys that need, need some help, help out LawTube guys. This is, this is a really, really great way to support LawTube so that they can, um, so that they can, they can get some rest and then, uh, and then, yeah. And then hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully get some really, really great insight from them um, tomorrow again. So, yep. Oh, and we are back. So I guess the jury is not yet back, but I, I really hope that she didn't wear like a Asian style outfit to try to impress the Asian uh, jurors. Like that would wow, be. I can't even consider that possibility. But, well, that would I will be say, incredibly... no, no, because I will say, I'm just gonna say, in Korea, that is a popular style, of way more than the United States. But like, wow. that would just be like two on the nose. It, it's, it also also... Very it's also it a very popular. It's also a very popular style. It's also a very popular style in the villains of Austin Powers department. Yes. 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 It's so true. I'm just expecting her to turn around and ask for like one hundred billion to billion a million dollars. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I, I I I haven't been able to check my. The uh, memes are legal. I've page. already posted several of them. There. I've so I good. I heard that they are they are going going wild. Oh, um. But yeah. Yeah. So, um, Nurse Liz, I know you said that you, you got to get going, but um, thank you so much. Yeah. Come back oh, whenever. For sure. We love Let me know if you here. want me to switch up the parameters. Bye. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na. <laughs> <laughs> laser beams. Yeah, laser beams. <laughs> freaking sharks with freaking laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> um bear luna says do either ah or jd have any of these movie directors and producers on their witness list thank you i don't See think so no your no producers question. or directors but some Your, some like actors to move the admission of defendants exhibit 155 okay that's the uh makeup palette 
Oh, makeup okay. palette. Any objection to that? No objection. All right, 155. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. That's going to be hilarious. I, I Across. Got to talk about it now. Pictures. I'm pumped. All right, thank you. All right, 155. 155. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Your Honor. Michelle, uh, can you bring up uh, DEP exhibit number 357B as in boy, plaintiff's exhibit, and it is a tape recording from June 2016. The time stamps are 4 colon 47 to 7 colon 52. Is that in evidence yet? Or? I'm going to move the admission of it. Okay. Thank so you. was that going to be for the whole 357 or is that 357A? Or is Let's that just check B, out the B. I chat. have that as B. B as in boy. I think there was yep, a absolutely. portion. Okay. 357B. Any okay. objections? And then this one too, B? while you're here. <laughs> no, Your Honor. All right. 357B in evidence. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can just tell you the basic fact is like it was private for days after I filed. You did not have to file. That's not a move that one that other that the other party has to make. Okay. And it's just not. Okay. That, and you did. Okay. Well, you're a key did. Okay. And then within five minutes it was five at and and Z. You just do the math yourself without any other thing. And it's, it's very clear. Okay. I, and I I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that. And and if that's the case, I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge it. <clears throat> you know. Um, and if you say you say approve, yeah. then I'll acknowledge it. Look, I, I, it doesn't shock me that, 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 that any fucking yeah, it just makes sense. attorney would do something like that. It doesn't, it, it, you know, um, yeah. it doesn't yeah. shock me. But I'm telling you now, if, if we go, if, if I file, if, if they file the fucking papers tomorrow, which means I, the, the shit I got to file before we go to court on Friday, mm -hmm. if they file. <clears throat> those papers. It's, first of all, it's, it's, it's very bad for both of us, okay? Well, you're going to file anything that they can get bad for you, trust me. No, you're, 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 what you're saying, you, you got to do something to protect yourself, which means throwing me under the bus for the some video about me being... No. Not me. I have to respond. Legally, we mean I'll have to go and, and pursue the. No, I have to pursue the whole course of action because here's what you don't understand. If if we do this, and if well, basically, well, no, because my I call my lawyers and I say, why aren't we negotiating? What is going on? Why where are we? And they're like, everything is in our court. We literally they, no, they won't settle. Anything. Your agents won't. Your 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 lawyers and won't settle, baby. I'm telling no, you. No, we 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 want to mediate. We even have a mediator. We even found mediators and, and, and everything. Like that was all worked out. The, the thing that Laura didn't agree to was uh, she did not want to agree to a mutual gag order. And that's the problem. Seven, she Anne. doesn't want the gag order. Why, Johnny? Why? Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she want both parties to not talk about this in the press? By the way, just talking about the press, not even talking about court. Okay. Why? I'll tell you what, Amber, let, let me get on that right now. I'll fucking get on it right now, and I and I'll I'll get a message back to you somehow. Just uh, uh, you know, uh, but I'll I'll get I'll get on I it right now. I, I just want I, I just want you to know I've not done anything and have not been doing any move. But look it up timeline. Nothing was on the office. Everything has been a defensive move because I'm being called a liar and a gold digger. And I'm not lying about any of this shit. And I am not after a dime of your money. And <laughs> sorry. Do you remember when you had this discussion with Mr. Dow? Yes. When was that? I believe that was um, June of 2016. So after the divorce, uh, while we still had the restraining order. And what, if anything, was going on with respect to a gag order at that point? Objection calls for speculation. Well, I, I'm uh, asking her. Eh. I All right, overruled. Yeah. Uh, I, was, um, I was trying to, um, I was trying to get Johnny to stop the um, smear campaign. Uh, that Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Lack of foundation. 
What, if any, discussion did you have with him about a smear campaign? Objection. Johnny told Here's me that he would ruin me, um, that no one would ever touch me, meaning in professionally, no one would ever work with me again, uh, that I'd never work again, that I'd be selling uh, depends, is what he said. Uh, and that uh, he nice. ruined my career and uh, he refused to um, not engage uh, with, up until that point, he refused to not engage with the press by uh, leaking. Objection, you know, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. How is that speculation? I, I, uh, this is what he's telling her, correct? Right. Okay. All right. I'll overrule the objection. And up until that point, um, I was trying to, you know, uh, get him to call the dogs off, call, call it off because it was, um, it was forcing me into a position where he was calling me a liar and he was forcing me to prove it. And I knew that wasn't going to be good for him. And I, I, I kept saying, don't make me, don't make me prove it. I don't want to, but he was calling me a liar and having a really sophisticated, very, very well-paid, very sophisticated PR uh, machine. Objection, Your Honor, over calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. I'll move on. Yep. Um, let's go to DEP exhibit, that's plaintiff's exhibit 357C. Yep, they're setting up for tell the world. That's the 12 world. colon 30 <laughs> to 16 colon 30. Move the admission. Any objection? Good luck rehabilitating no, a really good right. explanation for Tobin and Johnny. Evidence. It's going to be so convincing, I Shall already know. <laughs> I'm not, you know, it's not about that. It would not be about me throwing you under the bus. You know what it would be? It would be released through documented people coming on the record and having the protection to do so that haven't had yet. It would be eyewitness statements. It would be evidence, tons of it. And it would be through years. And it would be unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable, um, to be to fair. Imagine that either, I mean, A, quite literally. Club, or B, I've had um, a secret what? I've had a secret fight club. Or that I have been plotting to do this for the, you know, for three years. And well, taking pictures of it and documenting it, just saving it up for the right time when I'm not asking for any money and have nothing financial to gain from it. But no one is going to believe that. No one is going to believe that one of the two alternatives, either I'm going to fight club, or I've been getting going through hair and makeup or going through makeup through all these years where I have cooperating text messages between people that match those dates of those timestamps validated photos of of either, either cooperation between people hearing us or cooperation of next day, you know, um, Whitney sending text message to Kevin, him responding, or, you know, the kind of stuff like between uh, uh, me and people in your life. Uh, it is insanely uh, cross cooperated, then, if it is a plan. I'm going to put makeup on myself and take pictures throughout years and just sit on it for years. That, that, well, while having this like imaginary life run parallel to it, you understand that I, the pictures I have match with like text messages to my mom back and forth about it, you know, and text messages between, say, Raquel and my, my mom, or my, Raquel and my dad, or, you know, um, between my two friends. Or there's a text message where I tell Jody the night before I had that James Corden night show thing, where I say, hey, Jody, um, I've had an accident. Um, I, I think I may have, I have a busted lip, I may have a busted nose and, and um, two black eyes tomorrow because I don't, I don't know how that will be until the morning and we may have to cancel, but I don't know how, I'm icing it, um, I just, I'll let you know in the morning, you know, and things like that, it, it doesn't matter, there isn't nothing that, Nothing. And I will, and all of that won't be me throwing you on the bus. That's, that, that will be evident in this case. Which I will have, it will be criminal as well because I cannot go on Friday and file without filing a police statement first. And the only reason I haven't filed that police statement, which has been used against me, by the way, every day, and the only reason I won't do it, I haven't done it, 
I don't want to hurt you, and that means it goes out of my hand. And yes. the, the third party guy, uh, third party prosecutor come, and um, and a criminal lawyer come, and they went like the problem is during commute, like your biggest struggle is that this is just this is such a it's the most solid evidence case of domestic violence I've ever seen. And if you get this over them or present any part of it, it's, they will prosecute him. And I felt like. I don't, I don't, I'm not, like, I would never want that for you. It's hard for me to even understand, I don't call my mom, like, it's in my head, and it's hard for me to even accept any sort of victimdom ever. Can you please explain what the context of this was? I was begging Johnny to not make me prove what I've had to sit on the stand in front of all of you and prove and talk about. And I was begging not to do this and have to sit where I'm sitting today. I didn't want this. I don't want to be here. I didn't I want to be there then. This. And I was trying to point out something to somebody who I thought did not have a firm grasp on reality. Objection calls for so the, speculation. The problem is it starts with a gag order discussion Overruled. and ends with the Washington Post. Amber. I was trying to point out how absurd, how absurd it would be for him to keep making me prove this by calling me a liar. I was trying to get him to not call me a liar because everything that I had said to date and everything I've said to date now is the truth. And I was begging him not to make me prove it, that there were photos, that there were witnesses, that there was my testimony. There were years of me with injuries on the dates where we were fighting and they were documented. I mean, pictures no. from 2012. So I was trying to say to him either, that's disputed. you'd suppose that people would rather pictures. believe this is a hoax, <laughs> elaborate, well orchestrated year long campaign well for what? I don't think it's terribly well orchestrated. Or that, it's sloppy. What? It just seemed crazy. And I thought no one was advising him in his best interest. I thought no one was telling him the truth. And I'm always surrounded by yes men. And I thought nobody was saying to Johnny, this is crazy. Don't do this. Uh, and I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want to hurt him. I loved him. I loved him so much. I took his finger. I, that's why I'm explaining to him why I didn't file criminal charges. I didn't file a police report, even though it was being used against me. I didn't want this to go to a prosecutor. I didn't want this to hurt Johnny. I don't want this to hurt Johnny. Michelle, can you bring up Dep Exhibit 357D as in David? So that wasn't uh, tell the world, but it's got to be right that same colon conversation. 17 colon 25 to 17 colon 37. I'm going to move the admission, Your Honor. All right. Any objection? No objection. All right. Any evidence? 357D. Yeah. Baby. Uh, baby. 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 Amber, I didn't call you those things. I didn't call you those things. What? I'm, I'm going to go on now for? to, uh, can we go to plaintiff's exhibit no, no 357E? Context. And this is 21 colon 47 to 22 colon 37. Right. I'm going to move the admission, Your Honor. Any objection? No objection. 357E. Thank you. And you're stronger. It's only I think that I thought you could kill me. That doesn't mean you count her, which you also, uh, that, that, that you lost your own finger. I, I am not trying to attack you here. I'm just trying to point out the fact of why I said call 911. Because I was, you are, you had your hands on me, I was on the phone at my face, and I just got crazy in the past, and I truly thought I need to stop this madness before I get <laughs> I never think about myself that way. I never put myself that way. I never see myself as a victim. It's too right. fault, you know? All right. Yeah. And I, 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 when they came, I did not cooperate with them. 
it has been used against me, not by the media, by your side. And, and what are you referring to there? <laughs> that I'm, I don't want to call myself a victim. I don't like to think of myself as a victim. And I don't want him to think I'm attacking him or blaming him. I'm pointing out I didn't cooperate with the police. That I didn't want to get him in trouble. That I didn't want to hurt him. I don't want anything from him. Just don't call me a liar. It's all I said. Just don't call me a liar. Just don't say this isn't real. Because I'm the walking proof of it. Uh, I'm going to ask <laughs> to bring up plaintiff's exhibit, DEP exhibit 357F okay. as in Frank, 24 colon 04 to 24 colon 48. I move the admission. Parent, any objection? No objection. All right, 337F. I have said only this from the very beginning. I only have my integrity. And they, the unfortunate thing is. They what about mine? They need to step further. What about mine? They keep taking. They keep taking. That's what I keep. I'm trying to say these literally in words. I'm out, out of my mouth. That's what I'm trying to say these. Every step of the way, I have said to them. The thing is, they're hurting Johnny by this because every time that they call me a liar or they say this is not true or even the text messages did not actually happen or that uh, uh, your security guard, just by the way, there's a follow up to your security guard saying they never saw abuse happening. The same security guard who, by the way, have said to me multiple times that I was going to get killed. What are you talking about there, Amber? That even though Johnny told me that his guards would say whatever he needed them to say, that they were the same guards who had told me that I would lose objection, my life this way. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. All right, sustained objection. It came in through the tape, so that's all right. We're fine. But, um, uh, let's go, Michelle. Uh, Your Honor. Go to, yeah, if uh, we could approach, please. Uh, uh, that comment. That so comment is so improper to be like, no, oh, no, wow. it's totally fine, Your Honor. It's fine. I'm the judge here. I will decide on that. Elaine's been doing that all day. No, that was Ugh. that was that was a little snotty. That was that really is, snotty. shot that herself in like, the foot. It's totally fine. Wait, who asked to approach? Was that was that Judge Oscarati or, or I think Camille? the judge called Can the approach. Yes, 357 G plaintiffs 357 G and it's 26 colon zero zero to 26 colon 28. So that was probably cut it out, I would imagine. Whatever it was, it was quick. Be like, knock it off. <laughs> Do that again. You ain't the judge here, I am. Regret it. Wow, Elaine. Oh, move the admission. I'm sorry. All right, any objection? No objection. <laughs> Monica, I love this. This is great. <laughs> Oh, obviously, they're going to have to say they didn't see it in front of me and other people that have heard them. You're going to have to do this under oath, too, you know. I will, because I, because the unfortunate part is, I can talk about all of this. Do you believe all this, Emma? Do you believe all this? Oh, yeah, the fuck yes, yes. You believe, you believe I'm an abuser. You believe I'm an abuser. What were you referring to with the May, December, and April? Just listing some of the times in which he beat me up okay. and that he knew about. So I'm going to take you now fast forward into the July 2016 time frame. Yeah, there just was a mediation all the way down. that uh, came yep. about during that time. Um, what, if any, intent did you have to reconcile with Mr. Depp at the time of the mediation? I, I wanted there to be no animosity. I wanted to minimize the animosity. I wanted to reconcile in the, that way. I didn't want to get back together with him, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, can you just briefly describe what transpired during the July mediation? I, uh, even though I had a, a TRO and I wanted to move on with my life, the campaign I mentioned earlier, the smear campaign, the article after article, the pounding me, the, you know, leaking fake. Objection, Your Honor, non-responsive. All right. I stain the objection. Okay. 
Please what, explain. Please what explain. I was meeting with him about is because he had, you know, put these things out in the media. It seemed like every day there was Honor. an attack. Calls for speculation, speculation lack of foundation. Right. Did, did, did Mr. Answer question Depp probably tomorrow. discuss with you that he was putting these out in the media? Objection leading. Overruled, I'll allow it. Yes. He did. Okay, please explain. He told me he would tell his team to back off and to, to, yeah, to back off effectively if I agreed to do certain things, one of which, you know, there was, he wanted me to, um, like, drop charges he wanted or some version of that he wanted me to um, get back together with him and go on tour with him in the tour bus he wanted me to do certain things that I thought were impossible and that would definitely go against all, all of all of you know everything that I stood for in and and had earned in getting my my TRO getting my restraining order and moving on but I had to break the TRO in order to beg him to stop the, the machine the press machine because I was I, I feeling like I couldn't live my life I was being dropped from opportunity commercial opportunities people were turning on me the uh, a campaign I shot dropped me I mean it was just I had never been inundated with that much press every single day me and my family were and every witness, anyone who even indirectly supported me, got bombarded. And the objection media campaign calls was... for speculation, lack of foundation. I'll, I'll stay in just the last, the last part of that. All right. Okay. Next question. Okay. Um, we heard Christian Carino testify <clears throat> earlier. Can you describe to the jury who, what your relationship is and was with Christian Carino? He was my commercial agent, meaning he handled things like campaigns. Uh, for a short amount of time, and then uh, became Johnny's agent around the time of the divorce. Uh, he was a kind of mutual friend at the time between Johnny and I, and so he helped um, us kind of negotiate or mediate a time where we could meet, and my goal in that was to just beg Johnny to stop doing this. Objection, non-responsive. Overruled. That's right. What if any desire did you have to return to Mr. Depp after the divorce? None. Okay. Now, you heard Mr. White testify that he engaged in negotiations with you during the settlement process of the divorce. What, if any, discussions did you have with Mr. White? None. I The first time I saw him was on, on the testimony screen uh, in the UK during the UK trial. So I've never spoken to him. So he didn't negotiate your settlement? No, he did not. What was important to you in the divorce negotiations? The, the, the statement. That was it. The statement. I wanted a mutual statement and I wanted him to call the, you know, get the press out of this. Just make a statement. What? And, and, and uh, in that statement, statement, I wanted to get the press out. So I came clear my name. Statement. I wanted to clear That's my name. It's all I have. I, I you know, I, 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 I said it. this to him too. And he, you know, he knew this. All I have is my name. I come from nothing. All I have is my integrity. All I have is my name. And, and that's exactly daughter, what man. he promised to take from me. <laughs> Why did you agree to accept $7 million as your but, settlement? Because I didn't more. care about the money. I was told if I didn't agree to a number that it could be overturned. That this would yes, never actually yes, accept it, would never get one. complete, it would never settle. Objection, he was saying. Be what right, was so, your understanding? So the record, folks, what consideration can be de minimis. It doesn't need to be $7 million. If I didn't agree to yeah. a number, it would be Minimal. overturned. So I took it would be overturned. far less than what they were offering and what I was entitled to. Oh, geez. I, oh, why my did God. You donate it to charity? Yeah. I promised the entirety of it to charity why because I was never interested in Tony's money. And in the divorce, did you, did you I just wanted my charity? safety. I wanted to move on from my life. I wanted my future. And then he started compromising that, calling me a liar, making it impossible for me to move on by doing so. So that I wanted the truth. I wanted him to clear my name and to leave me alone. That's why I, I kept saying that about since 2016. So why did you donate 3.5 to Children's Hospital and 3.5? Why are we using past tense, Elaine? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Well, so why I pledged the donate? first half or 3.5 to donate. Children's Hospital because I've been working there as a volunteer for well over a decade. Oh, geez. Uh, okay. I knew the facility well. I worked times? there with another um, nonprofit is how I got affiliated with them. And I knew they could use the resources. I was familiar with it. An officer of the court should not have used that locution. And what about the ACLU? Uh, and then ACLU, because I was a supporter, because I believed in the work that we're doing. I believe that they were doing good work for people who deserved it. Why did you make the donations over a period of time as opposed to just a lump sum? Um, two, two reasons. The short of it is because I was receiving the settlement in installments. I was receiving the installments over time. Second of all, so I could get the tax get benefit cash, of paying benefit. over time. You know, it's my understanding that's how you pay these, like, large sums. You pay it over time. Did you make any payments towards these donations? Nope. I did. Okay. Uh, okay. Did you finish those payments? Let's get the tax I up, um, shall we? allowed for the first installment, which is 100000 um to each. That came straight from Johnny in 2016. I followed up with uh, 350000 uh that year, um, 2016. Uh, 2018, I did another. Oh, and I also donated to 250,000 to Art of Elysium, which is the affiliate I was just speaking about um, that does the work in the children's hospital. It was not going to count towards my overall pledge, but I did that too. And then I did another donation to each in 2018. And then Johnny sued me, 2019. Before we get to that, uh, did anyone make donations to the Children's Hospital or ACLU on your behalf during that time period? Yes, Elon also, uh, Elon, who was my boyfriend at the time, so uh, had his own charitable contributions that he had, that he made. Um, he made 500000 to both in my honor, in my name, um, my honor. in 2017, I believe. Why do you have to? And have you completely fulfilled your donations to the ACLU and the uh, children's hospital say yes i have not yet and why not because johnny sued me for 50 million dollars so in march of what 2019 do do that, that doesn't have anything and i have spent over six million objection your honor this is, a motion in limine. this is a motion in limine okay yeah. motion no. in limine they have gone through this they've talked about this your honor We've talked about this. We said that we weren't going to bring this in, and now she's going right into territory that we all agreed, we all discussed. What year was the divorce again? 2016. 2016. Well, it's 2017, right? It's the top of 2017? It started in 2016. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did she just say that she herself thought she could possibly lose the lawsuit and needs the money? Like, to me, that sounded like her saying, like, I need to hold on to the money because there's a very good possibility I would lose no, she, she said, oh, she, well, because she was being sued for 50 million and presumably because she needs to, you know, defend herself or whatever. But like, yeah. sure. Yeah. Did you see that? Like, kind of like, I, I know I, I like the naughty girl. I knew I wasn't supposed to say that, but I did it anyways. Look, I, I, I got like a little whiff of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and she's then looking over at the jury, like, did, just there. did people notice that? that? And she, and actually, you know, when she, when she said the $50 million, she definitely came out with a little bit of spice to that too. Did anybody else notice that? Yep. Like that she's like, well, yeah, cause he's suing me for $50 million. Mm-hmm. Yep. Also, I, I feel like Ben Chu got a haircut. Mr. Chu, yeah, your hair looks nice. good. Got that split good. going on. He I finally mean, ben, had a, had a chance over the, over the break to get a haircut. Good for him. Yeah. He's not scratching his cheek today. <laughs> uh uh, yeah, yes, we no, will get to I, cross before I, I, I guess I'm, I'm actually, as a lawyer, offended that Elaine, obviously in a leading question already, asked whether she had donated the money um, yeah. and then reacted to that with as it had happened before also proceeding into questions indicating that it hadn't. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let yeah. the witness answer, Elaine. This is the problem with leading questions, by the way. Do you yeah. lie in the court? Agreed. Also, Agreed. did you notice the, the overemphasis of that that the way she's cleaning her nose with the tissue like like on like a thousand times? I bet somebody must have told her, listen, it looked like you were snorting cocaine last week. So she's doing it like even more times. Like, this is how I clean my nose. Look, everyone, this is how I do it. 
Perhaps, yeah. Overcompensation. Yeah. 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 yeah, could very well be. Well, this appears um, to be a conversation up at the bench. Yes, full conversation. Yeah, I just don't understand what the lawsuit has to do with not paying the money to the things that you had pledged. Um, <sighs> and then, yeah, as I said while it was happening, the, the, the link between I just wanted everybody to be quiet and I wanted the gag order statement, which is totally fine and then understandable. And then we wind up here because in 2018, you go out with more stuff on your relationship with Johnny Depp. Am I, am I supposed to not notice that that's the sequence of events here? So going back to that, then, could you afford to continue making payments to the ACLU and Children's Hospital? No. Okay. What, if any, intention do you have to fulfill your pledges and donations to these organizations? I still fully intend to honor all of my pledges. If you uh -huh. give Johnny Depp a win, you're killing cancer. Sure, cancer Jan. What, if any, deadlines are there on your pledges and donations to the ACLU or the Children's Hospital? There are none. They understand. <laughs> Do they? They, they understand. Let's go to defendants. Objection speculation. Which is already yeah, right. admitted. That was literally sure. set up to say, don't give Johnny Depp the win or you'll kill cancer now, kids. I'm going to just direct your attention <laughs> to paragraph 27, where it says, neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Amber wishes the best for Johnny in the future. What, if any, significance did that have to you? Are what any of these sentences true? That was it everything to me. That was shit. what. Yeah. yeah. That was the most important thing in, in the separation agreement between us is that he acknowledged that I hadn't made a single false claim that my allegations were not false. I thought that just because he signed his name to it, he'd honor it. I mean, you mean like how you were, would honor the NDA it, part? I thought it would mean but something. the statement says that there's no right He form. acknowledges that I never did it. I mean, I never made a false claim and I didn't do it for financial gain. And that's what I was being called at the time, a gold digger and a liar. Okay. Thank I, you. But the next time take this down, I don't, Michelle. I'm so confused. I'm going to now take you to post-divorce and your career. Please describe for the jury how your career evolved after the divorce, which I think was final in February 2017. I, I had to fight really hard to keep my career. Uh, I, you know, in, after I got my TRO, I, I lost opportunities. I got canceled from jobs. I got dropped from campaign I'd shot. I, um, was told I was going to be dropped from objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Oh, Same I objection. Okay. I, I fought to keep my job in um, in a movie opportunity, the biggest movie opportunity I had to date, which was what? Uh, it was Justice League um, with the option to become Aquaman. It later became Aquaman, um, but I had to fight really hard to stay even in Justice League because that was right around the time of the divorce. Can, she did can not you tell the jury what Justice League was and what your Mira does not in appear that? in the original Justice League. It is a superhero uh, franchise, uh, DC action film, and it introduced my character, uh, and it provided uh, the base for the Aquaman spinoff that followed it. But that was not a reality at the time of shooting Justice League. All right, and then you you were able to be an Aquaman, is that correct? Yes, I... Yes, no harm. I um, yep. showed up to work months early and stayed really late to fight to keep the job. I managed to keep it um, right. and That's managed it. slowly to kind of crawl, to gain through this kind of hard work and goodwill I was able to foster. I was able to keep and make other jobs and eventually made a, a movie called Aquaman and Aquaman was very successful. I think it was the most successful DC film um, by its release. And we, you know, I was, I was getting my career back, even though it was 
you know, it took a major hit when I, when I got my restraining order against Johnny. So let's talk about Aquaman for a moment. Uh, I think you said it was the highest grossing film of uh, DC films. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. When did that? <laughs> but I took come a big out? hit. Uh, December of 2018. Okay. And what was your role in Aquaman? I play Mira. And was that? Yes, Chad. I know she was role? in the cut. Uh, yes, it you? is uh, one of the leading roles. It's a oh. female lead opposite Jason Momoa's character of Aquaman. Okay, so you were his. She is mate. the legit co-lead of Aquaman. You could say that. Yes, I was his um, love interest. The the female. I was a female lead of the movie. Do you have a large slow motion kiss underwater? So yes? in December okay. of 2018, as Aquaman's coming out, why did you agree to participate in the op-ed? Well, because I believed in some of the causes that the op-ed was seeking to advance. Uh, there were there was a lot of attention and energy around um, mm -hmm. gender-based issues, gender-based violence issues in general. I had just recently become an ambassador for the ACLU. I was proud of that ambassadorship and I was looking forward to the opportunity to lend my voice to what I thought was a great cause, which is just a, a conversation around women's issues and gendered issues that I think the whole country was having at that time, you know, quite a political conversation and cultural conversation at the time. And I was uh, happy to lend my voice if I could. Who drafted the first draft of the op-ed? The ACLU. Did you initially want to include Mr. Depp by name or reference? No. Bullshit. What were you trying to accomplish by the op-ed? I was trying to raise awareness uh, around some of the issues that I just mentioned. Uh, there was some uh, legislative reform, uh, Title IX being one of them, uh, and there was just a greater cultural conversation being had around uh, gender issues. And, um, and I was happy to weigh in um, on what I saw as a, a, the you know, unique phenomena that women uh, and typically women experience in our culture when they come forward against somebody more powerful, uh, when they speak up about gender-based violence. And I thought I could lend my voice to that conversation. Put me I down for, I think we got across that. today. Were you trying to boost your sales for Aquaman since it was coming out in that same time frame? <laughs> uh, it doesn't work like that. I don't think any op-ed, uh, I mean, I, a major ma motion picture or major franchise like that is not Andrew. aided by the publication of a, a an op-ed in the Washington Post. I'll put it that way. But the other what way around can be what? said, you know, I was wanting to lend my name at that specific time um, to um, potentially advance the causes within the op-ed. All right, now I'm going to be forced to search for because Aquaman and Washington Post. Mira, Hang on. Aquaman? <laughs> yeah, just the publicity of the movie and the success of the movie would hopefully, um, in best case scenario, um, only add and lend itself uh, to, would lend attention to the issues that the op-ed aimed to address. What did you do once the ACLU had your agreement to be the spokesperson for the op-ed, to put your name to it? I sought the advice of my attorney. And why did you do that? Well, because I, I, you know, I didn't want to get into any sort of legal issue. Um, I didn't want to have any sort of legal problems um, uh, for for talking about what happens to women when or people when they come forward and speak about these sorts of issues, especially when they come forward against someone more powerful than them, uh, and that backlash, the retaliation that people face when they come forward is exactly what I was writing about. And I didn't want Johnny to retaliate against me uh, and quite literally prove my point. Pauline, I thank you so much for the generous super chat. And, I'll answer the questions in a bit. And so who was the counsel that you hired to review the op-ed? Uh, his name was Eric George. Where's he located? Uh, Los Angeles, California. How did you know Eric George? Uh, 
Eric George is the attorney who represented me uh, in a different litigation against those produ the producers of London Fields, the movie I mentioned earlier about having a body double and sex scene that I didn't approve of. What was your understanding of Eric George's experience and skills to be able to review that op-ed for you in the context of, of your concerns? Objection, speculation. I'm asking her understanding. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. D did you have knowledge of Eric George's abilities at that time? I did. I thought he had an excellent reputation and would give me great advice. Okay. And, and what, if any, experience, what, what was your experience with him in representing you earlier? I thought he was a fantastic attorney, very smart, and uh, I trusted him. Without uh, going into the content of it, what, if any, uh, of Eric George's advice did you follow in the context of the op-ed? I took all of his advice. I made all the edits he suggested. I took all of his advice. And what, if any, of Eric George's advice did you ignore? None. I mean, he's my lawyer. I, I listened to him. Okay. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know that my clients have ever answered Plaintiffs none there. Exhibit one. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is the online version of the op-ed and it has this title amber heard i spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath this that has to change what if any role did you play in this title none what if any role to your knowledge did the aclu play in this title none to my knowledge okay uh, are these exact words anywhere in the article no. No, they're not. When did you first become aware of this title being included in the online version of the op-ed? I think in this litigation is the oh, first time I You retweeted that. it. No, that, that brings in the door I'm for that I'm going to now tweet. ask, Michelle, can you bring no. up Plaintiff's Exhibit 2? If it couldn't come in before, it can come in now. It's they better bring it in right now. They better draw that thing. This is also Are they going to say it's an assistant, maybe? She can't, she can't um, bring it in now because she just said the first time I learned about was this. This is the. They can't bring it now. On the, the paper version, Unless she if wants you to change will, story of the Washington Post uh, with your editorial. And if you go to the second page, oh, she is this so one has it. a title, A Transformative Moment for Women. What, if any, role did you play in that title? I never saw that title. Uh, I didn't. Okay. No. Um, no. Do you recall seeing this version, the newspaper version at the time? Yes, this is the version I saw. I'm very proud of it. I had it framed. You had the newspaper version, not the online? I did. I had the newspaper framed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to ask you to turn to, and Michelle, can we pull up plaintiff's exhibit number three? I didn't think she was going to deny having ever seen the title. Oh, no. Yeah, that... That first tweet now can come in, assuming it couldn't otherwise. Do she you is toasted. recognize this document? Um, You're yes. Right You're right. I'm going to I'm going to move to admit plaintiff's exhibit number three into evidence. Any objection? No objection. All right, three in evidence. We publish. can publish it to the jury. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to say it's an assistant. Here we go. Here we my go. best. My best assistant. This is no. a tweet. Please explain yes, it. Okay. It is. Uh, yep. And can you explain to the jury what Hold a tweet you. is for those who are not as social media oriented? A tweet is a boomers. A posting on a social media network called Twitter. Okay. Now, did you send this tweet? I think so. I must have. Okay. And what if any control did you have over title. whether the title given to the op-ed online was included in the tweet. I didn't know. You don't have con you don't have control when you're retweeting something. If you, well, I she mean, had total control. My, she didn't have to link it. Experience that you don't control a title when you're retweeting something. You don't get a chance to re-editorialize someone else's title. And and at the time you sent this tweet, did you have did do you remember even noticing that title? I do not. I don't I don't think I even realized it. H have you ever typed the words from that title? No, I have not. Now, I'm going to ask you, let's go back to number two, plaintiff's you two. You said, did you ever type the words? 
And I'm she going didn't ask to the go, question, did you ever say the words? I'm going to ask you, hmm. the lawyer and me noticed. What, if anything, in this op-ed was incorrect? Nothing. Every word of it is true. And I'm going to direct your attention specifically, and if we can... Ask it about the online article. Was every word true, too? Touch. Or are we not going to ask that uh, one? And move up just a touch, Michelle, if you can, so we get to... Lawyer and me noticed that ago. one, too. Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Was this true or false? It's true. What, if anything, did you do about speaking up about domestic abuse two years earlier? Well, I went and got a restraining order against my then husband and walked out to a sea of media and endured so she's to admitting that point, it's about him. two years of they never were honestly going to win vitriol yep. from yep. the media and from we can put that one to rest um, Johnny Depp supporters and, in, and, in retaliation for having done so she may slip and, me and I guess you're really answering my next question which is and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for for women who speak out is that what you were referring to for that next yes because at the time um, I thought it couldn't be worse I. Uh, Obviously, now from where I sit today, no, it got a lot. It gets a lot, a lot worse. The thing about lies, and then Michelle. Well, I mean, she, she's suggesting the legal process is worse. Well, actually, that's perfect, Michelle. Then I don't have to use my purple again. Then you said I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse. Is this true or false? True. Okay, and explain to me what you meant uh, by that and, what, and how that was true for you. Uh, I got a restraining order. I it's hard to believe. had to prove to a judge that I needed one. I had a bruise on my face. I got a restraining order. I showed pictures. I had proof and yet everyone, the media, the, the, the studios that you know, both Johnny and I worked for. They were ready to support him. They made statements in support of him. They were ready to fire me. Objection, they attempted Your Honor. to fire me. Your say. All right, let's sustain the objection. Um, what, if anything, did you uh, witness with respect to institutions? Meaning the people that we work for, the institutions we work for, the studios we work for, decision makers in my industry, filmmakers and 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 powerful people and decision makers within my industry whom I had not ever even met, who didn't know anything about what happened behind closed doors in the marriage of Johnny and I, were making comments about me, statements about me. Every I was dropped from campaigns. I, it was people were hard for me to work. I was harassed. Um, I'm harassed on a daily basis, death threats. And just the, um, the fact that that wasn't, uh, there was no parody, uh, you know, the, the, the studio, and um, these decision makers and such were so ready to support him and um, eager to to objection, your honor, hearsay. I sustain the objection. All right. So, what if any ill will or bad intentions did you have or intend against Mr. Depp by assisting in writing, giving your name to this op-ed, and in publishing it? None. It's not about Johnny. The only one who thought it was she about literally said it was about him. You just you already she, said it was about, it's about it was, me. Yeah, it's about no. what happened to literally me. Literally said after. it was about two years ago. Okay. It's about that, what happened that. to me after I escaped my marriage. Uh -huh. It was about me and my okay. life and what I endured. <laughs> what happened two years before that? Well, I followed. I moved on and got a TRO and moved on with my life. It was about what happened to me after. The only one who made it about him, ironically, is Johnny. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I don't think that plays that over down, well. Michelle. I'm going to turn to. Oh, no, that was very aggressive. About electronics and transparency. You I'm have. Ready to see aggression on cross. Testified about, and we've seen photographs and audio recordings. That's the first I think I've seen her lash messages, out in this context. Emails, et cetera. A little what bit earlier, the million. What have you done to cooperate in the authentic, um, authentication of all of these things? Objection, Your Honor. I mean, she's, not a, sure. she's not a authentication expert, Your Honor. What kind of question is that? Man. <laughs> man, oh, man. No, so I look, benefit of the doubt, as we like to do here, of course, is that of course. Um, she's saying it's also about her. That is accurate. Articles are about a lot of things, including Johnny Depp, clearly. Well, 
Why didn't she buy her own words? What happened two years ago? It's like, oh, I filed for the domestic restraining order. Oh, okay. It's just a nuanced definition. But it wasn't about I'm going to turn okay. to your counterclaim. You have made a counterclaim against Mr. Depp in this case, correct? That's correct. And it's based on three statements that Mr. Mr. Adam Waldman, Mr. Depp's attorney made, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask uh, if you can pull up Defendant's Exhibit 245. Adriana, I'm going to ask. <laughs> it's already in evidence. Uh, Your Honor, if I may approach, if we may approach okay, just sure. real quickly. Please I think do. We can move this please along do. faster. Yeah, Folks, this yeah please. While they're at, while or they're just eat sidebar. up your time. While they're at sidebar, we're just short of 50,000 viewers, and Alita will do impressions at the next break. If we can cross the 50,000 viewer threshold, so please do like, subscribe, tell your friends uh, if you want to hear Alita as a pirate or maybe some other characters that she has in her bag of tricks, maybe even some improv. So please do like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, actually, it legitimately, it helps to put the, the live stream in front of more people if you do guys, if you guys do hit the like button. Um, so that would be great if we get, if we get, we're almost at 20,000 likes, so... That's great. Um, that would be that would be amazing. If we could if we could reach over 50,000 50, viewers concurrent, that'd be amazing, amazing, amazing. But yeah, there's a couple, always, every there's time a you couple. see a sidebar, just remember to like. I mean, we'll we'll just do that for the rest yeah. of the two weeks. It's easy, and then you don't have to hear from me. <laughs> every time there's a sidebar, we need some Alita grift in our lives. Yeah, That's right. yes. We need a little icon that says sidebar. Use that gavel on that like button. <laughs> Oh, that would be good, actually. Smash I... it like Camille smashes an objection into Elaine. There you go. There you go. Or like Elaine tries to Hulk smash every cross-examination that she does, and it backfires. Except we don't want it to backfire. We don't want the like button to backfire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, no, I think we're going across today, folks. I really do. We're in the counter I'm suit right now. I'm starting to think that. There's not a lot we'll get... of stuff here. They put out that statement. I think we're going to get... Uh, an hour plus of cross exam today. So, so they're gonna, so they're gonna kind of get enough to test the waters with her, mm -hmm. and uh, you know maybe just the beginnings of the questions, um, and then they're gonna go and they're gonna coach Amber on how to not get mad, uh, you know tonight. They're gonna and, try. Uh, she'll, she'll come back and act differently tomorrow. Yep, yep. It'll be interesting to see her go up on cross starting today when she obviously is, she clearly is a little bit riled up right now. Um, and she's gotta be tired. So, uh, yeah. 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 That ironically Johnny stuff was like, Oh, you can see that viciousness that you hear in some of the audio. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's an interesting tone to take right Cost now. Cosplay equilibrium is a nice callback. Nice yeah. reference by the chat. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and it's, it's really uh, appropriate because that movie was all about suppressing emotions, yes, not feeling. So, hey, there you go. We yeah, like our I mean, nerd like, references here. Yes, I love it. I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, she's she's definitely getting very irritated. Okay, we're gonna start showing. by bringing up defendants 1245. <laughs> All right, moving that into evidence, no objection, 1245 in evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. And this is an article that was in the Daily Mail on 8 April, 2020. Man, the Daily Mail is really doing work in this case. And then, Michelle, if you can move that to the next page. and Perfect. It says, Adam Waldman, Depp's lawyer said afterwards, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and a shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword, inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Uh, is this a true or a false statement? False. A and why is it false? Well, <laughs> You have to use to to use what I've lived through and 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 what I've survived, calling it fake, saying that that I'm I'm harming Johnny with this, I'm harming the public with this. This is what I've lived through. 
And to, to say that it's a hoax, that these aren't even real things, I, I, I mean, <laughs> after everything I've, I've lived through and survived, and also I hadn't even spoken about the sexual abuse within my marriage. I hadn't, I had been protective of that. I didn't want to talk about that ever. Because it's ridiculous. Adam Waldman was the one who put that out in the world. As remarkable as that is, I hadn't, I, I had protected that. I had to go to another country to give testimony and thankfully they allowed me to do so with confidentiality and some protection. And then Johnny through his lawyer not only uses that against me, it says it's a hoax. Thank you. Now I'm going to ask if we can bring up, and it's going to be 1246A. Well, so it's that Daily Mail reference. It's okay. the Daily Mail I'm reference that they're trying to use for the pirate news as well. As well. No objections to 1246A is in evidence. You can finish. And this is an article that was published on the 28th of April, 2020. And Michelle, if we can, thank you. And this one says, Depp's lawyer, Adam Waldman, said, quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt didn't do the trick, he told DailyMail.com. Why are there redactions going. in the newspaper? Yeah. That's really I, weird. I, I, I want to see the, the rest of the statements in that article. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and a publicist, and then placed a second call to 911. Do you see Man, that? If you had to have bet on what I just heard today. I couldn't mean, be more false. I feel like they're and making the that? argument for Johnny's lawyers right now. Every part of it is they, false. Because they just talked about the 21st. I didn't call 911. It didn't sound like that. I didn't call the police. I refused to cooperate with them to protect Johnny. I protected Johnny. I didn't call them once and I didn't call them twice. I didn't rough up the place. I cleaned up the place. I didn't even know the second cops were coming. If I wanted to get something from him, I wanted to hoax Johnny, why wouldn't I cooperate with the police? Wouldn't I say something to the police? Man, she is wouldn't I do her. more damage to the house and, uh, than just knock over the things that you saw pictures of? It makes no sense. And to do it in online when there's no fact checking, there's no authorities, there's no one able to, you know, I can't respond. I can't. You mean the authorities that showed I can't up on fight the this and use these sorts of media leaks and these comments to re-echo over and over and over again online with a network of people that are we'll intent on helping Johnny through a sophisticated PR machine. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay, over over speculation. I'll sustain the objection. Next okay. question. All right, and, and so what in fact uh, did Just you do Describing that? how men are usually canceled, I by the way. cleaned up, I protected Johnny, I refused to cooperate with the police, like so many other people do. I tried really hard to keep it private even after that, even when I was committed to filing for a divorce. I tried to protect Johnny, I tried to protect the history of what we had, I tried to protect him. Did the opposite, and I didn't. I didn't even have a lawyer. I didn't call my publicist. I I, I called my contract attorney to to get me another lawyer who could give me advice on how to protect Johnny. Every bit of this was to protect Johnny and to protect the secret that I had fought really hard to keep for nearly five years, which was that behind closed doors. Things were not what it looked like. Yeah, because okay. they were abusing him. Michelle, can you sounds like take mm -hmm. this down and go to defendants twelve forty seven, please. And your honor, I'll move the admission. All right. I know there's no objection. Twelve forty seven in evidence. Are they actually going to get some vicarious liability Remember, evidence in here for Adam Altman, or are we just going to take it on faith? This is published <laughs> on I don't know twenty four okay. June, updated on twenty five June, twenty twenty. And then if we can go 
further. Yeah, this anger feels this one feels says, sincere. This yeah, is the first Depth's emotion attorney, that feels sincere Adam from Waldman her. Adam Waldman said, "She seems legit angry." We have reached the beginning of the end of Ms. Hurd's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp. Is this true or false? False. And why is it false? Because, unfortunately, all of this is real. And what I mentioned earlier about how preposterous it would have to be for this to be this elaborate hoax, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't fathom one day that that would actually be legitimately the position that he, through a lawyer, would take, albeit online, where he could get away with it for some objection time. Objection calls for but speculation. Sustain the objection. Right. Uh, and and why, why is this so absurd? Because... Johnny and I lived this. We lived through this. I lived through this, and I narrowly survived it. But I survived it. Narrowly survived? And, uh, you know, I have mountains of evidence, mountains of proof, mm. and yet it, uh, it, in, in it, retrospect. Was, it won't be You don't want to say that when the jury has seen you have, on you Johnny's evidence. success. Florida Objection, Your Honor. Evidence. Calls for speculation. No, That's fine. Okay. So I'm in retrospect, take I don't think they should have finished with this. She is not going to be in the right suffered mood. suffered as a result of these statements by Mr. Waldman on Mr. Depp's behalf. Please tell the jury how you were doing reputation. Objection. That's, that's a legal conclusion, Your Honor. I'm, I'm sorry. We move to strike. Counsel's testimony. <laughs> Counsel's testimony. Counsel's Lord. testimony. I like Counsel's it. Counsel's test. She's testifying for her with legal, legal conclusions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try to keep it straight. Is that like sometimes. gospel preacher level, or was what were you going for? Because that was pretty cool. It's All it's right. a little bit more of a I don't know, <laughs> like oh oh, I don't know. I'm not sure where I'm going with it. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little bit too comfortable here. I just I just have this image <laughs> of like Chris Tucker from the Fifth Element announcing legal objections. Uh, for the record, we'll disregard that question. All right, your next yeah, question. Right, okay. You will. What was your understanding of on whose behalf Mr. Waldman was making those three statements? Objection, that's, lack of foundation, calls for speculation. And you want to approach again? That's, that's, that's not the what core we just of the case. Just... Yeah, it's core of the case on whose behalf. This is your job to prove, Elaine. Yeah. What was your understanding of it? Give me a break. Not that it matters anyway, because it goes to mm -hmm. what a reasonable person in like the world would understand, not your particular understanding. Defamation doesn't care about your subjective statement, care about objective views. So there's that. So we'll move forward to my other question here. Thank you. How were you, please tell the jury, how were you doing reputationally before these three statements were made beginning April 2020? April 8 was the first of them. Objection, Your Honor. I'm going to object on lack of foundation. Okay. There's no better about reputation. <laughs> It took uh, hard work. Uh, it, it, you know, it took a lot of hard work um, on my part, but I was able to work, get my life back on track. Um, I was taking care of my, you know, myself emotionally. I, my career I was working really hard. I was able to star in a major success. Um, I worked on a TV series that I had been attached to for a very long time. I became uh, an ambassador for several nonprofits that I deeply care about. Oh, look at all the uh, benefits I was doing a that lot she of really, got. You know, it felt really good to be, be doing the social work and the charity work I was doing. And I was also filming and working and planning on, um, I was awaiting a, a schedule from uh, Warner Brothers for Aquaman 2, the sequel. Um, and I had wrapped on that TV series I mentioned, and I was awaiting to start doing publicity for it to promote it. And I had a, uh, a, a campaign, a global campaign, uh, as a spokesperson for a, a major beauty brand. So things were, you know, the trajectory was, was positive. So how, how did things change after these statements were made? I remember around the time... Um, uh, unfortunately, I lost my mother uh, around, I mean, on the 1st of April. And I remember it was uh, when I was grieving her that I uh, got a, a call that I w should be expecting a script. 
uh, for my role in Aquaman 2. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. It's not offered to prove the truth. Of the no, overruled. Go ahead. Um, so I was, waiting, I was waiting a schedule uh, and a script for that, feeling concerned that, you know, I wouldn't have enough time to, to grieve before having to get back into work. I had a pre press schedule to promote the TV series I was doing, and uh, I was uh, shooting things for this uh, beauty brand. And then uh, I, I remember at that time, um, the beauty brand uh, had to suspend posting what I had, what, what I just shot for them because uh, they were getting bombarded. Uh, Objection, Your Honor, this is hearsay. Sustain the objection. Okay. All right. They, so they, they said no. I mean, they suspended what I had shot. Objection, Your Honor. Th that she can testify to that, Your Honor. She has to be able to testify. I'll, I'll, sus I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Were you, were you actively involved in campaigns for L'Oreal before these articles? I was. Were you actively involved in campaigns with L'Oreal after these articles? No. Were you with the stand? You were talking about the TV series. That was the stand, correct? Yes, the TV series that I had already completed. All right. I can't believe. And were she's you needing... actively involved in publicity for the stand prior to these articles? Yes, I were was. You, were you actively involved in the publicity after these articles? No, uh, shoots were canceled. Things okay. were canceled. Um, with respect to Aquaman one, uh, Aquaman two. Aquaman 2. You'd already starred in Aquaman 1, right? Just so we're, and they called it Aquaman at that time, but now there's an Aquaman 2, just right? For, <laughs> that's correct. Okay. So <laughs> were you actively scheduling, uh, timing for filming and scripts for Aquaman 2 before these articles? Yes, I was. Were you actively scheduling after these articles? No. What? Uh, the communication stopped. Um, at that point all right uh, i'm going to uh really so okay can you bring up defendants exhibit i, I feel like they should just bring in promotional materials <laughs> for aquaman too <laughs> here's the problem right you got the jury if this is good enough to make this case on her part it's good enough i'm going to show you what has pirate. been marked yeah. as defendants exhibit 1258 it's dated september 21 2015. do you recognize this document yes okay what is it it is uh, the Justice League Aquaman contract. Okay, Your Honor, I'm going to move oh, the admission of hey, Defendant's Exhibit 1258. Any objection? Amazing. Uh, yes, Your Honor. May we approach? Oh, sure. Yes, hey, 50,000 viewers. This is awesome, guys. If you are, if you're just now joining us, uh, please do like the video. Um, it would be great if we could get at least half the people in here liking the video. So we're, we're very close to 25,000 likes. Can we do it? Can we do it? I think let's we can. see. Let's see how much higher we can go above fifty thousand. This is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm very excited to see you, you all here. And then also, guys, you know, while we're while we're waiting, um, check out all of these folks that are on this panel and that have been on this panel um, throughout the day. They are all linked in the description below. Um, if you want to help, really support the stream. Go and subscribe to everyone that has shown up today because it helps to it helps to incentivize them to come back. Other than the fun of it, of course, <laughs> but also, 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 I mean, it's just a really great way to show your appreciation for everybody because we really want to make sure that like this whole community of of content creators, of lawyers, behavioral analysts, and nurses, and psychologists, um, so that we can all kind of like like create this whole robust community so we can continue talking about these kinds of cases. Um, you know, moving forward, even, even after this trial. So be sure to go and check out everybody, um, see their, their videos, like, like their videos, subscribe to their channels. It would be really awesome. That is very nice of you to say, you know, we were here for small numbers. We'll be here for big numbers everywhere in between. Exactly. We love having these conversations in law tube and with Spidey yeah. and other non-lawyers. Uh, this is uh, this is a, a great deal of interest to a lot of people. And we're happy we can talk about these things with you all and that you give us a chance to do it here on this channel with its 50,000 viewers and its 25,000 likes. Incredible, incredible. I'm literally just here for Alita's impressions. Yeah, no, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we, yeah, I made promises for her. Technically that's not a contract because she didn't agree to it, but I, I think we can convince her. Yeah, it's yeah. a quasi contract, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it absolutely. It doesn't seem like a difficult ask to ask her to do impressions at this point, at least today. So it's uh, it's been a lot. It's been a lot of fun throwing Amber, those. Can you in every explain to me how that the contract structure was for Justice League and options? Just explain to the jury, please. Ooh, yes, please do. It's um, structured like a, a three picture option. You, <laughs> I signed on to uh, do Justice League, where my character was introduced. Um, the fee is you know, small relative to what it will become if and when you do the other options or movies in that um, under that umbrella. So it was the contract for Justice League, which could then become Justice League 2, or it could be Aquaman, or it could be some other uh, movie within the DC universe. Uh, and uh, the second picture ended up being Aquaman. Uh, and then the third picture, Aquaman 2. Each time it, it, the fee goes up, but... Objection, Your Honor. This is calls for speculation, lack of foundation. It overruled all that. It's her contract. No, she wouldn't as far it. as the contract is concerned, that's what the contract says. All right. Yeah. And if we go yeah. to page six... When we're talking about secret so what Hollywood was contracts, the fee going to be object. for Aquaman? And what was it for Aquaman? Uh, One million... Okay, and then there, was there also box office bonuses opportunities? Yes, I believe. Okay. Yes, there are yeah. box office bonuses. Um, if it makes a certain amount in the box office, you um, you get a, uh, a a bonus. Okay. I love and, the super and chat. It says picture number two. It's aqua uh, ma'am to you. You entered into oh, the no. contract and and uh, with uh, on Justice League, did they know what what the picture would be? No, as I mentioned before, when you do the contract, objection please. calls for speculation. All right, I'll sustain that objection. Okay, so ultimately, what was picture number two? Aquaman. All right, and then uh, what was it for picture number three? Aquaman two. Okay, and what was the fee under the option agreement at that time? Two million. Okay. Um, now, did you have contracts These are not super with L'Oreal for Aquaman? Yes, I did. Okay. And but it's DC, though. Can so. you just describe for Aquaman the jury made a billion, Andrew, what was a involved with L'Oreal? You talked about being involved in campaigns and then not. Just <laughs> just explain that to them if you can. As a spokesperson, I'm just involved with the brand as a representative and uh, a certain amount of commitment. You have to do throughout the year um, on social media and on red carpets promoting various products or um, you know causes they're advancing generally it's just like a brand ambassadorship okay and did you um well let's go let's pull up 1262 And this is dated as of April 25, 2018, correct? That's correct. Wait, was that your first contract with L'Oreal? I believe so, yes. Okay. And did, was that for a term, a specific term? Yes, it was. Okay. Was it for two years? Yes, it says two-year contract, and that okay. sounds right. All right, and then I'm going to ask you to turn to 1264. And that's April 20, 2020. And what, if anything, did L'Oreal do with regard to extending your contract then? They extended it. Um, they chose to I extend it with the option to kind of. All right, and did they extend it just an additional three months? Uh, that. If you look at paragraph one. Let's see. Yes, they did. Okay. And what, if any, work did you do for L'Oreal after these three statements were made? Uh, I have only been able to participate in, I believe, one live event that they also couldn't promote or use the material from because of objection your honor calls for speculation right. no, sustain the objection. okay now let's go to 1265 and this is as of november 15 2021 this is another extension with l'oreal correct 
Yes, it is. And if you look at the, the second option term under paragraph one, it's an extension of 20 months. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. And what, if any, work have you been able to do for L'Oreal since this, ex since this contract? As I stated, I, I believe I've only done one in-person event with them and they couldn't use the material. Okay. Now, I, I, let's talk about the stand for a minute. Let's pull up 1263. I love the stand, but... This was not and a this good This is dated of it. July 3, 2019. Uh, and I believe you indicated that you had already filmed it by the time these statements were made in April and June of 2020. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And what, if any, marketing opportunities were you participating in prior to those articles? Uh, we had um, appearances, talk show, um, press, the normal kind of group cast press junket, uh, promotional material, photo shoot. Um, and I was, uh, I had, um, various publicity engagements lined up like magazine, a magazine cover, um, that, that sort of thing to promote the film. I mean, to promote the series. And what, if anything, were you able to do with marketing opportunities after the three articles were published? Uh, none. None. Didn't the show come out? What if any uh, covers were you on after that for the stand? They pulled the offer for that, so none. Okay. And while, while we're on this uh, agreement, if you look at the second page, how much were you paid for the stand? It's at uh, 6C. $200,000. Oh, 200000 an episode. Okay. Now let's pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1266. That's 1 1.4 million to you, Kid Home. Have you been able to get any work since that time? I have done uh, one small independent film. Okay, and tell the jury what that is. Uh, I shot a film in uh, Guatemala. It's a small independent, uh, meaning it doesn't have distribution or you know, yeah, it doesn't distribution or anything. It's a lower budget film that I've been attached to for many years called Into the Fire. Okay. And uh, 1266 has as of January 13, 2022. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. When did you actually film for this in Guatemala? Uh, March. Uh, I believe it was March of this year. And do you recall what your compensation was for that? I don't off the top of my head. I'm if you sorry. can look at ALH 17628, it's paragraph 6A. Oh, uh, 65,000. Okay. And have you participated in Aquaman 2? Seven times 100,000, yes. And tell us about that. Uh, I had to fight to, I fought really hard to stay in the movie. They um, didn't want to include me in the film. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, did you ultimately, were you ultimately able to get to film in Aquaman 2? A very pared down version of that role, yes. Okay. What, if anything, down? changed in the script? They took away uh, a lot of... Objection, the, Your Honor. Hearsay. I think she can... Lock of foundation. No, she would the see script. the script. She can tell that. Yeah. Go ahead. I um, was given a script and then given new versions of the script uh, that had taken away yeah, scenes exactly. that the... That, that had action in it, that had that depicted um, my character, and uh, and another character. Uh, without giving any spoilers away, you know, they the two characters fighting with one another, and hmm. they they basically took a bunch out of my role. They didn't, yeah, they just removed a bunch out. Oh. And what, if any, leverage did you have to negotiate a higher salary beyond the $2 million? Objection, speculation. 
I'll yeah. sustain the objection. What, if any, effort contract. did you make to negotiate a higher salary for your participation? I couldn't renegotiate my contract. And why not? That wasn't the question. Objection. Because this calls for hearsay. Because it's a contract. And speculation. Do you know why? <laughs> Still the same objections. Speculation. Objection. How did this um, get to $100 million? $100 million. <laughs> so All the right. best part you ever had was $2 million. Amber, I'm going to ask you to describe to this jury the emotional uh, impact uh -huh. on you okay. uh, of these three the statements that we have talked the about, these three counterclaim statements. Like this Please is describe there, how trying this to finish here. You. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the end. Um, yeah. yeah, sounds that yep. way. These statements are used over and over and over and over again online to reverberate, re-echo, uh, and re-energize. Objection, Your Honor. This is not responsive. Lack of foundation it, it's and hearsay. Yeah. Right. She gets to give her cousin's input. Well, her emotional, the question was, what your emotional impact of these statements? Okay. The impact it has on me is every time I look at it. Uh, which is every day. Look at it every day. Why do you look I at those statements every day? Set back. I have to relive it. I have to to ha have my the worst, most painful things I've ever gone through. Painful memories I've ever had. The things I've narrowly survived at times. Embarrassing, intimate details that I never wanted to be known never wanted to be public ever and to have them use every single day to call me a liar. I have to relive this every single day that I have to address those claims over and over again, the most intimate, embarrassing, deeply humiliating and personal things that I've survived are used against me every day <laughs> over and over again. It's torture. It's so, I'm in so much pain emotionally. So not specific. I'm, I'm, I just wanted him to leave me alone. I wanted to move on with my life. And he won't let me. By making statements like this, he won't let me. I have to be here today. I have to be reliving it every single time. He, with these statements, with these, these, these leaks, these comments, once again, makes me have to speak to the most horrifying things I have lived through. You sound really horrified, let me tell you. It's torture. I feel it's the torture. Torturous. Why don't you I have to it. do that? I want to move on with my life. I have a baby. I want to move on. I want to move on. I want Johnny to move on too. I want him to leave me alone. He has. <laughs> Thank you. I have no further questions. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's probably a good time go. to go and take our afternoon recess. Yeah, based on that. So go ahead and uh, do not talk, discuss the case and uh, don't do any outside research. Okay. We'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay. Thank All you. right. All right. So do they need please, court is still in session. I need it to be quiet in the gallery. Thank you. Ooh. Yes, Come on, Ian. Ian. Get Rob, it together. Rob, Ian, and Larry, you guys are being too noisy. <laughs> Ian talking all Canadian law back there loudly. <laughs> so when a moose beats a beaver, eh? Clearly, Ian is trying to pass around pancakes right. with some with some we'll Canadian maple syrup. Then we'll come back at three twenty-five. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Oh no, I have a meeting at three thirty. So three twenty-five. So we probably have what an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, we will go to five thirty today. Two hours. Five thirty today. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got three hours. They will be able to get them. They will get able to get the machine going. Two hours of cross. Two hours, two hours of cross. Right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah oh, for right. time, zones. time zones. We'll time come back zones. at three thirty. They'll go to five thirty. So two hours. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you guys all get T-shirts. You made it through Amber Heard's direct testimony. Uh, <laughs> we'll work I on. Uh, Amber Heard. Heard. I survived I was Amber Heard's direct. <laughs> I mean, we get to see how they start this party, how they get this party started, which is going to be very, very, very yeah. interesting. I mean, I think we all had different opinions on it, so it'll be interesting to see what they actually go with. Two hours is an interesting amount of time because it's how, how much do you tip your hand as to what direction you're going to go? What mm -hmm. do you try to elicit right now? 
she's clearly on tilt to some extent here at the end, um, yeah. which is odd. I mean, Elaine let her right to being angry, so okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you think she'll yeah. be different um, during cross, like in terms of her attitude and willingness to answer the questions? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm she's sure gonna she'll try. be angry, resentful, dismissive. Yeah. You saw it right at the end, right? The system is against me. Johnny has brought me back here. All of this exists because Johnny can't give this up. So she's going to take a hostile approach, and my this is just me guessing, to yeah. the whole process. That that yeah. this is one man's obsessive, vindictive complex, and the system is backing him up. That's what I put in the Washington Post. And she's going to take on an air of self-righteous hostility, would be my guess. Yep. Um, I found it really interesting in her closing statement, I quickly mentioned it, but how she said the word things about I think eight or nine times to describe what it was. And it's like, it's kind of weird because like she's talking about how she wants to move past this and she keeps thinking about this. Well, what is it you keep thinking about? Like, why isn't that specific? Like I can't get past this specific thing. That's what's because things is so broad. Like you're not thinking about things. You're thinking about something specific. Why aren't we getting those specifics? So it's just sort of like this weird closing statement that's like overreaching or like she's trying to do like this whole thing, but it's so general, so non-specific. It's weird. She always goes with non-specifics in areas where I think she thinks that it could be proven against her. Yep. And yep. then she gives you a great amount of detail for things that nobody's going to be able to testify on because they're random. Like, a, you know, like the, the dirty carpet. Yes. So, I mean, yep. I, I noticed this throughout. I'm not mm -hmm. good enough to say, hey, that's what liars do. That's not, that's really not my expertise. But I did notice that she would get very vague. Notice, however, it, it, for instance, like when we heard from Elaine and Crossex in Johnny Depp's testimony, a hurl of, vind of vindictive statements that Johnny Depp apparently made in the, in the Boston plane flight. If you go back to Amber Heard's testimony of that, it, she says something along the lines of, you can imagine the horrible things he said. Like she doesn't want to get into a fight about the specifics uh, of yeah. what that is. And she does that, I don't know, a dozen times where she says yeah, and the horrible things or something that's vague. Yeah, like wh why can we imagine the horrible things he said, but we can't imagine the dirtiness of the carpet that you need to give us that much detail about, or like the, the ping pong table fight where they both went flying across the room and landed on a ping pong table, and there was yep. this bottle and that bottle, and all the details are about not the altercation, but everything surrounding it. And uh, Hope, to your point, typically we, we pay attention to where the details are because people who are fabricating or trying to sell a narrative will give you all these details outside of the event to be like, look how truthful I am. I'm giving you every detail here, but then they'll get sort of vague when it comes to the event itself. Um, that's typically a structure. It's a generalization, not a, not a law. Of course, of course, of course. And that's why, you know, I can't commit to that as meaning anything specifically, but I did notice that you get the details of the, the sub sandwich she ate that day and not anything else. Yeah, no. yeah. Hey, Natalie, how's it going? Hey, it's going great. Hey, guys, I'm... Um doing some walking in my neighborhood and so I figured I'd get a chance to hop in on here during my break. Absolutely. So glad to have you here. So for anybody that isn't familiar because uh, uh, this is the first time Natalie's uh, on with us for this trial stream. Oh, okay. Natalie Lawyerchick is another member of LawTube, another another part of the whole crew. She's got fantastic. a fantastic channel. Um, we will, I'll be, I'll be linking her channel in the description as well. Be sure to go check her out. She's got a lot of great stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen her, uh, her review of Amber Heard's testimony before oh, and no. going through all the different inconsistencies, but it was oh, very I, good. Yeah. A lot of people are talking about it. No, Natalie's great. <laughs> so Natalie, did you catch any more of, of this direct examination today? Are we, oh no, she may have frozen. <laughs> Oh, well, we got no. her smiling. It's a good yeah. frozen yeah. pose. At it's least good, it was, it was a good frame. Pose. That's what happens when you're, when you're uh, ranging, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, still, still I don't think we're getting frozen, audio, Natalie. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now, now I think you're back. <laughs> no, a little bit. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Sort of. I think, I think back. her bandwidth is, is dying wherever she is at the moment. <laughs> yeah, know. could be. Could be. Ah. Uh, well, I. Yeah. <laughs> So sorry, Natalie. I, feel bad. I know, I know, because she just she just got in here. Um, we'll see if maybe maybe if you maybe if you leave and come back, it might it might work. Sometimes that does the trick. Sometimes when I turn off my camera, it makes things a little bit oh, better. How's that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. that is better. that is Fantastic. very very clear sound. 
Okay, great. Since it's not using the it's not using the bandwidth on the video. So exactly. Um, the I only caught the very end there where um, she was asking about what impact things have had on her. I didn't even catch the question, but like what emotional impact? And instead of saying the emotional impact, she was just basically trying so much on the audio now. <laughs> Oh, no. We're sorry, Natalie. Yeah. Oh, uh, I really want to hear your thoughts, though. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Pop back in when you're by your Wi Fi. I would, I would leave and come back. Yeah. 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 It might, it might help if you, if you leave the stream and then, and then, and then hop back in. Oh, man. Well, it was very uh, interesting. Oh, I really wanted to hear sure. what she had to say, too. She'll come maybe, back. Maybe she'll, Natalie's yeah, awesome. maybe she'll be able to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. She, really she hopped out. Better channel. Yes. Incredibly interesting testimony, uh, but I don't know if she'll pick up the damages element some other way, but it's like, oh, the best paying gig I ever had, it sounded like, was $2 million. Quite and the so, difference, like, by the way. How am I getting to asks. $100 million? Yeah. Mm. Amber asked you know? for 100 on this. Johnny, who can show pirates, who yeah. can show Grindelwald, who could show a lot of other stuff, asked for 50 That's interesting in and of itself yeah. to the jury. I mean, because the she's comment young was like, and like she has a trajectory change. that's going to go into the moon. Well, she, yeah. I mean, $1 million in Aquaman, that was, that was always a movie that was planned to bust out. Uh, so, I mean, she, she sold low anyway. Um, so. I feel like she's blaming the trial for losing the role in Aquaman too, but I think all the trial did is show the producers that A, she can't act and B, she has no experience in getting beaten up. So they fired her. Oh nice. no. Oh no. Could be, could be. Oh, um, no. Also, Spidey, oh, oh, we have a, a question here from the Super Chat about whether <laughs> whether you'll be here all week. Will you be here all week? I will be in and out all week. This week's a bit calmer than last week, so I will Good. be, I will be nice. Thank you. For I know, you've been so busy. <laughs> yeah, between videos and, uh, yeah. Just, just... We got to set up a post show called Impressions and Magic Tricks, uh, and that's just really for me. It's not for chat. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, but uh, but uh, so yeah, her her damages estimate is very questionable. I know we saw some super chats that that came up on the screen before about like, okay, two million dollars in economic, and then ninety eight million for emotional damages. Like, how is that going to be PTSD, <laughs> baby? This is the PTSD. It's That's such a, a hard PTSD. thing to deal with. She's going to have to cry. PTSD is very valuable, apparently. Into ninety five million, ninety eight million dollars. Yeah. Well, and it only coalesced <laughs> after Adam Waldman spoke. Right. I mean, that was that was another trick that they had to try to run, which is like, OK, you have to run yours right in the middle of covid. She's still doing work. Aquaman 2 still coming out. By the way, it's not called Aquaman but, 2, but I, I mean, I guess we don't care. About by the way, specifics. but isn't this very aren't the damages just a sign, just a, a, a microcosm for everything in this trial? Whatever John, whatever happened to Johnny Depp, it was twice as bad to Amber Heard. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's it, it's over and over and over again. Anything that happened to him is minimized. Anything that happened to her is maximized. So mm -hmm. he was hit. She was pummeled. Yeah, it's always got to be worse and worse. It's very interesting. That is yeah. very interesting. It's like everything that everything for her. It's like anything you can do. I can do better. I can yep. do anything better than you. Like, that's how it feels very much no, like, like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I have a can. question. The, the recordings that she was listening to and reacting to, what what were those? Did he know they were being recorded? Was it what were those? Uh, those look, those sounded like they were both versions. A couple of them sounded like they were taped by Johnny, and a couple of them sounded like they were taped by Amber. Am I wrong on that? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, closer usually, voice, better voice is the taper. That's exactly what. I, yeah, that's that's exactly what I was gonna say. Is that like I'm I'm judging based on like which voice sounds clearer. It's usually the person who's holding the recording device because it's like closer to them. Yeah, a couple um, of those definitely where Johnny sounded fine and she sounded like she was from the moon. So that those I consider Johnny tapes, and yeah. and the Johnny tapes are ostensibly coming from the marriage counselor's advice. Um, yeah. Although I think it all dissolves. <laughs> As as yeah. as the relationship breaks apart, I think it stops being about that at all. Uh, but yeah. I think I think there were a couple of Johnny tapes and a couple of Amber tapes. Because there was one yeah. where we hear him saying like, "You believe Amber? You believe I'm an abuser? You believe I'm an abuser?" And if he's recording that, then that's not that you know. It's like he's trying to like make a point. But if it was more her recording it, that to me was like sort of we're seeing like in a conversation between just the two of them, he's asking her like, "Do you really think I'm an abuser?" But if he's the one recording it, then that that doesn't matter because I think that was him. His point. voice is yeah. much clearer on that tape. 
his, yeah. his voice yeah. was much clearer. Yeah. So that's I'm gonna cross that out. That's unimportant. <laughs> I'm not trying yeah. to convince you of anything, Spidey. I just, I do think that. No, no, I, no I think it's very valid that his voice was clear. So if he's recording it, then it's like he, he, it, he could be aware that someone else is going to hear this. But if he wasn't quiet or he wasn't sure, and he's just like, like really focusing on, you really believe I'm an abuser when it's just the two of them talking, that kind of shows that he really doesn't believe that he's an abuser. And it was interesting to hear what I think is right before the tell the world Johnny tape, which is that big, long screed about how much evidence I have. Because for one, they're pulling that tape to bolster her testimony. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, to me, all of what she's saying right there to intimidate Johnny in, in respect to the legal process uh, sounds like writing a check that I don't know that her case can cash, right? Yeah. So she's saying, I've got eyewitnesses. I've got evidence. I've got documentation. I've got all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't think you're going to see that in the next that's, five days no. that's the problem with saying saying something saying something so conclusive about i have mountains of evidence is that no. that is for the jury to decide enough. so like she's literally yeah. telling the people that are the ones that are going to be determining whether this is a mountain or a molehill mm. that are you know telling them i have mountains of evidence when they're like mm. we'll be the, we'll, we'll 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 decide that we'll decide that yep, so our job uh, it just it just it sounds like like she's trying to, yeah, it just, it, it, to me, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not very convincing. It comes across as very argumentative and very much like, well, and then also at the same time, it's like, you just get a, a, a window into her brain to be like, she really thinks that she has mountains of evidence here, but, but from what it looks like from our vantage point, at least maybe the jury is, is, you know, seeing it the way that we are, maybe not. I've got two um, shards of dress on a on a, I, on a mat. Well, she leans so I, much no, no, no. on. I have all these texts, right? And like that to me sounds like someone that could be planning for leverage in this exact scenario that we're in right now, mm. right? I've, I'm I'm laying down all these texts, and and that's that comes out in the tell the world Johnny audio, which I'm sure Camille is going to play. Right, and I, I've I've talked to my friends. I've sent messages to my friends and to my family. Oh, you mean stuff that doesn't involve him that can't be, you know, lined up or, or validated by, uh, by Johnny. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's, it's too, it's, it's too little. And I really think it's just trying to polish a turd at this point, because I an think that turd. that's what we've seen. We, exactly. Oh, it's polishing an amber turd. Couldn't, couldn't help myself. Couldn't help myself. Oh, no, no. I did it intentionally. Don't worry, Bites. You know who I am. <laughs> um, so let's get some super chats. Lord Voldemort 09 Stein says, is there anyone else? get a very Roxy Hart from Chicago vibe from her. Do they have any way to verify when diary entries were written? Roxy Hart uh, no is way to really verify. This. No, no way to verify, but it does feel very, um, Oh God, what was, what was the word that came up when they had the, the, the journal entries in Chicago? Um, there was a specific word that they, that it turns out her attorney planted in the diary and to make, make things sound crazy. Um, I don't know. I'm totally blanking. Maybe some, someone in the chat will remember, but, I just give him the old razzle dazzle, right? <laughs> Is this sister going to testify? That's they, they, Amber Heard's team says that they did, uh, or that, th that they are going to, she's on the list. And, but the question is, well, oh, erroneous, reprehensible, erroneous. I think erroneous was the word. <laughs> Thank you guys in the yeah, chat. I knew eventually someone there. would say it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Um, so yeah, she's, she's on the list. They said that they're going to call her. The question is whether that's going to be approved because she never finished her deposition. She got halfway through, said she didn't feel well. And then Amber's legal team said that they were not going to reproduce her for to finish her deposition. She finished the part where Amber's lawyers got to ask her questions. But then when it came time for Johnny's lawyers to ask her questions, she was like, I'm not feeling well. I need to go home. Huh. Wow. My planet needs me. <laughs> yeah. She pulled a poochie. Yeah. I feel like I feel like given that a big part of the abuse, she, you know, Ember stated that her sister was there it would be really a valuable testimony. One would think. Yeah, it would be. It would be. One they can get think. it. One would think. Yeah. Unless. Uh, unless. Yeah. The obvious. Yeah. Parisian yeah. Nicole. What do you, what do you, what do you all think oh. so far? Like, if you play devil's advocate to, to yeah. Amber, what do you think is the big, most compelling piece of evidence that's been presented so far? And I mean evidence, not speculation. For for Amber's side, uh -huh. for Amber's side, if you're if you're like if you're like I'm Team Amber, I'm one of the zero point zero seven percent of people on this planet. I mean, you could you could say like the audio the audio clips of of Johnny like yelling 
-hmm. are probably the most damning, but you know, like you can, you can still, I'm sure plenty of people in the, in the chat will, will, you know, say, I I can see someone yelling if they get frustrated enough and also someone yelling once or twice, or, or even a few times over the course of a five-year relationship is not, is not evidence of, of abuse. Right. I guess you can. as a parent, we take that video in the kitchen. We take mm-hmm. the audio. I, you know, I thought what was particularly powerful is you don't exist. That to me is very mm-hmm. like that's leaning towards abusive. Not saying that it was. Not saying people haven't said that in other contexts. But we're talking about what could a jury find for Amber Heard? You don't mm-hmm. exist. Slamming things, potentially breaking things. Presumably, Alan Barkin is going to attest to that as well. That you could imagine in an intimidating way when combined with maybe you can see something on those photos and you get to a place that says. We have to be sure that she was lying when she wrote this post. And and maybe we also say the Washington Post is the only one responsible for the title. And I could imagine a jury saying, okay, that could, they're clearly toxic to each other. They're clearly yelling at each other. We can't unpeel this. We can't figure it out. And so I don't believe she's lying. I certainly believe that she believes it at some level, then, okay, whatever, we're done. See, I think you might be able to sell that by saying that, look, you know, she may have described that as being pummeled, being, you know, you no know, thrown across the room, but she doesn't know what that's like. So yes, she, she did not get thrown across the room. She did not get pummeled, but that doesn't mean she wasn't abused. Right. So, I mean, you know, her, her idea of what that is, is out of reality. However, that doesn't totally negate her experience. That's the devil's advocate. I definitely right, which is not what you're that saying. Is just I not posed. definitely let me be chat, very clear. I do not believe as chat you. jumps on me. Look, this is yeah, the question chat. posed, and you should not be surprised if this jury gets hung. Okay, like there is a lot of closed door stuff. There's a lot of things that could possibly be read in Amber Heard's favor. I tend to agree that she has mostly incredible testimony here. But that doesn't mean that every juror will agree with what I believe or what any of these other panelists believe. So you asked us, how could I see a jury holding for Amber? You get stuck in the middle. You don't know what happened. And you say, how can I say she's lying? Yeah. Yeah. There's a possibility of that. Yeah. Parisian Nicole says, do you think Dr. Curry is sitting somewhere smirking while Amber Heard is testifying? This has got to be so satisfying for her because we are all seeing and hearing exactly how she said Amber Heard is. She's eating a basket of muffins. (laughs) <laughs> guys i have to take a meeting at, at 3 30 but i'm gonna wrap it up as quick as i can and come right back okay sure sure Excited. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. do it do yeah. a light lightning round <laughs> really quick hey guys what's going on all right we're doing this all right let's book it <laughs> yeah. okay i i gotta go cross is starting <laughs> <laughs> don't you know <laughs> all right see you spidey uh, see you back in here soon um yeah andrew hansen says can consistency consistently and continuously ignoring the rules of evidence regarding hearsay and speculation get you in trouble with the court yeah all right we yeah. Want to okay. punch it okay. chewy <laughs> a question backtracking testimony equals amber Heard conferred with counsel could be certainly looks a lot like it yeah looks a lot like it mirth Van Renswood says, this direct examination feels like it is done with no preparation. This is, is this just bad prep or does Amber Heard have bad lawyers? Or I, a third option, which is one that I actually would ascribe to is that she probably is going a little bit rogue here. Is Amber Heard so. a bad client has to be a part of that question. Yes. Yes. Yep. 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 Oh, yeah. We're about to get going on this magical cross-examination. Two full hours. A little bit unexpected, Two honestly. Two full hours, yes. Um, I, I really I really didn't think that. I mean, this is a this is actually a terrible time for them to start cross-examining. A terrible time for Amber Heard's team, for Johnny's team to, to be uh, starting the cross-examination because uh, she's tired already. She's really combative at this point. And... Uh, um, I, I don't I don't expect her to handle this well at all. I love this super chat. <laughs> Missy Clark says, do you think they'll clarify the broken bed with Rob sitting in the room? <laughs> that would be hilarious. It would be hilarious. I Camille wish I wish they had. turns to Rob, gives the old salute and says, let's talk about wood splintering, <laughs> Ms. Heard. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys. If also, um, once again, we we expect to see 
a bunch of people interested in this in this cross examination. People have been anticipating this for so long. Let's see if well, let's see how how much higher above fifty thousand we can get people. Um, we've got twenty eight thousand likes. Let's see if we can get to thirty, maybe even thirty five thousand likes. Can we do that? That would be insane. Shoot um, your bat signals off. It's yeah, happening. I see folks folks in the chat are nervous. Get get your nerves out by by hitting that like button. <laughs> I like it that. helps to relieve anxiety. <laughs> Practice it. Hit it multiple times. Just make sure it's finished on the like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh we shoot. Get, we oh. get gallery Wow. Pin. Oh, yes. There we go. Allison Becca, thank you so much for this very generous super chat. Super generous. Saying, question, can we get during reaction later to fake crying, please? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I completely agree. We've got to get it. We've got to get it. Oh um, I, I definitely think that we will. I'm recognizing I'm sure these, these, some of these people from hashtag justice for the line. This is uh... justice for the line. Alita, I'm did, guessing you, those... um, did you tweet yeah. out cross X is happening? I did. I did. Right. And I tagged right. you guys in it too. So you guys, you guys can retweet it as well. All right. We'll um, do this. If you... Yeah. Because um, this is exciting. This is very exciting. Oh yeah, you did. All right. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Consider it retweeted. Yeah. Come on in, folks. You don't want to miss Saturday Night Live's next cold open. <laughs> I know, right? It may be funnier uh, today, honestly. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe could be. Could be maybe. Is that guy sleeping? <laughs> he's meditating. Yeah, he's just he's just resting for now, you know. <laughs> Getting ready, getting ready. We've never had these gallery tracking pans, have we? I like it though. <laughs> I like it. Kurt has gotten ready. his hat. He's ready Let's to see go. See if they pan back over yes. to get uh, to get runk and ready rob. to go. Show Let's me see. the up close. Show me those beautiful faces. The money no, shot. Those got got beautiful faces. No, we got a fully Mike Wazowski, Ian and Rob. So it's just about to show oh. him. And then, yeah, there you I go. know. <laughs> and then we got a big ball just right in front of them. Tease. Jane Jeez. Jane Benjamin says, how much will this wildcard client affect her lawyer's rep rep uh, reputation in the future? I'm sure they are quality lawyers. I'm sure they're quality lawyers, too, and they are dealing with the facts that are presented in front of they're them. They're going to get more business at higher rates. Don't worry about Probably. Elaine or I think Rotten so. Moore. Probably. Yeah, yeah, Rotten Quality's Moore especially. Elaine? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> I, think Elaine. Elaine. I think Elaine she'll, is she'll a great lawyer in, I'm certain in certain cases. Maybe this just isn't the right case for her, which, you know. Could be. There's personality styles that don't necessarily fit in other kinds. Who of knows what her so. trial history? Maybe she's better yeah. at making settlements. You know, maybe this isn't yeah. her her yeah. specialty. Who knows? Right? No, that's a good point. That's a Absolutely. good point. I mean, at the at the end of the day, this this really is a difficult case. Um, you know, for for any for any attorney to to take on, and and I, you know, I I I have I have a lot of criticisms of of the things that. That, that uh, not Camille, not Camille. I've had like zero criticism of Camille, but Elaine, you know, a lot of, a lot of the stuff that she's done on cross-examination and all this other stuff. But um, you know, once again, of course, it is much more comfortable for us to be sitting where we are and commenting on Very what people true. are doing rather mm -hmm. than to be those people there. Oh, there's Ian. For sure. There's Ian and behind Rob it. And Larry. Woo! Oh, Ian looking good. Yeah, give us a wave. Give us a wave. Yes, 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 yes. Put this out, gentlemen. Put that in. Crop it yep. right in. Clip it, Hold guys. Hold up a sign. <laughs> Rob, Rob <laughs> doing the Tom Cruise slump there. Make sure you see me, everybody. I have lumber. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, oh man. It's awesome. 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 These guys are great. I'm so excited. And I'm so excited for that for that line, uh, the the line holders thing too. Um, which we probably should be tweeting out as well. It's interesting that they're as... like the only ones in suits there, you know. So it's just like I know, I know. But you know, they're they're good attorneys, they want to show respect to the court, and I appreciate it. Of course. That. I mean, I would go. I would be doing the same thing. I'd be I'd be wearing thing. a suit too. I've worn a suit every time I've gone to a court, whether I'm I definitely wouldn't be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, I'll wear a suit. I'm just not wearing a tie. Like I always... a couple suits on the other side. So you know. Yeah, when I when All I right. showed up, I might for, be convinced on the Andrew method then. <laughs> yeah, when it's I showed up for, for the, the one time that I that I got to go through like at least the voir dire process for a jury duty when they like swiftly kicked me out yep. you know, within like two minutes, I still wore wore a suit like a skirt suit like I would for for any hearing or any trial. I don't know what um, I did for voir dire, but I was kicked out summarily as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia Lynn says, question, can you try to best explain how her trial in the UK went her way and how this one is going so against it? Is it possible that two trials pertaining to the same issues can go so opposite ways? Yes. Different Similar. facts, different, different, uh, different facts, different, 
laws, different, uh, you know, there's a lot of evidence that didn't even get to come in. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Hey, Natalie, you're back. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hey, yes. guys, it's really nice to see all of you. Sorry about all the trouble I was having earlier. Thank you. It's okay. Not at all. So, so yeah. So, what were what were your thoughts on what you what you were able to see of of Amber Heard here? Yeah, um, I saw a witness that was kind of of the few minutes I was able to catch. So maybe she was tired, but I saw a witness that is not very easy to control, actually, because mm -hmm. what her attorney was asking her, she wasn't answering. You know, like how did this make you feel? And then it was a lot of Johnny this and Johnny that. It's just like, well, well how does it make you feel? You know. Um, so that was getting a lot of relevance objections, a lot of hearsay objections. And so that's what I caught. I don't know, you know, if I'm off base here, but those are the few minutes that I caught that she was hard yeah. to keep on track because she just really wants to throw Johnny under the bus. She that was increasingly hostile at the end. Yeah. 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 It was weird because it's like, this is your attorney. So just listen to her, you know? But Yeah. Oops. Yeah. How did, how did you feel on that as a landing point going into cross-examination? I mean, I get it because like those are kind of like foundational questions to the arguments they're going to be making about damage to reputation, but I don't get it because those are questions I would have asked in the beginning. I think that, you know, Amber wanted to leave the jury and the audience with an emotional appeal, but the questions didn't necessarily go to that. So they drew a lot of objections and I think it distracted from it. So I think I would have asked those foundational questions for you know, this is the reputational damage that you had. This is the emotional damage that you had from this case in the beginning and then gotten into more of the meat and potatoes. And I just feel like, you know, they could have, I would have closed on asking about the abuse at the end. That's what mm -hmm. I would have left the jury with and not these more like kind of technical questions about, you know, what, like what happened in, on Aquaman and you got less lines in Aquaman. That just kind of seems kind of petty, even though it's necessary for them to establish that it's something they should have dealt with at the outset of her testimony. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. If only because of the emotional state she was put in heading into cross. Um, I didn't know she'd get so agitated. Uh, yeah. But... Yeah. I fully expected them to land with her drawing all the sympathy cards possible. And so to see her end with that, like kind of like off ramp of agitation and anger and like, you know, being like the, like, well, I'm, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't donate the, the $7 million to charity because I'm being sued for $50 million. Like the way that she came across like that was like, whoa, dude, like, like, I, I, you know, I understand someone being angry about being sued. Of course that is probably very natural. And that probably was honestly was the most real emotion that came across to oh, me was yeah. her anger. Like yeah. more, like no, like none of the, none of the sadness to me stuck, but the anger to me felt real. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she's angry. And, and like, to a certain extent, like I can understand that. Like no one wants to be sued. Like I can understand someone being pissed at somebody else for being, for, for being sued. But like at the same time, uh, if the case, just... if the case is about whether or not you're vindictive and mean, uh, yes. and, you, and you end with, uh, we wouldn't be here except for Johnny. And it's like, Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Right. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. It's like, cause it's not like you wrote, you didn't, no one forced you to write the op-ed, you know, Indeed. and I get it. Mm -hmm. Her defense is that I was telling the truth. And so I have every right to write that op-ed and now he won't leave me alone because I was telling my truth, mm -hmm. but it doesn't come off that way. It comes off like mean. It just, it, she just came off really mean at the end. And like the anger is thinly veiled and just simmering right below the surface waiting to get out. Yes. And Camille's yes. about to cook that up. She's about to get that to a boil. Especially, and that's the I mean, danger. Look. That's the danger of, of Amber Heard's team right now is that they have a full two hours for that to 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 blow off some steam. Um, you know, there's there's a pressure valve that's already been building at the end of direct. You put her under even more pressure on cross examination. Like, what's going to happen in the next two hours? Oh. I think Vasquez yeah. is going to go soft. I wouldn't be surprised if her two hours today is soft in, in total. Um, to reserve some of that for tomorrow. But, but I, you know this this sidebar here is long because the question is how much stuff are they going to be able to bring in? Not not yeah. are they, but just how much, right? Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. quite the discussion, yeah. certainly. 
It definitely is. It definitely is. Let me let me get some let me get some more super chat questions here then. Bogey thirty four says after JD wins for defamation, can the maid also sue Amber Heard for defamation? Those carpets were immaculate and she knows it is. <laughs> Justice for the line. Hey Sar. Oh, that's funny. That's a Those good one. Those carpets weren't dirty. Those the Yorkies were not dirty. I'm gonna be honest. Yorkies. That's Yorkies right. We got call, what did you say, Alita? We call boo to the stand? Yes, yeah. boo and pistol need to be called to the stand. <laughs> Give their side of of let's of, see them uh, take a crap. Let's we'll see how big it is. Let's look at it in comparison. <laughs> Ron, I'm a certified entire, dog trainer. I took them out for a walk. Direct this is boo they left on the grass. Boo, go poop. Is it bigger than the jar or smaller than the jar? Oh man, Louise Heisa says. Uh, does the jury get a transcript of the testimonies? And thank you for the informative commentary. This is also in the asked and answered video, but I will just tell you, no, the, the jury does not get a transcript. They get to use their notes and the evidence. Isaac Baruch's wholesome Gabagool art says one out of two. This is a two-parter. Says question: Can I get a dramatic reading? I've st I've streamed things. Streamed things. Chat wouldn't. Oh, I've streamed things. Streamed things that chat wouldn't believe. There you go. Gage's testimony on fire off the shoulder of Agent Forty Seven. I watched go. Kurt's brain cells glistening <laughs> during the audio near the Supreme Court's <laughs> gate. All these moments will be lost in time. Like 300 super chats in StreamYard. Well, time to subscribe. Was that dramatic <laughs> enough? It was. Uh, it was. It was I, hey, it was good. Any, that was anybody that's good. throwing down Blade Runner references and paying super chat dollars is uh, a friend yeah. of mine. I appreciate <laughs> it. I appreciate the hell of it. Thank you. <laughs> Kimberly says uh, she has changed her demeanor significantly, likely from social media. How strange will that look to the jury who aren't on social media? I think it's going to look weird. I definitely do. For sure. Um, Yoan Exocat says, would you make a meme discord for biters in law too? You know, a lot of people have been asking about discord. I, I still haven't dedicated really much time yeah. to looking into it. Um, but if, if there is an I personally interest, found Discord to not be very uh, valuable. I keep thinking about shutting same. down my Discord. I've, yeah. half set one up. I've half set one up, but like many people have said, every time you set something up new, you have to maintain it. And that's yeah. you know, a certain part of your brain. Right. So it's, it's, yeah. That's that's the problem with it. But, you know, for now, I, I do have a Legal Bytes Reddit page. And the, the community is like, last I checked the other day, it was like 600 people strong. So oh amazing. Um, yeah, it, it just like like blew up out of nowhere through the course of this trial. So people are sharing all kinds of memes over there. So if you guys have some memes that you want to share, that is a fantastic place to do it. In, in the alternative, I would be happy to turn my own Discord in just to, into a LawTube generalized Discord and give anyone who wants admin rights so uh, that you know we have huh. a similar place to talk. So that'd be that fine. That could be. That could be. But yeah, we could definitely talk about about possibly doing that um elena elise says elaine makes me laugh but is her way of questioning normal or a strategy somehow maybe she's noticing something about the jury or from the jury i don't like Nothing. elaine's uh method of questioning like I she suggests it. the answers a lot of times and she's still doing speaking objections even though they're not allowed to do that i really hate the way she she does questioning <laughs> Hate it. I can. Yes. According yes. to according to Rob, according to Law and Lumber, I mean, apparently there's one of the jurors that really doesn't like Elaine either. I mean, that was his that was his take, right? I mean, that was. That, yeah, oh, he that made was, it in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He, oh, they're he in and there. Ian they're in and there. and Larry from the DUI guy. All three of them yeah. made it in there. And in fact, we're we're trying to set up a a a, a list of of people to hold their spot in line overnight so that they can get some sleep, and then come in fresh in the morning. Um. So uh, that has been. Uh, I think that's what we have here. Do, 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 do. Oh no, that's not in there. Okay, that's not the one that's that's pinned. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll 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 get that shared as well on on Twitter and elsewhere. Um, Allison Becca, thanks so much for the very generous super chat. Can we have a discussion about how Elaine examines is uh, is similar to Elaine dancing on Seinfeld? <laughs> I love it. I don't. I've, I've never seen Elaine dancing on Seinfeld, actually. That's not one of the... Uh, somewhat oh. frantic and improvisational with unknown outcomes at the very end. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That, okay. I, that's good. That's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can, I can get that. I can get that. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, I, I don't like her her style of questioning either. I don't like her attitude that we get the blusteriness, the, the, the annoyance that she gets when dealing with it with objections. Um, yeah. Uh, Alita, the jury hasn't been brought in for all this yet, right? Presumably uh, not. 
Okay. I haven't seen it, uh, the whole gang standing yet because usually when they're when they're standing up there, this is before the jury comes back. The jury's okay. thinking yeah, this is interesting. I wonder what the break for fifteen minutes. We could still be on break. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the court TV lady <laughs> in the blue dress. Oh yeah, Uncle. Yeah. Uh, Carmen L says, do jurors have perjury explained to them? Jurors know what to listen for. No, it's not a charge. Uh, it's not up to them. No, <laughs> perjury's not relevant here. Right, right, right. Um, also, Lisa Delarada says, the Legal Bites Reddit has 933 members now. What? That's amazing. That's what? crazy. <laughs> Yay. I love it. I love it. Thanks, guys. Um, Legoman, Legoman 3 says, what, uh, what happens to Amber Heard's testimony if she's found to have spoken to her attorneys over break? Define found. Oh. How yeah. would you find that out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, it's an very honor difficult system to... thing. We all it know really what is. we saw. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I mean, the judge could choose to reprimand her in some way, but the question is, like, like even if you're on Johnny Depp's side, like, what, like, what exactly do you want the remedy to be? Because, like, at worst what mistrial johnny depp's team doesn't want that because no. things are actually going pretty well for him right now yeah. so like yeah. you don't want to you don't want to force this to have to come <laughs> from the beginning all over again so yeah no um kyle sanger beaver says who is the best lawyer out of both teams in your opinions best getting being getting the results they want or demonstrating their case to the jury i think rottenborn is the best on their side and then on Johnny Depp's side, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've Camille. seen some really good lawyering from Ben Chu. I've seen some really good lawyering from Camille. I've seen some some good lawyering from what is her name, Sarah Myers. Um, she did the direct of Johnny Depp. Um, Jessica Myers. Yeah. Jessica, maybe I, I'm pretty sure her last name is Myers. Someone, someone in the someone in the chat will 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 correct me. I'm sure there will be like like 50 people that will correct me in like in like three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's that's uh, Jessica. Have yep. 52,000 viewers, Alita. I know, amazing, amazing, amazing. And we've got 30,000 likes. This is so great. Um, if you guys are enjoying oh. this. Yep. Just there it is. Now we can punch yeah. it, Chewy. I, I knew that from the uh, from the Phoenix Wright parody video of um, of this, which I uh, watched this morning. They were good. They were very yeah. true to the original source material. Yeah. Oh, look at that face. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's a that is a very happy face. <laughs> oh my. Or goodness. or shall we say a grumpy face? Yeah. <laughs> uh, She's about to get a drum, a grumpy. She knows what she's in for. Yeah, more more grumpies, maybe. <laughs> well, we'll yeah. see. This is probably the most important phase of the trial. So yes, well, this is important very obviously to say that this is highly anticipated is a massive understatement. I, um, I literally I, could not drive home from you? work because I want to okay. see this you now. <laughs> Cross examination. Here we go. Here, Here we go. go. Here we go, Camille. Good afternoon, Ms. Hurd. Good afternoon. Mr. Depp hasn't looked at you once this entire trial, has he? Not that I've noticed, no. You've looked at him, though, many times, haven't you? Mm. Yes, I have. You know exactly why Mr. Depp won't look back at you, don't you? Oh, God. I do. He promised you he would never, you would never see his eyes again. Isn't that true? I don't recall if he said that. One of the last times you ever saw Mr. Depp was when you met him in San Francisco in July of 2016, right? That was the second to last time I saw him, yes. And this was after you had publicly accused him of domestic violence. I got my restraining order before that, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is after That's you had obtained responsive. the domestic violence restraining order against him. That's correct. Let's please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 1229. Um, for the record, it's at 1101 through 1209. Oh, she's coming in hot. that it be admitted yeah, into evidence. Tomorrow. Any objection to 1229? I, like I kind of like it too. Yes. 
At least for the moment, she's All in right. control. All right, 1229, you want to enter in its entirety? Yes, please. Okay, 1229 entered in its entirety. Good. I'm going to mute myself so I don't keep interrupting because I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, a hug will save it all. Just, all this, I all this, wanted, everything I just we just wanted, went I, I just wanted to touch you. Just, <laughs> really? After all the shit yes, you just said? I, I just wanted to give after you a hug. After all the shit you just fucking like, yes, yes, up, yes, you fucking touch me. Yes, please, 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 stop. Please, I just wanted to hug you and say bye. I didn't want to say anything bad. We did that last night as well. And that was just good enough. Just really open the no, because I'm nothing to you, and I will always be nothing to you. Well, you're not my shoulder. No, we'll never see each other again. You hold my neck, you don't take my fucking glasses off. You don't like fucking looking at not my fucking eyes? You will not see my eyes again. Word. All right. That's you and Mr. Depp in that recording. That Nailed is. Nailed her. And this is from when you and Mr. Depp met in San Francisco in July of 2016, right? Yes, that's what it sounds like. That was in the hotel. We met once after that as well. This is after you publicly accused him of domestic abuse. Uh, yes, and got my TRO. And he tells you, you will not see my eyes again, doesn't he? Uh, yes, he does in that recording. And he kept that promise, hasn't he? As far as I know, he cannot look at me. He won't look <laughs> at you, right, Ms. Heard? He can't. Okay. One of the first questions your counsel asked you on direct is, why are you here? Do you remember that? I do. Let's please play plaintiff exhibit 357A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. And for the record, it's 2122 through 2140. And see what, the, see what the jury and judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Yes. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I'm, I'm a victim of domestic violence. And yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. It seems how these people believe or side with you. That's your voice on that recording, right? Yes, it is. And you were speaking with Mr. Depp? Yes. And you said to Mr. Depp, quote, you can tell, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the jury and the judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, a victim too of domestic violence, end quote. That's what you said, right? I was saying it to the man who beat me up, yes. I thought it was preposterous. And the man you beat up numerous times. <laughs> right, Ms. Hurd? I could never hurt Johnny. Wait, you're here in this courtroom because Mr. Depp finally told the world that he is a victim of domestic violence. I know that he is suing me um, and has sued. Doesn't matter what the answer is. Other people or corporations. Doesn't matter what she said says. That as well. You didn't think he would tell the world he was a victim of domestic violence, did you? I found it hard to believe that he could or that he would do that considering the relationship he and I had. I, I thought it would be crazy for him to do so, knowing what I know we lived through. Good answer. Or, as you said to him in that recording, who was going to believe that Johnny Depp, a man, is a victim of domestic violence, right? With all due respect, I wasn't saying it because he's a man. I was saying it because he's a man who beat me up for five years. <laughs> Mr. Depp is your victim, isn't he? <sighs> no, ma'am. And once he left you, you continued to abuse him publicly by calling him an abuser, didn't you? He is an abuser, and we can look either of us up online and figure out who's being abused online. Let's look at mm -hmm. some of that. Mr. Depp wears rings on every finger, doesn't he, Ms. Heard? Nice. That's my experience, yes. And they're not delicate rings, are they? Uh, no, they are not. Every one of his fingers is adorned, your words, big, chunky rings. Isn't that right? That's my experience of him. And Mr. Depp is always wearing rings, right, Ms. Heard? That's my experience of him. 
and you've never known him not to wear these rings. And uh, that's my experience is he normally wore rings, yes. So Mr. Depp was wearing these big chunky rings on every finger, every wow. incident of abuse you've described to this jury, right? I can't say for certain it was in every single incident. But you've never known him not to wear rings, right? In general, um, my experience with Johnny is that he, will, he wears rings almost all the time. Nice. Crush it. Ms. Heard, do you recall giving testimony in a deposition in this matter in uh, January of this year? I do. Can we please play from your deposition, day two, 512, page 512, lines 11 through 15? You said he hit you and he wear, he, he was wearing rings, right, Ms. Heard? So he hit you with rings on every finger? I don't know if I've ever known Johnny to not wear rings. Yeah. <clears throat> Great impeachment. You're actually able to use audio from the depot. That's good. Nice. Ms. Heard, you testified to an incident in March of 2013 where Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times. <clears throat> Do you recall that? That's correct. And you testified, quote, you don't know how many times he hit you in the face. That's correct. So Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times while he was wearing rings on this occasion, correct? Which occasion in March are you referencing? You weren't The specific. testimony that you gave on day 15 of this trial, March of 2013. You weren't specific as to the day. There were several incidents. The one where he oh. hit you several times in the face. Uh, there were, there were, so, I'm sorry, just so I understand better. There were several incidents in March. Which one are you asking me about? The time that he hit you several times in the face wearing rings. Well, he pretty in much March always. March of 2013. Right. What are you asking me? I'm sorry. He was wearing rings on that occasion? I pretty much always knew him to wear rings. Okay. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 170A, this which is already sure in evidence, Your Honor. rings. Mm -hmm. You testified that this is a picture you took after that incident, right, Ms. Heard? Yes, that was one where he grabbed me. And hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Isn't that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And there's no injuries to your face in this picture, are there? Yep. Not that this picture shows. And there's no well, medical there records any. reflecting that you sought treatment after this alleged incident either. I did not seek medical treatment at this time. Yep. So there's no medical records reflecting any injuries to your face after he, he hit you several times. I did not need to go to the doctor at the time. Apparently not. Despite then they weren't that bad. Times that you lost count with yep. rings on your on his fingers. That's correct. I did not seek medical attention other than my therapist. You testified to another incident in March of 2013. 13, where Mr. Depp hit you while he was wearing a lot of rings. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, ma'am. And you testified you felt like your lip went through your teeth and it got a little blood on the wall. Yes, I remember that. There isn't a picture of you with injuries after that alleged incident, is there? I don't know if I've seen one. Um, I, I can't recall. There are a lot of pictures. You didn't produce any photographs after that alleged incident, did you? I, I don't know if I took one or if it's included. I'm not, I'm not quite sure which ones. You didn't show any pictures to this jury after describing that alleged incident that your teeth, your lip went into your teeth. You don't remember that, right? I, you didn't I show any pictures to this jury after describing that incident, right? I don't believe I've seen that picture admitted. That picture? That picture doesn't exist. <laughs> I, I don't know which one you're talking about. There were We have pictures from March 2013, yes. The only picture that you've produced and shown to this jury is the one that was just put up on the screen where you said he hit you multiple times in the face. And you God, she's to fast at reactions, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Correct? I believe this is the only picture that's in evidence right now. That's the only picture you've Right shown now? In March 2013. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like no you could say... There's, would there's you, no more. Would you have not Russia admitted something that is in, about that you June have that's important and relevant? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Okay, we're doing Russian yes, now. Yes, that's correct. 
you testify that Mr. Depp, quote, whacked you in the face. That's correct. And you went to the bathroom after that, right? I did. And then, according to your testimony, when you came out of the bathroom, Jerry Judge, Mr. Depp's security guard, who's passed away, pointed out that your nose was bleeding, right? He did that in the hallway. And you said you hadn't known that your nose was bleeding until Jerry Judge pointed it out to you? Yes, that's correct. I was unaware until he brought it up to me. I didn't see it when I was in the bathroom, but I wasn't looking. So, so it's your testimony that you went into the bathroom and didn't look in the mirror, which I assume was in the bathroom, to notice that your nose was bleeding? That's not why I went into the bathroom. I went into the bathroom um, crying. I, I don't even know if I paid attention to the mirror. I certainly didn't enough to notice any blood. And you didn't take any pictures of your bloody nose either, did you? I did not. But pictures were taken of you in Russia, though. Isn't that correct? Yes, that, that's correct. We had a press or a dinner. Um, let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1248. <laughs> These are surgical strikes, ladies and gentlemen. It's heard. This oh, is yeah. a picture this of you a, and this Mr. Depp in Russia. This is a laser-sharp cross. Well correct? done. That's correct. I'm going to move to admit. All right, no yeah, this objection. is excellent One, two, so far. Four, eight, and, evidence. You can publish. and this is you and Mr. Depp in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, correct? It was a dinner function. So good. I believe for in promotion of the movie. Wasn't the premiere, if I recall. Sure. You don't you have any visible injuries Russia. to your face, do you? None that you can see. <laughs> sure. Um, let's Fuck look it. at Plaintiff's none Exhibit 1249. She's and also really none. covering up her skin there. This is a picture of you, isn't it, right? That's correct. I'm going to move to exhibit. <laughs> admit right. exhibit 1249. All right, 1249 in evidence. It's pretty perfect looking. Looks this is flawless. also a picture from when you were in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, right? That is correct. And you have no visible injuries to your face, do you? None. None that you can see. Sure, sure. <laughs> Even though Mr. Depp whacked you in the face so hard that your nose bled? Uh, he did. Mm -hmm. While wearing chunky big rings, right? That's correct. Uh -huh. Okay. I think her credibility might be a little bit on the ropes. A little bit. You also testify that Mr. Depp, again, whacked you in the face after the Met Gala in May of 2014, right? That is correct. You testified that you thought he hit you so hard, he broke your nose. That's correct. You said your nose was, quote, swollen, discolored, red. That is correct. I took a picture of that. You testified you took a picture of your face after this. I did. But you didn't show that picture to the jury, did you? I would like to. But you didn't show it, did you? That's not up to me. What? <laughs> what does that I understand mean? You were under an obligation to produce all photographs after any alleged incidents of violence, right, Ms. Hurd? I produced everything. You didn't produce any photographs after the Met Gala. I produced everything. <laughs> what and, is he and yet it's not you also us, understand it? that you're under an obligation to produce all medical records reflecting any injuries you allegedly sustained from Mr. There Depp, you go. Correct? That's correct. And you haven't produced any pictures or any medical records reflecting a broken nose after the Met Gala in May of 2014, have you? I have given everything to my lawyers, everything. I've turned over literally She's everything. She's throwing her lawyers under the your bus. Your testimony yeah. is heard that yeah, you saw medical treatment now. after she Mr. She throws everyone under the bus. That is definitely After the Met Gala? Not after the Met Gala. I did not seek medical attention, no. Hmm. You also attended an event after the Met Gala in May of 2014, didn't you? That is correct. And you went to the all-star comedy tribute to Don Rickles. That is correct. That was the <laughs> next night after the Met Gala. That is correct. And there were pictures of you taken at this event. Yes. Let's pull, please pull up. Let's take a look at some of them. One, two, My five, God. Two. <laughs> this is so satisfying. <laughs> oh, it is. It the, the is it a picture of you, Ms. Heard? Yes, it is. At that event. Yes, it is. The night after the Met Gala. Yes, it is. The night after Mr. Depp allegedly broke your nose. Uh, I'm not sure if it was broken for the record, oh. but yeah, you should see what it looked like underneath the makeup. Uh, he whacked you uh, so hard in the face that you thought you had broken your nose. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. 
thought. Um, permission to admit this photograph. All right, one, two, five, two, in evidence. Uh, Don Rickles. No, uh -huh. This is a picture of you, Mr. Depp, and Don Rickles, right? That is correct. Uh, the next Let's night? Please pull up plaintiff's exhibit one, two, five, three. Yep. Oh my goodness gracious. This is another picture from that evening, right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, it is. Permission to admit exhibit 1253 and publish it. All right, so moved 1253 in evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is a picture God. of you and Mr. Depp at the event <laughs> the night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he had broken your nose. He did whack me in the face and I did think it broke my nose. And this is you the night okay. after. Yes, it is. <laughs> with Please the, pull with up Plaintiff's Exhibit I 1, 2, 5, four. Drink that water. I, I, need, I need some popcorn. <laughs> this is also a picture of you at the same event, correct, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. Move to admit Plaintiff's Exhibit 1, 2, 5, Alita, this is your style of cross. Right, one, two, She's five, zipping four, three, through three, these three. topics and right. just firebombing them just to confirm oh, that the this. jury can see it one after this another. is a picture of you at the same event the night after mr depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he broke your nose with the photographs this, uh, this is, is a picture of me what i would have done um after he did whack better me in the than face. i could have the night so, after right yes it is i believe it was the night after yes your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures does it miss heard i'm wearing makeup your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Ms. Hurd? Slows down and repeats That's why I'm wearing makeup. Right. And makeup covers up swelling, right? Makeup will not cover up swelling. Ice will, though. Ice will cover wow. up swelling? There you go. Ice reduces swelling. Got him. Normally, the swelling after that kind of injury is not as bad as you might imagine. And for me, oh, okay. it wasn't that bad. I have a picture of it underneath the makeup. That's how I know how to reference it. All right. A picture you haven't produced or shown to this jury, right, Ms. Heard? I absolutely, I've produced everything. You're not allowed to produce it, Amber. This is a bad jury. road to go down. I would very much like to. It's not my job. Uh, okay. Madam, may we approach? Yes, it's fine. She can't answer him that way. Wow. <laughs> if, she's, yeah. if she's saying, I produced everything, and it's not yeah. there, <laughs> there's a big issue here. He's asking for a jury instruction right now. I think so. Probably. I think so. <laughs> Probably. She she's crushing it. It's beautiful. Uh, it, it is a thing of beauty. This is a, she's um, a phenomenal cross examiner right now. She's very good at this, folks. Yep. She is very very she, good at this. And she, she's in control. And she's just. I've never seen a woman beaten like this before my eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's the clip we want out there, Kurt. Yeah, no, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that, please. <laughs> I didn't think this uh, Philly had it in her. <laughs> oh my god! No, I, I fights mean, and then there are cat fights. Whoa! Uh, no, no, she we know who's on top in this one, though. Yeah. Oh my Help god! <laughs> oh, I was wow. I was out with you, Alita, somewhere yesterday, and we were discussing cross. So this is exactly what I was looking for. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Everything this after "Hello, a... Ms. Heard" has just been a carpet bombing. Yes, but her tone is just so understated. She's, she's no, the sweetest sounding person and she absolutely it's eviscerates precision. you. Oh. Yes. Oh, man. My goodness. She's going to be and famous, also, folks. The fact that she's getting her to follow her to follow Camille's rhythm, too, is fantastic. Where she's like, ba da ba da ba da ba ba Yes. ba da ba da ba da ba da ba Yes. ba da ba da ba da ba da ba Yes. If she does it enough times, after a certain amount of time, she's going to get her to say something that is way against her interest. For example, the fact that you can't cover up uh, swelling with, with makeup. But you can do it with ice. You can that do it with was, ice. Yes. Ice covers up swelling? Reduce. That was okay. uh, one hell of an admission right there. You're watching a very talented attorney. Uh, and and you, which is good for her for for a younger attorney. She doesn't have to get the witness to agree with her. Who cares? Yes. You're testifying. Who yes. cares? No, it sounds if the worse. That's with you? the other. That's the other. 
that's the other thing is that she's she's not getting lost in the weeds or stuck in the weeds. That's a that's such an important point too. Um, is that like she is she's just she's continuing moving like she's not stopping just because mm -hmm. Amber is giving her a hard time and every once in a while she kind of comes back and like like repeats the question and when she repeats it oh when she does it slowly basically it's saying like you didn't understand <laughs> you're not listening to what I said or like maybe you didn't comprehend the question. Well, I so like the I will seven repeat versions it of the nice ring. and slow so you can give me the answer that I deserve. Yeah, I, I like the seven versions of asking about the rings and things like that because as, as many times as you make Amber say an insincere sounding answer, when she has to do it two, three, four times, it, it just piles up. We're like, you can't possibly be staking out this position. Yes, yes. The audio noise in the car is going to keep it back. Oh, yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> there we go, Natalie. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't Sorry. Know, what is, that's okay, that's okay. It's just that the phone audio, it, it, it does have a pen. This is another long, long. Uh, I think uh, she's straight up back. asking that we have to, we cannot let Amber answer those questions as if there's a photo that we're keeping out from our nefarious Illuminati connections and not that these are the rules of evidence, that she mm -hmm. cannot yes. have that position. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it, it is it is false. And the fact that like, you know, she says that she's a, she's sent in everything. The fact that that has not been admitted at this point is, you know, like... <laughs> It would have been if if it existed. Like this is yep. this is pure dishonesty coming from this this person right here. Man, the photos we do see are not helping. This is the night after, no visible stuff. Yeah, with the rain. Oh, she's. Oh my God, she is just destroying. Just her keep right doing now. it. Just keep doing it. Just wait till we get to Australia. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and and I know Natalie's got some audio issues, but she said in the private chat, this is one of the best cross-examinations I've seen in a while. I agree. I completely agree. So far, this is like Camille Vasquez yeah. and Corey Shirofsky, in my opinion, are like pretty on yeah. par together right now. Vasquez right now is being a master's master. She looks like a movie lawyer. I mean, she looks like it's stripped yes. it out entirely Shit, right yes. this second. And she's, oh she's pivoting God. on the fly. Yes. Um, very impressive. It's it's also impressive when she when she keeps pulling the clips and stuff. You really have to do a lot of preparation. You have to have your your ducks in a row be, be, to make it that smooth without gaps in between. Yeah, to yes. give it that movie feel. Absolutely, great point. Do you remember all those those uh, criminal trials we were watching where the, the boomer lawyers were just like taking forever to load stuff up? I mean, Miss Heard, really you testified that in January of 2015 there was an incident in Tokyo before uh, Mr. Depp's Mordecai, the film Mordecai's premiere. Is that correct? That's correct. And you told this jury that on this occasion, Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back. That's correct, in the closet. And you also told this jury that you wore a backless dress to the Mordecai premiere that very same night. I did. And you testified that you were checking for bruises in the car on the way back, on the way to the event to make sure that there, there were, quote, no visible marks, right? I was checking on my phone um, after the event to see, to make sure that nothing, they couldn't see anything. Your testimony was that you were checking in the car on the way to the event to make sure that there were no marks on your back. Uh, perhaps I misspoke or I misunderstood. It was on the uh -huh. way back yeah, from course. it was after I was concerned after, you know, concerned that there would be marks in any photographs since we were being photographed at Johnny's press event. You didn't show this jury a picture of you in that backless dress, though, did you? Um, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. You didn't. No, show you this didn't. Jury a picture of you <laughs> with the Mordecai premiere, wearing a backless dress. That's okay. You? We have a photo. I haven't had the opportunity to. Okay. I assume you have it. I oh. Do. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. I oh. do. Wow. <laughs> Yes, as a matter of fact, we do have a photo. Oh, Some, somebody's so a little on tilt now. now. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp, or the back of you, at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo, correct, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. Your Honor, I move to admit and publish this picture. All right, one, two, five, six in evidence. Show me. Oh, that's a lot of back. It's a lot that's of skin a, shown right there. It's, it's, it's that's it's all of her back. This is you in the backless dress at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo, right? That is correct. And you would agree that there are no bruises or visible marks on your back in this picture? No, not that I could see. Wow. 
I'll show you one. Wow. Other thing. If we could please have plaintiff's Man. exhibit one, two, five, seven. Good Lord. Interesting because it's only worked because she's so public, you, Mr. Right? Depp, I mean, premiere, like, correct? She's in photos that all is the correct. time. Move to admit plaintiff's exhibit one, two, five, seven. All right, one, two, five, seven. <laughs> Gersi and Charles, thank you so much for the very I'll show you one chat. more picture. Plaintiff's exhibit one, two, five, eight. And again, Ms. Heard, this is you and Mr. Dad with the Mordecai premiere. Yes, it is. Move to admit plaintiff's exhibit one, two, five, eight. All right, one, two, five, eight, and evidence published. And that's the backless dress, right, Ms. Heard? That is correct. From another angle big liar you also told this jury about an incident yep. in australia in march of 2015. Oh, do it yes that's correct Hit oh me. my god we're doing australia you testified that after this alleged incident you had cuts on your forearms right yes that's true and you testified that you had cuts on the bottoms of your feet as yes. well yes yes that's true Get her. And you testified that you had a bruise across your jaw from when mr depp quote clocked you in the face end quote that's true you didn't take any pictures of these injuries while you were in Australia, did you? I don't think, no, I don't think I took any pictures. You just took two pictures of Mr. Depp's writing on a mirror. Isn't that right? I believe so, yes. So you had your phone on you, right? At some point I did have my phone. And your iPad? I had my iPad, I believe. And you testified that you were also raped with a liquor bottle in Australia, right, Ms. Heard? Yes. You testified you bled from your vagina as a result of that sexual assault. Yes. There aren't any medical records reflecting that you sought medical treatment for any of these injuries, are there? I did not seek uh, medical treatment after Australia, no. Not for the rape? No, I did not want to tell anyone. Not for the cuts? No. Not for the injuries to your face? I didn't need to just destroying her. You also told the jury about an incident on December 15, 2015, right? Uh, where, I'm sorry. This December 15, 2015. Yes, that's correct. <clears throat> you told the jury that after this incident, you had a broken nose. It certainly felt like it. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes, I see or Do this. you recall yep. giving testimony on day 16, in this trial? I do. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you yes, I do. Right? Yes. This you is know. so good. This cross next is only two hours long. Oh my long. god, play, play the James Corden clip. Play the James Corden clip. Play the James Corden clip. <laughs> oh my god. Also, the also the James Corden, please don't okay. copyright block us All right. for mm -hmm. it. We'll get it. Uh, you, you're probably not going to get past that R anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, well, the, the, the copyright is what I'm concerned about. We tried to use it in another video. And uh, like, this is definitionally no. fair use. It's being used at the Did problem. she ever I actually know. Well, it was also in my other video. You just got to go convince YouTube. Alita, yeah. did she ever factually say her nose was broken while on the stand? I believe yes. so. Yes. I, yes. She sure did. Yeah. Yeah, for, the December, for, the, for the December 15th one, yeah. Yes. It certainly felt like it. Yes. That's not what you said the last time. I'm, I'm old enough to remember. Would you like a coffee? Yes, please. For John Farm also remember. Ooh, impeach, 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 impeach. Did impeach, you see that impeach. smile on Camille? She's like the world's happiest cross examiner. <laughs> oh my God. She's doing so much better than she I expected, be. honestly. Vicious. Andrew, what, what do you what do you have up there? Let me let me show this real quick so that we can show real quick again. Camille, Camille stand. stand. Yep. Honestly, yep, we're all Camille if Camille stands mentions right now. the broken bed, Rob's going to faint in the courtroom. I can please direct your <laughs> attention, Ms. Heard, to page of day 16, 4593. Impeachment. The transcript. Here we go. Better than Kill Bill. So true. She's just assassinating her case. Camille the assassin. That's what she's that's been, what I want to call her. She's been much tougher than I expected. I'm very impressed with her. I love yes. that. Like brutally asking the she's tough questions it. without flinching. 
He's bringing yeah. it. Yep. Lines. Yes. She's an absolute Eight assassin on cross right now. Oh, here you done. She's better than me. No worries. On which page? I'm sorry. Four, five, nine, three. Right idea, but I couldn't execute this well. Yes. Starting on line eight. I thought I probably had a concussion and certainly thought, excuse me, strike that, let's start over. I thought I had, I thought I probably had a concussion and certainly that I had a broken nose. There was a blood everywhere, blood all over the pillows. My head was bleeding from the ripped out hair, chunks of hair on the floor, all over the place actually. So lines nine, that I had a broken nose. Do you re recall giving that testimony, Ms. Hurd? Yes, exactly. Thank so you had a broken that. nose, right? That's absolutely what I thought. <laughs> had two black eyes after this incident, right? I did have two black eyes after that incident. Thank you, Thank you very much that for you the also had a chat. busted lip from when Mr. Depp punched you. That is uh, correct. Uh -huh. From December, yes, that's correct. You that testified that the lip wound kept reopening when you moved your mouth. Mm. Wow. That's correct. You also testified that you had bruising on your temple. That's correct. And bruising on your chin. Correct. You also testified that your head was bleeding from where Mr. Depp ripped chunks of your hair out. I remember, yes. Jeez. And that you had, quote, gross pussy and, quote, bruising around your temple. <laughs> uh, in my scalp, yeah. Now, for this incident, you did take pictures. Correct? That's correct. And we will look at some of those in a minute. But I first want to talk to you about your appearance on the James Corden show. Yes, sure. Get her. 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 Like this. I grew up, you know, in Texas <laughs> riding horses. And, oh, really? You know, short it's talking, big ballet short community out there in Texas. Just, just yeah, yeah, no, no, not so much. Shooting guns, yes, but ballet, no. <laughs> so I wanted to train for it, and there were some ballet sequences that, that um, we wanted to have the option to, to incorporate into the movie. So Come I trained on, the clip. ever, and I have two left feet, and the most clutchy person in the world, yet, and right? I have no, um, what do you call it? Grace? So I knew, Your Honor, I'm so sorry, trained, but it's not published to the jury. We may have it, please. Oh, thank published. you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, no, start, restart it. Restart it. Start, start it. Start it. Over. There you go. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, so this is not a, not a Sky News problem. Ooh, look at that, that girl, face. You know, in Texas, Texas nose. riding horses and... Oh, really? You know... Not shooting. a big ballet community out there in mm, Texas. No, yeah, no, no, not so much. Shooting guns, yes, but ballet, no. <laughs> so I wanted to train for it, and there were some ballet sequences mm. that, that um, we wanted to have the option to, to incorporate into the yep. movie, so I trained forever, and I have two left feet. I'm the most klutzy person in the world, and I have no... Um, what do you call it? Grace? What? So I knew... <laughs> I knew I had to train for it, and what they don't tell you, I mean, I, in, I crammed about three months of solid training in, and I'm kind of like working my way up from the floor and learning the technical aspect of ballet, and I've got these dances down technically perfectly, I'm learning all the movements, but the last thing we get to are the hands. <gasps> And I haven't yet got to that point, but everything else is working. I'm acting up on my face, and I'm selling the ballet. And I think I'm doing really good at this point, kind of nailing it. And so I send videos and, and images to my friends to, like, get encouragement, look for their support. And everyone shoots back, what with the claw hand? <laughs> and I look, and I realize, like, all the stress and fear of performing and doing this thing had just kind of, like, funneled out through the one thing that I hadn't yet, like, so What mastered. were your hands so doing? I, so I'd be doing this amazing, you know, I'd be doing, a, like, a, a jump with a back bend, and uh -huh. you can see this, like, graceful falling, and my hands are like... <laughs> <laughs> and my face, though, is, like, I've got that, you saw in the clip, like, this beautiful 1920s, you know, ma stage makeup on, and, like flower crowns and all this stuff. Uh -huh. 
and then my hand and my face. By the way, and James Corden show. <laughs> Don't copyright us. This is evidence. It's fair use. Come at me. It's fair use. It's all fair use. That was you on the James Corden after the show clip. on December 16th, 2015, right, Ms. Heard? That was. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 98. Oh. Yes. Nice. More destruction. <laughs> These are pictures of you on the James Corden show on December 16th, 2015, yes. right, Close Ms. Heard? up. They look like freeze frames, um, like screen grabs. Still, they're not like a... It's not like a photo shoot. It doesn't seem oh. tactical new. But on the James Corden show, like correct? From that appearance, yes. Um, move to admit and publish plaintiff's exhibit mm -hmm. 98. Any objection? All right. And Mr. You could move the microphone and turn it on for you so Judy and I are having trouble hearing you. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, look at that. Oh, Thank you. All right, 98. Look at that. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> look at that broken nose. Look at those black eyes. Look at That's her. A photo of when you she's, when she's opening talking, your mouth her on the lip. right. Right? right. That's correct. Wrecked. And again, an, a, a larger view of the same photo on the bottom. Absolutely wrecked. That's, That's correct. the day after. Huh? With a split lip. You've seen pictures of it without makeup. Yes. So you had a split lip when you I were sure moving did. your mouth that way. I sure did. In those okay. photographs. Absolutely. Thanks for the gaslighting. <laughs> Oh, again, making her repeat it, making her repeat it is very yeah, good. You did take pictures of your alleged yes. injuries on after December 15th, correct? And you showed those to the jury? I Eight sure did, yes. Let's Almost please 60. pull up defendant's exhibit Amazing. 516, which is already in evidence. I think Elaine is calling an Uber. She's out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine hasn't objected once. No, she's not going to object. She can't. You testified that this is a picture of you after the incident on December 15th, 2015, right? It was. Ooh. And if we could also please pull up defendant's exhibit 517, which is also in evidence. Ooh. Wow. It's fine. Thank it's you, Your Honor. Just... This is also a picture of you after the incident on December 15th, 2015. <laughs> That's correct. If we could please pull up plaintiff's exhibit 409, which is already in evidence. You put yourself here, Amber. You put yourself here. She's... Wow. <laughs> yes, blow that nose. Snort it. <laughs> <laughs> These pictures ended up in Texas People magazine State. in June of 2016. Isn't that right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. You gave these pictures to People Magazine after you publicly accused Mr. Depp of domestic abuse, didn't you? Wow. I didn't personally know. Personally. This is you protecting Mr. Depp after you got the restraining order against him, isn't it? Oh. No, this is him <laughs> calling me a liar and me forcing to prove it, as I mentioned to you earlier. Okay. So you did give these pictures to People Magazine? No, I gave these um, pictures actually to my lawyers and my representatives and they gave the time. Them to you. So it's your testimony, Ms. Heard, that your lawyers and representatives gave these pictures of their client to People Magazine what? in the middle of a contentious divorce? What? I certainly did not personally give it, no. But you just said you were proving that he's not, that he's, that you're not a liar. You also have a medical record from after the December 15th, 2015 incident, don't you? <sighs> A partial one, yes. You went to see Dr. Kipper's office a couple days later. That's right. He wasn't in the office. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 47, which is already in evidence? She has to call Good this time. report a lie, too. This is the no concussion report. Yeah. That's true. She this is your medical record for December 17th, 2015, isn't it, Ms. Heard? That's correct. And this record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? I, I don't think so, no. I, I don't think I spoke to Kipper. I didn't speak to Kipper. Um, this report's I, not from Kipper. And but you went I to Dr. Kipper's office and were seen, correct? I went to, Dr. Kipper, went to Dr. Kipper's office for a concussion check. Right, okay. And this medical record is from that visit, correct? Partially, yes. Partially? Scroll down, please, Partially. if you could. It doesn't reflect anything. No, this is the, the signature Kipper, Kipper 
down below, this is the entirety of the medical record, right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, what I meant by partial is I didn't talk about what happened to me. I didn't get into my injuries. I didn't get okay. into what happened or it was a physical um, ask examination. for anything other than should I get some sort of scan done. Uh, but this record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? Uh, I'd have to read it in full, but I, I don't know. Well, let's do that. We can wait, Ms. Hurt. Yep, we can wait. Let's do it. Let's do it. Meanwhile, Camille. I'm glad you said that. Let's do it. Well, under skin <laughs> on the second page. On this road. Oh, let's read yeah, it. Intact, intact, normal that. color, yeah, bite you, Andrew. moisture, hair distribution, texture, turgor. No signs of. Skin intact, normal oh, color. This is going to be hard. Cyanosis, motling jaundice. It also says I'm a well nourished male. Right. I have no idea what that means. I, I think this medical record's missing a lot of things. Okay. It doesn't document any physical injuries. Doesn't seem to be documenting anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, Probably because there was nothing to document, right, Ms. Hurd? No. I disagree with you on that. <laughs> no objection? Argumentative, at least. You don't have no, any medical records reflecting that you broke your nose it. during Looks your like relationship shit. with Mr. Depp, do you? Elaine has gone to bed. Uh, I saw an ENT after my relationship ended. And you saw an ENT, it's your testimony under oath that you saw an ENT for broken noses that you sustained as a result of Mr. Depp? No, but the ENT told me I sustained objection. multiple fractures. No, I'm going to move to strike. I'll sustain the objection. I'll move off strike. Thank you. Move to strike. Move to strike. So again, just to try my question. There's no medical records reflecting that you broke your nose during your relationship with Mr. Depp. Is there a misheard? I don't know what made it in evidence, but I do know that I documented that um, visit and that everything was given to my attorneys. Ms. Hurd, you never went to see any doctor or surgeon to treat a broken nose during your relationship with Mr. Depp. Yes or no? I never sought treatment for broken nose while I was with Johnny or after you were with Mr. Depp as a result of any injuries you sustained as a result of Mr. Depp? Afterwards, yes, I did. And you didn't produce those medical records in this case. I'm gonna object, Your Honor. She did. I did. I, I don't know. All right. They have not been produced, Your Yet Honor. They've not only All right, been if you would produced. Uh, uh, approach. Let's have a oh, chat. Ooh. Elaine is awake. <laughs> Oh yeah, she fin she finally woke up. <laughs> Maybe when they start criticizing the lawyers, that's what really got her woken up. Mm. This Vasquez really has to stop pretty soon because I can only get so hard. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Fine. 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 We're gonna need uh, uh, later, we're gonna need special Camille Vasquez cross examination panel rules. Are you going to be on this panel? I think I feel groomed with that comment. I don't know. You might uh -huh. have <laughs> <laughs> Alita. Uh -huh. Yeah. I feel like this is Amber Heard's legal team right now. Let me pull this up real quick. What are you showing? <laughs> oh, the, the jumping off the, the, the sinking ship. On a sinking ship. ship. Trying like, to find a new one, here. right? Yeah, they, they got to sort this medical out. records reflecting that you required any dental work during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? I mean, our bridesmaids quote coming in. I don't, uh, know. I don't know. Need dental I don't work. I don't recall. You don't recall one way or another seeking dental care for any injuries you allegedly sustained? Uh, you asked me about if I had produced records or if I had records. That's a different question. Did you ever see a dentist or an oral surgeon as yes. a result of any injuries you sustained with Mr. Depp? Not about any injury I had Ooh. from Johnny, no. Why were you so You don't have any medical it? records reflecting that you required any reconstructive work during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? I never required reconstructive work, so there would be no records. What All you right. do have, Ms. Heard, are pictures of Mr. Depp sleeping, though, right? The jury saw a lot of those. Oh. Yes. Ms. Heard, let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1090, which is already in evidence. You took this photograph, right, Ms. Heard? That's correct. And you testified that this was taken in Tokyo in July of 2013, correct? 
Yes. So you decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep on the floor? He was passed out. That's a yes. And I took a picture of him because he uh, wouldn't remember. He claimed he didn't pass out that way. And sometimes security would carry him like a baby into bed, get him changed, and he would be none the wiser. So I started I taking pictures of it so that he knew that doesn't sound that it was like real, a very that it had gotten this bad. Person, We're like calling Let's him a baby. Take a look at Defendant's Exhibit One Zero Nine One, which is already in evidence. You took this picture as well. Yes. And this is a picture that was taken in the Bahamas, right? It's one of them, yes. And this is a picture of Mr. Depp taking a nap on his tropical island? I believe he was on the nod, but as he would say. Sleeping on the nod they're, on his island? They're very different, in my opinion. Okay. And okay. yes, he is on the island. On vacation? Uh, we were on vacation, yes. Let's also take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1092, which is also in evidence. You also took this picture, right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. I did. And this is another picture of Mr. Depp asleep in a chair? No, he was um, nodding off. Uh, sleep is different. When you're nodding off, you're high on drugs. I've Didn't heard of feel people saying nodding off to, had, like, uh, indicate nodding off. Off. He's been burning on his leg. Why yeah. would she uh, it was cause for alarm anyway. for he me, was... naturally, um, because I cared about him. Of course uh, he did. It's your testimony under oath that Mr. Depp is holding a cigarette in this picture? He had been. You seem to really like taking pictures of Mr. Depp while he's sleeping, don't you? <laughs> I yep. hated it. I hated it. That's why Let's I did it all the time. Defendants Exhibit 1094, which is also in evidence. The sass. You took this picture of Mr. Depp as well, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I did. You decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep with ice cream spilled all over him, right? He was nodding off, and um, I was worried about how bad the medications and the medication change and the drug use had gotten, where he wouldn't even feel ice cream or a lit cigarette on him, and it scared me. So you really. took a picture of it? Yes, <laughs> I, um, I wanted him to get help, and... Johnny's surrounded by enablers who clean up after him. Objection, and Your Honor. Him. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes, as she took this picture. <laughs> Still nice. Here, Your Honor. The question was, did you take this picture? All right. I'll sustain the objection. Thank you, Your Honor. This isn't a very flattering picture of Mr. Depp, is it? No, it's not. You wouldn't agree that this is, or you would agree with me that this is an embarrassing scene, right? <sighs> Yes, I think it's a part of getting help, is looking at it, seeing it. But you sent this picture to one of your friends, didn't you? Uh, I don't recall. Um, if we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 252. We'll only be looking at the portion of this document. So if we could please call it Defendant's Exhibit 252A. Holy cow, 60,000 for folks. ease, we've gone awesome. ahead and redacted it. Welcome, guys. Awesome. Yes, I was asking for support. That's correct. There's no question yet, Ms. Heard. So directing your attention, I'm going to move to admit um, exhibit 252A. That's what she's Any doing, objection? Debbie. Any objection, Ms. Brett? Good job of it, too. Could you turn, turn on could you turn your microphone again? Thank you. Uh, I need to see it first because okay. I don't know what they redacted. Two, five, two. The chat's the sleeping aggressively, identifiers. no doubt. It's a very aggressive sleep. And anything that's <laughs> not misheard <laughs> text messages. Consistent with hearsay. Agreed, Ashley. Totally agree. Maybe we approach. Okay. Wow. 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 This cross examination. I really didn't want to like over over hype it, but I feel like this is exactly what I was hoping for. Absolutely. <laughs> it's going very well. Everything. It's beautiful. 
<laughs> it is. It truly is a thing of beauty. I, I mean, it, it's both. Both she. She's both getting admissions and fights. Both are horrible for. Her. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and and the fact that that Camille is just she she keeps rolling with it. Like she's not getting bogged down on anything. No, she and really she's got it. like. Her tone. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, she yeah, keeps and- hiding behind the discovery, though. The, the typical way to do that is to walk over there, show her her signature on their discovery responses, and say, did you sign that? And say, show me where that picture is listed in there. But this case is too complicated to do that stuff with. You can do it with a smaller case without this many facts, but yeah. it, it's it's too much here. It is. It is a little bit more complicated. Um, also, quick, yeah. very quick note from me. Very quick note from me. She, she still has that thing where she looks at the jury for reaction and connection, but she's doing it a little mm-hmm. different because with her own lawyer, she would wait for the question to be finished. Then mm-hmm. she would turn to the jury and sell her answer. With with Camille, she's turning her head away before the question is even finished, which is very dismissive. Like, you can't hold my attention. I'm here for them, not you. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. That's cool. When I was thinking of you, Spidey, she's walked back a lot of her prior answers with personally or it looks that yeah, way. Exclusion. Or yeah, it felt call. that way. Felt yeah. like. Yeah. So those yeah. are called Actually, exclusions. Those are, we call those exclusions well, or exclusions. Well, in Amber's qualified. defense, she's on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> and MDMA. That one time, the Coachella. Uh, so yeah, personally, partially, that's the way it felt. These are all exclusions right. or exclusion qualifiers because it's not technically the entire... Like it, it could still be all this, but but it's partially this, or personally, I think it's this. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, for sure. And it does seem like Camille is kind of getting under her skin a little. So. Oh, she absolutely. is. Yep. Definitely. Am I still echoing? A little. No, I don't think so. I think you're yep. good. Natalie, lawyer chick. Hey, I'm finally on a computer. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> nice to see you. Just just anybody in refresh your recollection that you did, in fact, send this picture <laughs> to your friend, Rocky Pennington? Yes, I did. No, you recall. And you sent it to her on August 7th, 2014 at 11.24 p.m., correct? That is correct. So you sent Miss Pennington this picture of Mr. Depp with ice cream spilled on him, right? That is correct. And you wrote, quote, this is what I've been dealing with, end quote. Did I read that right? You did read that right. That's correct. And this is you protecting Mr. Depp. That is me getting support from my best friend. This is you supporting Mr. Depp. This is me getting support from my best friend. I also need support. You weren't afraid the the monster would get upset that you took this picture? (laughs) This was um, Opiate Johnny. This is a different version of him. This is Opiate on the nod Johnny. And you weren't afraid that Opiate Johnny or the monster, as you called him, would get upset that you sent this picture to your friend? Well, he's all of those things. Of course he could get upset. Of course, that's scary to me, of course. But it stop you from sending this picture to your friend, did it? Why would it? Whoa. Good. Excellent. Good answer. Move on. Yes. What an answer, Mr. Amber. Hand, right hand is in his pocket, right, Miss Heard? In this yes, picture? that's correct. You also showed this jury pictures of cocaine. Do you recall that? Yes, that's correct. Let's please take a look at one of those. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 167A, which is already in evidence. <laughs> Lawn slumber. <laughs> Sorry, I, f- I found that very funny. It's very good. <laughs> it's very cute. Directing your attention, Ms. Heard, to a photograph. This is a photograph you took in March of 2013, right? Both that days. is correct. And this is taken go. at your apartment in Orange? Yes. And this is your breakfast table? That is correct. And it's your testimony that Mr. Depp left this breakfast table just the way you took it. That is correct. So this is what the table looked like after Mr. Depp had been doing cocaine? Uh, Well, clearly he has yet to snort these lines. (laughs) There are four lines of cocaine on this table, right, Ms. Heard? In this picture, I see four lines. There isn't any cocaine residue around those lines, right? 
uh, I, not that I can tell, no. Hmm. Doesn't really look like anyone's been doing cocaine off that table, does it? All right. With all due respect, I'm not sure you know how that works. Oh. I'm asking if you do. You testified you've done cocaine. I have. Doesn't really look like Mr. Depp or anyone was doing cocaine off that table, does it? Uh, I beg to differ with you on that. When you snort cocaine, typically it goes into your nose. Okay. It doesn't stay residue. on the table. There's residue from that cocaine when your lips and nose touch the table, right? Well, the tampon applicator next to um, the credit, I mean, um, driver's license that you see is a device that uh, I believe my sister had taught him to use in order to put the cocaine. Uh, your in, family in your taught him how to do cocaine? Yeah, Mr. Depp is a pretty heavy smoker, right? He is. And, and that's a cigarette in the ashtray in the back there? Okay. Um, back right? Yes, it looks like one of his hand rolls. There's no other cigarettes in that ashtray, are there? I see one cigarette. The one that's not smoked. That's correct. There's no ash in that ashtray either, is there? <laughs> uh, not that I can tell in this picture. Huh. It's pretty clean. In this picture, it looks like it, yes. It's a pretty neat table. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? What is that tone? <laughs> um, Depends on what you would call Men neat, I suppose. Menacing. Menacing. You sent this picture to your friend, Rocky Pennington, as well, didn't you? I sure did. And when you sent it, you said, quote, look at my morning, or something like that. Is that right? Yay for mornings. So you have a habit of sending stage photographs to your friend, Rocky, don't you? <laughs> stage I had a habit of communicating yeah. with my um, best friend about what was going on in my life. Good answer. Move on. You don't have any pictures of Mr. Depp actually yeah. consuming. Doesn't cocaine, matter what she do said. Yeah, excellent. She's she's so good at moving on. I don't think I have a picture of him mid snort. No. Yeah. You don't even have any pictures of Mr. Depp with cocaine. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Holding cocaine, standing next to cocaine. With a jar um, of cocaine, for instance. Sitting next to cocaine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Well, you haven't shown any of those pictures wow. like that to the jury, have you? I don't know. I, no, I haven't. And you were never able to catch Mr. Depp with cocaine on film either, were you? I uh, never tried. But you were able to catch him sleeping, right? <laughs> uh, I have seen him pass out in all sorts of places, yes. Wow. Is she going to get a Jack and You also captured a video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen. I'll see. It was played again for this jury today. Uh, beating up some cabinets. Do you recall that? Sorry, say that again. You recall capturing Mr. Depp in the kitchen of one of his homes, beating up some cabinets? Yes. Slamming things around, yes. So you took that video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen, right? I did. I did. And you took it on one of your iPad devices? I took it on my iPad. You were deposed in August of 2016 in connection with your divorce proceedings from Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. And you will recall that the video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen was released online the day before your deposition in August of 2016, don't you? That's correct. You're the one who released that video. Incorrect. Isn't that true? That's incorrect. I flew in from another place at the time. I remember learning about it when I landed. High confidence there. So it's just a coincidence that the video you took of Mr. Depp was released the day before you were deposed in connection with your divorce from Mr. Depp. I absolutely had nothing to do with that. I wouldn't even know how to do something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. To send a video? Uh, that's a lie. <laughs> even the boomers can figure that out. You settled your divorce from Mr. Depp in August of 2016, right? That sounds right. And in connection with that settlement, you received uh, $7 million from Mr. Depp, true? That's correct. And then 6.8, you exactly. Your settlement amount was $7 million. That's correct. Okay. And then you released a statement in which you claimed you would be donating the entire $7 million to charity, right? That's correct. You stated you would be donating half of the $7 million to the ACLU. That's correct. And you would be donating the other half to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. That is correct. And you also stated, with respect to the $7 million divorce settlement, 
that money played no role except for the extent that you could donate the money to charity. Yes, that's correct. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1259. The video? Video from the, from the, from the talk show? From the talk show in the Netherlands? <laughs> I sure hope so. Oh, Sorry. I just, I just, very excited about this. This is an article entitled <laughs> Amber Heard Donates Johnny Depp so Divorce good. Settlement to Charity. Read her statement in full. Is that correct? That's what the title says, yes. Okay. Directing so your article. attention to the portion Exclusive. on the second page where it says, quote, read the statement below. All right, so it's an article about it. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll still show the that. the statement you released, Ms. Heard? That is correct. Your Honor, I move to admit the statement and the article as redacted. Objection, here, sir. It's her of, statement. Of an article? It, it, I yeah, guess her own interest. Her statement. This is some, this she is, just testified, Your Honor, that it's her, it's statement. her statement. May I see the full? Uh, Everything else is redacted. <laughs> Take okay, it away. Then I have no objection. All right. One, two, five. Take the L, Lane. Evidence as redacted. The statement reads, as described in the restraining order and divorce settlement, money played no role for me personally and never has, except to the extent that I could donate it to charity and in doing so, hopefully help those less able to defend themselves. As reported in the media, the amount received in the divorce was $7 million and $7 million is being donated. This is over and above any funds that I have given away in the past and will continue to give away in the future. Did I read that correctly? That Thank is correct. Honor. I don't remember that last line, but I have no, uh, it doesn't stand out to me as wrong. There's okay. nothing inaccurate in the statement. Not that I recognize, no. Mr. Depp donated $100,000 of the divorce settlement directly to the ACLU, is that right? Right at the beginning of the divorce settlement, he um, donated 100000 to each charity on my behalf or towards my contribution. So $100,000 to, to the ACLU. And to the Children's Hospital. And in response, you publicly demanded that Mr. Depp pay the divorce settlement directly to you instead of the charities, right? That was always the agreement, actually, is for him to pay me Ooh. directly. It was not his money as per the settlement agreement to give away and reap a tax benefit from. I said, if he wants oh, to do it and give to charity all of a sudden, then he should pay the correct it. amount and not try to get a big tax break for it. So effectively for his tax bracket, he should be paying double that amount to the charity directly. And if he wanted to pay the charity directly, he could. He could do that it was fine with me, but he would need to pay the adjusted amount. Ultimately, the rest of the $7 million more? divorce settlement was paid directly yeah. to you, right? Yeah, it Over time, yes. And Mr. Depp didn't it's end not up about paying the, the rest then. of the $7 million divorce settlement directly to the charities you identified. That is correct. He paid them you, installments to me. You stopped that from happening, didn't you? I don't understand what your question is. I'm sorry. You stopped Mr. Depp from paying the charities that you had named directly. Ooh. That is incorrect. I said, if you want to pay the charities directly, pay the adjusted amount or pay as per our agreement in the settlement or in the divorce as per our agreement. You also publicly- And he chose to do the former, not the latter. I mean, the other way around. You also publicly stated that the $7 million divorce settlement should be paid to the charities immediately in full, right? If he wanted to pay it in the way that he was suggesting, yes. And, and you said publicly that the payments to the charities should not be drawn out over many years, right? I said that, I don't, I don't recall the exact words that I used, but basically that he shouldn't use this as an, a novel interest in getting a tax break, that if he wanted to do that and not pay me the settlement, that was fine, but he would have to pay the adjusted amount and not make it, you know, a, a commitment he would not fulfill or try to avoid in some other way. Seems like a Why do you and that's care? because you Odd wanted thing for her to argue. the entire world to think that you were donating every the penny he of the seven million dollar divorce mm. settlement as soon as you received it from Mr. Depp. Isn't that right? No, I was going to be receiving it in installments, and I would be paying in installments the donations. In fact, you released a statement in response to Mr. Depp's hundred thousand dollar donations to the ACLU and CHLA, didn't you? I don't recall. 
Let's see if we can refresh your recollection. Could you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1260? This is an article entitled Amber Heard and Johnny Depp Row Over Divorce. It is donations. delicious. And if I could direct your attention it's to where it says the most I believe it's on the delicious second desserts. Page. Her spokeswoman responded in a statement. It. The language that follows the statement you Objection, released. Objection, hearsay, right. spokeswoman, it's not her. Right. A spokesperson is an exception, Your Honor. You want to come forward? Yeah, because it's an agent. An agent. That's right. An agent. It's an agent. Yep. It's the first yep. time they're using this exception correctly. I mean, I know, I know Amber does not understand agency, but yeah. it's literally what her entire right, counter is based on. I know. I know. I, oh, I my know I goodness. Out, guys, but I just wanted to say, and I know that you guys already know this, this is one of the best cross examinations I've ever seen on live television. Textbook, yes. very mm -hmm. yes. she's clearly so prepared. I, I, I just, I, I have nothing bad to say about it. So many everything voices that I agree with. Wonderful. Yes, I agree. Yes. Completely uh -huh. agree. Colleen Kaufman, thank you so much for this very generous super chat. It says first, thank you all for your time, insight, and knowledge. It has really added to watching these proceedings. After watching with you, it feels like watching really friends. You released a statement. And it's so You're through. We approach your excitement to this okay. portion. Yes. I mean, at, the, at this point, even trying hard, I can't find a flaw. It's literally flawless cross-examination mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. It's literally perfect. I can't find anything to nitpick. There's, it's perfect. Inquisition heaven. <sighs> Oh, good Lord. Yeah, and this is just, this is, this is quite a destruction. It's a, it's a dismantling piece by piece in just oh. such a systematic fashion. Like she is, she is truly a, a precision nuke right now. <laughs> yep. Before we ask the next question. <laughs> this one. There you go, this Spidey. Like, okay. Yeah, thank you so much. It's not easy what she's doing, you know? No, if it was, no. If not it at all. Easy, no. Everybody would do it. But what she's yes. doing is like literally, she can teach a course on cross-examination. That's right. This is a master class. Your Honor, mm -hmm. would you like to see one as well? No, I, master. that's right. I, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Even Earl Grey or... Uh, do you think in some way she's been kind of understating it up to this point to make it that much more effective? Because this seems like a different Camille. Is Yeah. Her tone control is amazing. Yes, uh, that's that's she, she part that's her half tone. of it. She changes her tone as needed on the fly. Yeah, it's it's because, going on. I'm sorry. It's oh, it's because she's not. Oh, sorry, sir. Um, you're not, they gave me a redacted, but I don't have the unredacted to be able to see the full document. I plan to admit it or ask that it be admitted in redacted form. I'm taking away any hearsay and I'm just trying to lay the foundation. But that this is a statement she released through a spokesperson. How would I know whether? there's more to it that shouldn't be redacted, Your Honor, if I don't see the full document. Just shut up. Stalling tactic. I think sure. it's a good point from Elaine. Yeah. Except for in the discovery Your Honor, process. the witness can testify as to whether this is a full statement or not. The, the witness can't do, we, we have the right to be able to see the document. All right. Do you have the document that's not redacted? I think they don't have it. Computers. Okay. Just give us a moment, Your Honor. Right. I can represent this is the full statement that's reported. I'll give her an opportunity to look at the unredacted one. Thank you, Your Yeah, I do think that this is having a genuine impact on the jury because there's she's not getting caught in the weeds, which means that they're able to follow the line of her questions. Very good. Yeah, short and sweet. Short and sweet. It sounds like a lie, then it sounds like a lie, then it sounds like a lie, then it sounds like a lie for By two way, hours. Rob, I, I, I don't think that this, this will go on as long as I thought. I mean, no, I think the, she's, she, she's just dismantled her so completely that I would say end it sooner rather than later. You've, you, you're you killing it. Don't don't let it get messed up. Yeah, I yeah. agree. She doesn't need her need to cross her for that long because she's agreeing to what she needs her to agree to. And where she mm -hmm. doesn't agree, Amber's excuses are ridiculous. Oh, I did give the pictures to my lawyer. So your lawyer is, you know, <laughs> you're throwing your lawyer under the bus. I mean, that just sounds so crazy. It's only going to work for Depp. So 
Yes. Uh, I don't know if you were here, Natalie, when when the, she did it, but she started arguing with her about <laughs> about how she doesn't know how cocaine use works, and it just looked horrible. It was like a freebie. She was angry. It was very oh, I can't wait to go back and listen to that. Okay, I'm excited. They handed over one of their laptops. Did you did you see that? They they don't have the document in their file folder, so they handed over one of their workstations to Elaine. Nice. Yeah. I think uh, I think they they caught onto the fact that, that picture of that breakfast table was so absolutely guys, staged can by we her. Have a copy of this. Nice. I mean, you can get a copy of that uh, copy later, copy. later later yes. today. Okay. Right. right. I mean, I, I think she should be giving us copies of the full. Well, I understand. Before. We'll we'll take care of that. But okay. As of um, right now, can we continue? Because <laughs> of. Anna, you may not realize this. This is going very okay. poorly for us. Uh, we'd like to have another sidebar. Thank you. Uh, so, how's your weekend? How was that conference, Your Honor? It was. Was it a good ten days? Uh, yeah. Hi, can I leave now, Your Honor? Oh my God. What if we change this to five o'clock instead of five thirty, Your Honor? How do you feel about that? <laughs> what you're speaking to, though, is a tactic when you're losing on cross, and some attorneys will just try to interrupt for absolutely no reason. You've seen yeah. the document. You saw it in Discovery. You know, let's move on. But no, they want to break this up as much as possible. It's going terribly for them. Yes. And I thought she had a good point to get an unredacted copy. They gave the workstation. She read the document. Now she's gone too far. Yeah. You know, from a from a behavioral standpoint, we're, we're all going to be very sort of like hands tied checkmate because innocent or guilty when you're under fire like this, you're going to show signs of stress. So any signs of stress that she's showing, and she is showing signs of stress, can simply be because Camille is coming at her guns blazing. So, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. any sensible behavior analyst would have to say, like, listen, take all this with a grain of salt. I, I'm not really sure I see stress. I see anger. So directing your attention, Ms. Heard, where it says... Mm -hmm. Her yeah. spokeswoman responded in a statement. Yeah. The language that follows. Your Honor, again, she can't read it. She has to show the language that follows. Go, <laughs> Camille. Oh. You got you this. You released a statement after Far Mr. For you, Glenn Depp Coco. You go, Glenn Coco. $100,000 to the ACLU and $100,000 to CHLA. Correct, Ms. Hurd? I think so, yes. Okay. And the language that follows is the statement you released in response to Mr. Depp's donations, right? I don't know if this is this the official statement. I really, I have no idea. The statement that reads, starts Objection, at Your Honor. Amber Heard. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. Would you please read that to yourself, Ms. Heard? I agree with you, Andrew. She can't do that. She's an officer of the yes. court. She can't. She's a fighter. Did you read all the way to the very bottom where the last word is supported? I agree. I agree. I'm just saying in this case, there's a good justification for it. Yes. That's a statement you released through your spokeswoman after Mr. Depp made the donations to the CHLA and the ACLU. Correct, Ms. Heard? I do not recall exactly what my statement was. I don't disagree with anything in the statement, but I just simply don't recall what the statement was we released. Is there anything inaccurate in that statement, Ms. Heard? No. I'm going to move to admit. Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. Yeah, they can't oh, admit it on that. Objection, 1260 in evidence of objection. Thank you, Your Honor. I see. Okay. Statement reads, Amber Heard appreciates Johnny Depp's novel interest in supporting two of her favorite charities, the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union for Domestic Violence, and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. This is great and unexpected news. Mm. It continues. However, if Johnny wishes to change the settlement agreement, we must insist that he honor the full amount by donating $14 million to charity which after accounting for his tax deduction is equal to his $7 million payment obligation to Amber. And it continues. 
we would also insist that the full amount be paid immediately and not drawn out over many years. Mm. Anything less would be a transparent attempt by Johnny's counsel, Laura Wasser and Patty Glazer to reduce their client's true payment by half under the guise of newfound concern for charities that he has never previously supported, end quote. Uh, okay, insert all of the video of him going to children's hospitals by himself right. in the years. Yes. That's just an outright lie. He's been very charitable. After this, yeah. he kept commenting about the donation of your divorce settlement, right? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay. You spoke about donating your divorce settlement on a Danish TV show, correct? Yes. Uh, Here it is. Here I it believe is. I said I had, um, I, I believe I said I donated it to charity, but it was already printed mm -hmm. or ar already commented on and stated in the press. I had mm -hmm. already released that information in the press. I think I just confirmed it on that show. You appeared on a show called RTL Late Night, right? I don't recall it what show it was if we could please play yes. plaintiff's exhibit 346 which Let's is a portion of your appearance we go. on this program and we would ask that it be moved into evidence and any, ask for permission to publish yeah, it. It, it contains it has hearsay it contains other communications with other individuals your honor if we may approach okay. very briefly yeah uh uh no you, this is not a secret recording elaine this is not no. the same thing as the other audio tapes no <laughs> She's panicking hard. She's slowing up Ooh. for 20 minutes. She's ob she's objected to anything she can object to. Like, literally. She's slowing up for 20 minutes and regrouping. Yeah. I don't know how you regroup from this. No. She you just, know, she's just trying really... to throw Camille off. That's all it is. She just wants to yeah, throw that's, her that's off. That's about right. But yes. Camille, yeah. Camille isn't going anywhere. This is a anywhere. stupid objection. It is a dumb objection. Because she also didn't make that objection for the, for the James Corden show. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So like, it's the same issue. how is this so. any different? It's not. it's not. Well, they know the charity one is the one that they really have dead to rights. Although those photos certainly are dead to rights, but the charity one is really, really dead to rights. And so they're breaking up the logical flow of this period. And they're also mm -hmm. trying to, 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 to get past the clock here in the last 20 minutes. Oh, man. So Elaine is just saying stuff. Hey guys. Um, I love the fact that there are 61,000 people in this live stream right now this is incredible um if you haven't already um if you could i would love it if you would hit the like button because it does does help with the youtube algorithm gods it'll put this video in front of more people so we can see how many people can we get in here today for a like on this channel is goes directly to camille vasquez she will see your like <laughs> on this channel hit like hit subscribe she's also a big fan of legal bite she'd love to see you subscribe to the channel if you like what camille vasquez is doing right now you're gonna want to like and subscribe to legal bites trust me this is all 100 percent accurate oh. <laughs> and also subscribe to everybody that's been on this panel because they are providing excellent commentary um smash like and sub thanks <laughs> thanks andrew uh, amazing uh, but yeah subscribe to everybody that's been on here because they are donating their time and that's the way that you can kind of pay them back for their time uh, for all of their great commentary because this would not be the same without all these folks everyone that has shown up today is linked in the description below just go down the list go into their channels subscribe check out their stuff you know after the stream of course mm -hmm. go back and, and watch their stuff like their videos it helps the whole community and it helps oh, yeah, all of LawTube be... grow we're going to be talking Elon Musk sending poop emojis to the CEO of Twitter today. It's going to be fantastic. Yes. I'm just south of 85,000. So if you want to help out, I wouldn't mind. Yes. Yes. We're going to get, well, we're going to get Rick to a hundred thousand anytime soon. Just, Thank you so much for a very generous. Oh, very chat. Yeah. We're absolutely so going to get Rick to over a hundred thousand by the time and publish to the maybe jury by the exhibit three, four, six. Maybe by mid next week, I guess. Four, six in evidence. I know. Those and actually were all kinds of accusations oh, yeah. uh, flying your way when what you said all this. Sub? And then there was a divorce settlement. You got $7 million. People were saying this is all about Dutch. money. But then you oh, did Dutch, something. I'm sorry. That, uh, twisted that whole argument. What did you do with that money? Seven million dollars in total was donated to i split it between the aclu and children's hospital of los angeles aclu is a human rights organization sorry aclu yes. is a prominent um 
uh, organization, nonprofit organization <coughs> okay. in the United States. Yeah. It's called the American right. Civil Liberties Union, and they work on behalf of marginalized communities uh, on the ground and in legislative mm -hmm. reform. Right. And well, more power to you because that's that's something that I've never I heard. I wanted of, uh, nothing. You liar. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you liar. Oh. This interview was in October of 2018, right, Ms. Heard? I don't recall when it was. It was in 2018, oh. right, Ms. Heard? I don't remember when this was done. This was after you had received the full $7 million oh, of your divorce Andrew. settlement for Mr. Depp, wasn't it? Again, without knowing when it was recorded, I have no idea. Yeah, wow. I bet she does. Oh, you're a $7 million dollar divorce settlement was paid to you in full by February of 2018. Right? That's correct. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1458, which is already in evidence. The full settlement was paid in 2018. This is the Giant deal point memorandum from your divorce settlement. Right, Ms. Heard? Yes, that's what it looks like. And if we go down to the bottom of page four, There's a heading oh, labeled. I've got a, I've got a backlog of ones that I haven't responded to. Equalization payment. Do you see that? Yes. And underneath that, it outlines a payment schedule for the divorce payments. Correct. Uh, yes. Well, it begins to. And if we go on page page five, asked and answered Ian Bush. Check out my asked and answered videos. So the first payment is scheduled for August 31st, 2016, and that's 200,000, correct? Yes, that is correct. Mr. Depp's accountant, Edward White, testified that he made that payment directly. You, you gotta turn on your microphone, Ms. Bredehoff. I'm not gonna hear you. Objection <laughs> to her testifying to what Mr. White testified to that. Okay. It's a actual, it, he literally testified to it okay. in court. I'll, I'll overrule objection. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Donna. of course. Mr. Depp's accountant, Edward White, testified that he made the payment directly to the ACLU and CHLA, correct? I believe so, yes. And then the rest of the payments were all made to you, weren't they? That is correct. And the final payment of $2.3 million is on February 1st, 2018, right? The final payment, yes. And you were here in court when Mr. White testified that the payments were all made on I mean, schedule. I'm going to object to her testifying to what Mr. White testified. Uh, overruled? No. You just got that overruled already. Thank you, Your Honor. You just got that overruled. And you were here Two in seconds. court when Mr. White testified that the payments were all made on schedule, right? I don't believe they were. Uh, he might have That's testified. That's not my to question, that. Ms. Heard. My question nice. was you were here in court. That's how you control when Mr. the witness. White testified Absolutely. under oath. Well that all the payments were made on schedule. I was here every day in court. I, I heard his testimony, yes. Okay. So back Hold to on. October of 2018, this was before Mr. Depp sued you for defamation, correct? Yes, that's correct. He didn't sue you until after the op-ed came out in December of 2018, right? He sued me in 2019. And the op-ed came out in December of 2018. That is correct. Yeah. So in October of 2018, you had received your entire $7 million divorce settlement. You would that, agree with me? That is correct. Okay. And you hadn't yet been sued by Mr. Depp? This is uh, October, correct. Yeah. So in this October 2018 interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire mm. divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, your exact words were, Quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote. That's, right? that's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire seven million dollars settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. What? 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 Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? 
Incorrect. I pledged the entirety uh, that's of not the $7 million that's not my to question. charity, and I intend to fulfill her. those obligations. Intend to fulfill no. is not fulfilled. That's not my question. Please, what try was your to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated the $7 Peter. million dollars divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous. With one another. They I don't like that. That's good. I don't use it as you do from your employer. That's how donations are paid. They promise to pay you. That's how donations not. are paid. That's not my question. Oh, I love it. She's so combative. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million this. of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as Boom! of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, oh, what? you have not donated. Doesn't matter. Paid Doesn't matter she had that. Seven million dollars of your divorce settlement to charity, right? I have not been able to fulfill those uh, those uh, obligations yet. <laughs> and that's because Got you him. did want something. Did that's you? right. I didn't want anything, and I didn't get anything. You wanted Mr. Depp's money. Didn't get it. Wasn't interested in it. I loved Johnny. Him. That's why I was with him. You wanted praise for donating the money, right? Yes. That's incorrect. You wanted good oh. press. In general, one <laughs> does want good press, yes. You wanted to seem altruistic publicly. Wasn't my interest. Um, my interest is uh, in my name and clearing my name. And mm -hmm. at the time, yeah, I was being was called a story. liar and my motives were being questioned. I did see it as important to clear that up. I wanted to make a statement to make sure that there was on, not any doubt that I couldn't are, be. Are you are you not holding four million extra dollars now? Star and had more publicity reach. You wanted to remind everyone of your claims of domestic violence against Mr. Depp, right? No, I wanted to move on with my life. You Liar. wanted to make those claims seem believable. They are believable. They you were. You wanted believable. them to be seen. You wanted to be seen. Excuse me, as a noble They're victim. Of domestic they are true. Violence. I have you never, Whoa. never wanted oh. to be seen as a victim. Victim is a word you can use. Nor have I ever word. called myself one. Oh, here she goes. You testified Jack. under oath that, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote, didn't you? That's correct. I pledged the entirety. No. It doesn't matter. It's her. My questions. They've already, uh, they've already clarified that it doesn't you? mean the same thing. She's, just, she's done. She's done. She's done. She just you testified under she oath. Just needs to connect one quote, dot and I'll be the so entirety happy. of your divorce settlement was donated to charity. End quote. That is correct. I pledged the entirety. Wow. <laughs> she's insane. After, yes. uh, all right. No. No. Strike. Ms. Hurt, this uh, does is it, really no. inappropriate. I, I'll yeah. sustain the objection and we'll just move forward. Thank Let's you. Let's move forward. Next okay. question. What, what did Elaine say? We don't know because Elaine's not using Under the Under oath, that statement wasn't true, was it, Ms. Hurd? I'm sorry, I don't follow your question. Sorry. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That statement wasn't true. It is true. I pledged the entirety to charity. The statement. When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. for the Heard. entire house. Ms. Heard. Wow. Wow. Yes, you do. You pay I'm not wow. 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 Thank you. Thank you. And you pay for the house. Oh, she's, that's, she's that statement she's isn't true liar. today. As you sit here today, is it? She's it is true. Cry. I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate it. Unfortunately. You didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate, I mean, to fulfill those So that's a no, right, Ms. Heard? I, am, I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. You had all of the $7 Excuses. million dollars all you got. for 13 months before Mr. Depp sued you and Ooh. you chose there's not the, to pay. 13 months. The I you pledged it to. Is that I, correct? Mr. I disagree with your characterization of that. What? Wow. How? <laughs> okay. Wow. How? You don't Look know math? Sworn testimony what is characterization from UK? is the definition. That was the oh, UK, UK, UK testimony. Yes, give it. My favorite. I was, I, I, I thought so I spotted the flaw, but she connected the dots and that was flawless again. I think, I think we're going to do this yeah. for 15 more minutes. So they want to end on this for the jury. All right. Yeah. Yes, Light from the heaven so shines my question in the courtroom. Is if, if Amber, <laughs> if Amber sits on this, 
then I mean, is she she's going to be really probably a wreck tomorrow, right? I mean, this is a really she has this to look forward to tomorrow. A really to aggressive continuing cross. Okay. <laughs> just, there's this light coming across. Look at look at yes, this early light. Right. Of, the light probably good light. The light That's the God. heavenly it's the holy light. light. God, <laughs> light of justice. She's been touched by an angel. <laughs> Allison Becker, thank you so much for the very generous super chat. <laughs> Amazing. Stick it home. 15, 13 minutes. Stick it home. Give her an award. This is uh, your third witness statement that you submitted in the UK action, right, Ms. Heard? Correct. And this statement yeah. was made under oath. True? That is true. I'm directing your attention to the last page right. of that statement. That's your signature, right? Yes, it is. So you made the sworn statement on February 26, 2020. That's correct. And directing your attention to paragraph four. It says, quote, I remained financially independent from him the whole time we were together. And the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity. And that is correct. Oof. Is that correctly? Yes, you did. The him you were referring to is Mr. Depp. That is correct. Get her, Camille. Get her, get her, get her. Most so of the great. money that was donated to the ACLU and CHLA in your name came from someone else. Isn't that right? I don't know what you mean by most of. Well, well at least $500,000 <laughs> sure that was daddy. donated to the ACLU in your name wasn't paid by you, right? <laughs> uh, I believe Elon made a donation in my honor on one, e one of the years. Yeah, and it didn't come oh, out of your $7 million divorce settlement, right? No, nor did it count towards my pledge. Uh, that's, and at uh, least $500,000 that was donated to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles in your name wasn't paid by you either. Right, those were made at the same time. And it didn't come out of your $7 million divorce settlement. Nor did it count to my 3.5 obligation. Those $500,000 payments came from your new boyfriend, Elon Musk, right? Uh, he, I don't know if he was a new boyfriend at the time. Oh, perhaps you got to you see this overlap to these two charities. What about now? You? Incorrect. What, what did that, what did because that you wanted to keep at least then? some of Amber the $7 Heard? million dollar divorce settlement for yourself, right? You're very wrong about that. I think this, if your honor is okay, fine, said, this is a good stopping point. point. Okay, that's fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll stop here for the evening. Remember tonight, do not do any outside research and do not discuss the case with anybody. I know these days are a little longer, and I appreciate your patience and uh, your in your uh, taking care of everything here. Please take care of yourself tonight, okay? And we'll see you in the morning at 9 a.m. Virtuoso performance. Yes. From a perspective. Master class in cross-examination. We're all that. It's official. We're all Camille stands. Wow. Well, and you know what? I'm just thinking about the fact that Epic. Amber has to sit at home tonight and, and wherever she is. You know, she has to sit and, and, and have this to anticipate tomorrow, except it's going to go on all day, right? It's going to be mm -hmm. relentless mm -hmm. meals. Since you're day. still uh, on the witness stand. I don't know if Camille's going to take all day. To include your I, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Nine o'clock tomorrow, should've. then? She shouldn't. All right, we'll see you at 9 o'clock. Thank you. Right. Yeah, she yeah. could she could do a half day tomorrow and, and get this, through everything and just have it be like fireworks. She's the Grim Reaper with the scythe cutting down wheat. I don't know how much longer yeah. she needs. Yeah, nobody yeah. can take this for another full day. It's impossible. Yeah. She's already a smoldering mass. It, oh, it's beautiful. That was two hours. That was, that was it. That was two hours of just brutality. Mm -hmm. And it, it shows just how easily she flips into this other personality where she's, you know, gaslighting, lying. Uh, she looks so evasive. Yeah. She yeah. looks so evasive that, oh, I pledged. Like, I. Camille could have run that for another 15 minutes because oh, yeah. it looks terrible. Oh, yeah. It looks yeah. so bad. And they so literally, didn't bad. they go over that literally with the, another witness? They went over the difference yeah. between donate and pledge and the specific yeah. language and yeah. the meaning the, within her that trying context. to get out of it by saying those are the same thing. I mean, the jury no. doesn't buy that for one second. None of us do. Okay. And she, clearly, she clearly has never bought her own house. Just to be clear, you do have to pay the homeowner all the money, and then you take a loan. Yes. yes. No, you just yes. pay for parts of the house. Like that's no. an enforceable agreement that you what sign. Are you about? Oh, it's, it's oh, my ridiculous. The homeowner thing. Someone told her that. Someone told her to use that analogy ahead of time, and that person is stupid because that doesn't the make whole any amount for the house. I'm sorry. That is ridiculous. The 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 home the original homeowner the seller. 
They get everything up front. Mm -hmm. So They're what are you talking about? It's some well, it's some that couldn't have gone down any better. She she fought her on it, so she got to go through it three times. And in the end, she then relents and admits to everything. So she gets a pile of focus and tension, and then she still gets the admission. Yep. It's beautiful. I, yes. I, it, it, just, oh, it, is a, it is a bad analogy. It is a bad analogy. Like, there's a... Just, oh, you know, I, it's it's you you just you got caught. You can survive it if you don't fight it like an idiot. You say, you know what? I said it a little early because I thought it would come to fruition a little faster. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, much to my chagrin. And right. and then you say, I made mistakes, and you move on. And and but like, no, it's because I pledged it. Also, someone else pledged a million. Is the ACLU testimony not on record saying that they counted Elon's five hundred for her? Because oh, I believe it is. It sure did. They did. did. I thought they did. And if I could say, guys, no, they testified to that. I really and truly want people to understand it's not just about the donation. It's not no. just about the donation. But the reason that this is important is that it tells the jury she is willing to lie and she will lie to your faces and she will gaslight you. And this is what Johnny Depp has said about the abuse. She lied about me abusing her. She's been gaslighting me and she's willing to go that far. A children's hospital and you're lying about donating to them, that's kind of yes. reprehensible. So yeah, you would lie about abuse because you'd lie about this, you know? So it, it, it serves multiple purposes, fine. Well, and she got and under her so skin. She got under her skin and, and Amber, you know, it's clearly, clearly she's ruffled. And again, I'm just thinking tomorrow, uh, I, I, I think it's gonna probably be worse, right? Isn't Camille gonna probably come on just as strong or stronger? I think so. I see no reason why not. I, dude, why not? Why I, I don't know, but I, I would think that they would tie this up. I mean, this is beautiful right now. How much better yeah. can it get? It, yeah. it can't get any better. There's so many there's, more inconsistencies. The there's a lot. Can. I was going to say, there's a lot. <laughs> there's still a I lot. Of all, but, but, but how much good does it do you after a while? She's already destroyed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think I think there's a little bit more of facts you got to get out. Like like she couldn't just come back tomorrow and say, "Hey, I'm done." And there's like a little bit more, like yeah. at least at least another hour, right? I mean, or two, sure. maybe two minimum. Yeah. I think left to, to go. Now, she might she might take as long as lunch, but even then, it would be an incredibly tight cross examination. Yeah. So if she takes to lunch, I mean, and I don't underestimate the potential that she could. I mean, she almost. I know I keep talking about a few good men is one of my favorite movies, but she as a lay person, but she almost got her to kind of crack a little on, on a couple of those moments. I would just love to see if she if she put, continue to push her tomorrow to see if we could get Amber in a, even a more in an unflattering light, right? <laughs> Nate. Hey, Nate. Hey, Nate. Hey, Nate. Yo, we 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 got we got we got we got to give Camille Vasquez. So that was. I will say, I think that was one of the best takedowns of a yes. witness I've seen in yes. a while. You guys talked yes. it up, and I told us all to be worried, but Camille Vasquez. I told you guys. That is a career-making cross-examination we just watched. That yes. is when a lawyer gets, that's a career-making. What she did right there in an hour and a half. Remember, they started at 3.30. I was concerned. I was like, oh, you're going to get in right now? And she ended as strong as possible. Yes. I, I could I could not say more about this woman. It's like that was textbook. If if you want to go to law school, if you are going to law school, the way that woman controlled the witness, asked mm -hmm. those questions, mm -hmm. and got and even when she mm -hmm. was trying to be squirmy, she held her feet to the fire. It is it, this this should be taught in a law school. This is the oh, way yes. you do it, people. Damn straight. This is the way you do it. This is how you do it. That was exactly. beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. And even through shade at Elaine. She, yes. She she she. she <laughs> This maniac! No, shut up. Listen, let, let, let's get back to it. Yeah. Hey, Nate. Oh, that was beautiful. It was beautiful. Hey, was, oh, my God. I feel, like Camille, I feel like Camille just added a zero to her retainer. Like, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Camille is going, going to be so famous. She's going to be a partner yeah. right away. It's, it's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, she's not that, already. That's yeah. a, that's career making. I'm talking about you, all of us yeah, attorneys know. So that's famous. a career making cross examination right there. Yes. No yeah. doubt about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And exactly. I really get the feeling that she was that she's been underplaying it as a performer up to this point. I was not very impressed with her her opening uh, opening statement. No, I was no, like, no. oh, this. Is, but but she, this was amazing. And um, and you know, I think. And, and here's the thing. I, I don't know if everybody on the panel knows this, but Amber had when she was being deposed. Uh, apparently, this came out in, in a news article. She had a breakdown. I'm talking about like years ago. She had a breakdown. 
and uh, during her de- during one of her depositions, apparently, and I just I, I don't underestimate the 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 opportunity of a chance to get her to have some kind of a meltdown tomorrow. I'm a lay person. I don't know, but I think that 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 could be interesting. She just keeps pushing it. I, don't know. I think she kind of melted down today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they, they, they got her. They got her with the cherry thing. I didn't expect that to be the nut that cracked her, but it cracked yeah. her. She was cracked. Okay. If this, yeah. if this yeah. went yeah. on, to be, she, to she be was clear, gone. Though, we're not. Hang uh, on. We're let, not, me, let me interject yeah. here because we've got we've got an important person to talk to here. Uh oh. Oh, oh, Ian. Oh, oh, Ian. Oh, Ian. Ian. Who was the jury like? <laughs> yes, tell us. <laughs> you got to turn the mic down. Oh, let me turn my mic down. I'll turn it down. <laughs> so that was a bit of a horror movie for Amber Heard because suddenly the dead jurors came back to life uh, and uh, <laughs> and got interested and like. Yeah, um, there was actual thunder. I don't know if you guys could hear it. <laughs> but, uh, there were a couple of lightning strikes nearby, I think, and there was thunder sounds. And one of the jurors, like, so there was a clap of thunder midway through Amber's testimony, and one oh, of the you're jurors literally, laughed. Literally, not metaphorically. Yeah, there's yeah. literal sure thunder. <laughs> the fact that Amber stared at us. Shut Amber down. stared at us seven times. Yes, Amber repeatedly stared at us down and also <laughs> made facial expressions at us like a creepy ass smile. Do and you but, guys specifically? Yes, like it was. Yes, she was panning are. the room and she oh, stopped she on us and made like <laughs> creepy expressions. So I, that entire I sidebar, so that in, that entire sidebar that started the cross. Yeah, she yep. kept on. That was when she kept on staring, literally directly at us. Yeah, it was it was freaky. So That's the bad guy. Maybe maybe she <laughs> the bad guy. You. Maybe she's been watching the bad oh, guy. It uh, is po- entirely possible. Guy. That's pretty much a given at this point. So yeah. Um, okay. So we also should figure out the line standards thing because yes. We are going to be I think, dead. I, I think tomorrow probably, is going to be a little bit hard. You should probably just exit the courtroom and just get right in line again. Yeah. <laughs> at this pace. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, is that we will also die if we do that. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm, I'm going to put this, I'm going to pin this, uh, this link here. Yeah. All right. Cause yeah, it's, uh, they've got signs up saying they won't take standards before 1 a.m., but I'm sure okay. we're loiters. So, loiters. um, I don't. Yeah, I mean, there's still going to be people gathering somewhere. So, uh, yeah, they will be gathering. Uh, that's for sure. It'll, but uh, yeah, no, the jury was a lot more engaged on on this cross. You could see them waking up, and you could see them getting interested. And wow. yeah, um, I mean, I thought it was a great cross. There were a few places where I thought a couple more questions could be asked that you know might have put it a little further into the goal but you could see the points where the juror like you could see moments where just everybody wrote this you know wrote something down um they were really interested in that in those millions of dollars okay and the uh the repeated like okay you didn't donate the money jurors were not liking her (laughs) her responses to that uh, I mean, there was no way for her to fix it, but the jury was definitely uh, not appreciating her responses. I can only imagine. Um, so, okay, so so the whole part about the pledge versus donated part, like they were not buying it. They were not buying it. Um, um, and was there anybody that that was like resuming taking notes at this point? The the one guy who previously had been kind of falling asleep was taking copious notes um the gallery was audible like yeah the gallery was audible during the pledge donate thing yeah like they the jurors could hear the gallery respond you could hear people gasp there was a moment where people just gasped and I mean, which part do you remember which part that was pledged pledged it was yeah it was that back and forth it was like the third time yeah there was just it, it was <sighs> we're gonna try what time are you gonna line up uh, uh, we're figuring that out. Next hour. <laughs> Probably one hour. Probably. Um, we're, we're trying to figure that out. But we're yeah. on a live stream here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, it uh, it was wild uh, just watching people waking up and uh, you know taking notes. 
I'm yeah, so no, glad you guys uh, were there. How many that. people on the stream? Uh, how many people so on we the stream? We've got 59,000 right now. We had yeah. over 61,000 um, at the peak. So yeah, it's incredible. I have a question for Ian. Yeah, yeah it, uh, there was one guy who, uh, you know, was sort of doing a back and forth and his jaw just dropped at one point. One of the uh, jurors? One of the jurors. What about what? Do you and, remember? I'd have to check my notes here as to when his jaw dropped, but uh, do, you like remember when the, uh, do you remember when G's jaw dropped? Uh, yeah, We're just checking the notes here on uh, when that moment yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. When Jay turned back around after watching the Jay Danish interview, his mouth was slightly open and like it was like he didn't see it coming. Yeah. Okay. So because after the after the Dutch interview. Yeah. That Dutch that Dutch interview slammed the door. That slammed yes. the door. Yes. I knew that was gonna happen. We're gonna use letters, then, uh, gonna use letters because that's how we named the jury. Yeah. That makes sense. So that makes sense. We've got A through I for our juror names. Um, so, May, I'm independent. I'm hey, quick, a quick question, Ian. Aspiring writer. I really yeah. don't have a hey, so, so at the at the end of at the end of the day, at, at the end of that monstrosity, what what did you? What the, there were there were a couple of jurors that you thought were pro Amber. How were those yeah. jurors reacting to what they heard? Well, I I wasn't I wouldn't say that they were super pro Amber. Um, there were some people I weren't I wasn't so sure about. Um, the uh, the one woman who seemed like she might be. I don't think she was pro Amber. The uh, the one in the front row. Uh, hey, the one of the juror in the front row. Uh, uh, the uh, female juror in the front row. Uh, 50s. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't like. She started getting more frustrated with the the um, donation versus the uh, pledged thing. And you could tell that she just stopped. She stopped looking back and forth, and she just kind of kept on air. Like, yeah, she just kind of dropped. Okay. And there's one guy who I, I thought was really. There's one guy who I thought was really uh, disliking Amber. Um, his expression didn't change much when they moved across, but it's also the only time I saw him uncap his pen. Or, so he was taking hmm. notes, and he hadn't been taking notes uh, throughout. Amber's side of things. So, so, he, so he started during the cross. He started during the cross. He didn't take many notes, but he uncapped his pen. And he took some notes. So it's uh, it's been interesting. They don't like her, certainly. That I don't know if that's enough to get us to you know a verdict, but they certainly don't like her. Um, interesting. Her testimony was not going over well. well. Okay. 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 Can I ask a quick question, Ian? Yeah. When when um, Camille was like throwing those darts and like just nailing her with those like undeniable facts, did you see yeah. like any smirks or the jury look at each other like, oh, snap type thing? There weren't really the jury wasn't really looking at each other much. Um, and they've been pretty good about not smirking. They're stone. Oh, they're they stone are stone they're really good at not smirking, in fact. And uh, so nothing quite so blatant, but, you know, they still are giving off what I think are tells. Um, the the one who uh, sort of uh, E, I think we've been calling her sort of ba our back row right. Uh, she had previously been spending a lot of her time uh, scanning the crowd with the, you know, with her eyes, and she's mm. wearing a mask, so you can't really see a lot of her face. Uh, she spent a lot more time looking at Amber, and then eventually she just stopped looking at Amber and was just tracking Camille. Wow! And a lot of them did. Yeah. And well, it was so for a while there, Camille had Camille had the jury on a string. Um, she had a question, and they were bouncing their heads back and forth. Yeah. She had a really good rhythm set up. And Elaine, to her credit, Elaine did a great job of cutting that flow, like stop it in its tracks. That big, uh, that big interruption where they go up and they bring the documents up and they have that uh, sidebar and then they come back and she's like, oh, uh, we need a second round of that. Um, mm -hmm. That sort of broke that spell, but it didn't break their interest. 
So it uh, it was effective. I will give Elaine that. She certainly uh, accomplished what she needed to in that moment. She didn't win that objection, but she won that objection because the point wasn't necessary. I don't think she thought she could actually keep that out, but uh, she she scored. Uh, she scored a victory on that just because of the, the breaking the flow. Uh, the jury was way on board and just spellbound for that moment. So that uh, that ending was to Hurd's credit. Um, okay. After the trial ended, or after you know things wrapped, Amber bolted for the door. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I have seen deer run from gunshots slower than that. <laughs> so, I, you know, seriously. By the time we stood up, by the time we stood up, you see the door closing behind. Yeah. If it was a cartoon, there'd just be like the little outline of her slowly yeah, fading in a dust cloud. I, I bet she's got to go through that tomorrow. I, I bet for the first time in this trial, she cried actual tears in that moment as soon as she was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Spidey goes through the other. Where's our. Yeah, Spidey, how did you like her chin game? Listen, it was better. I think, I, I think she caught wind of my, my video somewhere because it, was, it wasn't as. Like this from last week, like the thing, you know, it was still there, but like she's getting better at it. Well, if she recognizes oh, Rob, she recognizes you, Spidey. Fake it till yeah, you make it, baby. Sure. She's or, learning. Or, or I think, uh, so yeah, ob- objection, speculation. But uh, I, I think, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Or, you know, like it's so hard to keep up this act for that long, especially because she's been doing it for days. And in comes Camille just yeah. blasting away at her. Like it's so, it's so straining on your brain. And it's exhausting to think of everything you said. Oh. And what can I say? Oh, they have documents oh. of this. They have... It's so hard. So this is, this so is hard. Is this is kind of hard to, to clarify. So the jury, the jury was, they were, they were defensive of her. They were kind of on her side when Camille started in on Croft. There was a lot of people that were staring dead, dead center at Camille and, and kind of like would keep their eyes on Camille or keep their eyes on JD's table, even when they had a sidebar. Um, Amber Heard did not help herself during sidebars. She was staring down the jury and juror number or juror D that we call was staring yep. straight back at her. It was weird. It was creepy. Well, and later she was just sort of panning the jury, trying to find a sympathetic face and nobody was meeting her gaze. And that's when she started. Ooh. And yeah, she started panning and you could see her stop at us and like, there was she a, made some weird facial expressions. There was it a was, weird smirk that wasn't really a smirk. Yeah, it was it was creepy. Like I, you, you I did wanna... not feel seduced, Ian. No, <laughs> no. Okay. I, I gotta make sure. I gotta find the sure. place on the video where she actually did kind of see. The first time that she looked at me, she did one of the eye touchy thingies. After she saw me, and it was I. I don't know. It's creepy. We were directly in her line of sight, which was not comfortable. Yeah, we're gonna have to track that down and figure out what that was because uh, it it was weird. I'm curious, wow. being so in the courtroom, I just wanted to ask, what was like, yeah. uh, being there live, what was the most, uh, was, was there one moment that was the most surprising to you or the most interesting in court today? Um, I mean, the thunder and Juror H finally cracked a smile. Yeah, Juror H has been like stone-faced, real really? small expressions, right? Um, but Amber's testifying, she's, you know, she's answering questions. And there's this crack of thunder, and she gets this, like, Juror H gets this big smile on her face, and it lasts for about a half second. Like, it's a big, like, about-to-laugh smile. And then she she clamps it down again. She's like, oh, uh, yeah. I can't be seen doing that. Wait, wait it was the thunder that made her laugh? Vasquez, Vasquez was crying. Like, she was, she was that stressed, like, after yeah. the trial. Um, after, I don't know if the stream was still running, if you guys could still see it, but Afterwards, a bunch of people were, were approaching the bar to just congratulate her on the cross, and she started like welling up and tearing up. Like, you yeah. see that she was uh, so rest going into that. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. I got up there, I told her I thought she did a fantastic job, and she was clearly emotional. And to be fair, yes. that's that's the moment of a lifetime, right? And yes. the, she was she came in really smooth. There were a lot of moments where, you know, Amber starts trying to disrupt her and she's just like, oh, well, let me transition pretty seamlessly to 
you know, taking that apart. Does anyone, like, does anyone Ooh. know, does anyone on the panel know if there's anybody getting the dailies, the transcripts? Uh, so, uh, so what's his name? I think Nick Wallace, I think was trying to get them on a daily basis. He was, a. Uh, I think, I think he's been, he's been working on that. Um, oh. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know if he's been able to get them. Um, but he, um, a couple things. Number one, I think we should start calling her Camille, goddess of thunder. Um, and I want to see <laughs> memes of her as female Thor. Um, so please, guys, if you, people in the chat, please get on that. I would love to see that. <laughs> number two, lightning, here's, lightning bolts in her eyes. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, and number two, um, there's a there's a super chat here. Can you ask him what Elaine said? There was a there was a moment I can't remember exactly what the exchange was, right. but there was a moment where where we couldn't hear what Elaine said because of the yeah. And Camille said, "I think it's really inappropriate" or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't hear it either. Oh, no, I could hear it. Oh shit. Uh, what was the subject matter again? The segment matter. The subject matter. They're doing charities. Oh it's yeah. About the she Elaine, Elaine was objecting and saying that it was re it, you know she already testified that it oh was shit I just ran out of battery <laughs> we love you uh, and then they died uh, oh no well, he meant that well, quite literally it seems yeah I think so <laughs> Catherine Smith thank you so much for your very very generous super chat I really appreciate it can we get <laughs> boo did not poo trending I would love that um, and also uh, Lori Leaney, thank you so much for a very generous super chat as well. James is the man that was in line all night with Rob, Ian and Larry last night who was helping out. Please add him to Twitter. He needs the boost. Jimothy online. Everybody go check him out. He did a great job on court reporting. Thanks, Ian and Runkle or Ian Runkle. Sorry, hey everyone. <laughs> I got I got to get going, but I'm going to do a deep dive of some of those denials. There was just so, I was too excited to really do my job here. I was just like I was just freaking out. But I'm going to do in a, a deep full dive. Kermit uh, wave there an occasion during the trial. I yeah. saw that. Oh. I was like one of those inflatable <laughs> car dealers. Um, anyway, super excited. And and Alika, I want to congratulate you for being the first YouTuber who got 100% donations from all commenters. Because they all pledged, so that's a one hundred percent donation. They all yes. pledged. I'm you I'm expecting like billions of dollars at this point. They've all pledged. <laughs> don't, don't, expect it. don't expect it. It's just, it's just pledged. It's, but, I already but, have it. Uh, I already yeah, have it. Because it's super chat. Just yeah, put in the chat yeah. your pledge. That's totally fine. It counts one hundred percent. And this one, this one, this is this is a little bit on par. Peter says, to, just to be clear, pledges are a thing. Nonprofits yes. do not want large yes. single donations yeah. Yeah. because yes. they make yeah. maintaining consistent yeah. budgets difficult. Nonprofits, whilst for yep. payments over time, also Amber is going down. <laughs> Recurring revenue. Is Thank you, Peter. Very generous with you. The 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 are are yeah. If that yeah. was the case, she would have explained her payment plan. If that was the case, she would have explained her payment plan. She wouldn't have said, I pledged, I pledged, I pledged. I pledged. She would have said, I pledged this much, and the plan was to pay it over this amount of time, and here's how much and I And this is how it how worked out. Just, yeah. She said it had. It was deadline free. <laughs> they didn't have, yeah, I didn't have to do it because I, technically she didn't, right? So I already yeah. did it. Not to mention the, the follow-up question is, all right, if Elon donates a million, are, you're just planning on keeping a million, right? Right. Right. This this note here makes me feel much better about my law school choices. Camille went to tier three, tier four law school. It's like, yeah, that's about the same as me, and she's absolutely crushing it. I have so, It goes to show the U.S. Watching. News World yeah. Report rankings really don't mean it's that much. Bullshit. It's bullshit. Uh, some of the just, smartest lawyers I've ever worked with have been tier three or tier four, and some of the dumbest have been T fourteen. So get in there, yeah, yeah. study. Myself included. Yeah. No, just kidding. <laughs> I was going to leave that for later, Alita. Uh, <laughs> get in there, do your work, and you'll find your way. Camille killed it. And if she's tier three, tier four, so can you. Yes. Nothing to joke. Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't absolutely. know if you can too, because Camille is, she's she's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean. we have, we're, okay. So the baby lawyers, we're telling them they can dream big. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure my well, but we I'm not even sure in my dreams I'm this good. You know, I, she she's it. just crushing it. Well, you know what? It, it, that comes with a lot of practice. She has had yes. plenty of experience with this, um, and, well, and she's. But yeah, on with, this with level, on this level, no, though, because that's well, why she was so emotional that. about it. Because she knows that she was like this. The world, the world's eyes, eyes were on. Well, her, you can have a lot disappoint. of experience, and and that this is even with a lot of experience. This is a high pressure cross examination. Oh yeah, she is the one. Like exactly. she is, she is the Clayton Kershaw of the Dodgers in the World Series, and it's like it's like you know game game seven, and you know, and it, it's it it really all depends on like how she performs, right? And it's like. 
he could be great all season, but when it comes to the World Series, you don't want him to choke, you know? Yeah. Alina, you realize like you, only you would use a Dodgers reference, like seriously, like a very I know. And I, and I specific realize, Dodgers reference. It's funny I because like I think Camille's got a better average right now than Kershaw does in game winning situations. Camille, I know, but I, but I love I love him. I, I have a lot of love for, for Clayton Kershaw. If if he's watching or anyone that knows him is watching, let him know he's wonderful oh, and I want to be friends. <laughs> okay. All I'm saying is Kershaw's lost some playoff games. Camille is currently killing it. She's absolutely <laughs> killing it. She's Very absolutely fun. killing it. Guys, I've got to run, but uh See, Andrew. Listen, I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow for sure. Um, I'm doing a Nobody show on my channel. tomorrow. Um, and tomorrow's <laughs> gonna be amazing. So I'll be back. Thank you guys for having me. It's been great, and I'll catch you guys later. Yep. See you, Andrew. Um yes, today was absolutely Today is what we've been waiting for. I mean, we did yeah. this. I sort of got suckered in. I got suckered in by that first good witness. And then we're going along. And then you have to hear all this stuff. And you fr- you're like, could somebody please do a good job? We're like, the material's here. Could somebody handle this? Yeah, do a good job. That's and what we want to see did. from both sides. She did. There was so much to cross run, but she did a fantastic job with it. Yeah. And it's yes. not easy to do. No. It, 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 yes. Uh, uh, yes. I mean, just as an example, like we have seen many cross examinations in this yep. trial before this point. And just remember like how many of them have been bungled in various ways. That is so easy to do. So, I, so, so easy. To I do. think this was hoax point, but I, I think the best aspect of her performance might be her tone control. Cause no, I, I'm thinking about it. Like her ability to use the right tone to maintain control is just legendary. Like, mm. Some of it's what just, she's doing are definitely ideas that I had played with, but I don't. I don't think I can do that tone control because, like, when she gets when she gets an evasive answer, she's just like, "That's not my question," and she just has. A, she doesn't get flustered. She's like the exact opposite of Link. She doesn't get flustered. She doesn't get mad. She doesn't get angry. She stays very, very calm, and man. it's 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 brilliant. And, and she's got uh, this little sing songy. I don't yeah. know mean girls looking thing where she asks the question to Amber in this kind of, I'm so sweet. Why can't you answer my question? Amber tone. And it drove Amber up the freaking wall, like three separate times. Yeah. And she, and she picks it out. Cause she, then the next question is back to, I'm, you know, the ice man. And it's, I, we, we knew she could do this from her objections, from placing those non-responsives like out into the ether. Uh, and I, that to me is the real gift. The other gift I would say is she was transitioning and she was listening to the answer and she was bouncing into other portions of her cross X while she had it hot and then going back. And then I think you said Alita, she did exactly the right thing. She would just let the lie or what seems like a lie sit there. No commentary, no follow-up question. If that's your answer that you're going to die on that Hill next topic. And it's like, Oh, that does, that feels bad. For Amber when she's yes. just like okay you're gonna go with that fine let's do the next one <laughs> all of it was effective but I I was absolutely shocked mostly by the by Hurd's team and this might get down to her not cooperating with him again but you know you're gonna eat it and you you promised to pay seven million dollars but you didn't you know yeah. it's coming yeah mm-hmm. I'm having that conversation with my client they're in my conference room before this trial I'm saying you've got to eat this you got it. You cannot try to conflate pledge and paid. That is not going to work. That it was a an absolute disaster for her. Destroyed her credibility. And then she and then she basically said, No, I didn't pay it. In the yeah, end. No, don't it gave fall on your sword. I meant to. I meant to. I thought when I said these things, yeah. that was gonna have happened by then. I meant to. I got ahead of myself, as I often do when I'm yeah. thinking about acts of generosity. I apologize to the court. And, and beg of it forgiveness. That's exactly. I would have prepped her just. I would have given her just the response you're doing and fed it to her. Here's what. Here's how you're going to handle this. You know what's coming. Mm-hmm. Oh, but they, they I think I think Amber's not listening. I think Amber is a bad client. Every uh, every too. lawyer yeah, on the face bad, of the earth has had a client, client that is not listening to you. Oh, I've had, yeah. I've had clients flip me and on the stand and 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 just go up there and say things that I didn't tell them to say, and you're like. I, there's nothing I can do for you now. You're and you're just swinging. Like, okay. <laughs> oh yes. Um, incredible. That was, highlight, incredible. That was the highlight of the trial so far, if you ask me. Yep. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yep. 
Yep. That, was a, that was a summer blockbuster, honestly. And this that's has been what, a hell of a trial, so that's saying something. That's what people expect when they tune in to begin with. And then we have to say, okay, this is real lawyers right. working real careers. This You're not going to get you know, perfect cross section. You're not going to get perfect direct. It smoothly transitions. And then the exhibits pop up exactly when they need to. And there's a music swell and thunder hits when a clear lie has been yeah. said. Right, right. That doesn't happen in real life. And then it happens in real life. Or, you know, or, what do we or know? us. We're exactly the exact opposite of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel like, you know, we set the bar so high for expectations for Camille and she's, she somehow managed to rise above the expectations. Come on. It's it like, home run. wow. It was home run. Yeah, no. And I was, I was wary of that too. Right. Cause last time it was Denison and Hughes uh, where, you know, and that didn't, that was not a, a vociferous cross examination. Right. And then we think, okay, Camille's going to softball this for two hours. Cause we're thinking we got now a day and a half across X. I think she finishes tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I think she, oh, yeah. she just keeps the surgical strikes. Boom, 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 boom. Drops the mic. Go rehabilitate that, Elaine. That's, I mean, like that's, that's what's going to happen. That's the ideal. That's the ideal. Well, and the fact that huh? she's able to do that is is truly unbelievable. Because I, I we talked about this before. We like talked about it last week as well. Where you know that the what the ideal is, you want to be quick in out like, and there's like so much material, and we're like, how is she going to be able to do this? And she's doing it. It's so like, how's she doing it? It's so effective because you're like, I can't do well, it. that happened so quick. Like, it, it, the, the effect of it is you don't even need to listen to her, right? This is uh -huh. so obviously wrong. Boom, 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 boom. Don't even think yeah. about it twice. Just return yeah. your verdict. We're done here. The other thing that was amazing bit. today, and we haven't had this. I've been here for most. I've missed like one or two days total, whatever. I had a trial one day and one day, one day I didn't get the link because we didn't get it together, which is what we faced with Twitter. Anyway, um, I cannot believe that those maniacs stood in line from nine o'clock. And it's like, it's not just like in your room. These are like, the, you know, these are our people here. And we get the inside scoop. That is amazing. Skipping work days, staying out overnight. Guys, if you haven't, go subscribe to Law and Lumber. Go subscribe to Runkle of the Bailey. Absolutely. I say here that Alita's doing work for you, and she is. She's killing herself. Ian and Rob just killed themselves and are yes. signing up to do it again. Yes. So please they are go linked like in the description subscribe. below. They the... so deserve it. Um, Absolutely. 100%. Go do that. They're, they're, the UI guy as well. Putting out yeah. so much work. Yeah, it was so fascinating to get their direct perspective. And it's not just any random director, but like attorneys that we've talked to that we know are smart. I'm so happy they got to go jurors. today. I'm so happy they were there for the start of Cross. I can't even tell you. I mean, and I'm yeah. a little concerned if any, that if anything was going to make it worth it, man, that made it worth it. Yeah. Yes. I, I, you know, I'm a little concerned that apparently if Ian was talking to Camille, that means that Rob was within like five feet of her. And I'm just not sure about the restraining order situation there. But <laughs> how, outside of that. How did Rob handle himself is what I want to know. It's like, I, yes, I want, he, the, I want the honest to, like, report. Total fan girl. hands to himself? Like, <laughs> did he go in for a hug? Like, what happened there? <laughs> he, he can't speak. He's just like, I, 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 yeah, no. I, yeah, it's, and Was I, he like, I, I love you should that check tidbit. out my video about breaking beds. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, his, that's his new line. Hey, Camille, I've got some thoughts on bread, bed breaking. What do you think? Yeah. Um, no, I was, no. I was so happy to get that tidbit of her welling up with emotion because I know that feeling. Of, of being so stressed for whatever you're going to do and then doing it and then just being satisfied. Well, that uh, makes, that, that makes me think even more so that she's near the end of cross two things. One, if she has the, the emotional thing, of, of course you would a little bit, but I think she thinks she's, she feels like she's near the end of cross and that's why she would let loose a little bit. Number one, number two, they, the lie about the donations is big. That's so sort big. of a safe to the end kind of a cross thing and i think they just sort of thinned down what they wanted to cross most and hit it which i think is yes. far and away the best approach yes well they skipped a yes. bunch of things because i was i was yes. going to make note of it like they go right through the rush of flight they don't ask about stewardesses they they, they they hit the things that they know they can photo and like no medical record here's a photo yep. here's a photo here's a photo they hit the big stuff and they don't throw spaghetti at the wall and yes. i yeah. really like that because all, because you know what? all those photos were devastating all of absolutely. them absolutely Absolutely. And the thing is, too, is that like, so the things that they didn't touch on, the, the signal that they sent to the jury is those don't matter. We don't need who to. cares. Who cares about those little Obvious. those little teeny tiny bitty things that that we could have gotten tripped up on? Who cares about those? These are the important ones here. Like, oh. like, why would why would anybody spend any amount of time talking about those when these right here in front of you are ginormous issues? 
Because and, by and the like, time we yeah. arrive in May of 2016, you should see that there's absolutely no reason to believe anything she's ever said to uh -huh. you. And that's it's it's all yes. that. We asked we asked how Camille would handle this. She said, let's start at the beginning. Yes. <laughs> and let's run yes. the timeline. Yes. Well, and yes. they did do a nice job framing with what and you know that that Johnny's the uh, that she's an abuser to Johnny. And that that's, that sort of laid a nice foundation for the whole thing too, which is true. And of course, she didn't she didn't agree to it anyway. And that's when I was first impressed with her. She's like, you don't you don't have to. Of course, the witness isn't going to agree with you. Yeah, she didn't. I want just that want to say up. this stuff. Yeah, exactly. just let her it let her yap away. Everyone knows you're right. They heard everybody else. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Taser Nissen. So funds don't get locked when when you get sued. Um, you know. Yeah. You work out a deal with a retainer with with some with a law firm or or something. You work something out with them to to be paying them on a regular basis for their for their services. But you know she, she's even, pledged to pay her still, lawyers, which means she's already donated the money. Yeah, she's already paid them, right? Paid. Yeah. Paid and also she said that she'd pay them. Also, yeah. breathing in spirit. Thank you so much for this very generous super chat. Uh, yes, as a victim, I believe she was abused. Childhood triggered by the disgust of mirrors in Johnny, but still, the truth is, she defamed him for profit. Yep. I would agree with that. I, I, I would agree I, with that. It's looking increasingly likely. I'm, I'm yeah. doing my best to remain devil's advocate, but it's after that. I. <laughs> Uh, uh, after God himself brought the thunder from the heavens and the rays of light come onto them from the angelic heavens, you're here, still doing devil's advocate? I am going to still do devil's advocate because I think it's an important role and I'm still uh -huh. going to play that role. Okay. But I will tell you that me personally, I, I'm becoming increasingly around to the fact that Johnny Depp is going to win this case. Yeah, I think so. Nice. Nice. And nice I did nice. not think so. No, it's such a hard legal case to make. But what, you, what you're what you able to do with this and what I think you're going to be able to continue to do is to, to say it, she's a fabulous and at bare minimum, you can't tell where the fabulism ends. And so mm -hmm. that goes to Johnny. Oh, so I, I have a request for a for a, an impersonation of Anna Dalve. There you go. Do you take wire transfers? <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. What her lawyers look like when she kept throwing them under the bus. <laughs> I promise impressions, folks. Yes. Yep. You got there, you there you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing, right? In terms of her modus operandi, anyone and anyone, everyone and everyone, anyone that she can find to throw under the bus gets thrown under the bus. Oh. It's her lawyers. It's her reps. It's her agents. The it's police. her nurses. It's her doctors. There's, oh. Oh, the it's doctor, the yeah. The, the, the doctor, no, the, the, that was legitimate. She said, oh, she, I'm a well-nourished male, whatever. Yeah, I, let me tell you, this happens all the time when you have everything else right. But, like, it's it's irritating. But it, but they, they do a lot of records and everything. No, but, it's, it's yeah, she threw, she threw her doctor under the bus, the nurse, everybody, everybody, literally everybody. Everyone's the only person she me. likes is the guy who died, the security guard who died. I bet she likes yeah. a lot because he can't, he can't back can't come back right. and tell the truth. <laughs> right, right. So she can ascribe any statement to him she wants, and and he can't come back and say, "No, I didn't say that." So, so he's like the king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Indeed. Exactly. Exactly. So, okay, let me let me get to, let's let's go back up to the top uh, with some questions here from the. Uh, uh, from the super chat question pool here. Um, okay, I'll scroll up to the top. Don Lionheart says, Hogue, please wax poetic on the newly reviewed or revised, revised, review. Uh, reveal, yes, reveal. Yeah, reveal. So I, Thank you. I did tweet out on this, but uh, suffice it to say, it's a good thing that Sony says they're not competing with Xbox's Game Pass program with their PlayStation offering because it's not remotely competitive. That's my waxing pills. So. Mm -hmm. In all seriousness, what they revealed today, I, I tweeted out a picture of uh, uh, the Bluths going and looking at dead dove in their fridge and saying, I don't know what I expected. Uh, but <laughs> it was just very, very underwhelming. I appreciate that reference. I love Arrested Development so much. That's another that's another favorite for references. Having been on this long enough and been on Legal Bites long enough, I'm starting to speak in memes on more occasions than usual. So There you go. There you go. Um, Akisu Emi says, Alita, I saw and loved your video on court attire. What are your opinions on Amber's choices today? Love the coverage as usual. Thanks to you all. So I, I believe it's linked in the description below the, the courtroom attire and you know, what, what to wear and not wear and what folks have been wearing in this trial, including Amber Heard. And I say, I absolutely hate what she's wearing today. 
I hate. I don't know why she went for a Dr. Evil, Chairman Mao, Kim Jong-un kind of look, but it looks terrible. She looks like an evil dictator. And she looks yeah. like she wants to go for yes. $100 million. <laughs> yes, she looks evil. I don't know. I don't know why she doesn't get it. I, 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 yeah, I don't understand either. Um, okay, Hoke, I love these Lord Voldemort O'Neinstein. Hoke, have you played Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is a sequel, pseudo sequel to Gearbox's famous Borderlands franchise that takes place in a Dungeons and Dragons environment. Uh, and Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is probably the best of the Borderlands games. Fantastic. I highly recommend picking it up. And later on, if you want to DM me, we can share Xbox codes and uh, I'll, I'll join your crew. He is nice. not kidding with this stuff. Nice. American B. Savage says, Hoag, why isn't there a Days Gone sequel? <laughs> Days Gone, which is a pseudo sequel to the Siphon Filter franchise done by Ben Studios, obviously in Oregon, one of my favorite studios in the PlayStation brand, got told that they would not be allowed to make a sequel because Jim Ryan at Sony is a jackass. There won't be a sequel. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect, hey, Joe. Joe. No, tell, we're, we're, we're tell us about, tell us about the about the 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 goddess of thunder, Camille, and her amazing cross examination. Hey, tell us your opinions now that I've led the the I've just basically paved the runway for you to I'm bring a, in the fire. I'm a horse because I was screaming, medic, medic, medic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody they comes on here with this. They had to wheel a yeah. gurney in there. To just and just sort of scoop blobs of of Amber yeah. Heard onto this onto this gurney and then wheel her to a hospital. But I'm sure that some ice and a little a little Arnica <laughs> cream will fix it all up for tomorrow and she'll be fine. But that is a worse beating than I've ever I've ever I'm sure Amber has ever taken in her life. That ever. was epic. Oh my God! From start to finish, first of all, the one thing you know, I I I was asking everyone yesterday, what do you open with? And the interesting, it was very interesting. The very first thing, when she comes out of the gate with, is Johnny can't even stand to look at you. You're sitting here with your little puppy eyes about your abuser, and oh, I would never want to hurt Johnny. Oh, I fell asleep by the door because I was worried that he would get asphyxiated, falling asleep in a bowl of his own vomit. And 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 you're so so deeply in love with your guy who is so abusive that he almost killed you multiple times, almost killed you multiple times. And Johnny looks at you and he's sick to his stomach because you disgust him. You are a disgusting human being, but without saying you're a disgusting human being, which makes it way better, a million right. times better. Yep. Because if you if you say you're a disgusting human being. If if, he, if she says that you're then you vile, the then I'm then I'm being a bitch. It's, it's the point is, and the reason that's so so important is the one person, one person who I've spoken to in the last three weeks, who as of yesterday still thinks Johnny is a monster, and and Amber is completely right, and she was beaten. He, he says to me, he said to me over and over again, I cannot get over the fact that as she's on the stand, he can't, he's so embarrassed, he can't even stand to look at her. And you don't know the backstory that he actually said to her, you will never meet my gaze again. That's, and that he's, he's so, he's so, he has such conviction about it that he's like, no, I am not looking up because she's gonna be looking at me and I don't want her to see my eyes ever again. And that sort of wipes away. And she, she gave a pretty good answer to that. She's like, well, he can't, he, you know, he's embarrassed, too embarrassed to look at me, but still, at least it gives us an understanding why does this entire time his head has been down? Not to think that he's broken or there's anything wrong with it, but that with where he's coming from, but that he can't stomach to look at her. Then you, then he followed up with the whole questioning of the, the audio showing that hey she you want it this, this is an abusive relationship but it's clear from the audio she's the abuser and if you have any questions about that let the jury mull that over and I hear this video this audio where she's saying you're too little of a man you know it, it, it would hurt your man card your man pride for you to come out there and admit that you're a victim so you never will no jury tell it to the world jury J tell it to the world J johnny just tell it to the world i know you won't and and that way, and he, and he says, I am. And here it is. He's coming out and he's saying, I'm a victim to the world. Then they go item by item. And they didn't, I was a little disappointed that she didn't nail that thing that she kept talking about, rings, rings, rings. And she never nailed down that there's not a single scratch on your face. How can you get pummeled over and over again, punch in the face, punch in the face, not one scratch, like a scratch from a ring. But I think I think enough of an inference was made there. That I the think jury, they got the point. I yeah, got, yeah, I got the point. Yeah, I yeah. think that the, that the jury would say, how the hell is it not one scratch from all these punches that she that she's allegedly took? And the lack of medical records and the broken nose stuff. Oh, my God, that was so great. When she's going on about the, uh, you know, you know, so you have, you have a broken nose over here, right? Okay, okay. I was, it's like in the back, I'm, I'm sure every woman in America who was watching that was thinking, God, you know, I, maybe I need Johnny to like, you know, beat my back. So I, my back could look that good. That was, I mean, it's, it was just, it was, and the finish, the finish. Wow. Wow. 
I did not imagine that the seven million dollar to finish today, where you're it's not just that, like proving that she's screaming, Johnny, no, it's not fair to the kids, it's not fair to ACLU. So you hold back the money. If you're gonna do that money, you gotta pay double and you gotta pay boom, one payment right away. And then she's and she's standing there saying, Well, I would have paid, but it's all Johnny's fault. It's all Johnny's fault. I didn't pay everything all day today. Was it's all Johnny's fault. If you have a flat tire, it's probably Johnny Depp's fault. If I have, <laughs> if I'm horse right now, it's because of Johnny Depp. And and if I lose connection, it's because of Johnny Depp. Everything in the world that ever happened, I'm sure he was together with bin Laden planning 9 11. It's all Johnny Depp. So <laughs> <laughs> so, but but then she comes out and says the only reason I didn't pay is because of Johnny Depp and it's like whoa, 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 whoa. you had this money for a freaking year before you had a mm -hmm. year why didn't you pay during that year you're sitting here telling us that you didn't pay that money you can't afford it because of Johnny Depp well you had a year to pay before you even knew he was going to sue you what the hell are you talking about and then the piece de resistance is they come in there and they and she's and she lied under oath and the UK case and said, I donated that money. Oh my God. They get there to go up in closing and saying, this woman has no compunction with lying under oath. This is how much she hates Johnny Depp. This is how, this is, this is how that she doesn't care. She'll tell lies. She just wants to drag him under the mud. She's abusing him from the day they met. And she kept, kept abusing him, kept abusing him. Relationship ends, keep abusing him. And then when she's, when she's, and then she wants to play this, oh, I'm the perfect saint. I tell you, I don't want any money. I'm giving it all to the ACLU or I'm giving it all to the, to the children's hospital. It's all about the children. And, and, then, and then she grabbing the glory, grabbing the headlines. I don't want to be a victim. I just happen to be the queen of victim and the spokesman for victim abuse. I don't, I never want to be a victim, but I happen to be anointed to this. And it's not about the money, but I happen to have a bank account with $7 million in it. Well, I have an outstanding pledge and no reason not to pay it because I have, unless I'm Nostradamus, I know that he's going to sue me for something I'm going to say. There's no reason not to pay it. And then I'm going to go take it one step further, go to go on TV, say I donated the money, then go into court and fill out papers saying, I promise, I swear under oath, the same oath that she makes in this courtroom and says, oh yeah, I donated that money. Lies, lies, lies. You don't care about lying. You don't care about perjuring yourself. You don't care about the truth. All you care about is that you need to have your freaking anointed st status while you're dragging Johnny down since the freaking day you met him and try to drag him down and destroy his career any way you could and that's why his defamation suit is 50 million dollars and you need to pay him every single freaking penny i can't imagine why you're horse joe <laughs> uh, yeah I scared, off, I scared off mike while i was going on my rant there that was so <laughs> epic oh my god that uh, was yeah. so good and, Quite the day. and uh nurse liz also popped in just to uh and she just gave to, up to rem she's like i'm not well, gonna get a word no she, she she said in the private chat she just wanted to make sure that that we were that we were pushing the list again um so i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna make a make a tweet so you guys can can talk amongst yourselves but i'm gonna tweet out this uh this link to it it is also it is also pinned in this chat so that if anybody that is in the uh, in the DMV and is willing to spend a few hours in the middle of the night to let one of these guys get some rest. Um, that would be lovely, 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 especially if it's one of those earlier hours, like 7 PM to 10 PM, like, like that would be good. Or, you know, or, like you in know. 45 minutes. Oh, geez. Is that really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, well, anyhow, or actually, I mean, technically 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. is, is really when it starts, but like, uh, but you know, I, I got it. It's going to be tough. I mean, it's such a narrow slice, the audience. I think this is a great idea. I just, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's going to work for them. I don't know what they're going to do. I, they can't, they don't have a doctor to just call out for some knockout yum yum. Uh, yeah. so, uh, they're killing it for us. All I can say from my perch here is go subscribe to their channels because, they are, they are giving their life force for this stuff. Um, and uh, I know Nurse Liz is worried about that. But if you can, absolutely sign up. I, I just don't I, – I don't know if we can find 12 people in Fairfax, Virginia uh, to do that. Or if anyone's willing to to go longer it's than three ask. hours. It ask. is a big ask. Especially yeah, in the middle that. of the week. We get that. I totally understand that. Um, but, yeah. So you're tweeting it out, though? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, so yeah, Joe, while Alita tweets that out, yep. you had a few thoughts on this today, huh? So you think Camille did a good job? That that was like um and there are millions of people watching this and and every one of them who's a lawyer wants to make me a partner in their firm now. <laughs> That's what yeah, that no, was. she's I honestly, yes. man, that was the kind of fame inducing thing that says you don't have to be a lawyer anymore. What do you yeah. want to do? Yeah, you want to be a politician? <laughs> you want to be a politician? Well, you, you, wanna, like you, want, you want a talk show? 
What, what, what do you want to do, Camille Vasquez? And, uh, and the she's world the beauty, is your And she's the beauty of doing that cross against someone who's the most reviled person in America today. So it's like she has that benefit also. That it's not like people were like, oh my God, I hate this woman for killing for killing Amber because everyone wants to kill Amber. And right, she, she just came did it right in on Australia. I didn't know how she was going to handle Australia. She came right in on it um, and, and handled it well, I thought. I, yes, with zero moved. opportunity for her to repair her inconsistencies. That's what, yeah. That was great. That was great what she did there. Yeah, every choice she made, I think, was the right one. Um, mm -hmm. And that's rare. We because we forgive mistakes. Everybody's a human being, and and Camille will probably make some kind of mistakes that we'll talk about tomorrow. Uh, but for two hours, I can't imagine it going better for Team Depp and their council uh, than what we just saw. At least yeah. they can take some solace in the idea that her opening left a lot to be desired. So she's not perfect in every possible domain. So there's something there somewhere. But on cross exact cross X and 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 uh, the objection, she's been. Great. Well, they got pre the jury doesn't even know they've got sleeping Godzilla and Ben Chu waiting Shit, for closing dude. statements. So, I mean, it's let me hear you, let me you closing at this point. She, I think they're Whatever. both going to do closing. I think they're they're going to do opening statements. Yeah, they're going to split it up again. I think mm -hmm. it would be. I think I think that would be effective. It it worked in the in the beginning for the openings. So so why maybe, not? Maybe her close will be better than her open. We'll see. Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. I, I I think that she she probably was relying on those notes out in the open because she was maybe nervous about forgetting or something like that. But uh, I think that she probably has had enough time in front of this jury over the last it'll have been seven weeks by that point. Um, and especially after this cross examination performance, like, hmm, I'll have to go back to the tape, but I thought her opening was fine. Um, it was fine. It just it just having her notes out in the open while choosing to not stand at the podium was a was, I think, just a. Generally speaking, you don't you don't want to do that. Not a great choice, but you know, overall, she was an attack dog, and she came yeah. came across well in that respect. Hmm. So, so yeah. Um, anyhow, let's let's get some more, some more ask, questions. And the cellular gods killed our connection when we asked, so we might just not be entitled to know. Well, yes. The inappropriate. So the inappropriate comment there that was when she was um, when she was trying to help out with the whole pledge donation issue right that she said that's inappropriate well camille tells elaine camille tells the judge that whatever elaine used as her objection form was inappropriate but elaine as we found all afternoon was not using the microphone um so we didn't get to hear it six million dollars six million dollars that's Seven. what she no but no 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 she got cut off when she started saying that that's the reason she couldn't afford to pay to pay her pledges is because she had to spend six million dollars on defending this lawsuit. Six it that sounded like what she was million about to say. Yeah. dollars. You could buy a bionic man for that, and she decided to spend it on Elaine, on freaking Elaine, Elaine, who when she hears objection speculation responds with, "It's admitted. It's, it's not. It's not being admitted for, to prove the truth of the matter." What is like? This is like a first year. If you were a moot court, you'd be thrown this off. This is not a hearsay objection, Your Honor. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> did you walk your audience? I felt through? like she was listening to me because I was like, "This is like, why is she responding with with a hearsay defense?" Did you walk like, your this... audience through what happened? What was happening there? Because if no. not, they, they need to understand that when it comes to hearsay, hearsay is only hearsay if it if you I'm saying words, and the purpose is that you should believe these words that uh, these words that I heard from someone else are true. That's what makes it hearsay. So an exception to hearsay is, well, I'm telling you these words, but you don't need to believe that they're, they, these words are actually true in order for this to be relevant. So that becomes an exception to hearsay, as opposed to speculation, which means the witness can only testify about what they know, not guess. They're not allowed to guess. So when you say objection speculation, and, you, and the response, there's no such thing as a response of, it's not for the truth of the matter asserted. It's got nothing to do with speculation. It's, in fact, when you're speculating, you're not true. Uh, you're not really testifying about the truth of any matter because you don't know what the truth is. You're just speculating. It's got nothing to do with it. And a first year law student knows this. Anyone on moot court knows this. And this six million dollar woman is sitting here making embarrassing explanation that probably made Rob laugh. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't hear them like laughing at her. Ex I don't know from the truth. It's What's interesting so bad. from Rob and Ian was that we did hear from them that the gallery had a full gasp, and we did not hear the judge admonished the gallery during that portion of the testimony. Mm -hmm. So that, that was, that's an interesting beat there. If there was a full room gasp. Hmm. Yep. Sounds about right. All right. Let's get, uh, let's get some more of these questions here from the top. 
Okay. Jonathan Lev says, Hey team, what if any of Amber, what if any, I love it, of Amber Heard's potential witnesses <laughs> could be the most damaging to JD's case, or at least may potentially shift the narrative of her potential witnesses that are left. I think Whitney could possibly because of the stairs. She was, she was supposedly there for the stairs incident. So, you know, she could testify to what Amber is saying happened, whether or not that's, whether or not the jury buys it is another question, but that I think that is the most potentially damaging because of the fact that this is finally a third person to yes. to testify to objective facts in one of these incidents. Literally any third party that is willing to corroborate any aspect of this would be useful. That, that would be great. Tactically, yeah. did, just a little bit of a side here. Tactically, did you think it was a mistake for her to dress like Dr. Evil while suing, <laughs> while suing yes. for $100 million? <laughs> $100 million. Yeah, I've, I've made that impression so many times. Oh um, this is why, like, in, in this live stream, I've started to make a name for myself with my my impressions. Joe, yes. you've missed it. You have oh, missed it. Uh, but don't worry. They'll, they'll, they'll keep coming. Part of the evolution of Alita into, like, this, like, <laughs> the crazy content creator. This is, this is, like, me finally letting my hair down two mm -hmm. years into, you know, being on YouTube. Um, <laughs> uh, but we got, some, we got some Kristen Wiig impressions. We got some oh. Dr. Evil impressions. We got some Anna Dalve impressions. Oh wow! Um, and uh, and yes, so we're we're having we're having fun here. That's but right. yes, Alina no. will be sending out her reel momentarily. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, plot twist in the uh, in the movie about this trial. I play Amber Heard. <laughs> Do you? Ooh, I like it. No, that I would like be it. that would be hilarious. I don't think I, I was like actually thinking that when they make a movie about this, that the best way to do because their stories are so divergent from each other, you need like Johnny's story and then Amber's story. And that Amber's story, I'm not sure I mentioned this to you, should be like they have basically everything out of sequence. Just she's wearing a nightgown, nightgown gets ripped off. Then you know, and then they they flash they flash around the room. It's back on. She's she's on the table. Then she's on the then she's on the ping pong table. Then she's on the counter. And then he, as he punches against the counter, she falls back against the wall. It's just everything crazy out of sequence. Continuity because, errors. Yes, for every days. continuity error you could possibly imagine, because that would be a perfect description of what her Australia story was. Oh my god! And by the way, a, attempted murder on the Orient Express. Did that come up before? Before today, when she's talking about the strangulation yeah. thing. They had that was referenced new it at some point, I thought. The story or, or was did new I just day. know about this? It, was this like outside of, of what came in? That this I feel like I would have remembered about. that story. Okay. Um, so Attempt, I feel like that murder on the Orient Express. Yeah, that was great. That was great. He's all beaten up somehow. And she's the one who almost died. No, it felt to me like they saw that photo on social media, which we did. That was circulating the last week. And that as indicating she wasn't hurt. And then they brought I'll in right that back. story. Sure. Right right back. Keep, keep the conversation going. Yeah, sure. We'll like, yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry. I have nothing to say now. No, no, she's yeah, gone now. I mean, I, I think nothing. we could just. Uh, yeah, I mean, quiet. this is we're bad at this, right? No, no. <laughs> I do think that story was new, um, and it and it has all the hallmarks of the rest of the stories that we've gotten. Um, really dramatic things, all from you know various movies and suspense thriller sets and things along those lines. Uh, and I, you just say, how can you corroborate this? Just anything, anything at all. Um, and there just doesn't appear yeah. to be any. We didn't see those evidence. photos. They exist. I have mountains of evidence. Mountains of evidence. Mountains of evidence. It. It's like the Himalayan mountains, and they're that far away. <laughs> the well, and what's really interesting about this case, right, and I said this while it was happening, is not only is it unusual for all the craziness, it's unusual because of the public nature of the parties here. So they actually can say, this is when you say there was a fight. Here's you with 16 paparazzi shots yep. on the red carpet. Yep. And then yep. they can do that like three times in a row. Uh, it's yep. just incredible. Great point. You, Great most point. people that would have to deal with something like this, especially They're most photographs so legitimate, they can't, there's nothing uh, in terms of that kind of thing. Uh, so it's, it's a very interesting set of affairs, not just because of all the craziness and zaniness of what's being said and not said in court, but because they are celebrities. Uh, it's not just an ancillary detail that's actually functional for what Johnny Depp's defense is here. And speaking of pictures, in my rant, I left out that whole attack as like, you know, you're saying I love Johnny. I'm doing everything with Johnny. And now you're taking pictures of him while he's sleeping with ice mm -hmm. cream dribbling down him. And, it, and then she tries to say, well, that's because I wanted to alert him to it. And now you're sending it to your friend. Well, that's because I needed to have I need to have support also. Everything is about Amber. Everything to Amber. Everything mm -hmm. is about Amber. And, and wow. even that doesn't play well. Can you imagine? 
Richard, if Mrs. Hogue took a picture like that of you with ice cream dribbling down and then sent it to her friends, like how would you? I mean, but that's how we get down. I mean, that's that's an entirely different show. I would be so, so pissed off, especially because he's a celebrity and you know that sort of thing. That's exactly the sort of thing that would go that would end up in the Acquirer. You know, no, and, absolutely. And how do you like Camille's? Uh, it, it, and is this how you protected Johnny? Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Like, wow. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying is that she was able to do snarkiness that in a different tone, in a different version would have been seen as too aggressive and probably sh should have earned an objection or two from some of the descriptions of she was using in her questioning. But with that tone control, she was able to present it as when she says, and this is how you protect Johnny. It's like, oh, snap, you're right. <laughs> this is your version of protecting him. Yeah. It's like exactly. Yeah, you make a good point, Camille. I'm interested in your in your Telegram. Let's uh, let's see what you got next. Yes, yes. I'm interested um, in your newsletter. Yeah. Did we? So did I went we with Telegram this? because I'm old. You see. Hmm. Did you guys by any chance answer the super chat before, like when I was gone or not? You think we, we did some work? No. no we I always miss some of the jury is stupid. What is Amber Heard <laughs> team strategy? Can anyone explain what they're doing with direct today? Seriously. So the direct I didn't think was that bad. I actually thought that today she was better than ever. I mean, she mm -hmm. she. She had more credibility, and she certainly seemed like she was. There definitely was coaching going on over the last week. Oh, and that, wasn't there? And and that they and that they basically said, okay, you're getting killed with you know, we're looking at TikTok here, and everyone's mocking your crying. So maybe a little less of that today. And she, dial and she it kept back. It yeah, she dialed she dialed it back, and it was more it was more effective. And, you I know, thought some you were of telling this, Joe to dial it back. <laughs> Everyone uh, like, never like that would ever work. Uh, I was just like, this is a very low level for Joe. He doesn't, he can't go below this. Yeah, seriously. Uh, seriously. Yeah, no, I thought, I thought direct was she, fine. They didn't. The audience order, doesn't right? realize I have my mic set to like one third the decibels of the rest of the chat. <laughs> well, so they just their direct their strategy was to go through the timeline, and the only big mistake I thought they made was in not realizing how agitated Amber Heard would get about her countersuit foundation. That made her so angry and like mm -hmm. lashing out at her own direct towards the end of her testimony. You realize, at least I, I thought, uh, at the end of that testimony, she's not ready for cross. She, she's not in the mental state you want to be in to hand it over to Camille Vasquez. So mm -hmm. I would have, if I had known that, and presumably you could figure that out prepping Amber Heard, mm -hmm. I would have moved that around somewhere. I think Natalie came on the, the video and said that should have been somewhere else uh, yeah. to, because... It's important, there. but it's not what you want to finish on. And certainly yeah. with that emotional state. Yeah. 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 Cause that's what, yeah. When she gets emotional, that's when you have the bad acting. It's when she's, it's, I, I like the fact that early on, as, as far as like you know, strategically that she actually pretends she has a cold where she's like looking down and like sniffing. So it sort of seems like maybe she's crying, maybe she has a cold, you know, and it's, it's more muted than like with the end there where she's like talking what was the, what was the final thing there? Where she was talking about the impact this had on her personally, and and mm -hmm. and oh and oh my god, that was such bad acting. That was so bad. It like earned like nine raspberries. She had a that couple was, of those. She had the things. Was, the things she had. What was it? It was like scare, scary, scary, scared. Was like one of her answers to how she felt about the situation. It's like what? That <laughs> your your script writer. The writers are on strike. It's a writer's strike right now. So she just went with the word. <laughs> <laughs> you, but I assume Lawn Lumber popped in here during lunch. He did. He did. Mm -hmm. right. he, did. So, he, he and Ian both did. So what's the takeaway with respect to with respect to the jury? What because I didn't I didn't on I direct heard... on direct they were not paying attention. There was one guy that literally had his head forward like it was resting on the chair in front of him, like just like absolutely zero, completely checked out. Um there was one guy that initially was taking notes. He stopped and just kind of started like staring off. Um, basically, like people were not not really paying attention on direct. And then as soon as cross examination came in, everyone woke up. They were like, it, like it, what what was it that Ian said? It was something along the lines of like like this was a horror movie for Amber Heard because the 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 dead came back to life in the yeah. jury. <laughs> Very evocative. Yeah. So there was yes. like they were doing the ping pong. They were doing the tennis match thing of, of looking back and forth between them. I assume. Yeah. Well, what they had some see. they had some tidbits where they said they stopped looking at one of them stopped looking at Amber and focused on Camille. Uh, really. One of them was just focusing on uh, Amber. It, you know, it's always difficult to tell bias and how even Ian and Rob might be reading into a jury, but they both reported that they thought that there wasn't note taking and that there was boredom during direct and that everybody was invested when Camille took the stage. Well, well, that's that's phenomenal.
That's yes. What a, what a great moment for an attorney to like basically be on the spot like that. Have so many have the whole world watching you and just knock it out of the park like that. Millions. Yeah, yeah. And contrast that to the six million dollar woman. Who, yeah, ahead. well, I, I don't know if you also heard, but like, I think it was Ian that just reported he got to go talk to Camille afterwards and she was very, very emotional. And I thought that was, as a lawyer, I'm not she in was trial, emotional. But I, I, yeah, she was emotional. I, I think she, she thought she did, she did what well, she did, needed to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she was, she was stressed about it, right? Who wouldn't be stressed about that? Right. Yeah. Um, and, and so great. Oh my God, you already have a Thor meme. Already have um, it. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? This is this is like <laughs> gorgeous. I think this is awesome. Um, she's now going to be in in Thor: Love and Thunder. <laughs> um, but I'm no, going to print is... it off and add it to my shrine. Oh, yeah. God, no, us. exactly. It's it's <laughs> it, this is this this is hopefully also on the on the Reddit page, the Legal Bites Reddit page, where tons of memes are are getting shared around. You have a very um, talented audience. Absolutely. Like this is really good Photoshop. This is way better than I could ever do. Um, but this is like, yeah, this is amazing. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I completely understand her getting emotional at the end of it. Like it kind of, Absolutely. for me, for me, it, it reminds me of like when I was, when I was in high school, I ran cross country. So it's a three mile, a three mile race. And for some reason, because of the exertion at the end of it, like most of the time, as soon as I would, I would cross the finish line, like I would just be so focused on the finish line that as soon as I crossed and I like, you know, stopped, I would like, like break down, and like start crying. Like, you know, I wasn't even like a top runner. I wasn't even like varsity, but it was just the amount of focus and the, and the exertion, you know, that's, that's over that period of time that like it, my, my body would just be like, okay, overwhelm. Like we're shutting off now. Like we can shut off here, and it, it can be very emotionally overwhelming. So I can totally see her getting emotional afterwards at, at the end of that. That's I can true. Vouch. I had, I had the same breakdown. I had the same breakdown when they, I was released from prison. Like it's like you hold strong the whole time, then you get out, and it's like you just the emotion drains out of you. So yeah, exactly. And I'm sure they're not running as fast as Alita, but I can tell you, I touched that line at a half marathon, and I damn near died. I mean, it's like <laughs> that's how it feels. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, next question is, Misty Clark says, if JD team can find pics of scars prior to AU, can they bring them in now? Thought I saw where she did have them prior. By the way, I'm going broke, JK. Don't go <laughs> um, broke. Yeah, don't, don't go broke with Super Chats, guys. I, I appreciate all the, all the love and, and everything. But um, but yeah, I, uh, uh, but I, I, I get that she's joking. <laughs> um, but JK. yes, yes, yes. JK, JK. Um, yeah, I feel like it's not going to come in because you have, you've had plenty of opportunity to find that stuff before. And if you suddenly find it, that's very suspect. If you've had many, many years to, to get that somehow. Um, yeah. Like the, like the, the Milani makeup palette is different because that's information that they wouldn't have necessarily been tipped off to. And is like suddenly gets like information gets released. So that's cool. something that that is like new information that I think could possibly be brought in, but something like like those photos of scars probably not, because they they should have had reason to know about it. I wonder. Before. I wonder if the Milani stuff's going to come in because I wonder if their strategy is not to skip everything that's remotely muddy and just hit the hit the grand slams and call it a day. I, I, yeah, I think that might be what they're doing, uh, and that does run a risk. There's a there's a risk there because. If, if she can somehow convince a juror that those are, you know, glass uh, injuries from Australia, if there's just a little bit of abuse, you could potentially get a sympathetic soul that, that runs the gambit in the jury room. Um, but they've, they've already in, what are they in 2015 right now? So, I mean, we don't know whether they're going to circle back or not. Yeah. Um, Ilya AV, if you could only ask one question from AAH in cross-examination, what would it be? What does it feel like to be cross-examined by Camille Vasquez, Amber? <laughs> I'm not I would, doing it myself. I would. I would say I, my my one question is: You have never had any medical records of 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 seeking treatment from any of these alleged incidents by Johnny Depp, have you? Hmm. That's that's the question that I would ask, because the, we know enough to know that that it's true. That 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 is that is a statement that you can back up. She um, when uh, what did you guys think of that whole? I gave the evidence, of medical records or whatever, photos to my lawyer, and you know that whole. It's always that someone whole else's thing. fault. Always throwing else's her fault. lawyers under the bus. 
Yes, the, of that, course. Again, someone else's fault. Yeah, it's so not it's, up to me. It's not up to talk, me whether you see these things. It is. We should talk strategically about that because because you saw Camille got frustrated and asked for a sidebar about that, and then she had to move on. And yeah, she was, lost. She lost, and I'm wondering, like, you know. When you go up to the judge on that and you're like, and you're freaking out because you're like, now the implication of that, of her response is the pictures are out there. The jury doesn't have them because you don't have a legitimate reason to get them. You don't have a legitimate right to them. That's why this is all legal machinations, which go over the heads of the jury. But the, the, the jury should know that the validate, the validation is out there. There's an amount of evidence that they haven't seen, mm -hmm. which is, which is really misleading the jury. And, mm -hmm. and that I thought there should be like a jury instruction that no, mm -hmm. this is crap. There's no such thing. And, and it never came. So, so the jury could have, if the jury was, you know, trusting her at all if they still are trusting at all they might think hey maybe there is a mountain of evidence that for one legal loophole or whatever we don't know why is somehow not here before us but maybe there is maybe maybe there is proof out there so i thought that's what camille was asking for right in the moment was go give him a jury instruction yeah right yeah yeah, and, yeah. And i'm wondering i'm wondering why that didn't happen i mean i think that that that's you know it's basically here's complete bs that's being thrown out by by amber and it's going unchecked. And this seems to happen over and over again. She gets away with it. She doesn't have to turn over her phone records. She doesn't have to turn over metadata. She can claim that she's giving records. It's like basically this whole mountain of evidence that she talks about that no one ever sees is for some reason she never gets called on it by the judge. And I'm, I'm very frustrated by the fact that the judge never seems to say anything to the jury to, to point out the, the, the um, sus way that... They are yeah, the rules of evidence, evidence exist for a reason, and you will mm -hmm. be entitled to see what passes muster under the rules of evidence in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Mm. It's just frust mm -hmm. it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John Hanna, thank you so much for this very generous super chat. It says, briefly toggled between y'all and court TV to catch up on old testimony I missed. Was quickly clear your commentary magnitudes better than their slow pitch talking heads. Back here 100%. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. That's uh, That's awesome. That's very, very... It's great. I, I love the fact that we have, we have earned your attention um, for this trial, and and I hope you keep coming back. Um, Ilya Av says, "If oh sorry, I already asked that one. Okay, so I've got I've got less than two hours before the the twelve hour cutoff, and I've got one hundred seventy super chats. Let's see, let's see if we can do some lightning round stuff. You guys want to help did me with just, that? Yes, I will. Did you just pin this to? Uh, did they go live with their stuff from the court, folks? Um, the what? The court folks, Ian and, and Rob, did they just go live? Is that what you just pinned? Uh, let me did see you here. pin I'm this? Is there someone else being legal bites? This is uh, this is this. My my editor also has has oh. access here. Okay, <laughs> Amber heard cross report from the court. Oh, so this is this is one of the clips from earlier. I literally thought it was you. No, okay, sorry, fantastic. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll stop uh, getting in the way. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Emily Mark says, question, the question, is there any way they could have corrected the timeline without discussing testimony over the break? Elaine and AH seem to be on the same page for those questions. I don't see that happening. They were too laser focused on that. Yes, yes it's very sus. Very uh, Don Hinton says, shown to the officers why they were there. Oh, the photos that were shown during their during yeah. their their deposition. Also, yeah. if you want to ask if you want to ask him if this is what you saw, if this is what you observed. Yeah. So like, and M, yeah. And did this mean anything to you or not? Like this one. Yeah. And M says, so basically she's presenting similar pictures under different angles, shades, and filters with no date certifying them, hoping that one sticks. Yes. What it looks yes. like. Sar Eskimo says, when filing a TRO, do you always have to go to a courthouse? I'd imagine as a victim, you'd want to try to hide it out of fear when you're famous. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to comment too much about what, what a victim of nope. TV would do. Nope. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm going to come out and say, and uh, I was talking to someone else about this, and I saw, and and that um, there's a California attorney who basically uh, who does handles um, this sort of situation, and he says it's unheard of for someone to show up to get a TRO like this, and that mm. the, which makes you think that the only the only reason she did this was for a photo op, and that's and then the only one who knew that she would be coming down there is someone that she would have told because even if Johnny knows that her attorneys are there, there's no reason for Johnny's attorneys to think that Amber is going to be there. So the only mm. one who know the only reason for TMZ to be there is because they know she's going to be there, and the only one right. who knew she was going to be there was her or her attorneys, not anyone from Team Johnny or anyone else in the public. So they were there, and then she was disappointed with the coverage that they gave her and basically crying how it's not fair that Johnny gets too much favorable press. 
but hmm. she showed up with a bruise that no one had seen the entire time. The police never saw. No one saw her during the days between or after, but only is there when she you know, magically on that one day and no swelling, but because that's harder, to, that's harder to do. But it's only showing there when she shows up at a place she sh normally should not be and happens to have press that happens to know that she's going to be there. Yeah. It's as sus yeah. as you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. Wildwoods Dreaming says, is it allowed for the attorney to coach during testimony? It seems like Elaine is doing it a lot. No, nope. nope. she's not allowed. Not allowed to do that at all. Wooter K says, what, if any, are the chances any of these pictures will convince a jury? And what would be the effect of her dramatic change in demeanor? Also, great that you guys are at it again. Love it. I love that you guys are here. I love that you're here, Wooter K. Um, and thank you very much for the super chat. So I don't think that these photos are doing much for anyone because uh, they don't really, the, 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 the things that they show don't seem to indicate a particularly violent attack, at least the way that with she the big rings it. and the punching so, and the su su such minor impact that one, on one of the photos, Camille's like, "So this is like after you got beaten up?" She's like, "Yeah." She's yeah. like, "Okay, next." Yeah, yeah. And the level of her emotional change, I think, is is it it could totally cause some some whiplash for a lot of people to be like, "Wait, she was super emotional when she was talking about all aspects of this, and now she's like very cold and distant, or like very calm about it." Like, I don't understand. Did she suddenly get over PTSD? Like, I don't get it. Danny Makes Things says, can jury find her NG due to mental illness? NG not yeah, guilty. Sure. Not guilty. Not guilty. Uh, so not liable. No. No. Yeah. They can't. It's not an issue. It's not. Yeah, it's not an issue uh, in terms of for, for purposes of liability. Uh, Sade AV says, are there any cases in which the defendants can avoid or are prohibited from cross-examination? Uh, they can. Uh, so we run out of time. Uh, the, the the attorney can choose not to cross-examine. The attorney that that is cross-examining can choose not to do that. But you can't. You can't as a as a witness. You can't say I don't want to be cross-examined. You have no choice in the matter. Um, but Troy, but uh, Buzz Buzz Troy. Sorry, Buzz Troy. Buzz Troy said, "Thank you so much for your very generous super chats. Thank you for all that you guys do. How easy is it to change the metadata on an image? Apparently, it's very easy. Folks yeah. are saying it's 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 incredibly easy. You just go into the information there and and whatnot." Um, ADC two zero zero three two nine nine six says, "From what I understand, the metadata problems screw her case. So why aren't they getting to it?" Maybe because they don't even necessarily need to. I mean, this cross examination yeah. has the, been fire the without meta, it. The metadata isn't really a problem anymore. I think well, also, yeah. she, she's not an expert on metadata. If anything, on re, on yeah. on rebuttal, they may bring in a metadata expert to talk Could about be. how sources. Yeah, I, that's also I true. Win, that that is the point. proper. What's the point? That's that's a proper way to do it. But uh, yeah, if you have time for it and and you have extra time, you know. But right now they're they're doing a a lot even without that argument. Zach Alina, Chris says this I, makes. Can yes. I jump oh. in and just mention that one of our court buddies is live and just went yes. live right now? Is that all right? Yes. Throw the okay. link in the chat. So I put a link can... in the chat already. I can put it in again. Ian Runkel, who was reporting, you saw him being driven around like by some chauffeur uh, earlier today, is now live yes. talking about his experiences. We're going to keep doing super chats here. Uh, but if you want more information about the jury, the court, what he saw, I think they're going to do some cross coverage with Rob together. I don't know what their plans are. Please do yeah. go check it out. Uh, because it's a you know it's a special circumstance where uh, we've actually got eyes in the courtroom. So yes, uh, I, I linked it in the chat. I will link it again. Uh, but yes, uh, stay here if you like. Go there if you like. We're cool either way. Lot to All right, I'm out. All right, see you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> see you, Joe. Uh, exactly. Zach Frisch says, "Question: This makes JD sound normal. Maybe it's just me, but him being mad about her friends potentially staying in his place and running a business out of it seems absolutely normal. He was AH's husband, not her sugar daddy." Yeah, yeah, possibly. Um, it could go either way with the jury, I guess. Carla V says, I'm not from the U.S. Is it true that the jury must be isolated from social media to avoid being influenced from the duration during the trial? So they are supposed to actively stay away from social media and everything, but there is nothing that is actually like in place to isolate them from it. It's kind of on, on them. It's, it's an honor code system. So, yeah. Uh, Alana Carlson says, wait, did she just say she went to AA, not a spouse's group? Hmm. And then we've got, we've got some questions here about, about, um, AA. When do we start calling AA Al-Anon? So, so Al-Anon is not the same thing as Alcoholics Anonymous. Al-Anon is for family members of somebody who is an alcoholic, either a spouse or a child or, or even, I think Ooh, sometimes even a friend. That. Um, yeah. So, so that is, that is for people that, that have a loved one or someone that is close to them that is an alcoholic so that they can go to, to support groups so that they can, because a lot of times those people have been, have been harmed by, 
you know, by the alcohol or by the, you know, the, the alcoholics behavior or whatever. And so they, they also kind of need support. Um, Gleister legal solicitors and advisors. Thank you so much for this very generous super chat says what's LT's opinion on having a unanimous decision by the jurors with a lesser evidential burden, i.e. preponderance. It seems strange to be so rigid of unanimous versus majority fellow lawyer from Australia. Thanks for the hard work and boosting my productivity at work. Of yeah, most states would agree with you. Most states don't require a unanimous for a civil verdict. This is pretty yeah. unusual for Virginia to require this. Um, I mean, I think I there's think some it, possibility of a mistrial because you need unanimous, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, I think um, I think that uh, that uh, uh, what I was going to what was I going to say? Um, I, I think that it, it has to do with the amount of money that's involved in this case. Yeah. Like that's that's what has tur- flipped it into unanimous, right? Yeah, well, Wasn't no, that no, one no. Of the factors? I, no, it was the, just the jury one? amount that changed. Oh. It changed from five to seven, but I think it's unanimous either That's way. That's right. Oh, but it's okay, a lot. Right. It's a lot easier to get X number of people to get to fifty-one percent than to get X number of people to like ninety-five percent. True. So they got that going for them, right? The standard in criminal cases is so much higher. So yeah. you would think it would be a lot easier to reach fifty-one percent. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, Naya Parekh says, could they know that it's bad and are wasting time because they know the judge won't give them more and they get an appeal from not finishing their case? Nope. No, no, nope, nope. No, she's she's well, given them plenty of notice on, on is, the timeliness of issues. Yeah, that's well within the province of the of the judge here. Not a chance on appeal if that's their argument. Yeah, yeah. Drew Bradley says, can slash should Camille ask Amber if she discussed her testimony with lawyers over break? Seems obvious they're walking stuff back. The first question know. was walking stuff back. That's what was so. I wouldn't ask the witness late. directly. I'd ask the judge to ask the counsel. I, but if I were going to go yeah. down that road. Yeah. 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 Because you, you don't necessarily know what kind of an answer you're going to get from them because you've never deposed them on that issue. And things yeah. can go sideways pretty quickly with that. Guy Halfhead says, Spidey, when AH testifies hit by phone, she motions to the left side of her face. Photo show yes. bruise on the right hand side. Is yes. that as off as it seems? So I'm sorry that Spidey's not here to answer this, but I think everyone here would say, yeah, that, that's, that does seem weird. I noticed it right away. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Danny makes things as if the way, is did Elaine notice- perjury of her own words. No, she is not. Yeah. She is not taking the stand as a witness under penalty of perjury. Did you notice that the bruise, the alleged bruise from the phone was like phone size instead of just being like one bump like you would expect it to be if a phone's thrown at you? Because it was weird. It was such yeah. a big spot and whatever. I just yeah. was asking if you guys noticed the, the weirdness of that picture. Yeah. And then and then the way that it shifted over time seems strange. We had Nurse Liz on here, too. And I was like, I was like, OK, like, what about like this? This bruise seems to be moving. And I was like, is that normal? She's like, well, if it's going to move, usually it moves down with gravity. But the fact that it had like moved up was weird. Well, so. Very strange. Sasha Back says, what are the panel's thoughts on how she's appeared on direct testimony day one versus day two versus today after the break? Sending support from Australia. You're all doing an amazing job today. She's Thank in, you. She's, in, she's improving every day. Uh, uh, she's, getting but a, I don't, she's getting a little better. I mean, she, so so this is how I would have, if I were her attorney, I would have wanted her to look like this on day one and day two. Yeah. But the fact that she has now dialed back the emotions feels weird because now I feel like she's put on all of those emotions. If I wasn't, if I didn't already feel that way before, I would think like, okay, but like now, now all of a sudden she's able to talk without all of this emotion mm-hmm. on the, the same subjects. Like, mm-hmm. so what, what happened there? Like what's going, what's going on here? Um, yeah. So it's like, yes, she's gotten better, but at the same time, to me personally, it would still be suspect. Um, Ashley Lynch says, did everyone catch her mention a bruise kit? Yep. Those are super common in theatrical makeup. She is, has training in hair and makeup. She mentioned her early testimony when trying to Mm -hmm. get in acting. Yep. We talked about that earlier too. Yeah. Aaron Larg says, question, can JD's team challenge the obvious coaching? It's very hard. It's very hard to level accusations against adverse counsel. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's judges don't want to start going down that road. So the, unless you have hardcore proof of it just indicia but by the way it looks they're not going to want to entertain it they'll get annoyed at you for raising it yeah probably uh moving forward sorry that spidey's not here for this one spidey will her will her having adhd have an effect on reading her body language nurse report said she was wrong she said was wrong um well, so so based on what Spidey has said here before he says that you know you start with a baseline of someone's yeah. behavior so you know I, I feel like that would have been like part of that overall calibration 
Uh, Sarah Kate Lingerfeld said, Spidey, AH said she used a theater bruise kit. Why would someone in the theater have bruise cover up kit? Seems like you'd be creating bruises for that. That's what a lot of folks have been saying. Sebastian I got, Roberts. I got, I got a fly. I got a fly. Okay. Over, Thanks Bye. for joining us. Good seeing you guys. Joe. See you, Joe. See have you, see um, ooh, ooh, this is very close. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody <laughs> hello <laughs> um sebastian roberts says question for nurse liz i'm sorry she's not here for it hopefully we can answer says i have bpd and self-harm i for one know what scars look like and in my opinion her scars on her arm are not that of glass i think yeah a lot a lot of folks have been saying that sasha back says question what do we think about amber's testimony oh on day one okay we we answered this one that one came in twice it looks like harold schulberg evanson says considering court fashion do you guys think ah is out but today could be an attempt to appeal to the asian members of the jury mouth suit mandarin collar i have seen folks in the chat say otherwise <laughs> that it is maybe going to be taken in an uh, appropriation kind of um way so folks might be offended by it Viv says, can it be seen as suspicious to the jury that she seems to have researched and rehearsed during the break? Yes. Yeah. Whitney Pritchard says, can Nurse Liz explain the paradoxical effect of stimulant coke has on the behavior and effect of affect of a person with ADHD? I'm sorry she's not here. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it, can... I mean, just generally speaking, like drugs can sometimes have their exact opposite effect on various people for various reasons. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it is possible for it to stimulate the very thing you're trying to avoid so yeah fair point um lauren michaud says are the plaintiff and defendant able to see the jury during their selection interviews in virginia i know that's the norm here in connecticut along with one-on-one -on -one interviews thank you for all the work on panel yeah they're, they're sure, usually there they're usually yeah. there during the during the jury selection and yeah visible as well uh wendy's cafe do you think they'll they'll question ah about the photo that was clearly taken in the uk showing the plugs and spilled wine when she claimed it was from australia the outlets in the us and au are completely different oh my god is there an outlet in that photo <laughs> uh, okay. we don't need to go back to those photos but yeah if it's know. uh if, if there's an outlet you can generally tell if it's not us that would be incredible uh that would be a yet another Maybe, maybe she has European and Australian outlets in her home because, you know, that's how she rolls home. On. The penthouses in the East. Well, Australia, yeah, European I mean, outlets. If, so I remember from being in Japan, they use American outlets. Um, but I think that's because a lot of the wiring happened after World War II when the United States was was there. We had a, a pretty strong military presence. When, and we, we, when we owned the country for a while. Well, okay. <laughs> but like, we're talking about, it was introduced today to talk about the ECB penthouses. So if there's a foreign looking outlet that is so questionable. Yeah. So I don't know what kind of outlets, uh, if there's anyone from Australia still in the chat, I, I don't know if you guys use American style or European style outlets. I mean, it comes now from I'm gonna the find UK. These. Burkhart put them up, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, they use three prong plugs. Okay. So neither, not even, not even European. Oh, wait, three prong. We use three prong in the United States sometimes. Yeah. Um, Maybe they're different three prong plugs. Maybe it's like they're the, like, uh, they're like the rounded two hundred forty one because those are okay. three prong, but they're huge. So yeah, yeah. So uh, but yeah, if 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 that's supposed to be for ECB and and it shows, you're right. If it shows a foreign plug, then that looks very, very suspicious. Um. So with the uh, hamster says with the same photo being submitted for two incidents and at least one of the photos being clearly altered, can the lawyers get in trouble? Only if they actually know. Yeah. I mean, it's something yeah. easy to miss. I mean, yeah. with so much evidence and stuff, like someone might have missed it. Yeah, with like what, like 1,600 exhibits or however yeah. many? Marie Holman says, question, legally, can the attorneys talk to Eve Barlow and then Eve Barlow talks to Amber? No. Not if they know that's going to happen, though. Yeah. Can't yeah. get around it with a proxy. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, Nikki O'Neill says, the one day AH goes out in LA without makeup, it's for her TRO. Coincidence? It does sound very interesting, yeah. doesn't it? It's like I went out every single day because I'm always in the public eye. Also, uh -huh. here's a photo of me waiting in the courthouse with a bruise on my face. Yeah, mm. yeah. In the public eye. Mm. Yoda's, Yoda's couch says, hello from Switzerland. A question for behavioral arts. Ah, sorry, he's not here for it. For me, it looks like a Munchausen syndrome. Interesting. Okay. I, don't, I don't know what that is. But... Munchausen is where you, uh, you fake an illness for sympathy. Oh, okay. Okay, could be. NM says reenacting the Chewbacca defense, but for AH. <laughs> uh, Nadia says if AH did talk to her lawyers, what happens? Uh, if they can, if they, if they can prove it, then I don't know. 
mistrial is like the worst thing that could happen or a reprimand from the judge. I'm not sure exactly. But if, if you're Johnny's, if you're Johnny's team right now, like I, I don't even necessarily think that you want to rock that boat because things are going well for you. So, so you don't want a mistrial. You want to win this case. Yep. Psycho Sid said, I suggest putting alternatives just in case. Alternatives to what? Well, I'm sorry. Sorry, psycho like, Sid. Problem. You got to give us more context by the time we get around to it, you know? I know. I know. Meryl Vandenherk says, Spidey, sorry, he's not here for it. Thoughts on how fast age's kind expression vanished right after handing the bail of something right at the start after lunch. It scares me. If the jury sees it, then that's it, it is alarming. Uh, Zach Frisch says, What is this audio supposed to prove that she said that she had evidence but doesn't? I don't know what she's, what point she's trying to get across. Yeah, I, I, I wish that was I the remembered which... testimony that was they, they put in that tape because she's just arguing that she has all this proof that he did these bad things. They just want it said again in court. That's all that was. Yeah. OK. Missy Clark says behind on stream, but her TRO bruise by her account should be yellowish greenish, not coloring. It's showing. Am I correct or am I missing something? The TRO bruise after. I mean, yeah, because I was supposed to be like several days later by that point. Would have been first yeah. to seventh. So it would have been six days. Yeah, that should be kind of greenish at that point. That's right. Paulina says, one, my brain hurts from all this BS. Me too. Two, glad Legal Mindset is here. Oh, he was. Uh, it was nice seeing someone who thinks as me as far the unnamed virus. Three, have you ever been to Brazil? I have not, but it's on my list. It's it's someplace that I really would love to go. Four, how long until cross? Uh, well, today. Uh, Camille is even dressed to kill. Yes, she absolutely. And kill she did. Kill today. She did. She did. She was an assassin today. Um, Allison Becca says, can you have discussion on the ramifications of the likability of the attorney and the effect on the jury at break? Yeah. So likability of the attorneys can absolutely matter because if somebody doesn't like you, they don't necessarily want to want to listen to you when there's a gray area that you're trying to convince them. So likability can really, really matter. They can, they can definitely apply that to your client. And that's why, that's why these kind of like courtroom theatrics kind of matter. We talk about a lot. Sometimes it, it seems a little shallow to talk about this kind of stuff, like the courtroom attire, the way that people are coming across the, the, the attitude, but like, really like this is the kind of stuff that can impact a jury. Don Lionheart says lawyer for a company that provides 911 software all over the U S why is there no recording of any 911 calls or is it barred from admission? I actually don't know. Yeah. I'm not. Sh I mean, I feel like I feel like a 911 call would be recorded and would be. It's because she didn't would make be them, right? If she didn't make them, that's she why. She didn't make them, so it's IO. It's a th it's a third party. Yeah, but but those don't they say that this is going to be recorded? Like, isn't that isn't that just like yeah? But it's still, it's still, you're right? making it for the for the truth of the matter asserted. Like, I can oh, make a false time on one report. Fair point. Fair yeah, point. Fair not, point. It's not that it's illegal. It's just hearsay. Fair yeah. point. Hearsay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Thomas Carl Kjartinsen, uh, says what, why are we hearing her argue her own separate case against him? Which by the way, appears to be all quotes to his lawyer. This is because at, we are at the same time trying, trying both cases, essentially, you know, we've got Johnny's claims and we've got Amber's mm -hmm. claims. And so she needs to put on her case at the same time that she's defending against his. So that's why we're, we're also getting, getting those statements in today. Cam Williamson says, is it because it's civil or because it's her counsel that Elaine is allowed to so clearly lead and coach the witness in front of everyone and get away with it? Justice for Johnny Depp. Um, so it's, it has nothing to do with civil or, or anything else, the, the civil case or anything. She's not supposed to be leading. Um, it's just, she has figured out the hack in getting around yeah. that for this particular judge. It's yeah. what if any, those are the magic, magic words, that's Apparently. magical incantation. And yeah, that's that's basically it. Tony Marie says, why was AH able to put out a statement through People Mag, um, Mag People Magazine? I thought the judge had them both on media lockdown. That People so Magazine was, was from long ago. That, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that statement from, or or are you talking about the the one that Rick shared earlier about the, the, the statement that just came out like today or whatever, pre-cross-examination? Pre so that that's her PR team that did that. Yeah. That's the PR team. They're they're allowed to they're allowed to talk talk to the to the press. That's they knew what was coming, I would argue, uh, yes. and they tried to get in front of it. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't, yeah. Bum, 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 that's my response to that. Dollars. Is that a losing prices right round? Is that what that exactly? Was? 
Exactly. The price was very much wrong on that one. Dollar says for Ian and Rob, what, if any, is the judge's reaction? Ah, okay. We didn't she get She seems incredibly that. non-reactive. You know what? I mean, she's a former Marine. She's disciplined. Yeah, she's not reacting. Yeah, yeah. Allison Becker says, are objections taken into account when calculating court time? No. Uh, Kitty Zhang says, do you think AH mentioning her baby will actually do anything for her IMO? That was such a low blow. Um, also, you guys are great. Thank you. That was a low blow, blah, blah. Just to add in a, a uh -huh. interesting development uh -huh. reference. Um, and, uh, and this one was, oh, accidentally brought up. Um, so yeah, it, uh, the, mentioning her baby, she's trying to go for sympathy points. It was a weird, a weird place to add it in. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to do anything for anybody though. Ultra yeah, says, what's that? It was the last place to add it in. That's why. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's in the, that's in the section where she says, essentially, if you don't give me the win, then those kids are going to die and they're not going to get their money. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, yeah. it's a whole bunch of weird kind of vaguely extortionate statements at the end of her direct. <laughs> vaguely extortionate statements. Vaguely yes. extortionate. I'm not accusing anything of anybody, but there was a lot of, well, they would have had the money if I wasn't sued. And, you know, if I lose, even though I had yeah. this, I guess, even though I had I the money for, with cancer. for 13 months. Yeah. 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 Ultra says way earlier before age testimony, Elaine made a big deal about JD always wearing rings. Did they submit anything relating to ring marks? Mm, no. Nope. Only what you can see. Nada. Nothing. Tony Marie says, think age is dressed in that Chinese slash Mandarin outfit to play to the four Asian males on the jury. Uh, I don't know if that's, if that's what she's trying. I don't think that's going to work. Live in the anxious life says, do lawyers always get kicked off of juries? Why? Yes, we do. Because we have too much knowledge of the process, too much uh, independent knowledge that the attorneys here in, in at trial cannot control. Well, I'll, 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 I'll simply qualify this a little bit and like not always. And this particular region of the country, I've known lawyers to sit on uh, on juries in this region because there's so, so there's so many lawyers around the greater DC area. <laughs> so uh so it's it's not as not as much a problem here there as it would be some other places. You hear Alita? She wants to be on a jury. I, I would love jury. that. I in would fact, love in fact, that. In fact, in Virginia, if you're a lawyer, you can actually exempt yourself because it's one of the check boxes. Like if you're over a certain age or something like when they did the four deer firm. And mm -hmm. so, like, I didn't check the box because I didn't want the exemption. I got called in for the jury, and then they dismissed the whole panel because they just they settled at the last minute. So lame, but sure. yeah, that's. Yeah, that's common too. Kit Kat says, question, do you sense more tension between Elaine and Camille today than normal? Also, the judge seems frustrated with Elaine somehow. She does seem frustrated. And yeah, there's definitely she, tension between them. She Certainly. was frustrated today. The judge Ooh, the yeah. judge sounded over it a number of times. Yeah, yeah. Serana Ham says, love the stream, guys. Totally off topic question. Is anyone wearing a watch? What watch are you wearing? Curious because you all are lawyers. I'm wearing a Garmin. This is a, a Garmin Forerunner 935, yes. I think. Something like that. At the moment, I'm just wearing a simple Invicta chronograph because it's big and chunky and I like the uh, look of it. So it's not a very expensive watch. I have more expensive watches, but that's what I'm rocking right now on a purple NATO, as you can see. Very nice. I like I it. I do not have more expensive watches. So, no, I have my <laughs> yeah, phone. Yeah, neither do I. This is, this is it. Although GPS watches can be can cost a pretty penny. Uh, Elise Robinson says a little behind if AH doesn't know who called the cops how does she, how did she know they were coming surely then she knows that IO called so confused fair point that seems fair Elizabeth DiBiagio says can you give a breakdown of the objections i.e. speculation like a foundation non-responsive etc thanks so speculation yeah, and lack of foundation that. what's that she, you already have videos for that I was going to say is that I, answered I actually have not outlined all of the objections yet I, I i wanted to do that that was one of my goals for last week i, I couldn't quite get a video out on for that the next one video. yeah for the next one but speculation means that you are you're asking the witness is being asked to to testify on something that they don't really have any good reason to know like if they're asking about what somebody else thought about something like they can't they're not they can't read their mind so how would they know right so lack of foundation means like there hasn't, the steps have not been taken to show that someone is in a position to be able to speak on something like, uh, like asking about if Johnny Depp has had breakfast or oh, maybe I did, maybe I did do that, do this. Maybe it wasn't asked and answered. I, I, and seem, now to that remember, I'm thinking I seem to remember some of this being discussed or I want to yeah. mention that. I think I said yeah. that. Non-responsive <laughs> basically means that, that, that there was a question that has been asked of the witness and the witness's answer didn't actually answer the question. They just went off on some tangent. 
uh, T in Tennessee says, is there any chance they will just settle? <laughs> zero, <laughs> zero, zero, zero chance. Tomac Rota says, are you jealous that you aren't there next to Rob and others to witness that train wreck? I am now. PM? Yeah. I wasn't yeah. when they were standing in line at 9 p.m., but I am now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pato Am Amador says, hi, is the jury allowed to review video of testimony as well as transcripts? No, neither, neither, neither. Uh, Kai says, question, is it possible she will finish cross today? Could sh Should she? Like, damn, she's just covering everything rapid fire and efficiently go queen. So, yeah, she didn't finish, but I think that it's going to be a, a, a much she's, shorter She's well on our way. Yes. To finishing. Yes. She'll be yes. she'll be done by lunch. Maybe she'll be done by the first morning break because she's just think, absolutely crushing it. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Satu says, is it legal to destroy someone someone this badly in public? Absolutely it is. Rhiannon Adams says, thoughts on this being the most we've heard Judge A speak during the day? Yep. She's definitely a bit more frustrated, it sounds like. And it sounds like with Elaine. Allison Becca says, please explain the legal implications of the picks, please. So which legal implications are we talking <laughs> yeah. about? Are we talking about the fact that they don't show the injuries that she alleges happened or, <laughs> or uh, what? Because see, that, the, the legal implication out, of that is she doesn't win her case. The dates came out because they're clearly fighting about the authenticity of the photos. They tried to show the bruising, question mark, question mark, question mark. The apartment is really unconvincing as having been thrown oh, through. Yeah. By an angry I was so worried about husband. what the police would see. Hmm. So those hmm. are the three groups that I remember the most. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm imagining imagining that veteran officers who this is most certainly not their first domestic violence case walked in and may have even seen all those things and still didn't reach the conclusion of domestic violence because you know they've been in actual places with actual domestic violence. So it's yeah. like yes, I saw the shards of glass and I saw the tipped over jar on the kitchen counter uh didn't really speak to domestic violence to me because you know uh been there before so no <laughs> yeah harold schilberg evanson says ah saying jd had to give 14 million to the charities instead of 7 million if he paid directly implies she didn't care how much the charities got but cared how much johnny's wallet hurt and who donated directly yes Preach. Preach. yes so obvious exactly if you really think about it if you really think about that i mean i would have Again, Camille did perfectly. But if I were in those shoes, I would have said, so it really didn't matter if these cancer-stricken kids got $3.5 million. It mattered how much you hurt your ex-husband. Is that accurate? I mean, like, yeah. that's literally what she was saying. Yeah, yeah. which that, that would have been the question too far. So I'm glad that she didn't ask that. But it's like- in charge, folks. But but that's but that's but that's that she was so good about not asking the one question too too many. Yes. There were so many opportunities oh for us the one question too yes. many, and every single time she didn't do it. Yes, and the thing is that when when you leave that and you don't do it, and the jury is is following along with you, laser focused, they are the ones that are asking that in their brains. And there's they, they're not satisfied with an answer. And they're like, wow. The only so, reason I would disagree with you guys on this particular one is because the loop of attributed amount and doubling and tax deductions, I just don't know whether people thinking about it are actually hearing what she's saying fully. Fix it, it on clothes, be. man. Fix it on clothes. You got what you need yeah. for clothes. I fix yield it on to clothes. the litigators. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think I think so because they can they can make that argument and say like you heard her testify that she said that if she if he was going to do this to 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 donate directly he suddenly he needed to donate twice as much so like it didn't matter how much they got just as long as he got hurt like what the f so yeah 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 great point Harold. Uh, Shremi Nadine says A H leaves without going and talking without going talking and going back to her lawyers that is unusual isn't actually not not that unusual right now because she's still on the stand she's not supposed to talk to them about her testimony so. Um, better to, better to do that in private, I guess, <laughs> from what it seems like. Um, Cindy Hawkins says, do all the defense delays reading sidebars, et cetera, count against the prosecution's time? Uh, you mean against the plaintiff's time? I get what you mean. Just, uh, a little bit of a correction since it's a Peace. civil case, not a, not a criminal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Peace time. Um, uh, no, no, the, 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 the sidebars and stuff, those don't, those don't count against them. That's, that's court time. Um, Carrie Harvey says, when is AH, when AH is prattling on and being generally non-responsive, would it be good to come back with exactly which part of the question did you not understand, Miss Harvey? <laughs> she's done. No, no, no. I like the way she's doing it. It's not snarky. Yeah. It's just calm. Yeah. Even read. I do snark. That's why I'm not as good as Vasquez. I know I'm not as good as Vasquez. 
Uh, Carolyn says, question, she threw her lawyers under the bus. Can this be her ground of dismissal? Lol, no. Lol, no. 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 Very confident she's just, counsel. She's just, no. Uh, Code Monkey says, question, will Camille's cross be talked about in every courtroom tomorrow? I can see lawyers talking to each other. With Definitely going to make the cross. legal water cooler. She'll be a, she'll oh be a, a guest at a luncheon. For, Let me tell you. For, Speaking I've got to you, Camille Vasquez. one of my one of, one of my BFFs who's a who's an employment litigator back in California. She and I used to work together and she's one, one of my BFFs of all time. Um, she's also been watching this case and she's been like texting me through stuff. And and she's I, I'm I'm sure that she she is just as much of a Camille stand right now as as all of us because she's been so excited to, about this cross examination. And I am certain that she's going to go into work tomorrow and be like, oh, my God, did you guys see this? Um, so, yeah, 100 percent. Lawyers, lawyers everywhere will be talking about this cross-examination. Fabian County Salas says, the cross-examination was perfect, perfect tempo, perfect pressure, perfect tonality, and even lightning framed for a few seconds. Camille being virtuous because was uh, was already expressing herself kind. Yes, yes, exactly. Everything about it was so perfect. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm such a Camille stan now. Um, and I knew it was going to happen. I didn't want to oversell it beforehand, but I'm so happy that, that things have turned out like they have so far. Andrew Shapilo, Sh sorry, Andrew Shapilo says, will the San Francisco tapes be allowed to play at the trial? The one where we can hear age breaking the DVRO and is crawling in his bed. We've heard some of it though. Yeah, we got, we, we already have. Second. Yeah. Yeah, we have. Yeah. That's the knife. Uh, that was through, scary through Johnny. Audio. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the knife through the fingers or whatever thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she's like, oh, that's not sharp enough. Let me give you a sharper knife. Cause she cares about him. Uh, Bear Luna yeah. says, how come JD team was able to submit James Corden and Dutch interview thought they okay. couldn't do that because it had a, so that, that rule is only for, for secret recordings. You can have like these, these things have are, are already made for the public. And the way that you can get them in is because these are, these are statements that she is making against her own interest. So right. these are statements by her. And so Elaine tried to object to say, there are other people talking on this thing. That's that doesn't fly because it's not a secret recording. And also on the other hand, um, Johnny's team has the ability to have these other people, you know, talking without just her mm -hmm. statements, because you, you need that for the context, for the full mm -hmm. context of what it is that she's saying. You need to have the questions yeah. and the answers and the whole dialogue. In the case of the James Corden interview, you literally don't care about any of the words that anyone is saying. The entire yeah. point of that is just to show her visual. Face. You don't really care about the words. The her only face, words you her facial yeah. expressions, yeah. everything. So that's not offered for the truth of the matter, sir, because you don't care. Um, in the uh, Dutch interview, the only words you care about that are being offered for truth and matter asserted is Amber's, which are statements yeah. against interest. Yep. So that so gets you past exception. hearsay. So yeah, it's like, it's not a problem for those reasons. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Thank you. Good. Great breakdown. No worries. Fans McNamara says, I am excited to hear Latu's opinion on how the jury changed during Camille's cross. Well, you heard from it. what we heard, it was a dramatic change. Suddenly paying a lot of attention. Uh, super interesting. Tazar Neeson says, I meant that AH can pay charity regardless of suit. Can she, though? <laughs> it's not clear. I'm not sure what her finances look like. Yeah, I don't know. Raziel Kane says, Freddie and Slip, perhaps. Did anyone else notice that the, with the scalp bruise, she admitted three times she hit herself in the head repeatedly? Not Johnny. I watched it five times now. I, I don't I know. I missed that. that part. And I also yeah. missed the scalped bruise. You know what? You know what? You know what I was distracted by was the fact that they were showing a photo of her temple and I didn't see a bruise. I had to look pretty <laughs> deep to see any discoloring. I was like, I had to get rid of I saw close. shadows because like it was the photo was for, coming from here and I saw lighting coming from here. And I just was thinking like, why didn't she turn her head into the light to get a better picture of this bruise? I just see shadows. That's all I see. Anyhow. I was a little distracted by that. <laughs> Wang Chuck says, UK justice system looks really shoddy. The judge based his decision on her word that she donated the money. Yep. That's a very questionable part of that. Definitely. Yeah. There's a lot of things in the judge's opinion that don't make sense anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And Gecko Gamer in the chat. Yeah. You might have skipped over. So everyone who's been hoping for a perjury charge. I have 140. Charge, <laughs> I have 140 left. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Everyone Go who's ahead. been hoping for a perjury charge. Your, your best odds now are in the UK. Because yeah. there's there's some remote possibility that they're so embarrassed by their own decision that they go after her for the vendetta. So that's I, I don't think Australia goes after her, but the UK, maybe there's some remote possibility. So you can hope for that maybe if you really want to light the fires. Because, I mean, yeah, the, the whole world is watching this case, yeah. right? And so there's a, there could be a very, very significant um, number of people yeah. in the UK that are saying, whoopsie. 
Yeah, the, this, the judge in the UK is like, oh, I look like a jackass. See, yeah. this is rule, and it goes back to rule number one of litigation. Don't irritate the judge. And this is why it's rule number one of litigation, even after the fact, because now the judge looks like a jackass. And he's like, oh, wait, this isn't good. So he might he might call in a favor from somebody. It's like, yeah, yeah. I need you to. Well, apparently yeah. that judge retired is what I heard. Oh, it still wouldn't mad- matter in terms of calling. Is he alive? He can still pick up the phone. Fair point. Uh, Real Big Coffee Cup says, how can AH claim photos exist without introducing them? Wouldn't that be something to strike as assuming facts, not in evidence and no foundation? (sighs) That's a good question. I mean, she can say that there were photos. I mean, it's just that there, because it's like, well, I mean, because her testimony is, of course, evidence. So she can say, yeah, I took photos. There are photos, plenty of photos. Yeah. I don't know what happened to them in the interim, room, but I took them. Sure. Why not? And yeah, those were all also... those were all given to my attorneys, and all of those yeah. were given over to you guys. And if nothing has, and if those haven't been introduced, it means they don't exist. We're also, we'll probably I, get some kind of an instruction. That probably what was what that sidebar was about. It was to create an instruction for the jury on those photos, the ones that have not been shown. They got to get one. Yeah. Also, I, it reminded me of something that I saw much earlier in the chat as well. What people were talking about uh, um, Amber Heard's testimony being de- hearsay when she was on indirect. And a lot of it wasn't hearsay because what people were seeing in chat or what they were seemed to be responding to was that Amber Heard was making statements that weren't supported by things, right? So she was saying things like this, like, you know, there are photographs. It's like, well, there are no photographs. So people yeah. were saying, oh, that's a hearsay problem. It's not a hearsay problem. She's saying it in court. She's yeah. making an in-court statement. So hearsay is not a factor. The fact that there's no support for her makes her – and it, her testimony is evidence. It, that That's true. So the fact that it's not supported, it makes it – weak evidence but you know it meets the it meets the literal definition of the rules so mm-hmm. yeah yep but she's impugning um, the nature of the court and the rules of evidence i mean that I too i would that have too. been a little bit more adamant from the yeah. from the, the judge's the, seat. The, yeah, yeah. This, again goes to rule one one of litigation because if she's irritating the judge you know yeah yeah. Fox Storytelling says, I love, love, love your channel. How about the male guest cut out that sex and dipshit jokes? They're bringing the quality down. Well, on the shoes on the other foot, because we also get a lot of female super chats that are objectifying some of our male guests. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm not going to have one standard for one and then another standard for the other. Um, I, I get what you mean, but sometimes we make jokes and that's all. That's all I'm going to say about that. Stray Strong says, Thunder Girl brought it pulled AH attention away from the jury. I think so. Trevor Matthews says, why would a lawyer not enter evidence if they have been given it? My only thought is they looked at it and decided it might be fraudulent. Could be. Um, Lynn says, for the Alita Impression Fund, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Timothy J. Tanner, thank you for your super chat. The Dragon's Treasure says, question, how does Camille handle the poop situation? How would you guys, if you were in her shoes... She well, just keep went your with shoes straight, on. Blaming it, straight with blaming it on the dog. Um, I, I, yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like it's it's such an unrealistic explanation that she has made that she has just decided to double down on. Um, that that it almost is better to say, you know what, this was an absolutely juvenile joke, and and I recognize that this is completely reprehensible, and this is like one of the things that I am least proud of in my life. And the fact that this is being brought up again and again is is absolutely mortifying to me. And I have learned and I have moved on and become a better person through it. Like people could at least like kind of maybe respect that a little bit. Uh, and we've talked about that. Falling on your sword, at least partially, for all of this stuff could have put you in a better spot. Amber Heard does not want to do that. I am sure her counsel suggested that there were ways to talk about these things and say, I'm a human mm-hmm. being. Mm-hmm. I make mistakes. I was mm-hmm. abused. I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm very sorry and regretful of it. Mm-hmm. And Amber Heard does not want to do that at all. The, the most eye-opening thing to me today was her response to the word victim. Mm-hmm. Um, she she is she is very adamant about her righteousness and that nobody you know puts baby in a corner. Uh, and so I expect Camille to put baby in a corner pretty hard. She's been putting well. baby pretty hard in the corner already. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Willow Harper says, what are your thoughts on how Camille opened that bit about Johnny not meeting Amber's gaze was just dramatically perfect. Yeah. I thought it was too much when she started it. And then I did not. I thought it was too much when she started. I won't lie. Yeah. I thought it was a little off point when she first started, but I long since forgot about it because she was so awesome throughout. And she got there. No, she got there. Yeah, she she got there. Yeah. I I, I questioned Camille and I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. At, At first it was like, it was like, it felt like 
It felt like when you're sitting at a, at a dinner table with a bunch of people and someone makes an awkward comment, you know, but then they like lean into it and then it turns out like, oh, this is actually a really good point, you know, and then, and then things kind of smooth out from there. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was really good because especially because it was, it was also kind of like leaning into the commentary that has been very critical of, of Johnny in the public eye as well in the court of public opinion to be like, oh, he's not, he's, he refuses to look at her. You know, he's just, he's disinterested That's their or whatever. statement. Don't forget Amber Heard's team goes out with that last week in trial yeah. time. Yeah. So that's directly responsive to her team's public statement. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I, I think I think it, it ended up being a very great way to start. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought to do that myself, but I think that it's um it's it was really good. Stay strong says I'm pledging one million, donating two dollars. Hope You're it's a millionaire. okay. I'll get it eventually, right? You're a millionaire. <laughs> I'm a millionaire, guys. We can we can we can fold up the whole operation. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. It this is the so end good. of Legal Bites. <laughs> No, even even if I were a millionaire, I would I would one hundred percent continue doing this. This is so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because says AH is going to claim poor legal representation. Yes. Yeah. She's I'm gonna sure. Claim everything you're thinking. Yeah. Matt Boardman says, in the words of Job, AH was up there thinking, "I've made a huge mistake." Yes. Yes. Uh, Martin K says the sunlight was shining on Camille was appropriate. The cross was a shining moment for her. Fantastic job today. It woke me up after Amber Heard's testimony. Hashtag Camille for partner. How about the yes. sunlight coming in? I mean, come on, people. What are, what, what are we doing here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, Coach Karen in the chat says uh, Runkle is looking for the sign up page. It, I have tweeted it and I, I tagged him in it. So he should check his Twitter. I don't know if you're also in his chat. Um, you can let him know that. Um, I, I'll try to, I'll try to get to him as well, but I I'll swing get around for him. I've got his Sounds channel good. up as well. I'll get it. I'll okay. take care of it. Sounds great. Uh, thank you. Nicole Pearson says great commentary. Everyone go Dodgers. Hey, thank you. Um, Sarah Hanratty says forget Natalie Portman as girl Thor uh, as girl Thor. Camille is the goddess of thunder. I agree. I 100% mm -hmm. agree. I mean, no, no disrespect to Natalie Portman. Love her to pieces. <laughs> She's a great actress. And I, and I like her in, in that role as Jane, but, uh, yeah. No, I think I think uh, I think she's she, Camille's been fantastic. What if anything says Jerry Judge came back as the clap of thunder? Ho, will you say? Supposed to say here, inconceivable. Perfect. Like, very nice. Perfect. Perfect delivery. I love it. Haya says you weren't afraid of the monster. You weren't afraid the monster would get upset that you took his picture. Why would I be afraid? Says the woman who spent days saying how what terrified an she was. Oh, uh, we need Rob's review on how the jury reacted to that. Exactly. Why would I be was such an answer from Amber. I was like, oh my God, you weren't afraid at all. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Uh, and Christina in the chat says, like, someone said in super chat that they needed details on how to contact Robin Runkle. They are on Twitter. They are on Twitter. If you if you follow me on Twitter, you can see one of my last tweets, tags them. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, uh, X come here, Z, Z, Z says her arm glass scar pictures look more like someone who has been hitting someone wearing rings who is holding their hands up defending from the blows that gives the symmetry scene wait looks more like someone who has been hitting someone wearing rings who's holding up their hands oh like as in she's like that possibly oh, but no. only if the rings are like are like a like a diamond ring or something like something that has some like I'm thinking like true lies you know when she like, <laughs> like when, she, when she turns her her, yeah, yeah. her diamond ring yeah. in smacks her on the face yeah. Like that's only like that, but his rings aren't like that. So I, I don't know that I would, that I would see that either. Um, Eric Williams says medical professionals have to report suspected abuse by law. The doctor and nurses would not have ignored any signs of abuse or failed to report it. I that's not usually so. true for competent adults. It's true for children. It's true for elderly and other vulnerable people. I don't believe there's a mandatory reported law for competent adults. I don't believe that's true. I think one of the nurses actually testified the opposite of that though. She said that she's required to report it. Okay, in, well, in maybe I'm an idiot. Well, no, no, not not an idiot. Just, just I think, I think it it, it, it could also just be California is different from from where you. I believe that for sure. Been. California is different in so many ways. Yeah, glass half full says question: How can we get more local people lining up for Ian, Rob, and Larry? Love that they were in court. CV was brilliant. Ah did not pay seven million dollars thirteen months before lawsuit launched. Trapped, bazinga. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Um, I've tagged, I've tagged them and I, and I, I sent the link for the sign up. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully people are signing up. I just um, sent it to him in his video. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Susanna Thevenet sent a super sticker. Thank you. 
Uh, Raquel's reaction, re or Raquel's, <laughs> sorry, Rocky. Uh, Danielle's reaction realm says takedown is amazing, but Amber needs help badly. I agree. I agree. I hope that she gets the help that she needs and that she ends up getting, uh, you know, whatever rehabilitation that she needs. Ishani Sham Shambohi Ghosh, Shambobi Ghosh, sorry. Ishani Shambobi Ghosh says, first time I've sent a super chat ever. Camille, yes. Love it. I love it. Thank you. Polly Hollister says, Camille wears structured suits. Wonder if Amber was trying to mirror and got it wrong. Too stiff. Could be. Horse welfare. Thank you so much. Tanya Bluebell says, this is for the Bluth reference. Arrested Development is the best. I agree. Tobias is the best character. I look down on others who don't know AD references. I love Arrested Development. And yes, Tobias is great. There are dozens of us. Dozens. I um, use it all the time. All the time. <laughs> Jack S. Whisper says, will Camille bring up the divorce blackmail letter? Probably. My guess is yes. Uh, Don Lionheart says, is Amber lying about the big things? Why admit to little things? E.g., why would you say, yes, he wears rings when there's clearly no ring injuries? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even need the little things. Judy Judd says, will Camilla, uh, will Camille pursue the fact that A.H. took more pictures documenting J.D.'s faults than her injuries? Well, she's kind of doing that already, right? With the with the whole the the photos of, of Johnny Depp passed out and then saying, like, this is your way of taking care of him. This is your way of 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 protecting him. Uh Lenard says, How important do you think the argument was before there were 13 months between her receiving all money from the divorce and JD suing Amber? I feel like that counters her argument for only pledging. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. I think it does. I think it does because we've seen, we've seen, we've seen the schedules on the pledge that yeah. say nothing. So it's I, like I appreciate, I appreciate her connecting the dots. I wish she hit that point a little bit harder. Uh, maybe she can come back and try to hit it harder because I, I thought that maybe the point went past the jury, but I did appreciate her mentioning it at least. And it can also be, uh, always be fixed and closed too. So it's not like a huge problem. I think so, it could be like, a charity just move a question or two to start tomorrow. Yep. Martin K says, I'd hate to be a bus driver anywhere near AH. Just saying, I really hope that she doesn't do any any kind of self-harm. Debbie W says, Alita, I left a comment on a a 2 yesterday about JD from the perspective of someone with ADHD who also lived through abuse. It might give some insight for others. Oh, okay. We'll have to check that out. Thank you so much, Debbie. Hey, Alita. Um, yeah. He didn't put out a call for action. I don't think anybody's joining him yet. I'm going to bounce over there. I'll bounce yeah. back if you're still sure. going on Super Chats, but I'm just going to sure, sure. go support yeah. our court boys here. Absolutely. Please do. Please do. I will be back if you're still going. Otherwise, everybody, like That's and subscribe right. to Alita's channel, and I will definitely be here tomorrow. All righty. See you, Rick. Allison Becca said, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bernard says, imagine what TikTok will look like tonight. Her PR team will quit, presuming they are not under the influence. That cross will play in loops for days. Hashtag epic. Yeah. Melissa Andrews says, WB should slash can they sue for losses contractually? No. No. They are the ones that decided to remove him because of reasons. So no, there's there's no there's no suing by them. Ben, the LP student says, regarding pro here. Unless otherwise stipulated in contract, seller is paid in full at close of escrow in a vast majority of cases. Installments of future payments are possible, but rare. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the, the seller gets their, gets their money and the, the bank is the one that pays the seller. And then they, they lend yep. that money to the buyer. That's what happens. Che Dustin says tomorrow, I want to see AH's pants burst into flame. <laughs> Me too. Cynics paradise says, do AH's answers mimic how she gaslit JD? Kind of feels like it. Didi Malone, Deidre, uh, or Deidre Malone says, medical records said male because it was probably copy paste and said clear intact mm -hmm. skin, but I've seen plenty EMRs with bad document. I still mm -hmm. don't believe Amber Heard. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that she's like, oh, therefore it means that none of this is correct is bogus in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Lonner Clip says, so you always catch the best moments of law too. Please subscribe to me. Yes. Yeah, Lawner and Clips get some really great moments from all around uh, LawTube. So, yeah, check them out for sure and subscribe. Ruben Martin says, thank you for all the amazing work covering the trial. A new member here and loving the stream and community of LawTubers. Much love from Portugal. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Newt says, no financial benefit from $7 million, but tax deduction. Yeah, right? It is It is weird that she says I didn't, I didn't financially benefit, but then she's pissed about not getting tax deductions. 
that's what you're concerned about. Not the children, not the ACLU and the, and the women that are being served by <laughs> me too. Children? Right? What children? Emma 274 two, AZ, thank you. Uh, Larry says, Ben is say, I picked Camille. I picked Camille. Yeah. I think, I think Ben Chu is very happy about that choice. Tabusi says survivor of Amber, like abuse and cathartic tears, watching her exposed as most ordinary folk can't get justice like this. Love legal bites. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you are feeling this catharsis catharsis. And I hope that it, that it sticks with you. Um, and that it helps to sort of like release some tension for you. Absolutely. Um, Hick Chick 112 says AH's trigger words are victim and liar. They need to capitalize on that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Robert Williams says, did you see Amber INDB cha page change to Amber Turd? I did see that was hacked. Breathing in Spirit says, the shame is that for female victims, depending on adopting a masculine breaking of the spirit vibe as defense voids the equation. The shame is that for female victims, depending on adopting a masculine breaking of the spirit vibe as defense voids the equation. Be. Uh, Cat Wade says AHL3 uh, sommelier, main one for designation. Court of Masters L3 sommelier requires minimum of two years service experience. She's been waiting tables on the side. Lies. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. a different sommelier at level three. Or maybe she was able to count like her years before she made it in Hollywood because like every actor in Hollywood is also a waiter, right? Or every waiter in Hollywood is also an actor. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Cat Mando TNR, thank you. Uh, Aquamarin says, is AH watching you back check the line waiters? I don't know. Uh, Capricorn Prime says, if you were AH, <laughs> how would you try to rehabilitate from that? Oh, I'm gone. I'm gone. Fuck this. <laughs> Throw your papers and like walk out. No. Hey, Mr. Chu, are you hiring, by the way, any chance? Because uh, I love to work for your firm. Yeah. No, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing about about redirects. Oh, okay. I'll I'll plug I'll plug my videos that I that I posted this week on direct, cross, and redirect. I talk about this in the redirect video. Um, it's it's a triad of them. Check it out. Um, because I really go through like the the basics that you need to know about each one. In redirect, I'll give you just a little little tidbit. But if you have a cross examination that is so big of a dumpster fire that it requires too much redirect. The answer is to cut some of your losses and go simple. Because if you try to do too much redirect, it signals yeah. to the jury that it was particularly painful and that you have a huge cleanup job. So, yeah. yeah. I think the jury already There's not much that you can do when it's a big enough mess. Jasmine Ali says, when Camille discussed the staged cocaine photo at AH's house, that was amazing. It absolutely was. Annie Newman, thank you so much for your super chat. Uh, K. ALSN says, do you now believe JD can win the trial? Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. hundred percent. I mean, I, I'm not saying hundred percent. Like I'm like, there's no way he can lose, but like, I, yes, absolutely believe that he can, he can win. Elizabeth Snyder says, did we find out why Camille told AH was inappropriate? No, no, we still don't know. Even, even folks in the jury didn't hear it. Unfortunately, Kathy at 40 says the judge even seemed more interested in the case when Camille was speaking. Could be stay strong says they are manipulating that to make to make the jury believe how much lawyer fees are leading to assume reality versus assumption. I mean, attorney's fees are, are expensive. They are going to be expensive. I, I, I would still believe that it probably cost her $7 million for, or $6 million for her lawyers. I, I would believe that At based on point. the amount of litigation and how long that it's taken and just how contentious the litigation has been, I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Couldn't actually. give it to the children has, cause I had to give it to my lawyers. My lawyers are bad. But people. that, they're, yeah, that's they're preventing, they're preventing the children from being cured from cancer. Especially when it's like, you know, you also have your own counterclaims that you have decided to pursue on top of it. So it's like, you could have chosen not to pursue those counterclaims, especially how flimsy they are in my opinion. So it's like that's a lot of that's a lot of litigation that you could have avoided paying for. Like you're not just you're not just a in you know like a oh woe is me I'm just responding to litigation here. Like you're also on the attack. Uh, Heather O says sorry it's all I have. I like you guys. Oh hey no I I I appreciate anything. Thank you so much. This is very generous of you. Um, Miguel Pereira says she dresses Kim Jong Un because she does because he doesn't poop. Insert big brain big brain chip. <laughs> oh man, Dana Bean says. Whitney also taught him to use a tampon for Coke. Seems like it. Yeah, that was a strange detail. My sister taught him? What? Yeah. Yeah. Understandable says Camille's tone and timing is just chef's kiss. I'm in awe. Absolutely. Yeah. She is amazing. 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 And side note, if anybody here knows 
how to how to get in contact with Camille after all of this is said and done, after she's had a chance to relax, I would love to have her on the channel to to ask her about the entire trial. Oh my god, I would I would absolutely die to have her on this channel for an interview. So if anybody happens to have a way of, of getting getting to in contact with her someone knows someone and us this is like like one of my greatest wishes is to have her on the channel yeah. nancy p says have we heard anything more about the pieces of steak wrapped in ages shredded night ground photos anything nothing 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 lynn said dr evil is all over your reddit it's hilarious oh my god i'm so excited thank you sandy mcpartland says barkin is 25 year ago brief affair wanted more jd didn't jd says he threw a wine bottle across the kitchen into the trash could very well be marie holman says joe there's a documentary on discovery plus on discovery plus amber versus heard similar to what you said oh interesting i'm sorry he's not nice. here to, to see this one side hustle sellers says i predict johnny will donate money when he wins could be if he ever reco if he ever recovers any maybe that would be such a flex move 100 it would LG i personally says, hope he's going to use the money to bring attention to male victims of domestic violence because i think he could really do some good in this world i think so too i, I think so too LG says, I served on a jury for two and a half weeks, nominated as a foreman on a civil trial. I'm happy to answer any questions about my experience. Crazy fact, the respondent actually contacted me after the trial. That's not unusual. Interesting. Well, so so a lot of times they'll, they'll uh, the firms will kind of keep themselves open for the jury to, con to, to call them, to give them feedback on the trial. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. So sometimes you can get some really interesting feedback from them. Mia Mina says, I love that Camille went right down the chronological timeline when Amber's team couldn't stay within the chronological pattern. Yes. Yes. The way, she just going, the way she's just going through years effortlessly. Yes. Where they get bogged down forever. She's and they were like jumping around like crazy time lords, right? Um, yeah. No, I completely agree. I, I think that that is, that is a flex move for them as well to be able to just like streamline, cut right through the most important pieces of, of the – uh of these different incidents yeah carrie williams says where do you think elaine will go with the redirect what would be your strategy 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 great commentary curl up keep into it, a ball and die keep it keep it keep it simple is what i would do is keep it simple i don't know if elaine is capable but keep it simple um and and check out my video on, on redirects um to see like to see that that kind of stuff amanda judge says hey would you guys happen to know what colleges are nearby i go to school in the midwest but i'm happy to reach out to their college twitters for line sitters oh so so this is in fairfax virginia any dc school is nearby yeah. uh what other virginia schools are nearby fairfax i'm trying to think because the ones i know are in I like, dc I like university of maryland is not far also university of maryland's not that far all things considered yeah yeah um yeah but uh there's got to be some some nearby it's a little bit of a hike. yeah george yeah. mason georgetown yeah george mason georgetown george washington university howard howard university as well um yeah yeah thanks amanda really appreciate that um yvonne de silva says hoag what do you think about modern game subscriptions killing gaming for quantity over quality i'm so sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna screenshot this and hopefully i can get this to him um and what about dlcs and gaming mechanisms added via updates love camille she killed it she was a match in a guest filled room oh my god she was she so was and i'm so sorry that that uh that Rick isn't here for this one. He's usually around for the end, but since uh, since Ian's on his stream, he's he's helping him out. Um, Space Cake says one nitpick could have showed the different Coke table picks. Fair point. Uh, Mark says CV is doing great, but I would note you ridiculed the guy who objected to his own question. CV did the same thing and not a peep out of you, Sims. The difference is that what she said, she said objection moved to strike, which is not what the other guy said. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly right. She did it right. So I I noticed it. I did notice it in the moment. But yes, there is a there is a difference. And that was why uh, we weren't like, oh, tee he, she objected to herself. Um, Melika Mercefian says, for Runkle and Rob's sleep hygiene jar. Oh, thank you. Uh, Gina McHugh says, why didn't Camille elaborate on the Australia incident? Do you think Amber will come in tomorrow with her, with her hair down like Camille's? Love your channel. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, I think she did. She... It. I think she did just about as perfectly as anyone. I think she 
she got everything you need to get out of Australia and she got the photo yeah. and the vid. I think she got it just about as perfect as you want. Yeah. The fact that there were no photos of any of these injuries that she, that she obtained and she didn't, cause I, I think that if she, if she spent more time on like, on like the, the bottle issue yeah. that could have started to look a, a little bit uncomfortably abusive perhaps. She, and so she, 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 she yeah. talked about it enough, put enough pressure on her and then moved on. I think it was just enough time. Uh, J.K. Rowling had an interesting phrase about this. It's called kill, she said it was killing your darlings, by which she meant that sh she would have like lines or paragraphs or even characters in her work that she really, really liked. And it would be very, very hard for her to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. And she had to because it made the story ultimately better, even though she yeah. really liked those things. Yeah. And this is where Camille is really, really good because she's doing basically what's ideal in terms of cross. She's getting in, getting out. She's she's basically perfect on timing and the amount of time she's spending to be able to have the discipline and will to be able to do that. Not to mention the intelligence to be able to pick up all those things. It's like, I don't know that I have the, I don't know that I have the will because I just like, I want to show how smart I am by, by crossing them on all the things. I just want to bury them for days. It's the wrong, it's the wrong thing. She's, she's, I could just keep gushing over her more, but let's move on. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jenna. Very, very kind of you. Um, I'm a baby 902 says first they brought their tampons and showed him how to snort cocaine. Then she passed out and they took pictures of him. The poor guy has suffered. Car Carrie Harvey says age schooling CV on cocaine usage. <laughs> also very interesting, right? Cause she says she doesn't do cocaine. Shampasa says, is it okay to describe the jury and their actions? Sure. Yes. Yep. If it's, if you can observe it, sure. Yes. The heavy says pieces of steak, more poetry from Deb pieces of me. <laughs> Don Lionheart says dancing on a string until a lane sidebar. Uh, Lynn Henderson says I checked out a few other streams and Christopher Melcher doesn't seem impressed with Camille's cross. I don't know why. Who is Christopher Melcher? He's, he's got his own channel. He's a uh, divorce lawyer. Okay. I, I, I that's his opinion. I, I, I'm, I'm I, I, thoroughly impressed here. I, I disagree with it in every possible way. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, very strongly. So peach Jewmaker says missed opportunity to have cast Amber in game of Thrones season eight. Yes. Uh, Carrie Dobbs says in the photo of AH after the Met Gala, it is so ob oblivious. I think maybe obvious. She has since then had a nose job. Does she have to disclose that? No, but they can ask her about it. But I think that they did enough to say that she didn't need any reconstructive surgery as a result of any of Johnny's. Did actions, she? I right? didn't notice that. I didn't really she notice did. the difference in her nose, but okay. I'll take your guys' word for it. Noticing yeah, details I've, like her nose. Yeah, the thing that's changed. been most noticeable to me is the, the cheek implants. That, that it looks yeah, whatever like that is, whatever that is on our cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, da, da, da. Nicholas gone says, do y'all watch the office? Amber's pledge reminds me of the Scott's tots episode of the office where Michael pledged to pay for college for a whole class, but couldn't follow through. Oh my God. You're so right. You're so right. And then he realizes like, Oh my God, I've made a huge mistake. Um, yes. Still at 2018 says, how do you trigger a witness to get them to protest too much without getting in trouble for badgering them? I mean, looks like you don't asking have to some, asking some precise questions that that just kind of like get under their skin. Sometimes you can tell when somebody kind of like like blusters at, at at a particular topic, and you can just kind of like press into that a little bit and see see how they react. That's one of those ways that you can do it, and you can you can keep the same tone, but just keep kind of focusing on that subject and watch them squirm. Boo says, "Question: If the makeup kit isn't the exact one she used, why is it in evidence?" A question from Twitter. Her lawyers made a mistake somewhere along the line. Yeah, I think that's so. what's why it is. Yeah. Carrie Harvey says AH's pledge equals George Costanza, Costanza and the human fund fake Christmas donation. <laughs> oh, man. Cheryl Mullecker says, is it me? I'm definitely hashtag justice for Johnny, but did a photo of her back have scratches? I'm hoping I just need to clean my TV. That's a tattoo. I wish that they would have pointed that out, but that is, I've, I've seen other photos before that she's got some kind of script on her. That's a tattoo. Uh, so got no, it's, it's like, it's like on her side. Okay. Uh, Munchichi says makeup palette is in evidence. Very true. Sure is. Uh, Melissa Andrews says she claimed she had paid her charitable money in the UK court. Can she also be charged with perjury now? She now, since this, she, had this is your best, this issues. is your best hope in my opinion for a perjury yeah. charge. Yeah. Cause the UK is, the UK is going to feel embarrassed. This is yeah. your best hope. Yeah, Debbie 101 says, wouldn't the hairspray burn your scalp if it was raw from hair pulled out during the JC show? Yeah, there's a lot of alcohol in there, right? Mm -hmm. That would be 
a little bit difficult. Spans McNamara says Amber Heard never went to college. Oh, I don't know if that's the case. I Did someone say that she off. had in the testimony? I don't Not think that so. I remember. So yeah, okay. yeah, I don't remember that coming up. Uh, Rusty S says it would be cool if the jury found Miss Heard guilty of defamation and awarded Mr. Depp seven million and one dollar in damages. That would be pretty poetic, wouldn't it? SEP says anyone notice the white logo cup in the lines of Coke pictures? The same one she holds in the cabinets vid. Subscribe to all you guys rock. Yes, it's that Infinitum Nile cup that people keep talking about. Preston Cl Park says. Having notes out in front of you only bothers other lawyers. The jury doesn't give a herd. <laughs> it might yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. You're probably right about that. That probably is just a little pet peeve of our of ours being being practitioners in the area. I don't know why I just did quotes. Beverly Ford says, legal bites. Two people have signed up to stand in line in Virginia. Perhaps mention again for those who have logged in since returning home from work. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, or it was uh, in the linked in the chat, but uh, or pinned in the chat. But um, it is. I have tweeted it out. If you guys follow me. Check me out at Legal Bites Media, and uh, there's a link in one of my one of my latest tweets. Actually, I think it's my latest tweet um, about that sign up sheet, so that the so that Rob, Ian, and Larry can hopefully get some sleep um, while we can have some people in line for them, if that's at all possible. Mm -hmm. Phoenix seventy seven, welcome to YouTube memberships. James James says, if money leaves your bank account when pledged, does bruising and swelling leave when pledged? <laughs> Mikey Phelps says, so her accusations against JD are believable instead of truth. Seems like age lies are starting to catch up to her. It seems like it. Question from Carolyn Hafner. What else for Cross do you think? Debunk today's new stuff, unconscious strangled to sleep, nurse notes lying, RE substance used bipolar, or more audio of her berating JD running away yet chasing him to, de -es to escalate as GV victim. Um unconscious strangled to sleep nurse notes lying i mean the the nurse notes lying i think that can just sit on its own because the jury can just look at that and be like okay yeah, this like, is a yet another person on. that you say is lying. it's a physical exam and none of this is mentioned a lot of things were left out really on a physical exam yeah okay yeah yeah um let's see or more audio of her berating jd running away yet chasing him i think i think that would be that would be interesting to say like you have testified that that you are always running away blah 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 and then you can just play that and be like okay this is you criticizing him for running away right this is your criticism of him in these tapes yeah um sarah hanready says i got a tro from my local police station i'm in virginia all right oh so meaning like you didn't have to go to court for it yeah. That doesn't make sense, but I'll take your word for it. Daniel Ria says, A.H. testified that she saw J.D. swinging at her sister on top of the stairs. Will J.D.'s team ask her how many shots were landed by J.D.? She's definitely going to ask about it, um, but I think she's going to go much more surgically than that. Step TV says, I, I pledge. <laughs> Thank you. FT says, I'm an Eastern Asian. If someone who is not Asian shows up with an Asian themed attire, I would be offended because that's kind of racist. Just saying. Yeah. That, I, that, I, that. I, I, dis I disagree with that. I mean, I, I think that people should, I don't really disagree with the, I disagree with the concept of cultural appropriation. I, I think it's kind of a dumb concept. I think if you want to wear clothing from any culture, I think it shows respect to the culture, not uh, disparagement. Think, and uh, But if she's doing it to try to placate the jury, I'd be offended for that reason. So I'd be like, yeah. oh, she's trying to suck up to me. I'd be offended for that reason, but not in the. I think I think you'll sells. find I think you'll find folks from from particular cultures that that could go either way on it. Yeah. yeah. Ignacio Campos says, I can I can help stay in line for Robert Ian, but do they know if there is any parking available? I live 15 minutes away from courthouse, so is not a problem. I believe that there is there, there is, is a public, parking there. There's a public parking garage very nearby. Yes. Yes. Uh, so please, please, please do reach out to them and uh, and and sign up through that link if you're if you're available. Fuzzy Lopagus says, "Question: Are we past the point of no return for settling? Yes, we are well beyond it." Spencer Jefferson says, "I uh, just wanted to say, by the time you see this, I'll have been up for at least twenty four hours just to watch you. Love the coverage from you guys. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm so honored by that." Uh, Helen Jiggin says, "I hate, hate, hate that we are hating on this woman, but I hate." more that this woman is undermining real women's experiences everywhere. I yep. agree. It's hard not to hate someone like that. Brian Sosa says, anyone noticed Amber supporters running away after Vasquez? I, I did notice there her. was some quick moment, a uh, quick movement in the courtroom that seemed like there was some desire to get away. Could be. 
Moxie Therapy says Latu versus TV equals dreamy. Alita impressions are a bonus. Thank you. Sarah Kate Lingerfeld says, Lingerfeld says, WD in News Corp Sun, two big conglomerates trial has exposed media uh, bias in media. Is the identity is this identity politics? Me too. Or are they trying to cover up their backs? False dilemmas are being propagated by the big media. I think maybe a little bit of a lot of these things, honestly, mm -hmm. is, is definitely possible. Magnus Prime says, it sounds like I missed a lot when I had to work during the cross. Oh, yeah. Yeah, please do we watch it. Thankfully, the recap vids are pretty comprehensive. Thanks for all the hard work. Yes, of course. Thank you for uh, thank you for, for coming in. Jill Leonard says, the dental question was the perm question. Yeah, it was a little bit, right? It, it seems like it. That that in the, in the, the reconstructive surgery question, right? As Glenn says, interested to know how Jerry reacted to AH claiming she used ice to hide swelling of a broken nose. Ice is magic. Just like Amica cream. Iced Amica cream could probably do it even better. Jax Perro says, uh, we watched AH actually get beat up today. Yeah. Yeah. Annette Brun says, JD, uh, colon, AH broke promise of, a, of agreement secret. And then JD donates money directly. Yeah. Adrian Paul, thank you. Junis uh, Moisio says, I didn't know it was legal to show someone being spanked that hard on YouTube. Age is going to need a glacier for her cheeks. Yes, Camille Thor Vasquez. B, Divalicious says, we don't use the same plugs as the UK and US. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that clarification. I feel like I should know that by now, but I haven't been to Australia yet at this mm -hmm. point in my life. Lenart says, the metadata is like the file name, can be changed, copied, stripped, et cetera. Mm-hmm. I believe that sounds about correct. Don Lionheart says, first rule of relating to, to a culture, don't imitate notorious murderers and dictators. These are Americans, not CCP members or NK citizens. The jury is German. Better bring out the Hitler outfit. Oh, boy. Thrashley says, Alita, can you help us in the line group with contacting each other? How do we get in contact with Rob and Ian? I'd like to coordinate with who's I in my group. I think Nurse Liz is taking care of that. Nurse Liz is, is if you sign up through that link that I have posted elsewhere, she gets an email and you have to give your email for that. So that, and also you can, you can DM with them, um, through, through Twitter as well. Bonnie H says, what about AH telling Camille? She didn't believe she was familiar with the use of cocaine. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I don't know how much you know about cocaine, but let me tell you because I have all this familiarity with it. Uh, Junis Moiseo says lots of control from JD not to react during cross. I think so. Snapple knows says a lot of doctors and nurses use voice to text to transcribe their notes. And always there's so many typos trying to say that the medical record was inaccurate because of that typo is so stupid. Ah, oh, that's a fair point. Kathy at 40 says she should have thought about the baby before she wrote the op-ed. Well, the baby didn't exist at the time of the op-ed. So the baby, baby came into the picture last April. <sighs> Anton Ivanov says in the UK, lawyers and judges can sit on juries. How judges can is pretty interesting. I don't I think they'll find the in the United Judges have in the United States as well. I think it was like learned hand. There's some kind of a story. Maybe it was learned hand that somehow mm -hmm. made it onto a jury, like by some crazy mistake and like actually ended up like serving, serving the learned hand kicks ass. Yeah. Yeah. Something Great like that. But it's like Great name. Yeah. Yeah. Roz A says, do you think the burden of proof for libel regarding actual malice has been proven? Yep. Yes, absolutely. In my opinion, Mr. DNA 1987 says, and in my opinion, whether the jury thinks the same way as me is another question, but I, I feel pretty good about it. Mr. DNA 1987 says De defendants exhibit 712 and 713 appear to be the exact same photo, but digitally altered. They represented these diff these as different photos. What happens if this is found to be false evidence? Uh, well, maybe Camille can notice and bring those photos up one right after another, or maybe one right next to each other. And to say, this is, this is a, a photo that you say is from this date. This is a photo that you say is from this date, mm -hmm. according to your testimony uh, from yesterday. And then just, and then don't even, and then say like, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Did I read your transcript from yesterday? Correct. Yes. Yeah. And now digital, al it. digital altering by itself is not necessarily improper because as long as you have the original, right, you have to give the originals to opposing counsel, but you've even seen them kind of doing this to some degree because mm -hmm. they'll talk about uh, evidence and we'll talk about A, B, C, like it's whatever number A, 
right? Yeah. So the, the original number is the master evidence, like the original file. And then the ABC is like whatever segments that they're referring to. Yeah. And I don't think that all the like originals have been published to the jury, just segments. So, yeah. you know, as long as you're, as long as you're disclosing the originals to opposing counsel and stuff, like there's nothing inherently wrong about presenting the fo same photo with alterations. If you're trying to show something, uh, the fact that they're representing them as two different events uh, is a problem for whoever's representing that, but that can be brought out in cross or as close. So how about that for an answer? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Matt S says, how could team AH prove her side with witness testimonies with such little time left, especially since she has so many allegations against JD seems like it's just her. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know how they're going to use up that time. Joyful defibrillator too says to the panel do you think johnny will win the court case do you think johnny will win the court of public opinion i think he has yep i do think he has um and i think uh i don't know if he will win the court case because it's it's hard to read the jury but based on what we've heard today i think that the likelihood is pretty good jc says the california attorney is christopher melcher yes uh brick cormier says on the one question too many Use that in close to remind the jury of the answer. Yes. Exactly. So, uh, Prithimpais says sure. Melanie Inglesis listed a witness by deposition, signed a declaration for the UK trial. She and a hairstylist covered up the bruises and a scalp wound for the James Corden show. Any thoughts about this? Well, it'll be interesting to see if it comes up. Uh, my understanding is that, uh, the hair, the, the stylist, one of them said she didn't see anything. And then the other one said she saw some bruises or something. She saw some injuries, but I don't know. It, it, I'm not sure if that's going to make it in. We'll see. Kendra Jensen says, do you think this cross will be shown in law schools in the future as to how to do an effective cross-examination? Yes, absolutely. Thanks for making my drive from Vancouver, BC to Portland so much more entertaining. Yes, thank you. Yvonne De Silva says, is there a possibility for lawyers to drop their clients once in court? No. Well, Yes, but you have to get permission from the court in order to withdraw from counsel. As soon as you have litigation, even before you go to trial, as soon as you have active litigation, you because you have all kinds of deadlines and things that can happen that can screw a client if they don't have adequate legal representation, that uh, you have to get permission from the court in order to withdraw. So um, in this kind of a case, when it's already at trial, there's absolutely no way that Judge Oscarotti is going to allow them to withdraw at this point. Uh, Lena Namistar says, first Arnica cream and now her magical de-swelling skills. AH must be OP. Uh, Piper's Muse says, go Camille, Blondie, rip her to shreds. Songwriters Christopher Stein slash Deborah Harry, rip her to shreds. Lyrics, copyright, BMG rights management. <laughs> awesome. Jonathan Preciosi says, Japan has both Europe style and American wiring. This is because they brought generators from American and Germany. So it depends where you are in Japan. Fair point. That's a fair point. Everywhere that I went had American plugs, but uh, I guess that that would make sense. Uh, Claire Wilkins, thank you for your super chat. The Bedford Unicorn says, can JD's team use this trial as evidence for the UK to be reviewed? Also, thank you. You are all doing a great job learning so much. Thank you. Claire Wilkins says, Amber defended her right to donate in chunks for tax reasons because that's how it happens. Minutes later in Cross, she's hammering Depp for the same thing like it was outrageous. Anyone else catch that? Um, my screen just needs to refresh here. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it does, it does seem, it does seem weird that it's like these, like, you know, Johnny has to abide by rules, but I don't or something, you know, it, it is a little weird. Jim asks, is, since Amber's attorney is irritating the judge, what is the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is, you know, if, if, if they if they run into a situation where they kind of are at the mercy of the judge, for example, like running out of time, if she's absolutely annoyed by them, she's going to be very, very strict on those rules. Um, I think that she probably would have been anyway. But like but that's kind of an example of like the worst that could happen is like is like where they would be like, hey, can I can I get a favor? You know, and she might be like, OK, we can we can soften the rules a little bit to help folks out, you know, in the interests of justice or something. But she can just decide absolutely not. You're getting zero favors from me because I'm super annoyed by you. 
Rose Roz A says, do you think focusing on he said, she said is part of proving the libel and defamation part of the case? And if so, how? I'm not sure what you mean about focusing on he said, she said, because we're, we're focusing on medical records or lack thereof and photos or lack thereof. And, you know, because that's that's all about the corroboration part here and whether or not there's um and and whether or not there's there's you know other people involved that are also corroborating so but i think i think that is that is ultimately carrying uh this case in johnny's favor paula poirier says thinking you might have missed my super chat this morning wanted you guys to check out those pictures and debunk them all i don't know i don't think i missed any i hope not um, but which pictures are you referring to the ones that, that Andrea Burkhart posted on Twitter? Cause we did look at those. Um, I'm not sure which, which photos you're talking about. Cause we've, we've seen several photos today. I'm sorry. Liam Smith says thoughts on how the media is reporting today. Headlines seem very pro Amber as if they are trying to construct a narrative for those not watching the trial could be, but that's also one of the reasons why I am putting out daily recaps. Everything baseball network says, OMG, Kurt, you're so funny. Uh, Siamese twins with split personality says host leaves co goes dark and watch expression. Okay. Uh, Paul Poirier says, check out incredibly average guy. He has debunked all those pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. We did see something about that earlier. I think, I think we did address that. AHL good says Kurt California is a mandatory reporting state. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, chunky monkey says, how do I pledge for, $5 million house asking for myself. Yeah, right. Marie says charitable contributions are limited to 50% of AGI, five-year carry forward, and are non-transferable, i.e. JD makes the contribution, he gets the deduction. Yeah, makes sense. Um, Leonda Lorraine Eglinton says, will that hurt her on from her own side now that she has thrown her own team under the bus a number of times? Will they treat her differently? No. They are required to zealously advocate for their client no matter what she says. Megan M says, and those are professional responsibility rules and are, and are taken very seriously. Megan M says she tried to pull off charmingly snarky like JD and only succeeds in looking like a lying manipulative. See you next Tuesday. Uh, Elaine Bredehoff says, at least I'm hotter than Camille. <laughs> I'm sure to no. someone that's true. Madeline Rettman, thank you for your super chat. Uh, Matt Boardman says, having worked on Arrested Development, this trial would have made a great part of the Bluth legacy. Oh, oh my gosh. I would love to hear stories of working on Arrested Development. I love that show. Wiz and Sage says, it's not too late. If AH's team hires the greatest legal mind of our time, Legal Beagle, they can save their case. He is a DC, uh, he is a DC local, so uh, yeah. He might be licensed in Virginia. Who knows? I'm, I'm Amelia, sure they can get him out of That'd be great. Let's get them Amelia, in this. Amelia Slantea says, do you think that Camille will deliver another fatality tomorrow with the Kate Moss stuff, previous history in Amber with a record of DV against Tasha? I wouldn't bring up Kate Moss with her because no. there's no, there's nothing to be gained there. There's nothing to be gained because it would just give her an opportunity to clarify. And, and so you just, you just want to take it and, and run with it in the other direction. Take yeah. the ball and run with it. Uh, Newt says, will Elaine really keep redirect simple? <laughs> 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 No, I'm saying that's my recommendation. I'm not, I'm, I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Iris Sepulveda says, did anyone notice the cup and Amber Heard's hands in the covered video and the staged Coke table look similar? It is, it looks like the exact same cup. Ashley Townsend says she didn't spend 6 million. She only pledged that to the attorney. She donated it. Cause that's the same thing. Well, Lane K 1978 says, do you think they should have brought up the other pictures of the staged breakfast table where items are in different places? Um, do you think they should have brought up the other pictures of the stage breakfast table? I think I think she did enough. I think I think she did enough there she's, to like she's doing, to like she's doing she's doing fine to put them to put those questions in in the in the mind of the jury about like oh yeah if somebody did you know snort blow off of that table there would be smears of it from their their nose and their mouth you know like it, that makes sense to me. Uh, the Dizel says Kay mentioned JV donates to men DV. Uh, would love to see donation to kids of slash in abusive homes as that's such an integral part for both sides. Yes. Sure. Uh, Terry Zaletsky says, honestly enjoyed most of the commentary, although did find some of the sexual innuendo didn't add much to the conversation. Just saying. Thanks for the feedback. 
Uh, Midnight L 2008 says saw on another channel that the under eye bruises in Amber Heard's pick are similar to what happens when getting Botox. Not sure if true, but interesting. Yep. We've had comments like that before as well. Selma Dennert says Amber said, I never called myself a victim. Can that be held against her since she mentions previously multiple times, even in court? It's not worth it. Not worth it at all because the, the jury's, the jury's going to be giving her sideways looks for that as well because she's been portraying herself as a victim this whole time. Atlas says it, in, it genuinely disgusted me that she went for Isaac's painful and sincere plea for healing as if to be a perversion of such a beautiful moment. Yeah. Annette Brune says, I think AH play PTSD card not to lose her child. Could be. I, I, I do think that it, it sincerely is because she needs to find some kind of damages for the hoax statement, the hoax claim. Um, she needs to allege some kind of damages because otherwise that would get dismissed. Ikra, thank you for your super chat. Arian Fowler says, didn't the driver who took AH to Coachella say he took her home early because she was sick and her friends weren't with her? AH said she was never alone with him, but that doesn't line up. There's a lot that doesn't line up here. Elizabeth Binyashvili, thank you. Julia Dalton says, I think my super chat got skipped. Uh, what went viral on Twitter? Is there a screenshot? Oh, what was going viral on Twitter? I, no, I think I saw. I think I saw yours. I think I, I I flashed it on the screen if I remember correctly. Uh, that was when. Oh, what was going viral? It, it was at the time when when Ian was on. I think was when it came in and when mm -hmm. I saw it. Um, what was it that was going viral? It wasn't about Camille. Was it about Elaine? Oh no no no! It was the Justice for Line. Was it that that was going viral? I don't know. I can't remember. But I do remember that there was something that was going going viral. I'm so I'm so sorry that I'm not remembering right now. SCP says today was beautiful. Also amazing vid shows Chu handling CV a post it to tell her about the 13 months from payment of divorce before lawsuit filed. Two super chats in one day. I invested. Love you all. Thank you so much. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. Did anybody see what was actually written on the on the on the note? It could also be, hey, keep it up. You're doing great. <laughs> Um, but it could have been about the, the 13 months. It, it, he could have like added up like 13 months, say, say 13 months. Cause that, mm -hmm. that calculation right there is enough for, for the jury to remember like, oh, you had a long time to do this, to, to get this set up. Rinkit 77 says, will there be any consequences for AH revealing how much she paid her lawyers? They agreed not to reveal that. And Camille seemed pissed. I can't imagine that Johnny Depp's team would be upset at her releasing how much she paid her lawyers. I mean, the agreement is so like they don't have to, but yeah. I, I can't imagine they're upset about that because it just makes her yeah. look bad. Yeah. Yeah. I can't so, remember like... exactly what it was that she said before Elaine asked or before Camille asked to approach and to discuss. But I think, I think it had less to do with how much that, that she was paying for her lawyers and then some of the other, other things that she was just kind of spouting off at that time. Um, Winged Paragon says, AH using pledge and donated interchangeably. Pledge equals to promise to do. Donated D at the end. Important. Past tense. How are they the same? They're not. They're not. They are not. I mean, the folks, folks that are that are very involved with, with 501c3 is talking about donations and stuff. I understand that. But uh, yeah, I think to the common person, there's a difference between the two. Mm-hmm. Joe Mendoza says, could IRS look into the validity of AH tax breaks based on her testimony when she claimed that Elon's donations weren't included in the pledge? Also, Rob can get it in bed and I won't object. <laughs> the IRS um, can certainly do anything they like. If they want to look at that for that reason, sure. Now go nuts. I mean, they've got to go back, what, five years? Seven years? What's the yeah. what's the, what's the statute of limitations for the IRS? I statute think of limitations years. generally is five years, but I, I don't know if that applies because they're just learning about it now. I don't know. Mm. I had to double check the rules. Yeah. Yeah. Winged Paragon says FB was full to AH stories up to cross then silence. That's funny. Yeah. Emily Peters says pledged and donated. <laughs> Will Camille bring up Kate Moss with Amber or is that going to be saved for later? Saved for later. No reason yeah, to get no, her to no, comment no, on no, it. No, no. Don't do that. Patty Joe Sloss is Runkle is saying he thinks Amber's stare was very serial killery shiver. Hey, if he felt it, the jury probably felt it too. Does he They're know about serial killers? How does he know? <laughs> I mean, he's a criminal defense attorney. He may. This he is may, fair. Maybe he does he know, know serial killers. I don't care. Paula Prey says, sorry, my last super chat was worded wrong. You need to check out Incredibly Average's 
guy's channel. He debunks all those pictures. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Go check out incredibly average. That's another YouTube channel on here. I don't think he's linked in the description below, um, since he hasn't shown up today, but for sure, go check that out. He's got a lot of debunking on that channel. It's very fascinating. Deborah D says, think wits not going to be testifying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's a legitimate question as to whether she will or will not. Carolyn Hafner says, as a PT, you can't tolerate ice on broken bones at all. That's part of the differential diagnosis to distinguish soft tissue from bone break. That is a very interesting. Uh, well, I mean, she already said once before that she didn't feel any pain when she was in the head. So maybe she also doesn't feel pain when ice is put on the broken bone. She is just hmm. a different cat. Could be. Could very well be. Alrighty. Well, that is the last super chat of the day. So thank you very much, everybody. We managed to get like 11 and a half hours. We're, we're, we've cleared 12 hours by a lot. Uh -huh. So I see that there are still 23,000 folks in here. If you guys haven't already liked the video, I would appreciate it if you would so that folks can, can see the replay. But otherwise, if you guys are still wanting more commentary on this case, um, I have set up a redirect. This is a new feature on YouTube. Did you do the updated link? Because I told you about it. I twice. did. Excellent. I did. I, I yes. I, I sent you the, the, the updated link. Thanks. Hopefully it should work. Um, if not, he's linked in the channel below. Go on over. He's about to do a live stream to review. And there's well, there's one more super chat here. Uh, we'll get that. But but as soon as I, I get get this, guys, um head on over there or just stick around. It should redirect, it should work. Um, so hopefully it does, but if it, if it doesn't, cause it's a little wonky with the new system, um, go on over there and he's going to, he's going to do a, a recap over a live stream. Um, and right here, this is the last one. Light giver says Amber's photo of the cocaine on the table is taken in March, 2013. She had not even moved in with Johnny yet. This has been a setup the whole time. Could be, could very well be. Okay. Well, that is it for I'm me. I'm going to quit and get ahead of the start just in case that makes a yes. difference. So I'm going to start Absolutely. the stream now and I'll see hopefully all you guys in about 30 seconds. All righty. Yes. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to everyone in the panel who has been on here delivering their amazing commentary and uh, and delivering their their time for us. All of us have benefited from this amazing day, amazing day for cross-examination by Camille Vasquez, who I want to be my best friend. I want to learn all of her tips and tricks on how to cross-examine a witness because she was amazing today. So with that, everybody go on over to Kurt's uh, channel over there. And thank you to everybody in the chat. Thank you to everybody. All of the super chats have been so generous. Thank you to everybody in the regular chats with all of your great engagement. Thank you to everybody who has liked the video and subscribed to all of the channels. Um, and, and yeah, the mods too. Mods are doing such a fantastic job as well. And oh gosh, okay. One, one last one, one last one, but, but then everybody go over there. Uh, Sherman S says, Alita, will you do a JDAH meme reaction video after this trial is over? Yeah. Uh, there's a hilarious series of ace attorney memes by Marimomo Morimo that you have to check out. Yes, absolutely. 100% a meme review is 100% in effect. And even better if I can, if I can do a meme review with Camille Vasquez, if she would ever agree to come onto the channel, that would be amazing. Um, okay. With that, I will end the live stream. Thank you guys. I love you all. Mwah. Kisses to everybody. Hugs to everybody. Uh, be kind to one another. And, uh, and yes. See you in the next video.